Welcome back to Tabletop Titans for the most epic game of Warhammer 40k. This is the Apocalypse rule set. We are yes. not playing 9th edition rules. We are playing the Apocalypse <laughs> rule set because we have an epic Apocalypse game here. This is something like 14,000 points if you were to do like 8th edition point values. That's right. It is a preposterous amount. Of course, we have the Tau Empire here. I'm using the Tau Sept. Completely led by Shadow Sun. Classic. And then on your side, we've got, what do we got here? Got the Goth Boys, led by none other than Gaz Magaruk Thraka. That's right. I'm so excited. The the Tau here, hot off a, a wind, destroying this battlefield yeah. from the Imperiums. <laughs> well, the the Orcs are here for a good mm. crump, and they want to scrap. That's right. And they know that these uh, these new shooties coming <laughs> in, they want to come and get them, right? Yeah, that's So it. this is the biggest game we've ever played on stream. In fact, this is the biggest game we've ever seen played on a stream. Mm. Um, so we're really excited for that. Um, and it's just a, it's a fun day. We're in a festive season. That's right. We got our 40k mm, just sweaters arrived. on. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Bridger's in his Taco Bell. Yeah, one. Bridger is in a holiday sweater as well. That's a Taco Bell sweater. <laughs> it's so we will classy. certainly show you that uh, later. But oh, why don't sure. we, why don't we jump into it? Why don't we take a look at the armies? We might not go into perfect detail. Sure. But we'll talk about it. And as we go through the game, mm. we'll talk you through the rules. This game is actually really easy to play. Yeah. So uh, we'll take you through it as we go. Let's do it. Let's take a look. The Tau Empire, and of course you see the mightiest model here on the battlefield, the Manta. Um, I've also got, uh, basically everything here is organized into detachments. Yeah. So the Manta is its own detachment. You saw a few Tiger Sharks there. They're also part of their own detachment. Um, what you're starting to see is this Manta though. Mm -hmm. This is the real star of the show. Oh my god. Yeah. This, is, this is what I'm here for. Um, but it's not the only big boy. Of course you're seeing two Taunar. <laughs> and the Taunar are going to be really epic. Uh, they dwarf in comparison yeah, to the Manta. Okay, normally, they look. normally they're huge. Um, I've also got two Storm Surge, which actually feel like actual babies yeah. um, on this battlefield. <laughs> These are all individual units, kind of in Supreme Command, or sorry, uh, Super Heavy Auxiliaries. Yeah. I have a Vanguard Detachment, which is three Riptides, a Yavara, and a Cold Star Commander. They're just going to be zipping up. I've also got a ton of infantry. I've got a battalion with like six infantry squads, mm. Shadow Sun, an Ethereal... I've also got another uh, patrol detachment in uh, the, the Devilfish there with some more infantry and a fire blade. Uh, that's all inside the Manta. <laughs> and the Manta actually holds much more. I'll tell you more about that that's later. Right. You, have a, you have guys in a transport in a transport. That's right. It's Very a nice. rushing nesting doll. You see six broadsides there with an Arvarna as my heavy detachment. Yep. And then I have Long Strike leading a tank detachment, um, which is like six, seven tanks plus Long Strike. Um, that is really, really exciting. I'm so excited mm. to finally have that many yeah. tanks on the battlefield. So that's basically what we got. We got like an air, air wing, we've got a bunch of super heavy auxiliaries, we've got a few heavy detachments, and a few little battalions. The funny thing about the Manta here is that this Manta is holds 200 models. I believe it. This thing and, is and I think it holds two <laughs> tanks yeah. on top of that. Oh and God. each tank can have its own transport capacity inside wow. of it. And so it's, it's pretty crazy. Right now I have something like 40 infantry in it. Uh, 40, 50 infantry, and a tank, and 12 crisis suits, something like that. Such a crazy model. And I'm not even at, like, at a third of its transport yeah. capacity. <laughs> um, so they're lounging in there. That's amazing. At some point, you might have to take the top off of I it. I will. We can yeah. look inside. I'll show some more details, because uh, it's, it's actually it's a pretty yeah. legendary model. It's the biggest model that Games Workshop's ever made. Yep. Uh, it's certainly larger than uh, the Warlord Titan. Yep. And so we're excited to see it on the battlefield. It's a real beast also. It, yeah, it's <laughs> super scary. In this game, um, even things like Bane Blades have like five wounds. Yeah. This thing has 30 wounds, just to give you a sense of scale. It's yeah. nuts. It's pretty big. So super cool. Um, it's it's a hundred out yeah. of this out of my 700 power level. Yeah. Um, this guy's over 150. <laughs> um, so he is by far the biggest boy oh on the board. Um, we were la laughing before the game. Um, about how hard it is going to be to move it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got a few plans there, but we're not going to be able to move it too much, probably. <laughs> we'll have to see. So, uh, listen. Well, Chad has noticed, mm. or they believe they've noticed, that the board looks small. Do you want to talk about the board that we built here, Ryan? So the board is actually uh, two 6x8 boards. Six. Two full... 6x4. Six sorry, 6x4, six I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, two 6x4, so two... 8th edition size boards That's right. hammered together. It is a massive board. It takes up the entire studio. Yeah, we barely have like room no space. to move here. And um, <laughs> and so this is more than, this is like three times the size. Uh, something fell back there. That was weird. This is three times the size of uh, of like a 9th edition board, basically. Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, it is absolutely uh, enormous. Absolutely enormous. And like, we could barely reach to the center of this battlefield. 
So imagine holding a manta and like, eh. I am so curious uh, to see what happens later on. I have a little stool so I can actually reach and I wanted one of those general sticks, but you guys wouldn't yeah. let me use it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's an enormous board. We just built it up and uh, we're excited. Yeah. You, we had to, there's terrain. You can barely see it behind the models, but uh -huh. we uh, we built this cool imperial city. It's like a walled city. Yep. And uh, so there's little doors and, and walls that will come crashing through. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be it's gonna be a it's pretty epic. It's gonna be awesome. So Why don't you take us through the orcs? Let me walk you through the boys. Let's do it. So this is a bunch of detachments. Um, basically everything is goths. I have one free boot as detachment because. When you have space pirate orcs, you have to play space pirate That's, orcs. That is a rule. So um, let's, let's uh, take a little walk through. Um, so what you guys are seeing right now is my uh, I have many fast attack fast attack detachments. Yeah. Um, I'll uh, I'll talk about the the, the first three first. Um, you're seeing the grot tanks there. Um, that's divided into two uh, two fast attack detachments. Um, I have three eight man uh, grot tanks, little baby ones. I have three of the mega grot tanks that are kind of like the commanders basically. Shout out to Grot Works for uh, getting these made for me. Um, and uh, so I've got that in one detachment led by a Death Killer War Trike. Um, and then I, I also have a biker biker gang. This is three units of nine bikes, also yeah. led by a Death Killer War Trike. That's awesome. Um, you guys will notice I do have my War Boss on, on bike who actually doesn't have a profile in uh, in Apocalypse. So we're using him as a Death Killer War Trike today. Nice. Um, just for some, those of you with, with uh, eagle eyes that have questions about that. Um, I am also rocking a Tin Eds Battalion, which you guys are kind of seeing right now. This is finally, I get to have my Death Dreads on the board, my Gorkonauts. Yeah. So it's two Gorkonauts, uh, a unit of three Death Dreads, uh, 15 Kilocans. Uh, we're, we're just shy of max on the Kilocans. Oh, nice. Um, so we've got that, led by a big mech with Custom Force Guild, of course. It's appropriate. Exactly. Um, so I've got that. I have another fast attack detachment with all the buggies, right? This is everything, all the, all the goods. Are and all the buggies in one detachment? They are. I love this. It's perfect. It's like What six a great speed wag. I know, right? So they're, of course, led by a Death Killer War Trike. I have three Scrap Jets in a unit, three Shock Jump Dragsters in a unit, uh, two of the Custom Booster Blasters in a unit, uh, Rucker Truck Squig Buggy, and... You've never played the Rucker Truck, or you haven't in a long time. Uh, I put it on the <laughs> table once, and he did nothing. Yeah. yeah. And then I also have the... Uh, the last one, which I can't remember because uh, there's too many there's names. So there's such crazy names. All right, let's take a look. I also have a ton of spearhead attachments, the heavy support attachments. Um, I have two of them that are almost identical. Uh, they're filled with with mech guns, all yep. smashes, of course, classic. Um, and then I have another one that is uh, this is my free Buddha's det uh, detachment, nice. and this has the uh, fifteen Ludas, nice. which are they're going to be free Buddhas today. Um, they're hanging out with you know ten flash kits. Uh, I have some grots in there. I have. Uh, Captain Badruck himself. Of course. And he's back. The big mech with shock attack gun. Nice. Rocking it out there. Uh, so we'll see. I'm excited to get him back on the table. Uh, my main detachment, I think my biggest detachment is, of course, my, of course my battalion with big man uh, Gaz himself. Uh, and this is, of course, the older version of Gaz, but he was still so awesome that his, his profile actually isn't, like, uh, terribly unrepresented yeah. of even this big model. That's right. So we've got him leading this out. I have a weird boy, I believe, in that detachment. I have uh, three... Uh, gosh, three battle wagons filled with 20 boys inside of them, yeah. uh, three rocket launches in each of those squads, um, and then, gosh, there's just, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. It just goes and goes You have and goes. almost every data sheet in Did the Did you talk about the air wing? I, oh, yeah, I have an air wing, that's right. So if you guys saw, I do have uh, a custom Caradron Overlord ship, my pirate orc ship. This is going to be my, my uh, Wise Bomb Blaster Jet. Nice. <laughs> and uh, that's, of course, with, also armed with a custom force field in it. Um, I have three Burnabamas, because, you know, Brian loves those. Yeah. They and can't explode uh, automatically in this game. It's so, so sad. That's better. They're going to like actually be dropping bombs and doing yeah. stuff, right? And then I have two Daka jets. So that's my air wing detachment, of course. Called uh, Deflying Gits. Deflying Gits. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the shop shoes. And then I know I'm forgetting some stuff. The Stompa, have, Adrian? You uh, forgot the Stompa? Yeah. yeah. You didn't mention the Gargantuan Squid. I have Stompa. the Stompa. <laughs> I was getting to it. He was getting to it. Best stuff. for last. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I have a Stompa, of course. And this is the classic Stompa. I didn't go custom because uh, this one actually has more DACA and more guns. Yeah. So it's actually like 10 power, power You've level You've had this higher. model since you were a little kid. I got this like when it first came out. It was super, super tiny. I built it, cut it up a million times. Uh, and so I'm really excited. When's to the last time you played the Stompa? Oh gosh, literally years, probably years, years and years ago. Um, so, but now that it's painted, I might get it on the channel normally. Yeah. Um, so I've got that. I have the Gargantuan Squigoth, of course. Fantastic. Uh, with some big zappas, I believe. Um, Riding inside, I have a unit of 15 tank busters. Awesome. Uh, I can't remember which detachment there are they're in, but we'll find out. And last of all, I also have a battle wagon with the Super Cannon. And awesome. um, I think that's with one of the mech gun detachments. That's fantastic. So, is that it? You sure? Uh, honestly, it probably isn't. <laughs> probably <laughs> I'm sure not. I, I want to see a wall of wall. 
I don't want to see any yes. chess. Just walls. Get them walls. Yeah, you got to get them walls. <laughs> um, wow, what a uh, what an amazing I'm loadout. So, so before we go any further, let me take you a little bit just through the game. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Unlike normal 40k, this game has been balanced to run faster. Mm -hmm. It's also been balanced <laughs> to get rid of this problem of someone shooting, killing all your fun toys, and then you never get to play with them. Yep. So in this game, we actually both take turns simultaneously. So what will happen is at the start of every turn, we will roll off for initiative. Yep. The player who gets initiative gets to essentially just act first mm -hmm. throughout the turn. We then, in secret, place an action next to each detachment. You activate detachments as a whole rather yep. than individual units. There's three separate actions. Basically, it's a charge, which mm -hmm. is double move and then fight. Yep. There is just the move or assault, which is just you get to move, and then you get to either shoot or fight. That's right. There's no charging in the game. And then, You're just in yeah. base contact and you fight. Yeah, if you move all the way into base contact, you can fight as yep. long as you took that action. And then there's aim fire, which means you have to stand still, but you get to shoot and you can get a plus one to your hit, which, nice. uh, which is great. Yeah. And so uh, we do that in secret, and then we take turns revealing mm -hmm. and activating our detachments. Now, if I was to activate, let's say, the Manta first, sure. and I was to shoot and do an uh, unbelievable amount of damage to your squig off, right. it actually just gets damage markers next to it, mm -hmm. and then it gets to activate later in the turn and then fight and shoot me. Yeah. At the very end of the turn, we resolve all the damage. And so you always get a chance to activate before your model uh, takes damage. And then uh, if it takes so much damage, it dies. If yeah. it doesn't, it takes some wound counters and it can degrade and things like that. It's yeah. pretty straightforward. The mission that we're playing, Bridger, why don't you talk us through the mission? Yeah, so let's uh, <laughs> let's take a look at the top down here. We're playing the Manta. Also, the walls of, uh, I love the Wall of Wall. It, wall of Wall. It yes. fills me with joy. Thank you, guys. Um, so there are six objectives in a park. Allegedly. Do you want to point those yeah, out? Yeah, so there's two in the center. Um, you can see them. They're little dark uh, things here. So uh, there's one there. There's one way down there. Yeah, he's going to point to it. That's great. Uh, we got one on my side way down here, and then one over by that building over there. And on my side, we've got one here, which is probably more, more visible on the top of that building, and another one somewhere underneath these grot tanks over here. Okay, so the way this mission works, <laughs> we picked one of the simpler APOC missions. Yeah, that's right. If you hold an objective at the end of the turn, there's only right. a turn. Yeah. Uh, you get a point for That's every right. objective you nice. hold. And you hold an objective by having more units, not models, more units within six inches. Fascinating. And uh, there is objective secured, which is troop units in battalion detachments, essentially. Mm -hmm. So we both have a few of those. Yeah. Um, so it's a pretty straightforward mission. It is. Like, we're going to blast each other, but ultimately it's going to be a scrap for these two in the center. That's right. Because we both kind of have our own <laughs> locked up. Yeah, a little bit. It's whoever can hold these mm -hmm. longer... Um, and so I have a distinct firepower advantage, but you have a distinct holding advantage. Right. And so that's the dichotomy, and it's actually a typical orc versus tau dichotomy is, right there, yeah. right? So very, very straightforward. We also, there's a couple other mechanics that are introduced, um, the ruse and the twist. Oh yeah, do we want to talk about the ruse? We that's probably sure. should. Go so for it. So Adrian, the defender, gets a ruse, and his ruse, we rolled for it, mm. is an orcish ambush. <laughs> that's right. So I can take one detachment and put it into ambush, and this is going to be, basically, it's a deep strike. I actually don't know if there's a limit on how close I can get. Nine inches. Nine inches, cool. Yeah. So I've taken my, my ten eds, and yeah. they're going to be in deep strike. Uh, cool thing is you can also deep strike turn one. Yeah. So I could be right up in his face getting crumping right away. So and what did you ambush, Adrian? I, I told him. The ten eds. The ten eds. Nice. And then I do have both of my, you notice there's no def copters on the table right now. Both my def copter detachments, except for the, the commander, right. which is the biker boss, um, are also in deep strike, and they just do that natively. So that's nice. really cool. They can drop down, just unload rockets. That's uh, that's gonna be great because they actually have a lot of rocket shots. They have a lot. This is yeah. This is thirty def copters. With... They're very fragile, yeah. but they're fast, and they put out a ton of shots. Yeah, I'm curious to see. I have I have no idea. It's been so long since I've really played any sort of APOC game. Yeah, so that's now, awesome. I'm excited. Adrian gets a ruse. <laughs> Brian. It's a twist. Oh, that's right. Ooh. The twist that Brian rolled is there's orbital debris. So the, <laughs> quite literally, is orbital yeah, debris. Studios he haunted just said today. that, and something almost <laughs> fell on, on Bridger's head. <laughs> so uh, that was and, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so don't ever say the word orbit. Okay, just don't say it. Don't say the All word. Right, so the, it's like the play, right? <laughs> the Manta has shot down. The OB will come down. <laughs> yeah, the that's Manta right. Has shot down some sort of space hulk that the orcs mm. were uh, cruising around in. That's right. Yeah. And chunks of it are falling from the sky. So at That's the beginning right. of every action phase, just where the Every turn. Beginning, the game, it's like yeah. the command phase in 9th edition. Right. Yeah. Uh, each player gets to pick a point, and just to stuff takes wounds around that point. Exactly. It's, 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 it's like an orbital bombardment, basically. Let's <laughs> say it. Um, I, I didn't say the D. The, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the D word. Hopefully not. Um, and the game, actually, as we go through it, we still have hit and wound 
uh, as a typical, yeah. but it's actually a little shifted. It actually works a lot more like Age of Sigmar, more like Sigmar. in the sense where you have a two-hit profile, and then you have a two-wound profile, and it's just how good do you wound infantry or light things, and how, wound do you, how well do you wound heavy things, yeah. um, which is kind of everything tank and up. And so you actually wound on a D12s instead of That's D6s. Right. They decided to make it a little different. Yeah. So if you have a big railgun, you're really good at wounding tanks, and you're actually bad at wounding infantry, yeah, which, is cool. um, which is good. But if you have a bunch of burst cannons, they're bad at wounding tanks, but good at wounding infantry. So it's a slight change, but we're going to just tell you, hey, we need sevens to wound and we'll yeah. to wound. So and it'll be very easy. And it also helps because, again, things are so abstracted. Like, I have units of 20 boys, right. which have two wounds. Right? That's right. And so you don't actually don't remove any of the models individually. You just, once they lose all their wounds, then you take them all This is how the they speed up the game, because you yeah. activate things as a whole. You don't do individual little pile-ins. Yeah. A whole unit of orc boys just has a certain number of attacks, yeah, right? totally. And so it's great. It's, it's going to be a really great game. We're glad you're all here for it. Thank you, guys. Um, you know what? Just before we roll for our first turn's initiative, why don't we tell them a little bit about something they might have noticed, mm -hmm. which is I'm that, so excited, Brian. Is that we've actually been working right. hard the last couple of weeks, and we've put together some merch for the first time. You've probably noticed it below the video already. Yep. So from now on, on all our videos, we'll have our merch store, and we'll have some new merch coming out from time to time, but you can go to our store. I think it's uh, teespring.com slash stores. Slash tabletop Slash titans. tabletop oh, titans. Yes. And uh, They're so good basically, uh, we we put a promo code. It's APOC2020. Oh, yeah. And for 20% off. And so we've got all kinds of stuff there. Mm -hmm. Cool sweaters, of course. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, shirts and sweaters, and we've got uh, lots of accessories like stickers, even socks and mugs. Mugs are great for mugs making are great. painting cups. And we have really, really good, uh, the stickers, like the little die cut stickers are really, yeah. really great also. They're so cool. It's, it's awesome because like these emojis are really, really nice. They're so yeah. fun. And a lot of time they're so small and it's nice to, to actually just you have them blown the up. Artwork. We've definitely, we've already ordered a bunch of stuff for ourselves. That's true. So. Yeah, we went, we went hot. Um, and then we got channel specific stuff like uh, that have become popular sayings on the show. Yes. Like we got, can't change the past. Uh, <laughs> we've got good talk. We're going to be talk. creating others for sure. Yeah. Um, so lots of fun stuff. Go check it out. Yeah. And uh, if you like some, pick it up. Totally. All right, are we ready to get going? I think we're ready for I our think, first uh, thing. I think we should get going. Our first so initiative you got turn. a yellow dice. Oh, thank you, thank this you. This is just initiative on the first turn, so it's not like the winner here gets to blast the other one off the table That's or anything. Right. We no. just get to activate <laughs> one, one thing first. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Oh, I missed entirely. Oh, oh so that's the orcs. Sounds good. So orcs have initiative turn one. Cool, cool. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually draw some cards. Yeah, that's oh, right. I don't. You don't technically do it first. It all happens at the same time. So... We didn't tell you about this. We, we each have a deck of 30 cards. Yeah. We got to make it before the game. And these are like stratagems. Mm -hmm. But instead of spending command points, we just use the cards. Right. Now, every turn at the start of the turn, we draw one card for each warlord on the table. Essentially, every detachment mm -hmm. that has a character in it gets a warlord. Right. And so for every warlord, we get to draw one. Um, and as if we lose warlords, we lose the number of cards we can draw each turn. We can only hold the hand size of 10. Mm -hmm. So if we ever draw more than that, mm -hmm. then... Uh, then we'll have to discard. That's right. And my Warlord, Gaz, has uh, the brutal but cunning, I mean, yeah. cunning but brutal Warlord trait. It's not actually that. But it gives me, on a 4+, plus, I get another card. That's great. And that happens at the start of the, this, of this phase, too, right? Yeah, that's right. Cool, cool, cool. Sounds good. So let's draw our cards, and, yep. then, uh, and then we can take it to the next bit. Do you want to, while we're drawing our cards, do you want to uh, maybe read a Super Chat? Yeah, yeah so the, ju just, because um, there were some questions about it. The APOC 2020 code works until next Sunday. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Thank, I mean, thanks for calling we'll that give out. about a week to do it. Uh, so that's until the 20th. Yeah. Should last. Can I, uh, sorry, can I get a dice cam real quick? This yeah. For my cunning but brutal. Oh my god. Okay, that one to, did actually bounce. We're going to actually have to be more delicate with this dice box. Yeah. So the funny right, thing so is no the more. table's so large that it's over top of our dice tray. So yeah. we actually had to get a temporary dice tray to put on top. This one's so um, So deep. actually keep the dice tray. I get a CP on a four up. Oh, that's my oh tray you're also cunning but brutal. So I do, I do, not a CP. I get a, a, a <laughs> an extra card. Yeah. All right. Great. Sorry. Go ahead, Bridger. You were saying. Um, no. That, yeah. That was it. That was. Uh, so the the promo code works for a week right now, and that's twenty percent off. That's a that's, that's a, a good big discount. discount. Yep. Next year, you know how much it's gonna be? It's gonna be APOC twenty twenty one. That's right. Bridger was very adamant off. about this. <laughs> He's yeah. very very. So I I was able to draw six cards um, because I had that extra one. So exactly. it's five plus the the extra. So uh, and let me confirm mine. I've got one. I've got the battalion fast attack. That's two. Another three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I actually have eight. Cool. So I'm going to get eight cards. That's great. So the cards are really, really strong. You'll see them as we play them. Um, and we keep them secret from one another. But they can have big impacts. Mm. So I'm, I'm really into it. Yeah. No, um, it's cool. It's fun. OK. So here's what we're going to do next. In secret, we each get to pick the actions yep. that we want to put on all of our units. Mm -hmm. 
and then uh, we're going to take turn revealing them. You're going to actually get to reveal first. Now, do you have any cards you want to use right at this specific moment? Uh, give me two seconds, and okay, I have a question Okay, why don't we do about... another super chat? Oh, my, so my deep strike, though, how does that go for activations? Um, I it's, think... It, it is a detachment. So I just, yeah. like... Put them somewhere. Oh, I think you actually deep strike before orders. I you deep strike now. Yeah, so we'll, we'll deep strike and then we'll do orders. Okay? Yep. So let's read our cards. You want to Sounds do another good. super chat? Carry we'll, on. we'll take it from there. Uh, yeah, thanks. Nurgle's Chosen Son. What are the Titans' favorite faction in 40k and why is it Death Guard or Nurgle? <laughs> I love Death Guard. Right now I'm loving the Necrons. The mm, that's true. Death Guard is a, is a, a, a favorite on the channel. It for is us. a favorite. <clears throat> it is a favorite. We, we both have. A, a big Death Guard collection. So I obviously love the Tau a lot. Yeah. The only thing depressing my love for the Tau right now is that the rules are kind of not, <laughs> not that fun. But in Apocalypse, the rules are amazing. In fact, I didn't actually tell you, the Tau have a special rule that allow them to shoot even when engaged. Yeah. And so there's no Overwatch in this game. And so he can just come in and tag me. I can shoot with my entire detachment at the, the units that are engaging me. So that is my ability. I do it at a minus one. So it's kind of like 9th edition where tanks fire in combat. That's right. But it's actually really strong. Yeah. Um, and it allows my army to to get tagged and still be shooting. Right. I really think they should actually do something like this for 9th edition Tau. I think it's really, really fantastic. Okay, yeah. So you do set up your reinforcements before giving they, out orders? Yeah, because then you put the orders on. And cool. then you put an order next to them, and they get to like a full turn. That's so they awesome. can deep strike and then move. And they can move. Wild. Yeah. Because well, that's how they charge. can charge, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so there's yeah. no charging in this game. Have we talked about it's, that? It's, yeah, we did. We did. Yep. So you get a guaranteed charge out of Deep Strike. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing that, right? Um, <laughs> you do have a lot of Deep Strike. I right? have Deep Striking, yeah, turn yeah. one. Because we're doing this, guys. We're, we're going all in. He's doing I'm excited. it. Okay, um, let's do another Super Chat. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Rithvin Fang, I'm scared to build my new knights. Any advice? They're much more complex than smaller minis, mm. and I want to magnetize them. Maybe just send best, wish best wishes. Uh, you should magnetize your knights, yeah. and what you should also do is... Um, not just magnetize, but you really look online to see the best way to magnetize the weapons because there's a lot of different techniques you can do. Yeah. Um, you don't need to magnetize everything. Like the carapace weapons, I have those magnetized a few of my knights. It's a lot more extra, a lot of extra work. But, you know, you get more value out of it. So it's a good idea. Yeah. It's, All right, so you're deep striking. We're coming in with the dinads right away. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> I have Ooh. no idea if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but it's an idea. Um, do we know if the merch ships internationally? Does Teespring do that? Yes, it does. Um, uh, Teespring operates in many, many countries. There's some products in our store that are only available in the U.S. right now. I think the stickers might only be U.S., but okay. everything else is international. Mm. Um, I can't tell you the full list of every country, um, but actually the store should only show up for you right. in the countries that it's available. So if it's showing up, it should be available to you. Yep. Um, and uh, as you go through the checkout, you'll see Interesting. Um, how, it, how it works, basically. And uh, at least when I looked at it yesterday, I think, they were saying that they can still get them delivered by Christmas. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's you absolutely want some true. some cheeky little Tabletop Titans merch for Christmas. Yeah, man. All right, thanks, Charlie. Uh, <laughs> wait, did we answer that question? We did. Yeah, nice. I yeah. don't know. Thanks, Charlie. Inquisition should be Imperium. Take on Yanari with different Ordos having different unit requirements, but after that, free pickings. Oh, that'd be interesting. That would be cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm super into that. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't approach it more like that in, in a lot of that ways. That would be cool. Because there's so much pressure. I would totally it. play that. Like, if Inquisition was a legit army, yeah. yeah, that would be my favorite army. Totally. Just, like, off the lore. They're, they're so dope. Uh, thanks again, Charlie. I.e., Order Xenos has to be 50% Xenos, but then can pick other Imperial units for the rest of the army. Ordos Hereticus, 50% Sisters, and Malleus, 50% Great Knights. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, that's right. I would love that. Oh man, if I look could like, at, look at this deep knights. strike. This is so epic. <laughs> it's so um, awesome. it's coming in from reserve. <laughs> <laughs> I love how just like no mucking about. Like, Your just, deep strike is just like a just giant portion it. of the board. Deep strike is horrendous. I'm probably gonna get the deaf coppers too after this. So. <laughs> oh yeah. He did deep strike 30 deaf coppers. That's true. Oh yeah, and this <laughs> game this game has deep strike turn one. Um, which you, obviously is very, very strong. But um, it has deep strike turn one, which uh, which is great. You do alternate. Yes. If, uh, Brian if I, did... I don't have any deep strikers, okay. I have everything in Manta Strike, yeah. um, which is, they're coming out of the Manta! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's not actually called Manta Strike. Uh, they're just, a, they're just a inside the Manta. Right. Command range is 6 or 12? It's uh, 12. It's 12. Cool. Sounds yeah. good. Because I'm, I'm pushing Because this, this whole thing is one detachment. This is right? one detachment. Yeah. <laughs> and I've got my... It's so big! My force field here. And it's yeah. to, to the unit, not to every model. So like if you have a yeah. big model, big unit of death yeah. right. you just need one of them in Yeah, it's range. awesome. Cool. So rad. All right, Def Cop is coming up. Thanks again, Charlie. Ordos Xenos has to be 50% Death Watch. 
Ooh. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I, nice. Yeah, I do like the, uh, the, the fan codex that you just wrote. I think yeah. You should flush this out, and then I'll play it. Heck yeah. That sounds great. Yeah, I'm into that. Thanks, Super Reedy. Can't wait to see who will come out victorious. No, not Tower Orcs, silly. I mean, between my poor UK-based eyelids and the length of this game. <laughs> Emperor willing, I shall hold the line. We're we're gonna we're gonna try to play it quick um, yeah. because it's obviously a big game. It's gonna be a lot easier for the Tau than the Orcs. Uh, the Orcs just have a, a higher model count, um, <laughs> which uh, which is pretty orky. Yeah. Um, but for the for the Tau, it should go pretty quick. I have what ten times as many models as you. <laughs> Do you? I'm not sure actually. It's something crazy. You I, have. An absurd number of models. I was trying to explain to Brian how many models I had for this game. And he's like, oh, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. He's like, wow, you have, you have a lot of models. <laughs> you know? Thanks, Big Wrench Kev. Hey, Kev. Uh, or hey, Kev here from the Pit Stop Titans. Some guys keep asking us in Q&A about some Army Man war game. Is this your doing? <laughs> and W2F is a reboot. A reboot. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, is somebody from our channel going to another yeah. channel? That's that awesome. That sounds amazing. <laughs> um, awesome. I'm representing uh, Rebute here. I've got the Ultramarine yeah. sweater on. Uh, I didn't have a festive uh, greater good sweater for you, uh, but now the channel does, so maybe next time I'll, I'll pick up one of ours. Uh, we've got two fun Tau shirts. We've got the drone one, uh, where the drone's just taking the hit, and then we've got uh, the laughing... Uh, uh, Tao guy who's who's just laughing about the Riptide going They're burr. so good. It's so stylish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry guys. I had to put them back here so they're within 12 of the commander. Um, yeah. And normally I'd do say... Do you want to bring them down this turn then? Yes I do. Because you have a ton of rockets. I have a ton of rockets and they have a ton of move. So like I can still just jump over here and, sh and shoot so that's fine. Um, yeah. Sounds great. Yep. Awesome. Um, thanks, Carrie. Orcs are my long-term home army, but I do have a 2.5k Tau Force. Oh, you're loving both oh. of this. That being said, I just want the Grot tanks to do work. Grot tanks! Right. Oh, these little gits, we'll, they're going to do great. They're so cool. Grot tanks are super rad. Um, what, a, what a fun idea. Oh my god, there's so many. The funny thing is, so we've, um, we've got uh, two crate mountains on the board here. Uh, Adrian's destroying one with his sweater, but we got one over here, and they're babies on this board. Like, they're normally great <laughs> yeah. mountains are like these imposing things that block line of sight. Right. But they're nothing. Everything is towering <laughs> over top of them. It's so great. It's awesome. It's like we should have made an apocalypse grade crate mountain. That's right. It like goes all the way up to the ceiling or something. <laughs> it just blocks <laughs> like, out, Brian. Yeah, it's exactly. It's like the only apocalypse yeah, thing on the board is the is the crate mountain. Okay, I'm back. You deployed. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> oh um, I have the choice to get out of my transport. I will not. Mm -hmm. That's um, part of your movement. You can give orders to the people inside oh, the transport, okay. and they can like move to get out. But yeah, they have to do it before the transport moves. Correct. Yeah, great. Cool deal. Um, okay, let's secretly put some action, some orders. So as I yeah. said, we, we in, secret, in secretly, we can allow them to move and shoot, mm -hmm. move and fight, double move and fight, um, or um, stand and shoot. Yeah. Heck yeah. So let's go with that. I'm, I'm, I've actually put secret orders on most of my units already. Um, oh, nice. So that's going to mm. make my life a little easier. <laughs> Thanks, Neme bro. Hey, Titans. First time seeing an APOC game, and I am stoked. Me I too. hear they have a weird rule where both players take their turns before killing models. Do you think that could work for 40k? I think, uh, I think it could. It's a huge change to the game. It is. Um, but I think it could work, uh, ultimately. I think so. I think it's... I've heard, um, you know, a lot, a lot of people have discussed things like um, Infinity as these other form of like I go, you go game, um, which it's, it's interesting because it kind of get, makes it more interactive, but it also makes the game much, much slower. And yeah. I think Apocalypse does a couple iterations off that that are interesting in that they make it faster, but also uh, it, it, it works at, at that scale. You know what I don't like about Infinity style games? What's that? Talk I don't get to chime in with Super Chats because you guys will just play the whole game. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's just like, I go, oh, I'm interrupting you. All right, back to me going, oh, then I'm going to go. Oh, now I'm going. <laughs> like, wait, Where's the time for Super Chats? Right. Come on. They should have designed their game around Super Chats. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ariatha. You guys ready? Yeah. I, I've placed all my orders, yeah. But you can keep Are going. you ready for Ariatha? Oh, yeah, Ariatha. Let's hit it. Over the channel comes a great noise. It's the sound of some green toys. <laughs> it's a great tide. Buckle up for the ride. Boys, 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 boys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> so epic. 
<laughs> Everybody loves orcs. Like, who doesn't love orcs? Nobody doesn't, doesn't love orcs. Yeah, I know a lot. There's a few people who complain that they're a little cartoony for the grimdark. Yeah, but I uh, I love that. <laughs> I love the silliness about them. Um, I'm I'm all in. I think it's great. I actually think they should take it further. Yes. Lean into it even more. Uh, like Gloom Spike Kid. Yeah, yeah, like AOS. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right, good and good. That should be all my detachments. Cool deal. Did you, did you do it? I will note that I definitely uh, mixed up the symbols in the wrong way. So. <laughs> so the red is the double move and fight. The green is the move and shoot or move and fight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, you, I'll, you, you trust me? <laughs> yeah. You get on that? <laughs> you trust me. All right. So initiative order. You get to activate the first unit. That's right. Uh, I kind of want to put and, my Oh, and there in. is cards. If you have any cards, you want oh, to use. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, like, if, if there's cards you want to use before, because you have initiative, it's Did your, you guys read your job. cards? Do you know what they do? I didn't memorize all of them. Tangentially, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know. I generally have, like, two cards. It's so I, I much. Whenever you use a card, just, like, read it word for word so that we know what's going on. Yep. <laughs> yep. Because I don't know what any of the cards do. Mm-hmm. All right, well, while you're reading, thanks, Blue Belly. <laughs> happy APOC Day, Titans. Yes, happy yeah, APOC Day. Happy APOC Day. Been in the hobby since I was eight with the third edition starter, painting by hand for 15 years. Is it time for an airbrush for Hanukkah? Yes. Yes, do it. Yeah, this is something that... It was 12 days of painting. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, this, I mean, this is the time to get all the hobby, hobby pro projects done, right? Um, the I, I, I went without an airbrush for a long, long time. Mm. Actually, this is a great army as an example. Um, it went kind of unfully painted for many many years most years i own them until i got an airbrush and it just made it easier and fun fun to do and uh i still do a ton of brush work but it just takes like the boring parts out you i know? agree it's yeah. like a, it's like a pleasure to do the base coats now yeah right you love doing airbrush i do i don't whenever we do projects you're like i'll do the airbrush you do the hand stuff and like, <laughs> fine <laughs> uh all right who are we activating first all right um i think we're gonna go ahead and activate the tin heads first. The tin heads, yeah. Yep. So what order did you put on them? So, <laughs> regardless of what that says, oh, okay. I'm going to move and do a thing. Okay. Um, but that's the double move, isn't it? No, that's the move and do a thing. Oh, okay. You nailed it, Adrian. Wait, what's the double move one? The red one. This is double move? The one that's like assaulting. The one that's charge? The one that's combat. Oh, it's move, because it's move, move, and you could fight if you're in. It's move, move, and only fight, basically. And only fight. Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. I see. That's fine. All right, so we're going to go with the tin heads first. All right. Um, so yeah, my first action is a move. Yep. And um, let's move them up. Yeah, let's do it. All right. <laughs> you want to do another question? Happy to I'd take. I'd love to. Thanks again, Blue Belly. Love the content. Hello. It's inspired me to new heights in the hobby. Oh, thank you. Could I get a shout out from my amazing brother Samuel, whom I share a love of 40k with? What's what up, up Samuel? Samuel? Share that 40k. It's this so important. Like that's why we do it, right? You can play with your your family and friends, and yeah, I yeah. feel connected to Samuel because I also share his love for 40k. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This, uh, honestly, an APOC is one of the reasons I love 40k. Actually, I when I used to go to my narrative club, I would play an Apocalypse great game at least once a month, and uh, it was a big thing for me. Yeah. Um, I always love to put big big units on the table. That's why I collect so many models. In this case, actually, the Manta and the Tiger Sharks and the Town Hours are actually on loan to us today from our good friend Israel Sanchez. Yeah. He's actually, you might have seen these models online, he uh, posts uh, photos of Tau kind of pretty prolifically. Mm -hmm. um, he's a legendary Tau painter. Um, I think he actually sold these models not too while, not too long back to someone else. But yeah. that person, actually I don't know their name, was uh, generous enough to uh, to lend them to us. Right. So really, uh, really God for that. It's actually like APOC with Izzy that yeah. cemented my love for Warhammer. Like I yeah, was getting into he it. He ran an annual APOC game yeah. uh, up in like NorCal. In Reading, yeah. Redding. That was like a billion points it was a, like a yeah. hundred thousand points per it was side. Yeah. every year israel would bring all of his how and they would pick factions that like yeah. people could scrap together enough to fight us so israel owned right israel owned over like one hundred fifty thousand points of the most beautifully painted tau he has like tau va tattooed on him literally yeah, yeah. <laughs> um he is uh definitely a legendary tau player yeah and he did this huge game right it would take like a couple days he'd rent it he'd have to specifically rent a truck yeah, he rented to a move van. his tow models it uh, was like a bit it was one of those long bands yeah yeah with yeah. all the shelves in it it yeah, was great it's crazy that's awesome and um, it was so they're so welcoming like i came yeah, with yeah. my two thousand points of like really ugly highlighter green tau <laughs> and they were like yeah come on man like throw it in let's join and here that's cool here's like fifteen thousand points of tau for you to play yeah with your own two thousand points and i was like i love it oh that's so great so uh, right off the bat, because I didn't realize how I'm now seeing the math on that deep strike, because all the Kale Cans move six, the Gorkonauts move eight, so none of them could melee after uh, if I'm only doing a single move, right? Oh, okay. So I'll be out of range, so I'm going to immediately just burn a card to fix my mistake. Here we go! Okay, and this immediately changes my 
um, my order here into the assault order. To the assault. Yeah. yeah. There's a couple cards that do that. They let you change an order. It's going to be uh, nice this great. game. So what you're going to do is double move and fight. Yep, exactly. Okay. Um, so that's it. I don't think I could get these guys in just because there's not enough surface area. Sure. Um, well, I guess I could do this. I forgot. I can actually like stand on stuff. Great. So then yeah, get a few more in combat. In. Yeah, exactly. So we'll go there because they're basically moving the 12. Mm -hmm. And in that case, this Kelly can would just go here. Yeah, and so I anticipated uh, first turn uh, charge here. What I was going to do, actually, um, is I was actually going to put the flyers right in the front. Yeah, so I couldn't. Um, yeah. So you couldn't do it. I'll tell you why I didn't do it. Because I was worried if I put this flyer in the center middle, yeah. I would knock it over oh. if I went to reach for it. <laughs> yes. So uh, the stands for these this flyers are plan. super tall. Um, but that actually is the real tactic. Um, but <laughs> right. I, I'm more... I care more about the physical model mm. than its on on table representation. I, I appreciate you know that. What I mean? Yeah. So because the so I can't move over these stands. Yeah, that's right. But I can move over the manta. Yeah. Stand. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. Sounds good. So let's get crumping, shall we? Okay. Are these going to move twelve as well? Um. So I do. Or are those two separate detachments? No, this is all one detachment. Okay. But again, I can't attack this flyer. That's right. Did um, you want to at least take your movement, or are you just trying to stay on the point? Well, I want to hold the point, right? Got it. Isn't that... <laughs> no, no, so you want to double move. Oh, you're all within 12 of the point anyways. Within six. Within six. Six, and you sorry, said, and six. So because it's units. And it's just so units. Boom, yeah. it's units. Boom, 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 and boom. Great. All in the point. I guess I can go. I can bring these guys up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they just kind of want to stand there. That makes so, perfect sense. So let's do this thing. So right. let's start with... Now you get to fight. Gorkonaut. This is going to so be So what's actually one. in combat? You've got two Gorkonauts yep. and then two units of... Uh, one unit of uh, Death Dreads. One unit of Cans, one unit of Death, death Dreads. All right. Let's and do this And they're all thing. into... Well, I've got one Riptide here that you're in combat with, and then yep. one Riptide there. Exactly. Combat with. So we're going to start with this orange Gorkonaut, make it easy because he can only attack one. Okay. Um, let's go ahead my and do this Yeah, so he's got two attacks. Okay. Um, and this is going to be with his Claw of Gork or Mork. We That's don't it. Really know. Two D6s, so D6 to hit. What does he hit on? Hitting on threes. Let's do this thing. Hoo All right. Oh, yeah. One so, it's a start. It's a start. Uh, I'm going to let it go. Yep. And what's he wound on? This is wounding on. Thank you. And I'm heavy, so wounding against tanks? Uh, five. All right. Five to wound. Yeah, awesome. Uh, that's great. Cool. So, okay, so that's uh, so weird. that's the first nice damage marker. So we've got little damage markers and big ones. I'm going to put a little damage marker next to that Riptide. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good. Uh, awesome. Let's go ahead and do the... Uh, we'll do the other Gorkon on the other side. So we have yeah, this pulled same up. thing. Yep, so we, got, we have two, two attacks hitting on threes. Okay. Both hit this time. And then on okay. fives, let's do this. There's well, one wound. One not wound. I might want to use a command card. So there are... There are command cards that allow you to reroll hits or wounds. Yes. Um, so they're fairly generic cards, so we could burn that. Just trying to put some damage up on these things, you know? Yeah, exactly. Wow, those black dice are, like, entirely illegible. Oh, are they? are they really? Do you do you want to turn it? the light above you off, the dice cam light? It's just that little power button right there. Does it help uh, at all? Nope, not at all. Turn Ooh. it back on. <laughs> turn it back on, yeah. Um, they're, they're shiny dice. These are the ones that come with the APOC. Um, and the other ones, in. which are hard our, to read. Our white but... dice are fine. But we don't have any other D12s. D12s, yeah, yeah. that's true. Um, All right. I'm going to let it go through because I have like zap guns and stuff that oh. will probably be better. For the rerolls. For the rerolls. Yes, yeah. that's right. Okay, so my Riptide has taken one wound each. Keep in mind, Riptides have three wounds in this game. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's doing some wounds. So I'll just yeah. run well, over and drop the point. they haven't taken... They've taken No, no, they've taken damage. Each. I, I still have decent armor. They've so not right. taken damage. They've taken yeah. blasts. Blast, yeah. Which might turn into damage, but you get saves later. Okay. One thing I like about and, this... Is yeah. that your uh, activations are entirely on your side. Yeah. Right? Brian doesn't do anything while you're activating. He doesn't right. have to take saves. That's he just, right. Like, you play your thing uninterrupted. Yeah. yeah. No, it's cool. So we'll do the Death Dreads next. I've got three Death Dreads. How many attacks? Uh, one except attack me. each. I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah. What that? It's except me. I'm going to interrupt oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> like you just did. All that was good. good. That was good. Uh, making sure I'm not missing anything else. Yep. On threes. Let's do this. All good. And then uh, three of those. This is going to be wounding on. This is the SAT profile. Yeah, yes, thanks. Uh, on, is this claws or saws? Uh, what? Cl uh, claws, I guess. I okay. Uh, they all, so it's on an A+, plus, so two of them go through. All right. And this is on this, this closer one. The, this one here? Yep. Yeah. So he's taken three small blasts. Oh, dang. To start. Sounds good. So that's actually, every two small blasts counts as one big. Um, and one big, the problem, the thing with bigs is yeah, they're actually harder to have armor saves against. Right. And uh, so that's just a thing to keep in mind. Sounds good. All right, we're going to go into the Killicans now. This is a, a three-man. Um, and are they going into the other Riptide? No, I want to put more onto this Riptide. I Got think it. I, I need to focus a bit more. Yeah, you want to kill a thing. Exactly. So they have four attacks total. This is hitting on uh, fives because they're, okay. you know, Killicans. Not bad. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then this is going to be... D12s. I'm keep, yep. Beep, 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 beep. Killican weapons, seven, seven plus. 
Okay. Right, so one more. One more. So that's a big blast on the other one as well. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's this entire detachment activated. That's it. So you can see it's way simplified, right? Okay. Once you can get used to all the Now, the nice thing is I am tagged here, but uh, this whole detachment actually has options. Yeah. Uh, for instance, fly, because it's 8th edition, fly can fall back and shoot. Right. And also I could shoot in combat. Very because nice. you're tapped. Because I'm tapped. Because you're tapped. Okay. Um, well, let's do some activations. Yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we? Um, I think uh, there's, there's no perfectly obvious thing. So when you have things that are close together, sure. you want to activate such that you can kind of uh, interrupt your opponent's plan. For instance, let's say I put a stand and shoot on them, yeah. and then you came in and tagged them. Now right. I have to shoot you here, exactly. even though there might have been a better target. Right. Um, so there's little things like mm -hmm. that where matter. None of your other stuff is going to be in a great range to tag. To, to tag. Yeah. Um, you could do it with the uh, with the coptas, coptas, yeah. but then they wouldn't be shooting, and they have much better shooting profiles. Their rockets are awesome. And yeah. because I shoot in combat, you'd just be like tagging me, and I'd yeah. be like, no, you're Surprise. in here with me. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> This is giving me flashbacks to uh, the previous edition. Uh, that's, uh. that's true. Um, okay, so why don't we go first. I'm going to activate this heavy detachment over here with the broadsides and the Arvarna, Ooh, and we're going to try to take out some of these coptas. Let me um, guess. You did stand and shoot. I did. <laughs> oh, look at you. Aha, so shocking. Stand and shoot. Um, they're going to stand. They're garrisoning that building. Uh, Bridger, you want to talk to us about garrisoning? Yeah, so you can garrison buildings in APOC. Yep. And it's actually really funny and kind of orky the way the rule works. Yeah. If you can fit all your models on the building and they're all light, you are garrisoning the building now, which means um, you sort of just go to the edge of the building, put all your models in, they're garrisoning, you draw a line of sight to and from the building, you shoot the building, uh, and they get a six-up save, which mm. is important because orcs have yeah. poop saves. How do, do character auras work from buildings as well? Yeah, you okay. just, you're the building now. Right. You are yeah, the building. everything is using that. That's great. So um, what I am doing with this detachment is my commander is calling Cow Yawn, and this means if you uh, stand still, oh, you get right. to reroll your hits. Um, and so I do have a commander in this detachment, so he's going to be doing that, and uh, it's just going to let me hit a little better yeah. uh, this turn. So I'm into I'm into that. Let's uh, let's do it. I'm just going to pull up the broadside battle suit. Can you pull up the uh, Coptus profile? I can't find my card. Oh, uh, it's on paper. No, no, it's not on paper. No, it's not a forge rule. Uh, I can pull it up. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Um, so again, we mentioned this earlier, but all the rules for the game are free, guys. Um, all the data sheets yeah. are. We have That's the cards true. here because it makes it easier because you can see there's, a, see there's a ton of profiles. And so we printed out the forge world stuff, and then um, uh, Bridge is just going to grab the Def Coptus for me. Um, I don't know where it went. So, anyways. Okay, and the Death Copters are light. They're not actually tanks. Is that right? They're uh, not heavy. Well, we're going to find out in just a second. They're, Great. they're probably heavy. <laughs> they're probably heavy? Yeah. They're vehicles. Oh. Mm, that's interesting. Okay. Well, we'll see. Uh, they are vehicles, they unfortunately. They are heavy. Yep. Oh, they're heavy. Pretty much all vehicles Remember are how in, in, in Warhammer, I hate that they're vehicles? Yeah, that's that, true. That whole thing. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, what we've got is we've got the uh, broadsides here. Yep. So, we're going to start by putting their smart missile systems, um, which... Uh, Okay, because they're yeah they're heavy. They're actually winning. I thought they were light because uh, they. I thought they were more like crisis suits, <laughs> uh, which crisis suits are light. Right. Um, huh. Because I can't actually wound heavy with broadsides. Right. Uh, broadsides are really really bad at wounding heavy. Hmm. So I might actually wait if you don't mind to activate them because I thought. That's yeah, what, no worries. And just to on. give you some more information, make sure you have everything. Um, these guys should be just a bit farther back, but basically this is five a unit five units of three over here. Five units of three over two here. Two separate detachments or one detachment? It's two separate detachments. Mm -hmm. The ones here, are they have the KFF, so we'll be minus one to be wounded. Mm -hmm. And these guys do not. Okay, Just okay. so you have all the info. Um, Five units of three. <laughs> I hate it. This is something, I don't know why they did it. Everything about this game is streamlined, except for the fact that a lot of these units you can take only in, in, in smaller squads than normals, like yeah, Death Copters. Yeah. So I have, <laughs> what do I have? Uh, yeah, I have a ton. Of, I have ten squads of, of three, is that what it is? Yeah. Mm. So, anyways, decisions, okay. decisions. All right. Okay. So I've got my discard pile here. How's everyone doing in chat? You chat take one? is super excited about this promo code. Oh, uh, good. I'm it's fine. a great deal. Uh, you know what? Let's just do it. I, I'm, I'm not going to make any more, take any more time. So, yeah, no I'm going to go into the ones that are not minus one to wound. You got it. Because yep. uh, <laughs> minus one to wound sounds horrible. Yeah. So, we've got uh, the broadsides there. They've got two shots each, two, four. And it's... Six. Oh yeah, you can do one at a time because it's three different units. Yeah, yeah and I units. have I have actually several different units in there. Cool. So we're going first with the the first broadside units with uh, the the missile pods. Uh -huh. So broadsides normally hit on fours. I'm threes because of aimed fire, and cool. I'm rerolling everything. Nice because of Kalyon. 
So we didn't need it. Yeah. So that's six. Sounds good. So we only wound here on nines. Oh, wow. Yeah, because they wound infantry or light things on seven. Yeah. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like a 25% chance. Nine. It's really bad. Um, now, I do have. <laughs> I was going to play a card to help me out here, but I'll save it for something more important. Mm. All right, nines. Let's do it. So oh! one, two, three, so four, illegible. five. It's... Can we try these dice and see if they're... That's what I was going to say. I know they're bad, but they might be better. Which ones do you have? The, the uh, other oh, apocalypse. we bought other we bought other official apocalypse dice, and uh, we didn't use them because these are illegible. so that was five. So let's five. see, let's oh, see, yeah. can you see these? No, there's no way you can see those. They're less shiny. But are they let's legible? See, at if all? I blow up the dice cam like a bunch, okay. No, no, no. Still, Sorry, uh, still shined out. All right. Well, listen. You can see the d6s, the d12s. So you have to take our word for it. So one, two, three, four, five. That's five blast markers they've taken. So two big, one small. Sounds good. Uh, not not bad. <laughs> Let's do the uh, smart missile systems. That's another That's six. So good. Two, four, six. Let's go. Hitting on threes, and re-rolling my misses. Right. Very so that's nice. another six hits. Mm -hmm. Again nines. Two, four. Yeah. But hey, listen. If I keep it going. <laughs> Gosh. Um, nowhere near as Three. good. So just two more. So another big blast on them. Yep. How many wounds does this whole unit have? Uh. Let me see. And then I'm, I'm going to go with it's my... It's a big blast and a small, right? Uh, no, I only did two wounds, so it's one oh, more big blast. Oh, you just did two. So they should have three big blasts and one small. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> because they had a small already. Yeah. Uh, what's the wound count on this unit? It's a three-man? Uh, I Mr. believe they have three wounds. Three yeah, wounds? Yeah, they have three wounds. Yeah. Um, and they have eight up saves. Great. So let's take the next broadside unit into the next three-man squad. Sounds good. Okay? Yep. All right. So this is going to be the... Uh, this is going to be the missile pods. Okay, and hitting on threes, so mm -hmm. re rolling the twos from Kao Yan. Yes. Great, so there's just uh, one, two, three, four. Um, on nines. Okay, so two. two wounds. All right, so that's one big. So it's one big blast. And then we're going to go with the smart missile systems. Um, re rolling the twos. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, there you go. So there's what? First conversion. Two, four. Oh, that's all six. Yeah. Two, four, six. Nines. Uh, one. Just one small, mm -hmm. one more. Yep. So we got one small big, blast. one small. Okay. Now what we've got is the commander. Uh, the commander is going to try and uh, go into them as well. Okay. He has uh, uh, two missile pods. Yeah. So these are the same. So just two shots, I believe. Let me just double check. No worries. Missile pods. Um, oh, it's on my main sheet. So um, we'll do that in a second. Uh, Bridger, can you just quickly look up the missile pod for the commander? I thought it was on his data sheet. Missile pod. It might be on oh, the crisis data sheet. No, there's a... There's a sheet that no, just right has here. all it's those right weapons. Yeah. The missile pod is just one attack. So two attacks from his two missile pods, yeah. all right? He hits on twos. Great. And then he's going to wound again on nines. Uh, no. Cool. Okay. Let's go with the Arvarna. Mm. And let's put its shots into... So we might kill one squad. Yeah. Right? How many wounds did you say they have? Three. They have three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the other squad has only taken one big blast, one small. You got it. So we'll try to wipe that squad yeah. while we can. Um, and the Arvarna has two pulse ammunition cannons. Mm. So that's six shots. Sounds Three, good. four, five, six. And he's going to be hitting on threes. Rerolling. Oof. Thankfully. Kayon. Okay. Is that actually Kayon? Uh, it is Kayon. Yes, ah, I said the tower. So oh, then it's five. Did the thing. And then this one is wounding on sixes. So just oh, a bit better. A little bit. A little bit. Um, oh, that's all, that's all of them. So that's uh, five. So five more. So two big blasts, one small. You got it. So I think uh, I think I got those. Yeah. Well, so oh, that's, that's a good idea. If you put a die under the dice tray on one side to tilt it, oh, you won't well, get as much clear. Um, can we try that? I, here, I have Briefly? smaller things that we can that prop it with. Too much of a tilt. Hold on. I have yeah. smaller things we can tilt it with. Yeah, let's try that. And we'll see if that cuts the glare at all. But yeah. probably not too much. Uh, nope. You want to tilt it the other way? Towards the light. Okay, got it. I don't know, man. We're just we're just trying we're things. In the shadow. Chat wants to see the dice. I know. Yeah, me too. Uh, that is actually significantly better. Really? But yes, I can see that that was a five. Will... Hold on. Let me make this bigger. That's a one. I can see that. <laughs> okay, great. Let's live with it. Dope. Yeah, okay. we solved it, chat. It's streaming. Got Thank the you. scientist in chat. Was so that? listen, that's, uh, that's my activation with that heavy detachment. So uh, your detachment next. All right, sounds good. Um, yeah, like you said, most of the ordering doesn't matter now. From here on out, it doesn't matter too, too much. No. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So let's go ahead and do uh, Stompa. No, no, not Stompa. We need to do, it actually doesn't matter for me. doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter how we interact with you. 
but it matters for me getting out of the way and moving and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that's right. So we will go ahead and do uh, the deaf copters that you just shot at. That's right. And we're going to hop them over. And what, uh, what action did they put? Oh, yeah. They're also move and attack. Double move and attack? No, move and, oh. sh move and attack. Whatever. Okay, yeah. So like move said, and shoot? I have no idea what this actually shows. That's so. great. Cool. And this is where we find out if I can reach the middle of the table. Do they also move for 14 just like in? Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Sounds good. Yeah, so they mostly just like straight ported over data sheets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's only a couple things they really had to change. Sounds good. And this is all the some... yellow ones or not quite? Because uh, I can get to the other side and help you move too if you want. Yeah, no worries. Um, we're gonna have to, I'm going to have to organize and kind of figure out. Okay, great. All right, you let's take do some question? super chats. Let's Thanks. do it. Ethereal, hey Titans, great to see the APOC game with Tau and Flyers on the board. Rarely see Flyers in games. That's true. Can they be competitive, and should they be more lethal like Eldar and Imperial Guard ones? Uh, they look great, shame not to see them on the board. Yeah. I think they, um, they're a difficult balance. I think 9th edition has better rules for them than 8th edition. In 9th edition, of course, they've really solidified uh, which secondaries they can do. Now, they can still do some behind the enemy lines and things like that, and engage in all fronts. So I think they should probably They can reduce. engage not behind. Uh, oh, is that true? Because behind would be too easy with flyers. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought they still had the ability to do that. But um, the, anyways... The they, secondary like calls out, aircraft can't do it. Yeah, I think they... And not having multiple negatives to hit them uh, means that they're not so hard to interact with. Right. So in in some cases, they're, they're balanced that way. I think they could make them a little stronger in some ways. Their absolute strengths can become weird liabilities in a way where um, people used to use them to fly over and snipe a character and things like that. And that kind of stuff can get become real shenanigans -y real quick. Mm -hmm. So I like the idea that they're just tanks that can't really be tagged, and they're always shooting, and they're always going to have line of sight. But people always have line of sight to them. One change I would love to see is I know when you put them in reserve in 9th edition, you can uh, deep strike them. I think all planes should have deep strike just for free. I don't want to be paying right. points to do it. Sounds good. So you're bolstering the center point. Yep. Because listen, it's a game of it's a game of objectives here. And like you said, you have the firepower here. I have the bodies. And I have the units, right? This yeah. is actually where the small units is good for me, right? Yeah. Because it's the number of units within range. So I've moved them up, got them within the custom force fields here, um, and we're gonna we're gonna be shooting. All right. Let's do so it. So who are we shooting at? So uh, I'm gonna get the profiles. Uh, the rocket yeah. profile. Yeah. So they're range so twenty four, three shots per unit. It's of three. three shot per unit. Yeah. Yep. And you also have uh, twin big shooters. Is that correct? Um, you swap the twin. No, it's one or the other. So you, you just have copter rockets. Yeah, sounds good. It's one shot each, 24 Some of the inches. profiles are weird. Yeah. Uh, okay, so 24 inches. So what I want to do is... And you are um, BS5. Yep, yeah, because yep. they're orcs. Pretty orky. Um, where's it? Let me get they do have exploding here. sixes, which is great. And they wound everything on sevens, which is actually quite good. Very useful. It's essentially four up to wound anything in the game. We'll that's, that's a great weapon. And exploding sixes is only in melee. Nope, shooting in melee. No, I'm pretty sure it's only melee. Take a look. It says anytime they do an attack. I thought it was what? combat. Let me check. Yeah, you'll pull it up. Um, I don't really know what you know how scary your stuff is generally. Is this guy scary at all, or not? He's not. He's not the scariest thing on the battlefield. He's like as scary as a single uh, hammerhead. Okay, you know what I mean. Sounds good. And the then, barracuda is what he was asking me. The barracuda is basically a flying hammerhead. Right. Gotcha. Mm. And while you can shoot in combat, I can't shoot. You can't shoot you into while, combat while we're in That's combat. Cool. It is just exploding sixes for all attacks. Yeah. So it's shooting and fighting. I dig it. Huh. I was not looking for that here. All right, cool. So we'll, I'm going to take all of these, and we're going to go into this Riptide here, because that's the only thing I'm really in range of, and that's not locked up. Shall we dance? Yeah, let's do it. So it's going to be five units. So you're shooting, sorry, at this back Riptide? Yep. Okay. Let's do this. So, so 15 rockets? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll just go quick. So on fives, so one hit, and then wounding against tough... Uh, seven. Seven, everything sevens. Sevens? Nope. Not today. Good, so that's first unit. Second unit? Nope. Nothing. Third unit? Third unit. They're orcs. Fourth unit. Yep. And oh, Adrian, Adrian, no. This is classic Adrian. Adrian! Yeah. Oh, Daka? Whereas Brian rolls all no, of that. No, and he doesn't even yeah. work. That was a Daka, though. You rolled oh. six to hit. Oh, it was oh. a six to hit. And that's another hit. It's, uh, it's another, another shot. Roll. It's another shot. Oh, come on. That's useless. It's Daka, Daka, Daka. It's Daka, Daka, Daka. It is really Daka, Daka, Daka. All right. Uh, well, you did nothing. Nothing. That was, uh, yep. That was bad. Yep. Yeah. Still okay. works. Still, yeah, still, still works. Uh, <laughs> still works. Okay. So uh, what are you going to do next? I'll activate the Riptide unit that you keep shooting at. <laughs> Sounds good. And they have the move action. Cool. And because they have fly, they're going to fall back and shoot. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. so I'll just move them up. Uh, do you want yep. to pass me measuring tape? Sounds and good. You're, and you're activating that detachment. The whole detachment. Yep. Yeah. Cool deal. All right. Thanks again, Ethereal's Gaming Lounge. Uh, how do you guys balance great lore and paint schemes with one sub-faction and better rules with another? Does it matter at a tournament? For example... Uh, Drukari painted as Poison Tongue, 
but using black heart rules. Six or 12 for an objective? Six. Yeah. Six, yeah. <laughs> so this guy can. Die. The answer to your question is you paint whatever you think looks good mm -hmm. and you like. Yeah. And you play with it whichever rules you want. And yeah. that's the balance. Is like, you know, you can't. You can't just like have your, you can have your cake and eat it. So you can't be like, well, you're painted as, you know, Tau Sept, mm -hmm. but you're playing them as Farsight Enclaves. Like, that's not. Wait, you can't do that, you're saying? You can't get mad at somebody for yeah. painting the color they like. Yeah, yeah. Especially you, you for factions shouldn't. that don't People have, do. You shouldn't. Because people uh, are mean sometimes. Um, as long as you're not getting some sort of gameplay advantage from it. Like you're yeah, not no. confusing people by yeah. multi-factioning or something. Right. Yeah, if you have multiple factions, this, this was a problem when people were playing Space Marines and they just kind of had a random motley ass assortment uh, in an army in which that, that also had two chapters. That's confusing. Right. So as long as you're not doing that, it's totally fine. Um, yeah, people might say, like, I've had people say something and be like, well, sorry man, I'm having fun with models. <laughs> um, but it's absolutely legal in every way and it's no problem. You know, paint what you like and play what you like. Agreed. We should be allowed to enjoy the game both for the lore and for the painting and for the rules. So, like, why not enjoy all, yeah, all parts totally. of Yeah, totally. So, yeah, if you have a problem with it and don't want to do that, totally fine. You know, then you're, you're making constraints, but it's about balancing where you're going to have the most fun, right? Are you going to have the most fun by giving up some of the lore to play, play and have a better game or whatever? So, yeah. you know, that becomes, it's all, it's all a personal decision. People make, make, will, make, will try to make you feel like it's not a personal decision, but it 100% is, and whatever you want to do is totally cool. Okay. So, uh, nice little conga line there. I like it. Yeah, it is a nice little conga line. <laughs> so, tell me how those are three units of three copters as well. It's it should be five units. It, it looks like that's not out. all of them, but yeah. Okay. Um, I'm looking at them, and I. So it's fifteen copters. Fifteen yes. copters. Okay. Five units of three. Uh, understood. 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 <laughs> do we have more in the studio um, somewhere? <laughs> and uh, we do. Oh, okay. Didn't grab them all. Oh, I see. Just kill some. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's interesting. So the thing is, I, I'm gonna I have the Riptides, and uh, they're actually really not best at killing tanks as well, um, because they're they're supposed to be killing infantry. So I actually thought that again, I thought that most of this stuff was light, right? And so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be yeah. doing good. But actually, I'm not. I you know, I got uh, some wounds, but not too many. So you thought you were taking into my army? Uh, no, I thought this turn at <laughs> no, least I know, my yeah. actions I was gonna be fine. Um, all right. Well, listen. What we're gonna do is you don't have one big unit yet that I want to unleash on. So we're just gonna start by taking the, uh, the Arvarna, or the, sorry, Yavara is just gonna flame the, uh, uh, the boy right in front, the uh -huh. Morkonaut. Cool. And then he's gonna keep his big gun, uh, he's gonna put his big gun forward into the uh, uh, three-man squad. In the back there? Yeah. Yep, cool. And then, uh, and then I'll go with the Riptides after. Sounds so good. Let's go first with the Yavara. Yeah, I'm just gonna organize these a bit so it's easier for um, so three. So it's three Flamer hits and then it's wounding, or actually, you know what? Let's do everything on this Morkonaut here, okay? Just because it's, uh, the range is actually yeah, really important. that's fine. So uh, here we go. Uh, the Flamer auto hits, because it's a Flamer, yep. and it wounds vehicles on sixes. Oh, dang. Ready? That's pretty good. Yeah. It's quite good. So I got one wound. Um, Nailed it. So you get one small blast on him. Cool. And then what we're going to do is do the Ionic Discharge Cannon. This is two shots, and this hits on fours. One hit, mm -hmm. and it wounds on a four. Cool. And this is a destroyer weapon, so oh, that's no. a large blast. Oh, oh, oh. So you got one small blast, one large blast you on your, is it a Gorkonaut or Morkonaut? It's a Gorkonaut. Gorkonaut, yes. on the Gorkonaut. And uh, my flechette blaster is just out of range, and um, so that's it. That's it for the Yavara. Yavara. Let's, uh, let's rip tide. Let's rip tide. So the wounded units that I had over here, mm -hmm. I have one of them with three large blasts, one small. Mm -hmm. The other one with how much on it? It's like four or five large blasts. Okay, so four they're in big Jeez. Yeah. So that's two <laughs> separate three-man squads? Correct. And uh, so I'm going to shoot at another three-man squad in that unit. Is that over here? Mm-hmm. So okay. this is three and three right here. So this one back here. I guess you can't see them. I can't see them. Okay, so I'll shoot you can do next over, one over here. Yeah. Yep. So I'm good. going to put a Riptide into them. Yep. So let's do it. Excellent. So we're going to have the heavy burst at six shots. One, two, three, four, five, six. And hitting on fours... Now, they are in range of the Kalyan, but because they move, they don't benefit from it. Right, that's right. So, fours. Nice. Doesn't actually and matter. And now they are within the custom force field, so they'll be two, minus three, one to four. wound. Five. For you. That's a great ability. I really like it. So, instead of wounding on eight, I wound on nines. Ha! Um, so, one wound. You cost me, you cost me nothing. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I, put a, I put a wound marker. Put the fear then, in your heart. I actually have plasma rifles on here, hmm. and I think I'm just out of rapid fire. So, uh, we've just got the... Two shots from my plasma rifle. Sounds good. 
So one hit. And there's a win. <laughs> Come on. Why are you <laughs> doing nines just to hurt me? Uh, they were winning on eight, uh, the plasma rifle, so not too bad. Um, okay, I'm going to go with the next Riptide. Oh, because it was seven before? before? Yeah. All right, cool, yeah. cool. So uh, <laughs> next Riptide's going to continue going, because that squad is not quite as wounded yet. So the big gun, uh, uh, hitting on fours, so perfectly average there. Mm -hmm. So three hits, and then this is nines to wound, because again, not really supposed to be... So there's a big blast for you, not supposed to be targeting uh, yeah, uh, vehicles. Got it. And then my plasmas, uh, no hits. Ha. And then my last Riptide, so this squad now has two large blasts and what? That's it. Just two large blasts. Yep. And it has three wounds. Yep. Um, okay. And the large blasts are two damage? Is that what it is? No, no. It's, it's, it's you just take a harder the, armor save. Right. You take the save on a d6 instead of a d12. That's right. Okay. But yeah, it's yeah. still only. So I'm going to put the last Riptide into it as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Let's do it. Three hits. And uh, on nines, one wound. <laughs> no, that was two. It was a nine That was 12? a six. Oh, okay. Um... So shiny dice. So ones, that's the small blast then. Got yep. it. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, let's do its plasma. Nothing. Hey, those plasmas. Um, so now all we have left is the commander. Mm. And he's going to put his two fusion into the Morkonaut right in front of me. Cool. So hitting on twos. Oh, dang. Great. Nice. And uh, let me just see the plasma rifle. I've got it somewhere. I had it right here. Here it is. <laughs> um, it's not plasma. Sorry. The fusion blaster. It's yeah. on four ups. Ooh, so five ups. Um, Same squad, right? this guy, Oh, no, this guy. This guy right yeah, now. no, you're good. You're good. Two wins. <laughs> Sounds good. So it's a big blast on you. Woo! -hoo. All right. All right. <sighs> and uh, that's uh, that's my detachment. That's my vanguard. Awesome. What do you got next? Sounds great. Um, I'm thinking we're going to do more depth copters because I just need to get them out of the way so I can bring everything Bring the rest of the army up. up. Yeah. All right. Do you want to do a question while, yeah, he's, while he's doing that? I'd love to. Thanks, Dungeon Master. Hey, Titans. I'm not hyped for this game. Not at all. Definitely haven't been hyped for it for months. <laughs> Supersized live APOC game. Who wants to see that? I know. Yeah, I'm just going to sit over crazy. here and Lame. watch without being interested or excited at all. <laughs> I'm Yeah, I'm super jazzed. We've been putting a lot of work into this. Yeah. It was a lot of preparation for this it game. It was so um, much. And if you don't know, this actually was a stretch goal That's right. from when we first unveiled our, our premium subscription. This yep. was one of the stretch goals. So we were really excited to get this out for you. Um, we always wanted to do it, but it is a lot of work. So it's not the kind of thing we would do in a normal course of... Um, you know, a, a normal week sort of thing. Yeah. So we're, working at, we're doing the, the stomp and We're next? doing the stomp instead because nice. the commander for the death copters is stuck behind him. Yeah. <laughs> so that would be a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to see the stompa. Stompa! Yes! <laughs> the stompa! Yes. This is the first uh, oh. super heavy that's activated. I know. It's so exciting. So I love oh. the little grots on the platform in the back. Right? It's I so realized bright. some of that is actually custom built by like 10 year old Adrian, and mm -hmm. it had been there for so long, I forgot it wasn't part of the kit. But you did a good job. Like, there's like sprues and stuff. 10 year old in there. Adrian had uh, had it going. Thank you knew you. it was up. I'm just double checking there's no strats I want to pop for okay. him. Sounds good. Uh, nope, nope, nope. All right, cool. Sounds good. I have some rerolls, but that's it. So, Stompa, where does he want to go? And you used the move and shoot with him. Yeah, it's move, move and fight, move and shoot. Move and action, yeah. Because yeah, I didn't think you were going to get close. Um, so, you've got. A Riptide with two bit, two large blast. A Riptide with one large blast. I have a Riptide with one small, one large, and one with one large. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> this is gonna be a nightmare. At some point, you guys should just shoot at stuff, cause like. I mean, yeah. Tactics for sure. be damned. Oh, you think there's tactics behind this? I'm just moving and shooting, man. So let's let's see. We're gonna well, do the stomp. Well, the tactic is if we kill things, the game will go faster. Yeah. <laughs> please, hopefully. Please do. It. Um, all right. So we're gonna do Stompa into the wounded Riptide with the more wounded Riptide. The more wounded mm -hmm. Riptide, correct? You know what I'm thinking. With the, um, the, gosh, there's so many guns. <laughs> so on this many thing. guns. There's so many guns, and I have two, two super let's rockets. Let's do some close-ups while he's doing it. Yeah, yeah let's don't do we, that. Uh, why don't we do that, Brian? That's a great idea. Wonderful idea. And while he's thinking about that, and you're doing close-ups, thanks, Cobra Commander. Hey, Titans, Brian, did you pick the Vicatrix Honor Guard image as your avatar? Because it looks like the helmet has a beard. And thanks for the great game. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the look of the Vicatrix Honor Guard. Um, so that's kind of just why I picked them. Um, Are your broadside uh, light? No, uh, they're heavy. Okay, so you don't have any light, basically. Well, he is. Oh. His little infantry and the crisis are light. Yeah, yeah but they're, they're all the inside board. the Manta. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, uh, I'm not giving, same, same as you're doing to me, I'm not giving you any light. I know, okay, that. with you. So what I'm going to do, uh, I know we're doing close-up shot, but I'm going to split the, the big guns. Uh, I'm going to put the death cannon and the soup, uh, we'll put the, the death cannon and the, and the, 
Super Gatler into the more wounded Riptide. Yeah. And then we'll put everything else into the other one. <laughs> into the other wounded Riptide. The other, okay. yeah, Riptide. So yeah, you can roll it up. Don't worry. Um, I'll, uh, I'll just keep showing people. Yeah. All right, so let's see. We have uh, six shots from the Death Cannon. Uh, hitting on fives, because of course... Uh, ooh, so we got not. Two. two. Two hits. Not bad. <laughs> I thought it was more than that. And then this is going to be wounding against uh, tough things on a five plus. So we've got two wounds, actually. So that's a big blast. I'm just going to put it to the side for okay. now. Um, and then we have... Uh, blah, 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 the super, the, the rockets, right? So here we go, on fives. These are one use, and... Right? That's awesome. That's yeah. DACA. <laughs> oh, it is a DACA. Do I use this to re-roll it? Maybe. Screw it. I have, I have cards. So I have a card that's yeah, going to re-roll, and this is competitive streak normally, but okay. instead I'm using it as a re-roll, they often they have like a, a dual There's roll. There's a dual use, yeah. Yep, so I'm going to re-roll this on a five. Nope. And nope. then here's the and DACA. The no. Uh, nope. All right, and then this wounds you on a three plus, and it's destroyer. Cool. Okay, there's another large yep. blast. Oh, it's not destroyer. This is just the one use. Oh, got it. Big top <laughs> destroyer. So destroyer. So just that's a chat two knows. large blast on the already w more wounded one. One small, one large. No, the other one I did. I got two through. Oh, okay, great. So destroyer is just immediately large blast for the edification of chat. Yeah. yeah. It's so two. Yeah. Essentially, everyone counts as two. Sounds good. Um, so that was. So I've that's done, on the one. I've done four two now. Then should be a total of four. Four right. what? Two wound. Four points. Oh, that is too large. Too large blast. Gosh, yeah. I swear they look so similar to me. <laughs> They're um, literally identical, if not for the size. <laughs> yeah, but they're so, you know, that's close. All right, big shooters. Um, I've got three big shooters. No, I'm on shooters. your side. I'm saying they do look identical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on five. I thought you were being uh, sassy towards me. No, no. I, wouldn't, uh, I would never show never. you being sass. Get out of here. Scorch is out of range. Um, so now we're shooting the next Riptide? Yeah, so this is the Super Gatler into the other Riptide. Let's this is 12 it. shots. All right. Whoa, that's a lot for Apocalypse. And this is mostly uh, an infantry killing gun? Yeah, uh, normally it, it is. What's it wound tank Oh, it's on? an 8+, plus, so it's not... That's not the worst. It's not the worst. So this is on fives. Okay. <laughs> Three hits. No sixes. No sixes, yeah. You can just take all the dice out? Yeah. Because you're going to roll you're gonna, you're not oh. gonna roll. oh, yeah. Three hits. Sorry, guys. And this is on eights. There's one. Uh, one small blast, which uh, he doesn't have a blast on him yet, so just one. You one got it. Blast. And that's him. The Stompa. All right, Brian, what Beautiful. are you going to activate now? <laughs> I want to activate something cool. Yeah. You jelly? I am a little. <laughs> mm. I'm going to activate Long Strike's, uh, Long Strike's special crew. <gasps> oh, dang. Um, I think I should do that. Well, a this is a similar thing where I need to get my own models out of my way. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I might actually go with this Barracuda just to get my models out of the way. Yeah. So why don't we go with the Barracuda? I feel you. Um, I don't even know what we want to shoot at. Um, so he used the move and shoot action, which mm -hmm. is classic. I think what planes are going to be using. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> most of the time. Um, and uh, let's just uh, let's just turn and fly, and we'll zip. So planes don't hold objectives, so there's no there's no secrets right. there. Um, so hmm. far, the move blocking seems to be the best thing about it. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I'm just gonna fly over like we've so to have some presence in your side. But what's the range on your grot tanks? Like, am I bringing myself into range or something? Uh, like that? On the so the rockets are only 24. Okay, so that's that's true. The, the so I should be careful about bringing like myself into range. So I'm just gonna fly over to this side of the battlefield over here. Okay, sounds good. All right, and uh, we're just gonna try and. Uh, wow, that stomp is getting awfully close. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I do know what you and mean. Now that I'm standing over here, I actually notice how close he's getting. Um, <laughs> He looks so scary. Um, <laughs> oh, jeez. For those of you who watched the channel before, he has the, the red roller as his hat today. <laughs> he's, he's wearing a red roller as a hat. I know. So you can which... headbutt people. I actually had the, the, the ram for years was the actual jaw of the stampa. So when I went to go pack him up today, I was like, oh, time this for is the great. red roller to return to so its original gonna, purpose. We're going to put everything into this uh, Gorkonaut here. Yeah, let's um, do it. Because uh, how many wounds does he have? Good question. It's like five or six or something? Uh, probably less than that. All right. But yeah. So um, my yeah. guess is five. He has four. Four? A Baneblade has five. Okay. And these guys aren't even super heavy. He's in 40k. Okay, gotcha. So we're going to go with my Ion Cannon first. So the Ion Cannon is two shots. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the first gun we've shot with the Supercharge profile. All oh, right, cool. Um, and Supercharge gives it plus one to wound. Is that right? And uh, you want to just double check? Yeah, so on ones you take a mortal. Yeah, and plus one to wound. And take or a you take a blast, sorry. <laughs> I take a blast, yeah. A mortal blast. It gives you plus one wound. Yeah. Okay, so here we are hitting on threes. Okay, there's, so a, a, blast. there's a blast on me. Yep. A small blast on me. And now we're going to be wounding you on fives. Mm. Okay. No. <laughs> so I didn't Casual didn't 12, that's cool. Okay, so one one blast on each of us. Yep, um, and this is uh, onto the blue one, right? Yeah, so it upgrades so into a upgrades large blast from a small. Yep. And uh, great. 
Then what we're going to do is to the two long-barreled burst cannons, the yeah. two missile pods. So let's do the two missile pods, two shots for that. Cool. Uh, two hits. Nice. And then this one is wounding on eights. Ah. Nothing there. And then the two long-barreled burst cannons. So we've got four shots from that on threes. Mm -hmm. Great. Three hits. Uh, first dice on the floor. Ah. Uh, and <laughs> wow, we made it a while, actually. Nines. There's another small blast on you. Sounds good. And I'll throw a blast on me. So there's my... Barracuda, what do you got next? The Barracuda. So I think I'm going to move, now I'm going to move these Death Copters over here. Get them yep. up on out of the way. Um, well, actually, so here's one thing. I have my, in my air wing, I have the Wise Bomb Blaster Jet that does have a custom force field. Mm. So Getting that up in range of more things could be yeah. valuable. Because we've seen it's actually a really useful ability. It's really good. Like if I move the Death Copters right now, I'd be moving them out of that force field. And mm -hmm. so maybe I want to do the air wing first. Let's yeah, go ahead and nice. do that. All right. All right. Let's do some more questions. Yeah, I'd love to. What do you say? What do you think about very human? You ready for yeah, that? Yeah, let's do very human. Oh, like no, that's right. <laughs> all right, let me pull it up. Question: You're all going on a space cruise with your husbands. Mm -hmm. What is the a side excursion you're going to take as a couple? <laughs> space cruise side excursion. First, I think um, because we might have uh, new new member uh, new people in the audience. Do you want to just give a brief context of what we're doing asks, right now? Very human asks a question every game. Yeah. And it's uh, continuing a fan fiction of the adventures of all three of us <laughs> and our spouse, which is a Primarch. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we get up to crazy hijinks yeah. every game. So this one, <laughs> we're space cruising. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure Vulcan, he's a somber kind of guy. I think he wants to go to the like... Uh, the Dropside Massacre War Memorial, <laughs> and he just ruins our Vulcan. awesome day vacation. I picture Vulcan <laughs> just chilling in the hot tub all day, and it's just a lava it's pit. It's really, yeah. really, yeah. It's like actually a lava. He pit. Has his own hot tub. It's like a couple's hot tub next to each other because mm. you can't sit in his lava. Yeah, that's right. But his lava heats my hot tub. Right, right. Because the tubs are touching. This is gonna end in tears. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this is gonna end in all tears. Let's Beautiful. not. You're insane. I need that. to go to land. There's nowhere to land. Well, you, we can just say land it's on there. The other side. But then... Uh, you can just field. say it's there, right, but fine. please don't put the model there. Fine, fine, fine. Look at it. It's already made of junk anyway. It's not like it's the one that Izzy painted. It's, uh, it's <laughs> absolutely ramshack. Oh, can you yeah. guess what these guys are doing? Uh, they're going to go stand next to him because yep. he's uh, the commander. I meant, uh, yep. And action-wise, oh. I'm moving and shooting. Oh, see, look. I want, look how cool oh, that looks. Please don't do that. That's so cool. No, please don't do that. Uh, well, we'll see. That's we'll fine. See. That's how fine. long until it, it knocks over? So the thing is, it's going to domino. It's going to fall and knock over the barracuda, which knocks over the tiger shark, which knocks into the manta. No. <laughs> and then we all cry. <laughs> yeah, and then we the stream just goes to that, like, Technical difficulties screen where it's like, da, 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 da. you guys ever seen a grown man cry on stream? <laughs> but yeah, it goes to that, that that black screen with technical difficulties, but you can yeah. hear our audio still, yeah, yeah. but we're just screaming. Oh, dear God. No, we're just what? doing the Darth Vader no. We're just like, no. no. <laughs> All right, where would Lorgar and I go on a space cruise? The warp? So we just go on, like, you know how you go scuba diving in normal cruises? Yeah. We go like, Warp, warp scuba diving. Warp diving. <laughs> and you're just looking at warp weird uh, weird mantas that are just screamers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I think Laura would be totally into that. He would. He wouldn't wear a suit or anything. He'd just be chilling in the warp. I'm with you. <laughs> so, Adrian, where would you and Gilliman go on this space Where course? would we go? Um, to, the, like, the filing clerk's office. <laughs> I know, yeah. Like, file some official paperwork. When you said the... the um... The thing about the war memorial, I was like, that also sounds like a very Gilliman thing to do. Like, he's like, never forget. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, which is like, you know, never forget, but like, come on, man, it's my day off. Gilliman wants a staycation where he can actually, like, <laughs> still be in range of his office. Yeah. <laughs> he always he's works when they go on vacation. Time. Yeah, that's right. It's so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty good. I love, you know, this top down camera. You can see the shadow that the Manta cast yeah. <laughs> over the battlefield. It's beautiful. It's like, We'd actually have to put like special lights underneath the manta. Do I still have ninety degree like restrictions like in forty k? Or am I uh, just moving? I don't know. Just put the, just yeah. Just play by forty k plane rolls. Well, if I do this, then I can't. I'll be dead next turn. Well, I'm saying. Let's say you can have ninety five degrees next turn. You're, you know what I mean? <laughs> yep. Sounds good. It's apocalypse. <laughs> all right, he's gonna be here, just a little bit over, so they're on the force field. That is that, and I've moved my burning bomb is here because obviously then I want to try to burn a bomb someone. All right. Um, and so it's gonna have to be. <laughs> Uh, these two over this Riptide, and this guy over, um, we'll do the same Riptide, why not? Let's just keep so it So that's all a Yavara you pointed at. Um, <laughs> is that what you were trying to bomb? Yeah. Okay, got it. So we're bombing the Yavara. That's right, burn a bombs after it makes a move action, 
Uh, bitty, 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 select one enemy unit, roll 3d6, subtracting one if it's a character, adding plus one if, uh, oh, for Garrison, that's cool. And then basically every four plus, I put a blast marker next to it. That's great. Really good. So first one, I guess I could so do these right, 3d6 per bomb. Yeah. So you can put three blasts. Yeah. I love it. Really good. So first one, one. One blast. Second one, <laughs> one. two. <laughs> you suck. Oh, oh, so five blast markers. That's two big and one small. Yeah. I'm like That's like it. more than your army's done on anything. Yeah, and yeah. less than yours well, with like one riptide. You don't have to put it that way, Brian. <laughs> no, that's like more than the Stompa did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait, were you genuinely trying to, to say something you're not trying to no, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> These guys are great. They're they're the they're the unit I hate the most in 40k, and yeah, now I hate right. them the most in Apocalypse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like they're keeping that theme going. Yeah. So let's go to the Wise Bomb Blaster Jet. Let's, and, let's do that. Uh, let's see. So you've got how many wounds do Riptides have? Is that have? all they do? Do they shoot or do they just bomb? Uh, they they probably have some big shooters. Oh, okay. And okay. They have scorching missiles because Bridger helped me with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. But that's just after, after they move. It's not necessarily when they do the fight action. All right. So how many wounds does Riptide have? And how many wounds uh, does Yavara? a Yavara? No, no, no. I was actually asking about Riptide. Three. They have three. They have <laughs> and three. then how much does a Yavara have? Three. Also three. A Yamaha? Okay, cool. A Yamaha? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Yamaha Riptide. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm going to put. Um, so from the wise bomb, actually, let's just keep going with these burn bombers. So burn bomb number one is going to go into the wounded actual riptide with the most moon yeah, markers. Yeah, so there's on it. one with four large blasts on it. It's four large blasts. Uh, apparently, oh, no, it's three, lar three yeah, large. Yeah, I was going to say. Okay, I need to do a bit more. I think. So they here we go. They have amazing armor saves. Yeah, I imagine four like, armor saves. Four up. Yeah. Get out of here. Because they start with two ups in Warhammer. You know what I mean? They're like Terminators. Yeah, You're a two up. There's like no rend in this game. All right, here we go. So here's the Scorcher missiles first. Large on fives, blast, obviously. Large Missed. blasts are rend. Yeah. <laughs> super shooter is. I have two super shooters. So on fives. There we go. So I got one, and here's the Daka. Oh, nice. And then now we're wounding you on your tough thing. So oh, sixes. That's fine. That's amazing. Why is that so good? Oh no, sorry, eights. Oh, okay. I looked at the wrong column, and I missed anyways. Yeah. So here we go. Even on the amazing thing, you <laughs> yeah, would have got nothing. I know. Uh, the twin big shooters, same thing. So on fives. Ooh, nice. And a daka. And a daka. Nope. And then this is on nine pluses with three dice. Thanks, sir. Watch out. Oh, okay. Even combined, they don't make nine. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> He's aging it. I'm running so fast, I can't night shield them. There's no yeah, kind of, like, focus energy. Yeah, he needs to be energy. able to focus his night shield energy. I can't make it dr like dice. dramatic. Uh, okay, next one, same thing. So here we go, Scorching Missiles on fives. Ooh, and Ataka. All right, and then now we're wounding you on nines. Nice, so you got one. Okay, so that upgrades me to a large blast. You got it. And then two super shooters. Okay. On fives. Bring the heat. Uh, one hit. And the switching dice is killing me. Eight plus, <laughs> and that is a six, not a nine. And then we've got the it's so hard to reach in big here. shooters. Oh my god! Yeah, man, I'm telling you, <laughs> this is funny. So two hits with the big shooters. This is on nines as well. Ooh, nice. So one more small. Now that you're back on the table. Oh, and I just pulled this small. Okay, I'm not going over that until the end. I've got one That's small. That's right. And then we'll do the last one. Same thing. So here's the scorches. This scorches. is the last burn a bomb. Burn a bomb. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. They have a lot of different guns. They do. Here's the Daka. Nice. Jeez. They both hit. And, and they do in 40k, I just usually blow them up before yeah, yeah, I yeah. use them. Um, and, then, and I never pay for the Scorch Missiles. So this is the Missiles on a 9. Okay. Uh, one more, so that's a, a large blast that's going to go over there now. Great. And then the Super Shooters. Nope. And the Twin Big Shooters. Double tw Twin Big Shooters. Yep. Fives. Nothing? Cool. Alright, you can go back. Okay, so I put I got one more large blast. So four large blast. No, I think it's five. Well, on average, you need six to it's kill. Five. So keep going. Still not enough. All right, wise bomb blast a jet. We're gonna go. <laughs> no, it's looking good. It is good. I still, I could go. You're, hurt, you're hurting that rip time. Over. Let's put docket jet um, entirely into that same guy. Yeah. Let's do it. So we've got. Yes. What two docket jets here? Yep. So this is. Um, this guy only has one gun, so we can make it nice and easy. Yeah. I'm just gonna roll both both at the same time. I'm not gonna use strats. I know that on this one. So then this is. Ah, oh, this guy is great. Nice. Well, this is two of them. <laughs> oh, okay. Not so great. So this is four, uh, four dice. Gonna get one more. Thank you. And this is on eight. Uh, that's one. one more. So one more small blast. Yeah. Oh, and that was both of them together. That was both of them together. Are you sure? Because you have more. Oh, and then shooters. we also added two more super shooters on yep. them. So that's gonna be four more shots because you're single shot. Cool. Yep. Thank you, Bridger. Yeah, I was like, that does seem low. Ooh, Dakas, come on. Dakas, yeah, there nice, you go. Nice, nice, nice. And so three more them. chances to win. Grab those. Thank you. Eight ups. Oh, so that's two so large blasts. So one more large blast, and then oh yeah, two more large yeah. blasts, but not the small. Now, now we're now we're cooking. <sighs> now we're so cooking. this dude has seven large blasts on him. I think we've killed a riptide. I don't you trust say any that? of it. I you don't trust it. You say that, but I have strats. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think we've at least gotten the Riptide to half strength. Yeah. Which makes it shoot a minus one, so I'll take it. Does it, though? He's going to be like, oh, I'm on top profile. I lost my wise bomb. I have top profile. <laughs> I don't trust anything. Where's my wise bomb blaster jet? That's All right, crazy. here we go. So the wise bomb blaster jet is... We'll go into the Yavara now, and yeah. we're going to go with everything. Because you actually, yeah, you bombed him pretty good. I did, right? I, I, wasn't, I wasn't planning on it. So here's the smash gun first. Gosh, there's so many profiles. Oh, my God. All right, fives. Let's do this. Good. We missed. Good. It makes it so much faster yeah. when Ark's miss. I know, right? I, love uh, it. Da, 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 da. I have two more super Fantastic. shooters. So six super shooter shots. Um, on fives. Whoa. Wow. Two hits. Interesting. All right. And we're going to grab those. And then on eights. Okay. There's so a small, small blast, blast, which upgrades to a large on me. You got it. And then we've got the teleport, teleport Mega Blast. Uh, this is a Does this teleport weapon. a weapon at me or something? A Grot. It, it, um, uh, it's like a mini teleporter thing, yeah. I love it. It teleports Grots inside of you, and they like pull on wires and stuff. This is amazing. And it's two of those. Nice. Great. So cool. All right, let's do this. On fives. Whoops. Ah. Oh, yes. Man, one grots inside the Yavara somehow. No, we'll that would it. suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mini shock attack gun, basically. Yeah. This is a uh, still a nine plus though. Ooh, Ooh it is so destroyer. one more small. Oh, destroyer! I love it. Very cool. So very he's cool. like in there, and he's just like shanking the pilot. <laughs> 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 like imagine you're in there; it's like super tight, and he like comes super close to you. That's no, right. He just appears right in your face. It's definitely just an annoying kid in the backseat. Like you're piloting the Yavara. <laughs> he's kicking your chair. And he's just like kicking on an your airplane, chair, like a pulling on your hair, and he's like, "Are we there yet?" And there's nothing you can do to We're stop winning. him. Yeah. He's just back there. <laughs> All right, that's my attention. Listen, that was the that, most damage you've done with that anything. That was cool. I like that a lot. That was a real yeah. deal. Um, it, okay. <laughs> Listen, long strike. So many. <laughs> long strikes coming in. Oh dang! With his tank boys. Cool. And let me move them up. Yeah. Uh, I did put the. Let's see what I put on them. Oh, I put these stand and shoot, so they're not moving. Hmm, All right. Fascinating. I guess that's what I did. <laughs> you now have a parking lot, Brian. Right? Um, no, I think I, I think uh, I, I meant to do that. I was really, I was gonna move that plane so I could slide the, the, the uh, yeah. Manta over, but the Manta flies, so technically you can do that. Anyways. Feel free to move them. Yeah, you can I, do that. Like I. I messed up my stuff. No, too. I'm totally happy with it. It's you fine. Sure? Stand shoot's fine. It's all good. It's all good um, plus one to hit's great. So uh, <laughs> basically, this detachment <laughs> is just going to try to blast all this stuff. Mm, yeah. Um, because this is my tank killing, and these are tanks. Yeah. And we're just going to get them out of here. Yeah. I like it. So uh, why don't we do uh, uh, a question? I'm just going to pull up my cards. And uh, we're going to decide what's what. Launch strike. Thanks, Cobra. Wait, did I? Did you, though? I did. I don't know if you answered it, though. No, I don't remember yet. Brian Cobra's did. question. You take use the pick of the Victrix Honor Guard no, as I your avatar. It. I, you I did? answered it. Yeah, I answered it. Oh, all right. Nice. Nice. Uh, thanks, Curtis. Time to take bets. How many mortal wounds uh, will be caused by vehicles' explosions this afternoon? Uh, Zero. Zero. Well, there no. There are no mortal wounds in this game. It's not mortal wounds, yeah, but come <laughs> on. Uh, vehicles, tanks, and stuff can explode. So it they, is, they just do damage straight up. So it kind they of just do, they it do is mortal wounds. Blast yeah. markers. No, yeah. I thought they. You said nope. they do damage. No, nope, they do. Or blast the Manta markers. does damage. Does blast markers. Really? Everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Keep staring at me saying so, yeah. Um, like a weirdo. So yeah, uh, next time I will move and shoot them. Okay. Because the reason to stand and shoot is plus one to hit, mm -hmm. but they all hit on twos. Okay. So, so you can't, I'm totally so, fine calling uh, <laughs> a move instead. Yeah, Just you don't mind? Yeah, that's, okay. no worries, no worries. Um, um, and the flyers... I thought they hit on fours, and I was taking them to twos. Well, you yeah. could, because fly they hit on... is minus one to hit, so you give them plus one Wait, to Wait, fly them. keyword is minus one to hit? No, no, no. no like your flyer, your supersonic, is minus one to hit. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Where? Where does it Part say of that? supersonic. Supersonic. This is okay. eighth edition. Oh, down there. Okay, it was one word. I, they didn't have a paragraph about it. Oh, yeah. Everything's keyworded. Classic. So if you and they have keywords, a keyword thing, out. but the keywords are just one page. It's pretty easy to manage. I like keywords. I know Ninth tried to go away from it, like Sigmar, but um, yeah. I'm fine with it in Sigmar because they're so like distinctive and interesting. Yeah. But in in uh, Ninth Edition, the like not having keywords is kind of a pain to me. That's true. It's like Absolutely. okay, we know they're all the same thing. Right. Right. You know. Thanks, James. Hey, Titans. Sadly, can't watch live, but just wanted to send my support. I do not actually play the game, but watching you guys play and talk has really helped me through COVID. Thanks and stay awesome. Well, thanks so much. I'm glad you're having fun with it. We have a great help. time. This is, um, this is a good game for that, right? It's one of those where... Just like seeing the impressive models. Well, and plus like we have kind of the space and models and ability to kind of organize this and make it happen. I played, especially back in the day before there were actual apocalypse rules, where you'd spend like the whole day doing the setup the and everything. Yeah. And you get halfway through the game, and you're like, oh, let's just be done, you know? What are the sizes so, of these Dread Squad? So this is six, six, and three. Six, six, and three. Yes. So we're gonna burn some strats. Mm. Um, 
Me too. Yeah, me too. That's cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to look through my cards. Well, you have um, you have priority, so you have to burn them first. Oh, I was just joking. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> so, so cute. <laughs> I didn't, do I even have reactionary one three? Uh, like, I, I don't know. I don't think that's a thing usually. It's usually the damage base. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm going to use marker lights. I reroll ones against this entire detachment. Mm. Um, so all that. Yeah. Rerolling ones. It's just a hit, not quite end wound. Um, and then here's the wounding one. <laughs> and uh, wow, you should have done this earlier. Why? Because it. You shot at this detachment before. Oh, I thought it was with one activation. Is it the whole turn? That's what... Oh, it is. It's the whole turn. Yeah. So I should have done that. That again. seems really good. Uh, next time. Well, yeah. Next time. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> All good. Uh, select one enemy unit. Yeah. So I'm going to select this mm -hmm. uh, Gorkonaut, yep. and I get to reroll wounds against Ooh, him that's this turn. fire. Yeah, that's right. And uh, it's... Yeah, I get to do that. Okay, nice. And uh, I'm not going to use these other ones, although this one is crazy. <laughs> oh, um, I'll save that one for next turn. <laughs> well, you're gonna, I li I literally, you're going to get it. It's not actually legal for me to do it this turn. Uh, something's missing. Um, oh, we forgot what the falling Debris. I knew you, you would. I Remember how I said we would 100% forget it? Yeah. So let's say nothing's dead turn one. There's no Debris. Yeah. No debris no falling. Debris. <laughs> You said you you had some bold words to say. You're like, I will never forget the difference. <laughs> and we're like, all right. You did say that. He said he was so I adamant him about it. That and I was like, you're gonna forget it. So There's unnecessarily. So much going adamant. on. Yeah, there is. Um, okay, ready? Me. So we're gonna shoot this big six man unit. Killer cans. Okay. And uh, we're gonna start with long strikes. Gonna open it up. All right. Are sounds you ready? Good. Um, yes. Okay. Yes. So he's got his rail gun. It's Ooh. just one shot. It's right here. Okay. Oh, so something's never changed. That's nice to see. Yeah. So one shot. My Gorkonon is down. It's on a two. Oh, no. And he rerolls ones from Marker He rerolls ones from Marker Lights. Oh, do it again. Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> he wounds on uh, three. Uh, four, because that's force shield. Great. Okay. That's a four. So four, and Why then you... that's a destroyer. So one large blast. One large blast. <laughs> Why? So do you want close one or far one? It's the whole six-man squad. This is two six-man squads. Oh. So the close one. Close one. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Great. Let's uh, let's move on. I've got four? I've got a lot of tanks, so I'm just gonna mark the ones that I've shot with. All right, because yeah. I'll never ever remember. Seriously. So let's go with my next ha hammerhead, uh -huh. and uh, uh, with I oh I didn't do the um, I didn't do the pulse carbines. Oh, well, so let it. me do them. Hmm. Uh, I don't think those are in range. Oh, I see where you are. Never mind. Yeah, I see ya. They are in range, and so uh, I have uh, two of them. So two two shots. Uh, they both hit, and then nines to wound, down to eights, because I have plus one to wound, and then back up to nines. Mm. Great. One more small blast. Sounds good. Alrighty. So let's go with uh, just a regular... Actually, uh, I'm going to get the weird ones out of the way. I'm going to do my Sky Ray, and we're going to put it into one of your... Bom Can the bombers bomb every turn? Yeah. That's not good. So what we're going to do <laughs> well. is just hit one of the bombers, and uh, we're going to do with the Seeker missiles. And great, so uh, it's equipped with... One Seeker Missile? Okay, so one shot. So one shot, and it hits on Thank a two you. against Flyers. Are you Great. sure it doesn't have multiple Seeker Missiles? No, it says it's equipped with Seeker Missiles, and then it says Seeker Missiles, one shot. Oh, you know what it is? Mm -hmm. It's not one use. You have Seeker Missiles that you yeah, shoot yeah, yeah. every turn. Mm -hmm. That's right. So I hit, and okay, then nice. I'm going to wound um, on a six. Going to seven. All right. Did you so, take the minus one to hit? Was that? Uh, actually, yeah, but I have plus two to hit, so then it's fine. To get flies, sky rays. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Long strike plus. So it nets yeah. out at a plus one, basically. So, um, so, that's so one a, small blast. Yep, and this was on one the of the burners. The closest bomber. Sounds say. good. Bomber. All right, I'm just going to put it here for now. Okay. And then uh, he has his pulse carbines will go up here as well. Cool. So two shots with them. Uh, two shots with them. Two hits. Mm -hmm. And then this one is tens to wound. Nothing. Okay, great. So we've shot the sky ray. Now what we're going to do next is go into the heavy bombardment. Let's just get that one out of the way. That doesn't sound good. This is the Forge World tank. I've never get oh. to use this one. Um, it's not. It's not nothing amazing. <laughs> so what um, are they? They're broadsides. It, they're broadsides. Yeah. So four shots from my high yield missile pods, yep. and we're going to go into uh, these guys here because that's my. The only <laughs> I tank. keep going to the top down to get a closer look, and yeah. it's actually, actually farther away. We're going to go yeah. into that. We're going to go into that bomber because okay. uh, oh, that's in custom force field range as well. Yep. Uh, these custom force fields are whack on me. Right. All right, whatever. We'll just go here. So hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Mm -hmm. 
Great. Nice. And four, so now I'm wounding on uh, not greats, minus tens. One. The tactical minus one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, two wins. Brian Pullen. So one large blast. Oh, come on. And that's just, that's the equivalent of rolling sixes, basically. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can roll Every sixes. Time. Right? And then he's got his burst cannons, so mm -hmm. just the uh, burst cannons. So four shots from that. We're rolling ones. Great. Four hits. That's twos are rolling ones. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Trying to make a look Into at Into sixes. <laughs> so these are on tens as well. Oh. So just one more. So uh, one more large blast because got we got it. a small. Mm -hmm. Great. Now we're going to go with large. just a normal hammerheads. Cool. Um, this is a big detachment. This is like my single largest detachment. Yeah. So I have uh, two with railguns, three with ions. So we'll do the railguns first. And how many wounds is this six-man squad? Uh, they are six wounds. Wow. 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 Just one per model. Wow. It's essentially like you're yeah, killing you're right. a guy. It makes yeah. sense. So let's put some railguns into them. Okay? okay. So here we are, hitting on twos. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then wounding on, uh, should be uh, fours, but you take fives. it up to fives. Oh, so it fails. There we go. That's big. Okay. That's a big deal. So that's another railgun shot. We're going to just put the small burst cannon type things. I should just do all the burst cannons at once. Um, yes, but, please. Oh, second <laughs> dice on the floor. It's all me. Uh, it dice. Minus ones. So one more wound. Sounds good. All right. Um, now we're going to go with the next railgun. Yep. I have only one railgun left. Huh. Oh, my railguns. Oh, rerolling? Sure. Nice. And then a four to wound. Five, yes. yes. So that's destroyer. One more large blast. Mm. And then we'll put the burst cannons. Hits. And then tens. Um, nothing there. Okay, great. So that's all the railguns shot. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't yet... Uh, done that squad in. Yeah. Does they have bad armor saves? They have a six plus. Wow, that's really good for us. Amazing. Good. Wow. I mean, they're power armor in 40k. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that makes sense. Let's yeah. do the ion cannon. Um, well, the ion cannons, just in this game, it's it's still even better than the uh, yeah. railgun. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. So what we're gonna do is that minus one to wound is pretty rough on them. Hmm. Um, so I. Um, I think we do want to start hurting this guy. Yeah. Um, uh, ooh. Okay. Is it, uh, these two are out of force field range, right? Correct. So we're going to try to hurt that one over there first, mm -hmm. um, or we'll hurt this one because we have some big things over there. So we're going to start firing at this guy <laughs> yeah. over here. This is with the ion. So it's two shots hitting on twos, and I reroll my ones. Great. And then we're supercharging here, so this is uh, five to wound. Um, so you rerolled one because of... I reroll ones against this whole detachment. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You're yeah. good. You're good. I was so, thinking unit. So uh, supercharging takes me down from a six to a five. So that's one wound on you. Okay. So one small this blast. One? Yep. Yep. And I'll do all the burst cannons last, if you don't mind, this time. Yeah, no worries. And I'll put them all against him. So here's the next tank, also supercharging. So I have two more after this. Um, so that hits. Mm -hmm. And then this is fives. Oh, so oh, oh. that's one large blast, nice. and then here's the last one, uh, two hits, and then on fives, so that's one more large blast on him. And then we're going to put all the burst cannons, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. So these are the, all the burst cannons into yep. him as well, that's good. Um, oh. and uh, rerolling the ones, come on. Okay, so... One missed. One missed, so three, six... 9, 10, 11. Yeah, here's 8. 8, 9, <laughs> 10, 11. Here with everything. Geez. So these are going to be on 9s, mm -hmm. and if you remember, I am rerolling uh, all wounds or ones to wound against ones. this guy? Just ones? No. Oh, yeah, hold on. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's all wounds, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um... Well, good thing. Yeah. No force field, but... So just so three. three wounds. Okay. And here's a conversion. Uh, there's a cock dice there. So four... Four. That's it. So okay. two large blasts. Two more large. Cool. So he took a beating. Yeah, he's got four large blasts and one small. Okay, that's my hammerhead detachment. Uh, it's your, it's your my go. Your go. All right, sounds good. Let's go ahead. We will do uh, the copters now over there. Again, just moving more out, staying inside of the great force field range. While he's moving out, you want to do another question? I'd love to. Thanks, Johnny. Hey Titans, which would you recommend for getting into airbrushing? Cheapo thirty pound airbrush, mid tier hundred pound Iowa Neo. Or splurge on a 180, I want an eclipse. I like the eclipse a lot, um, yeah. but the mid-range could also work okay for you. It also depends how long you expect to use it for and how 
really how much you plan to paint for it. If, you, if you've got like, a, you know, one or two armies and you're just going to paint up a few units, then you could save a bit of money. If you're planning to paint a lot, you know, Adrian paints a lot. He paints professionally. Yeah. Having a better tool and a more reliable tool is better. I also paint a lot because we have very large collections. So having a higher end brush works for me too. So you do get what you pay for. So buying a higher end can be can be worthwhile. Yeah. You get what you pay for except on the cheap one where you get nothing. You pay 30 pounds and you just get trash. Well, it's going to break and then you're going to have to pay another 30 pounds again. Right. So and don't it's do an that. inconvenience. Like I remember there'd be like a like a long weekend where I would just sit down to do painting yeah. and it would break just as I sat down yeah. and you have to wait like a week to order another one and now you don't get any of that painting time in. Right. Um, you know, I had that, it broke, I broke it. It wasn't that it broke, I broke it. Right. Like the actual needle on the inside, I had bent right. while cleaning Ugh. it. Um, oh, while cleaning? Yeah. Yeah. That's oh. how you damage an airbrush, is cleaning it. You have to be very careful. It's true. Um, you I... lose bits, like you take apart the nozzle and you the nozzle falls somewhere and you lost it or you, yeah. you bend, uh, the needle bends so easily, especially the tip. You know the, the tiny little nozzle tip thing? Yeah. yeah. I smashed one of those because I kept dropping the airbrush into ice purple alcohol. Like I just had a mason jar of ice purple, and, and I would just drop it in every time. What a Not guy. with the needle in it. That doesn't like, matter. Also, you'd put the whole airbrush in there. Yeah. Because that also strips all the the uh, the oils. Oh no! I destroyed smooth. that airbrush. Agent. It was bad. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> 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 wow. Whoa! What a guy. So don't do that. This explains your towel. <laughs> <laughs> so you move him up. Time to shoot. Let's do this thing. Um, <clears throat> sorry, Bridger. I know I was giving you uh, crap, but can you help me out now? <laughs> Hey, you with what? What's up? So profiles on the copter rockets, three shots per unit, right? Yeah, it's one on shot fives. per model, hitting on fives, yep. winning everything in the game on sevens. On sevens. Sevens. Can we get some sevens, sevens in the chat for this volley? All right, so what, here's what we're going to do. We have, um, how many bla how many blasts does the Yavara have now? Just the three Yavara large? has the three, uh, um, so hold on, are those, any of those your blast markers? No. So those are all mine? Well, yeah. Okay, so it actually looks like he has a lot. Really? Um, oh, there's more. I'm leaning on, on top of I think it. Yeah. Five, huh? So he has one, <laughs> two, three, four large, one small. Okay, so we'll put. So you're, you're putting work into it. That's great. First one into him still on fives. Ooh, it's a DACA. Whatcha? Nope. And then on a seven. Seven. No. Next unit, same thing. Fives. Nope. Next unit, same thing. Yes. Yeah, and, and a DACA. DACA. Oh. Yeah. Sevens. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. That was what? Number three? So I got two more. Okay, okay, okay. So two hits on sevens. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Last one. Oh gosh! And the worst thing is, like, it's a seven. This That's is a game a of pain. Roll. I know. I'm doing it on uh, nines and tens. I know. All right. So there I took one so large I converted blast into a large because he had one small. You know, so that's all I needed, right? What a what a tear! You know how many power level these these copters are? This is like so much of my power level. I was like, oh, I need to get these more are power like a level. manta. They're really really <laughs> expensive. I'm um, gonna go ahead right now and say LVP. Yeah. No, but the funny thing is their profile is great. It's just you. Yes. <laughs> yes. It is entirely my fault. Like, I totally that could have been a lot. Yeah. Um, okay. Could have been. And uh, the Death Killer War Trike is out of range. Yeah. So. Naturally. Naturally. All right. Uh, my activation. Let's do it. Who wants to see something big? <gasps> yes. All right. How big? Let's. let's oh gosh. Let's manta it. Okay. I think it's time. Can you help with this? We've earned it. So I'm just gonna slide. This is how you move the manta. We basically make a oh, place guess. big enough for it to move, uh -huh. and then you literally just slide it up. Now the watch table. the flying stand. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching. watching. <laughs> Take so them all. Slide out. it all the way up, <sighs> and uh, we'll take as much, essentially as much distance as I can get. <laughs> it just covers the board. Now. <laughs> you have invalidated my top down. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. So we'll take it to roughly there. All right. So Manta's. Uh, Mantis moved up. He took the move and shoot action, unsurprisingly. <laughs> Look at this. He's as big as Brian. Are you, are you, in, are you not amused? <laughs> Gosh. All right, well, so, this is the top camp, top down now. <laughs> that's my Manta. Da -da. Uh, <laughs> Look how happy he is, though. He's what so a beast. You know what? While you're doing that, keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. I'll show you. All right. Oh, the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look. This model Manta is so actually, crazy. Oh, it's so actually, yeah. So you can see inside, there's actually an ethereal and a huge number of infantry. Um, okay. And there's even pilots in the cockpit. And uh, oh, wait, here, I'm you want to keep jumping? Yeah, here, we'll the, take it off. The cargo hold, there's also an understory. That's the yeah. top floor. There's yeah, a well, lower well, the floor. The understory holds crisis suits and uh, hammerheads. So here's so, the but inside. There, I don't have it inside. So. We have the, the bumper plate off. It's a little dark, obviously. But yeah. you can actually like fit models in there. You can legit fit. The, the crisis suits go on these racks. 
and the racks slide out and then drop them off. It's really super cool. Um, so crazy. So yeah. you're moving, and then, so the stuff inside is staying inside right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They oh, would cool. have had to get out first. That's what I thought, yeah, I just wanted um, to. So this turn, I'm, I'm leaving it in. Um, I'll do, I'll bring it out next turn. Nice. Um, and you're gonna be doing some shoosting? Yeah, just to, you know, just a let's bit. shoot the Manta. Look at that Stompa boy right there. Oh, yeah. Red Rula. <laughs> he Yum. just has like all these weapons. Oh, did you guys see it's his? So cool. Did you see his hand? So his hand is actually a collection of night hands. That he's like claimed. It's just a bunch That's of awesome. hands and chainsaws and stuff like that. Adrian, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Please tell me that yeah. in battle that just spins around. It's just like a oh, pinwheel of, of night arms. Yeah. <laughs> and he takes every time he beats he defeats a knight he takes a new one. So That's so awesome. If he kills the town arm, Brian has promised he's gonna buy me a town arm. <laughs> this is actually the first time he's hearing of it. <laughs> I'll do it. Do it. I have a bunch of town arms inside, actually. Oh! <laughs> they're they're already here. All right, we need to forge the narrative. Um, all right. Well, the Manta has uh, made a move. So this dude, all right, let's see. this dude has two rail cannons. Cool. Sixteen burst cannons, six ion cannons, two missile pods. Mm. Um, so that's just what's up with him. <laughs> um, so why don't we take the two heavy rail cannons? Okay. This is uh this is the real deal. Um, and we're gonna go into uh, we're gonna go into that Gorkonaut right underneath him. Yeah. And uh, let's just do that because um, we have the reroll hits on this this um, detachment. Yeah, you want to maximize um, I'm that? I'm trying to maximize. That's a great card. Yeah. How good is that? Market lights. Some of the cards are real good. Yeah. Well, market lights was fine. It was the other one. The reroll all wounds. Yes. That's against single model, not a whole detachment. A unit. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so that's on this Gork. So Market Lights is the better one. That's yeah. crazy good. Wow. So here I am. This thing hits on twos. Cool. And it wounds on twos. <laughs> well, with the mega uber gun. So two hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wounds on twos. Come on. I'm going to have to burn a reroll card here. I know it. <laughs> uh, no, okay. So that's two apocalyptic destroyer markers. So that is two large blasts, right? Two large each. blasts each. Well, so yeah. you just took four large four blasts. Four large blasts, <laughs> obviously. So now, now I have seven and a half yeah. large blasts. Manta! Oh, wow. Okay. And so here we are. Now we're now we've got the uh, uh, ion cannons. Cool. And the ions are going into this big boy over mm -hmm. here, right? Yep. So why don't we uh, why don't we go for that? Um, and here we are. We've got uh, six of them, so it's twelve shots. Mm -hmm. That's too many. One. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Two, four, eight. six, eight, yep. ten, twelve. Uh, what I'm saying is I might be putting too many into him. Oh, I see. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, probably. Uh, so why don't I, because how many wounds that you said they have three wounds each? And what's their armor say? No, they have four wounds each. Four wounds each and they have, what's their uh, armor say? I was is it about decent? to pull it up. Yeah, it's, it's probably the six up, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, it's the six up. Let's just kill them. Yeah, so I'm going to put good. it, here it is. Hitting yep. on twos, rerolling yep. ones. That's a lot of ones. That's a lot of ones. Now, oh, I should say, this is a this is a supercharged weapon. So the ones are Oh. Okay, so cool. they all hit. Good. So, well, luck. they're hurting you from your how many wounds, Brian? Your uh, thirty. Thirty wounds. Two, four, six, eight, <laughs> 10, <laughs> twelve. So this thing wounds you this on thing deeply five, upsets me. Yep. And it rerolls all failed wounds. Um, from the card I spent. Yeah. All right. Into the this is the Gork now, right? No, this is into the one you didn't put the card on. This one. Oh, you're going into this guy. Yeah. Because oh, okay. I think the other guys already. Okay. In big yeah. Trouble. Yeah. Just make. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. So I failed two. So that's ten uh, blast markers. Which so is five large, large. Five large blasts. Cool. Wowie, wow, 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 wow. Three, four, it's, five. Uh, it's a manta. You know, it's pretty good, but it's no death cop, dude. <laughs> that's true. So that thing did nine large blasts this turn? So far. Yeah. Um, now I've got the long barreled burst, and they're going to go into here. Yep. So long barreled burst cannons are two shots, so it's 32 shots. Mm, very nice. Two, four, six. This is an infantry killer. Yeah. Eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16. So I'm going to do this twice. Sounds good. All right, sounds good. So we're hitting here on twos. We're rolling ones. Um, okay. I actually flipped that one, but I'll re-roll it anyways. Just for fun. <laughs> okay, so I failed one. That's probably one I flipped. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know it is. <laughs> so 15 so far. So yeah. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Oh, no. Uh, it's fine. Who, who knew? We'd you run ran out. out of dice. We'd run out. You could use these terrible ones. Here you go. So these are wounding you on tens. Cool. Uh, that's after the minus one. Yeah. Cool. So <laughs> oh, um, look how ugly this one, is. <laughs> two, three. Okay. So that's three. Cool. So that's going to convert a, bl a, a blast into a large blast. 
And then we're going to do another 16. Two, four, six, eight, oh, and 12. Just keeps going. This thing is so offensive to me. <laughs> it is not offensive. It's so it is offensive. the glory of the Tau Empire. Yeah. Uh-oh. All right, all 16 this time. I'm going to need one more of those stinky dice. Yes, yeah, stinky dice. Okay. So here we are on 10s. Go. Uh, not many, actually. No. Is there any? One. One. All right. Man, Adrian, you don't so have that a card horrible. that's like, you know what I mean? delete a model, do you? What? That would be a good card if you had a card that was just like, Delete any one Delete model. One unit? The thing is, yeah. Just wag it out of existence. Yeah. If I put my entire army into that thing and shooting, I would like... You'd hurt it. I would hurt it. So it, uh, it's done. Okay. It's that, done. Your turn. That wasn't so bad. Yeah. <laughs> when, if there was a bunch of infantry, it would have been really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, but they're not out yet. All right, let's see. Taking it over to my activation. Um, let's oh, go. you know what the funny thing is? My burst cannons, I thought they were really short range. They're long barrel bursts. So actually, oh. I could have gone across the board. Oh. Next time. Luckily, yeah. Well, Weirdly, yeah. the model measures, it has a special rule that yeah. says mo- measure to the model, not the base. That's right. Uh, so 24 inches is not long. 36. Or 36 inches. Still pretty short. Yeah. No, I hear Cause you. Because it's, cause it's like angle. a foot yeah. and a half off the yeah. board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the mantra was epic. That was so epic. All right. Well, it's been a while since we've talked about this. So I'm just going to yeah, pop ahead. this again. We have launched our merch store today. That's true. We yes. Did. For the next week, you can use this promo code APOC2020, get 20% off. And man, are we excited about this merch it's, store. There's awesome. a lot of cool stuff. Go poke around. You'll see um, everything actually comes in like 10 different colors. So if you really don't like the color we're showing it as, mm-hmm. you can uh, you can pick any color you'd like. There's yeah. all kinds of cool stuff in there. Um, you could have subtle support for 40k just with uh, some socks on, or you could be loud out there with like these giant sweaters uh, showing your favorite faction. So <laughs> a lot is. of fun. That's great. I'm gonna activate my gas uh, detachment. Oh, okay. Which is double move. Just okay. Getting stuck They're in. just trying to get up there, and you're getting an infinite number of people up on the points. Yeah. This is the challenge here. As as much as um, I probably have put more blast markers on your army. Um, than you've put on mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm I'm in no position to ever hold a center objective at the moment. Right. Right. Like something big is going to have to change soon yeah. <laughs> for me to ever hold a center objective. And you haven't even brought your your guys up on the points yet. No. You exactly. Know what I mean? Exactly. So, you That's want to do true. another question? Yeah. Thanks, Sam. How much DACA could a DACA jet DACA if a DACA <laughs> jet could DACA DACA? Versus how much storm could a storm surge surge if a storm surge could storm surge? Well, well, the DACA could DACA more than the stir- surge could surge. Yeah. Uh, I think that's painfully clear from the history of surges. Truth be told, it's never enough DACA. That's right. <laughs> never enough. Exactly. Uh, I'm just checking what else is in that detachment, but that's probably right. going to be it. Okay. So. so they just moved. They just moved. All right. Yep. But back to you, Jennifer. I have <laughs> only big things left, so why don't we... Why don't we talked about a surge? Let's surge it. I got a surge for you. Let's get surging. Let's uh, let's activate this storm surge. And they are uh, super heavy, so they are the own, their own detachment. I know they right. look small, but they're quite so big. So they're going to move <laughs> and shoot. Cool. So that's a little thing I can do, so that's what I'm going to do. I like um, it. We're just going to get up so we've got more of our little guns, like burst cannons and things in range. So we're yeah. just walking up a little bit. You want to do another question while I pull up the data sheet? I'd love to. Thanks, William. Happy APOC Day. What up? What is a good way to round out a Death Guard army beyond Plague Marines, Pox Walkers, uh, LOC, Lord of Change, Lord, Lord, Lord of, of Contagion, Lord of Contagion, <laughs> and Blow Drones for the greater good. Terminators. Terminators. Yeah, yeah. I, I do I love like Terminators. Good. Yeah, Blood Lords are great. And assuming assuming they get the Terminator wound treatment, that new d- discussing the resilience on three wounds. Agreed. So let's start going into the Death Dreads mm-hmm. right here. That's a three man squad. It is a three man squad. They will be in the force field. Cool. As they do. As they do. So why don't we just put everything into that, just to make our life easy? Yeah. How does that sound? I like that. All right. So one cluster rocket system. Um, mm. uh, that'll be winning you on 11s. Uh, I'm not sure that's the best idea. So, um, <laughs> I mean, what else is there? Uh, do you have? They're really good against infantry. What's the range though? Uh, 48. Oh. Um, <laughs> All right, here. So you measure me up. I got you, son. Unit 48? 48. No, there's nothing. No way. There's no infantry within 48. No. Okay, there's nothing considered light within 48. No. Um, <laughs> all right, good. 11. Um, mm. Oh my god, I'm looking at the screen. Mm. This is so crazy. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and oh this whole gosh. center part is within force field range. Uh, yes. Just not, not the planes. Not the Stampa? Not the Stampa, not the planes. My planes are. Oh, yeah, they all are because yeah. of the pl- your plane that has plane a. That plane is a force field plane. Uh, 
Fine. <laughs> Count right. them both bills. We'll, we'll just do it anyways. Uh, all of them into the, yeah, those guys there. So Throwing dice. Cl cluster rockets. So it's eight shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, he hits on fours. I don't know what your plan was there. <laughs> on fours. And he rerolls one. Oh, there's another one there. Was that your intention to just slap it <laughs> no, on his no. hand? He just slapped I was dice trying to hand. get dice ready for the help with the wound, and I just made it worse. It was amazing. Everything so, is, everything's uh, awful. These things wound on uh, cluster rocket system wounds on tens, right. so up to elevens. So one wound. I still got one. I still got one. So this is on the depth the drives. Depth yeah. I like how much Brian wounds on elevens, and yeah. Adrian can't wound on sevens. <laughs> on sevens. <laughs> so That's... four destroyer missiles. Let's yeah. do that. Um, so these are all one use only, but like, what else are you gonna do? I might use them next turn because I'll get a plus one to hit next turn. So mm. how about I'll do that? Sure. Because that's cool, man. It's better than throwing <laughs> them all. You know what I mean? I threw my super rockets at you. They were one use only. Yeah. All of them? You used them all? Yeah. I only have two. Oh. So you're telling me to do it? Um, yes. Go. Okay. On fours. Okay. I hit with three. Mm. So it didn't cost you much. It didn't. I would have hit with that other one next turn, though. I know. So, uh, it wounding, didn't cost you something. But wounding here on fives. This is that to a minus? No, up to sixes. Sixes. Sounds good. Sorry, I never know when to so remind So two you. wounds. Cool, cool. And those are destroyer. <gasps> well, that sucks. They're called destroyer missiles, though. So. Yeah, that's true. So two large blasts. Mm. Um, not bad. <laughs> you should have missed like mine. <laughs> uh, so then we've got uh, two burst cannons. So that's burst cannon. You're rolling. Nice. Right? Yep. And the burst cannons are uh, on nines up to tens. Cool. There's one more. Sounds good. So that converts into a large blast. Adrian, I have word that you slapping dice out of Brian's hand has been clipped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has a smart missile Trying system. To flex on it. Wow, this thing has so many guns. <laughs> just like just, a 40k. Just to make the just to make yeah. everyone's life hard. So the smart right. missiles are nines up to tens. So nothing. And then he has just just the pulse blast cannon. Mm. Which, uh, let's do Pulse Blast Cannon. Four shots. Okay. Yep. Ooh, 100%. No. Ah. So three hits. Cool. And uh, this one is fives up to sixes. So two wounds, and they're not blast, they're not big or anything. Even though that's the giant gun. Really? It's not, uh, wow. it's nothing. I think it sucks. So just one large blast. Um, okay, that was me. Sounds Listen, good. That, that was fine. Yeah, that was good. That was that good. Was good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ultimately, he put what? Three large blasts or four large blasts on there? Or did I already have that wounded? Oh no, I didn't. No. So four large okay, blasts. Okay, that was actually good. It all actually like, added up. Legitimately non ironically. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Because how many they only have how many wounds for that squad? Uh, me asking you all these no, questions. No, it's fine. It's, oh, it's, it's <laughs> two per. So six for the yeah. whole squad? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing damage to them. Mm-hmm. It's actually a lot of wounds. Oh, they're separate units. Oh, oh are they all separate? Yeah. Rip. I'm a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, decide what you want to do. Well, we can. How much? How many blast markers have already been allocated? There's four. Four, four large. Four yeah. large. All right. This turn, we'll just treat them. At, oh, jeez. And you can have like an extra two because uh, you weren't minus one to wound. Oh. So you decide how you want to fix my mistake. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you take them as a squad of three with dread mob, and then they still split up. Right. Like forty k. And they have two wounds each. Correct. And what's I mean, armor we could just like six. Armor save of six? Yeah. You can just like evenly distribute. You can do two and two. So I'll have four, no, four, I'll keep four on one and I'll put one on the other. One on one on Okay. Other. All right. Sounds it's good. Very charitable, Brian. That's fine. It's no big deal. My bad. All right. We're going to do the gargantuan squigoth. Oh, yeah. We're going. So he's a move and fight. Because uh, I want to, you know, do something. You're stuff. just trying to get him up faster. So you're double moving him. No, no, no. I'm moving and shooting. Oh, when you say fight, you mean shoot. Well, move and do an action. Isn't it the same thing? Yes. It's the same. It I understand command. what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, now, Adrian, are there any enemy models within an inch? No, sadly, no. Oh. He gets to do some some mega crushing. You like rams. Yeah, yeah which the is fantastic. It's equivalent of in 40 gate does the, the mortals on a... D, D6 mortal wounds on a 2+. plus. Okay. It's quite saucy. All right, so let's see. Um, I've got the... We went with the big zappas, right, Bridger? Because it sounds cool. Yeah. Um, I always use the cool. lobbies in, in regular 40 k so it's two shots. That is not that great. <laughs> Your he's good at fighting. To he's, a, he's a fighter. <laughs> he's you know a what fighter. Mean? He's a lover. Yeah, he's a fighter. Your response to everything is like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> it's not. I mean. used to it with orcs. Like they look great. <laughs> um, okay, so how I feel? I'm feeling pretty good about those two riptides. I think you've hurt them real bad. Um, I don't know if they're dead. I honestly don't know. Folks has a good know. point. We did mess up that unit. We should yeah. just start over. <laughs> re rack, re rack, the whole re thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I all totally right, I'll start agree. sliding the man to back. Yeah, we'll read all the super chats from the beginning again. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, God. 
All right, let's see. What we're going to do is we are going to put the Zappas into... I don't know. You want to do a question while he's figuring out his life? I would love to. You you keep thinking, Adrian. Yes, yeah, keep thinking. Thanks, William. Happy APOC Day. Thank you. Ooh. What is a good way... Okay. What is this guy trick it's you into reading the something? same thing again. It's the same question? I I just read it twice. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, I see. Thanks well, thanks, William. Thanks, William. Twice thanks, in a row. Thanks, Inferno. So looking forward to this, Titans. My son Me is too. going to watch with me, too. Cannot wait to see those Tau Flyers soaring and dominating. Tau is our first army, so we both have a soft spot for him. That's I'm, awesome. I'm really excited for uh, for the Tau. And I'm, it's, we want to see the Mantis soar, but uh, it's, uh, it's real heavy. <laughs> so maybe it'll chug. It'll yeah. chug, not soar. Exactly. Uh, you know, the, the Tiger Sharks will soar, though. You know yeah. what I really yeah. love What's about that? APOC? Pick up a Tiger Shark and hold it next to your head. <laughs> yeah. It's no, like, do, just, just a real Tiger Shark? Pick yeah. up. Maybe, okay, yeah. So hold up. It's, it's gigantic. It's a huge model. But when you look it at it on the board, tiny. yeah, they look tiny. <laughs> yeah, that's good. They're not even like they're nothing. Yeah, the tiger Apoc sharks. Is awesome. <laughs> the tiger sharks are normally the biggest model on the battlefield by yeah. by a wide margin. Yeah, but in this case, they're absolutely not. Absolutely. All right. So we're right. fine. So big zappas uh, into the riptide. Okay. Let's do this. The Yavara, the riptide. Just the, to be clear. The riptide. The riptide. The wounded one. The, the middle one. Oh, the one that's unwounded. Yeah. Got it. No, he has. There's a, a small blast and a large blast right there. Okay. Because I did shoot at him at some point. Great. On fives. Oh, nice. And uh, ba -deep, ba -deep, ba -deep, ba -deep. thank you. This is on uh, 12? Yes, that'll do it. So that's uh, just one small blast? Just, that's it. So you upgraded How him to a large blast. That was all of his shooting? No, I've got... Uh, <laughs> that was all of his <laughs> shooting? Get out of here, Brian. Well, he said that's it. I was like, whoa, okay. And that's I nice. only have like six more shots. This guy sucks. Well, but he's also carrying tank busters in a different detachment yeah. that you should try not to forget about. Oh, I know. They're it's they're with the guys' detachment, so they've kept in range. Uh, so two hits with the big shooters on nines now. Oh! oh. So two more. One small, oh, one geez. large blast. One more large. Yep. That's three twelves in a row. I know. That's that's actually a lot harder than three sixes in a row. Could this perhaps bode for the future? No. No. <laughs> like, I, I, know what you, I know you hope it does, but I'm it hoping. didn't. All right, that, that's it for my uh, that's my my school got to the hatch. Well, while I'm used to playing storm surges, I'm gonna activate this storm surge back here. That's good. He's call. gonna stand still and drop his anchors. <gasps> um, get his plus one to hit. Drop those anchors. Yeah, he's gonna drop those. And I've been shooting at a bomber, right? There was a bomb over there, and uh, yeah. uh, that I was shooting at. So I'm gonna shoot yeah. at a bomber. Oh yeah, there's a small blast over here, which I'll just keep here. Oh, that's what that blast was. I thought it was my blast oh, you... for my own plane, so I took it away from you. Because uh. I was like, oh, I must have. I need to put it on my plane. I and I was like, oh, I already have one on my plane. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is nothing. I like it. I like it. Okay, so I'm just going to put everything into that into that wounded, uh, bomber. That wounded bomber, all right? Sounds good. And we got to start working them down sometime. I feel you. So we're gonna, let's start with the burst cannons. Cool. So he's got two of them. Um, so he's going to be hitting here, by the way, up on fours. So one hit. Because he's minus, he's plus one, minus one. That's right. Yep. And wounding here on a lot. Uh, ten, yes. Because that's minus one up to Pretty a ten. Pretty good. So this so is a small, small blast. blast. So I'm up to a large blast now. Hooray! Nice. <laughs> then we're going to do the cluster rockets. Cool. And uh, that's eight shots. Three, four, five, six, seven, mm -hmm. eight on fours. Cool. No re-rolling ones this time, but uh, wow. real good tau Quite shooting. Quite good. Five. And then cluster rockets are not good. Just remember, they're on 11s uh, because of your... Uh, force field. Yep. Force field, yeah. Some force field, yeah. So okay. zero. We have the destroyer missiles. I legitimately am not using them yep. this turn. I'll allow it. Um, and uh, or it's on fours. Why not? Sure. So was that them? Three hits, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you knew in your heart you were going to do it. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> uh, so these are uh, fives up to sixes. Sounds good. Um, ooh, only one. Wow. Um, these are good to reroll because they, they are destroyer. Let me see if I have a reroll card. I would if you can. Um, a reroll card that I want to One burn. large blast because it's destroyer. Yeah. Destroyer. Destroyer. Destroyer gets. Jim Fish Boys. Well, while you're no, I only have a hit roll reroll. Nope. All right. Okay. So just one. So it's a destroyer you got on me. Yep. Um, and then lastly, we've got the smart missile system. Two shots, no hits. That's it. He's done. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and take a question. I'm going to do my buggies next. All right. Thanks, Magnus. Did nothing wrong. Super hyped for this. The trailer was a nice mm -hmm. touch. Waiting to hear about merch so I can get all of it. Well, here. I'll. Uh, I'm glad you heard about it. For you. <laughs> Here, oh, we're so glad you asked. We planted <laughs> this right. guy, apparently. Yeah, yeah. 
You um, know, there were some like some premium members that that found the merch store because we put it up attached to the YouTube we put channel. It up, and we put it up at uh, roughly one a.m. last night or midnight yeah. last night. Yeah. Um, just because YouTube's actually a little finicky, so the funny thing is. It's actually showing up a little wrong because we've modified a bunch of the items in the store. So we changed the colors and mm -hmm. added more options. And that doesn't process through to YouTube. So um, I, I was worried that there might be some glitch. So once I got it working, I decided just to leave it <laughs> rather than... Uh, so yeah, some people might have found but it. But the time. members found it super fast. They of found course. it at 9 a.m. So like eight within eight hours of us telling nobody, they found it. <laughs> well, it, it was appearing on the page. But we told nobody. Yeah, that's true. They found it. Yeah. And I was like, I woke up at, at like 9.30 today, and I was like, oh, hey, guys, you know, there's a promo code, so, like, don't buy stuff yet. Yeah. <laughs> and they were all face palming. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are wilding. Well, we're glad for the sport uh, uh, anyways, and we hope you really like it. We worked hard to make them cool, and that's actually one of the reasons we put so much work into these emotes, because yeah. uh, we knew we wanted to make really cool 40K merch out of them. Yeah. And so that's... That's one of the reasons we, we work to make the art so nice. And to answer the question in chat, Teespring does ship internationally. Yeah. Uh, so if it shows up in your country, if you can open the then store, you can, then, you, then can you can buy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Sounds good. I'm just picking up a, a bunch of buggy profiles. All right. Want to do another question? Let's do it. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, Magnus. Did nothing wrong. Seriously, hoping there's a studio floor dice. I mean, no offense, Adrian. <laughs> kind of only want the Brian ones. They seem to roll <laughs> higher. Unless you separated out the Night Shield ones. That's right. I want the Brian ones. <laughs> I'd buy that. So should we talk about dice? Oh, that's right. So sure. uh, Teespring specifically doesn't make dice. So we're not going to be able to sell dice through Teespring. Um, we are going to make dice separately. We've been investigating different manufacturers like Chessex and other companies. And uh, generally speaking, um, we haven't found a dice manufacturer that we're happy with just yet. So we're not ready to start selling dice. We guaranteed we'll make dice and we will be selling dice. Yeah. Um, but uh, not for not not for till the new year, for sure. We're working on it. Yeah. Time we're, to shoot? Let's do it. Brian, right, do you right. want to stand where the turn marker is not in your head? Uh, yeah. There you go. I like it. I think so the cool. reason, the funny thing is, these planes are so high up, they're like directly between me and Bridger. Oh, that's right. Um, and so I moved to the right so I can see Bridger's uh, beautiful Taco Bell <laughs> sweater. So beautiful. People in chat were telling me to order Taco Bell during the stream. And, and get, it, it. get it delivered. Yeah. So Taco Bell goes bad roughly 20 seconds after it's been made. Right. So if it gets delivered, it's... Um, it would be bad. Like, like I think it's illegal to feed it to animals at that point. That's <laughs> <laughs> so true. Time to shoot. Let's get shooting. So we have the uh, three shock jump dragsters going straight down this this door here, and um, we're gonna... shooting the manta. I say you measuring the manta. I will be with the scrap jets because they so can't excited. shoot anything else. You I'm so excited. Get it. Watch that. So here's the they were shock rifles into that. I can't, I don't know. Like, are the ripheads gonna die? Are they not gonna die? I have no idea, dude. Who knows? So we're gonna I have go good armor sins. Yeah, I don't. You know what? We're, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do one on each of those riptides. Um, on the riptides, not the Yavar. Got it. Uh, mm -hmm. Or did you mean the Yavara? The Yavara, the Riptide, and the Riptide. So one on This back Riptide is uninjured, correct? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so this is on the Yavara. On a five. Nope. Middle Riptide? And they don't have targeting squigs here. No, that sucks. Middle Riptide? Nope. Back Riptide? Yes. yes. All right, and this is on a... Oh, it's supercharged too, but I didn't really want to. You didn't really want yep. to. Yep. All right, on a five plus, looks good. And so one so more small blast on the back. That's a large back. blast because it's supercharged, right? No, is that what that's it does? just plus one to wound. Plus one to wound. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. And back Riptide's actually taken uh, taken a beating. Yes. He's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six large blasts, <laughs> and now one small. Uh, we're gonna do the rockets uh, into the Yavara on fives. One hit, and check it. Hey, there's a seven. Okay. So that's another small blast onto the Yavara. Onto the Yavara, yeah. You got Is it. Is that the last thing into the Yavara? Um, from that unit. Okay. Um, probably, yeah. So then let's go to the custom booster blasts. That's these guys with the rivet guns here. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna go into that middle. Uh, Riptide, yes, I mean Riptide, and we're gonna do so. Rivet cannons are times two, so this is gonna be four shots because it's a two man squad on fives. Okay, that works. Nice. Yep. And then on a seven. 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 There you go. So that's one small blast there. On to the middle Riptide. Middle Riptide. Okay. And uh, let's do some mega tra mega track scrap jets. These three all into the Manta. You're gonna get yes. it now, Brian. Oh, I'm so excited. Here we Shoot go. Shoot the Manta. Three. Wow. What the hell? Oh These are way better in Warhammer. So here's rocket cannons. Minus one to hit. Sixes. <laughs> <laughs> and then the wing missiles. Sixes. Oops. Oh, man. oh there was, was a six, a six out, of the, out of the Come on. Oh, uh, nothing. 
That's gonna suck. Not the Manta. The Manta's got nothing. Got nothing yet. Twin big shooters. I almost don't want to roll this. It's it's so <laughs> big that I don't see how you could miss it. I know. <laughs> if, if they just do right? the thing where they just shoot up into the air, yeah. the Manta just gets hit. Yeah, I was like, you have to be trying to be this fast. So this is sixes as well. This is uh, just big shooters. So we've got two Dakas. Nope. And then on something really really high, I assume. Oh, does a ten do it? Actually, they both do it. No, no, this one does not. Okay. This one does it, yep. So you put one small blast on my Manta? Yes. Oh, such disrespect. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to put it on top. <laughs> it's happening, right? <laughs> <laughs> that could be a wound. Oh, I, man. So the armor save on the Manta is only a five up. <laughs> so it's an amazing maybe, save. Rough. Maybe a wound. Yeah. Um, uh, not bad. Yeah. But wait, there's more. We're going to put this mech special right here. Um, three shots on sixes. Can I not even roll in there? Okay, cool. <laughs> Um, big shooters. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. It's one Engine. shot for this profile. Weird. No, nope, misses. All right, cool. Good talk. Um, we're good there. We're good there. The squig buggy's out of range. And that's it. That's all she wrote. That's all she all wrote. All right. What are we activating next? Um, let's do a tiger shark. Let's do it. Yeah. So you want to do a question? I'll move my tiger shark. Well, Chad actually wants to see the Taco Bell sweater. Yeah. Come so over I'm here. Hop over. Yeah. Bridger. You can talk into my mic. I'm going to talk into Adrian's up? chest. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Yeah, look, it's Taco Bell. I think, and uh, you probably christened it okay. by also spilling some Taco Bell on yeah. it. It's not done until you do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Um, it's pretty great. <laughs> I love it. It's like still a crisp fry. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm talking to the air. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like it's not You need to talk into Adrian's chest, into his mic. Well, but then I, I was like That's walking how I prefer away. it. <laughs> um, but uh, it's not comfortable. But I think Christmas sweaters aren't supposed to be comfortable. Taco Bell's no. not comfortable anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. If you're eating Taco Bell, you're already uncomfortable. That's right. Please sponsor us, Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the tiger shark did like a tiger shark thing. And Beautiful. Moved. It's precariously close to the edge. So please. It's not that close to the edge, okay. but it's close enough. All right. It's as close as it was on this side. Yeah. The thing is, it's this your is side, side now. That's where I so, oh, no. It's so much All more right. dangerous. So, um, and it's in its own detachment? Yes. Yeah. Because is it a super heavy? Um, oh, this is an air wing detachment, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my bad. That's okay. Okay. We'll just move oh, the other tiger shark. Yeah, don't worry about it. Even though, yeah. No, I'll activate them all together. I'm sorry. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that means they, they were out of command, That too. means they were out of command. Don't worry about it for now. Um, just do what you can do. Fix it. <laughs> just next turn, try to get them near each other? No, next turn, I'll get them, I'll get them into command. Yeah. I'm not worried. Okay, great. Oh, but now you're going to put, oh, God. <laughs> now it's, uh. uh yeah. Well, I'm just putting them near each other, because I was. You know, I'd like to apologize in advance to Israel Sanchez. Oh, for... Brian, no. No. Yo. oh cool. man. We're fine. Jack can it. see nothing. I'm There's get, no camera angle that gets it. <laughs> Cam shot. You can't see this in the top now? No. <laughs> no. Really? It's you too just high. See, like, like the butt of, the of one oh, of the planes. Oh, that's funny. All right. Okay. <laughs> fine. I'll move them into <laughs> top down because I want people to see them. Well, they, they can see you now. Oh, you're <laughs> they can see it just from the hand. Beautiful. Oh, air wings can be single model, so it's fine. Oh. What? Because, like, how else would you run one plane? Um, you can't. I'll check the rules. Um, I thought, yeah. Because the detachments have lower minimums than this. Like, you can have zero HQs in almost every detachment. Yeah. Okay, fine. Well. You can, you know, whatever you want. It's all good. I'm sorry. Ah, I feel so much better with those planes between me and, and uh, the Taco Bell. Um, yeah. So much nicer. All right. Um, let me so, just bring up its profile. Yeah, yeah Airwing is one to five flyers. So, oh. so the way you okay, do it is fine. Okay, so I will do them all independently. It's going to be a lot like, easier. It's kind of like, aren't even battalions? Or no, the special detachments, you can have zero HQ, right? Yeah. Something like that, I, we discovered. So these are Tiger Sharks. These are not fighter bombers. These are AX 1-0s. Oh. These are the Titan Hunter, um, Titan Hunter weapons. So really, let's, uh, let's hunt some Titans, maybe. Sounds great. Um, that's what it's supposed to be. But... These have the apocalyptic destroyer rule, which is four blast markers for every wound. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty into it. What? Um, that's what they're, these. They're, they're giant Titan hunting railguns. They have the same railgun as the Manta, basically. Um, so they're awesome. X10 is like one of the coolest models. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty great. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a sick model. So okay, let's. Um, I don't know what to kill. Uh, frankly, <laughs> you have options. Uh, so the, the Stompa is 10, 10, 12, 20, sure. 15? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to see, like, I'm not going to kill it this turn, but I can maybe chip some wounds off of it mm, to make yeah. it a little softer. I feel you. Um, Stompa is eight. Eight wounds, OK. <laughs> so I'll put one of them into it, the mm -hmm. one in the middle that's a little bit closer. Cool. And uh, let's go with the two 
heavy rail cannons. <laughs> on twos, good thing I have a reroll for when this fails. Okay, good. <laughs> and on twos. Oh, oh, that was a good okay. flex. So that's uh, eight. Um, and you don't have actually, a KFF on threes because I have KFF. Yeah. yeah oh, bad. I thought you said he was out of KFF when I asked you last time. Uh, you, you, uh, there's one right here. Oh, no, I moved the detachment. Oh, so sorry. he was out. Now he's in. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay. I mean, you you, you were the moon, on Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would have still done it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, because okay. it was out, and then I moved up. Yeah, so yeah. literally nothing from my, that would have been eight blast markers right there. I know. Good. Um, keep the stomp alive. Um, you can kill everything else. Stomp for life. My two uh, big okay. boys, though. So here we go. Uh, two burst cannons. Um, so four shots. Uh, okay, three hits mm -hmm. and. Tens to wound. We can't. We can't afford to be losing <laughs> these. So we got so one. one. One light. One sl uh, small blast. blast. And uh, we've got the missile pods. <laughs> so two missile pods. <laughs> so two hits with the missile pods. No. <laughs> what just Did happened? you break a model? No, he didn't. He didn't. It's fine. Just a little. These are nines. Plate. So one more light blast on him. Okay. And uh, I'll do that in a second. <laughs> and okay, that's the tiger shark. Oh, come on. That's the tiger shark. Cool. That's shot. <laughs> you want to do the other one too? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. Poke my eye out. Um, okay, so hitting on twos. <laughs> Did you drop the same model again? I didn't drop it. I, I... That's <laughs> how, amazing. How? How was I not doing that? All right, right so hitting on twos. Hits. No, fool me twice. So this is wounding on threes. <laughs> yeah. Last time I rolled double twos. Because you were you were thinking of twos. That's true. I was. I tricked you. Okay, so that's eight blast markers on them. Eight blast markers. Small blast. Eight eight small blasts. Which yeah. is four large. Which yeah, is four yeah. large. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> So now we'll put the uh, I'm just gonna wait. the burst cannons. Go. I don't know how many times he can take this. Two. There's one more small blast. Okay. And then we've got the uh, two missile pods. Two hits, and missile pods are gonna be on nines with your minus one. So nothing. That's it. Okay. All right. So they shot. Okay. Oh man, that was amazing. <laughs> Here we go oh, again. I see what's happening. You got it. <laughs> this, like, this sweater is like pretty form fitting, but when I lean against, this bit like comes it hangs out. Off. That's what's happening. Um, okay, so I shot the tiger sharks. You know what um, doesn't do this is our sweaters. <laughs> that's true. Um, <laughs> Anyways, there you go. That was a lot of blast. That was a lot of good. blast. Yeah, so we'll chip some wounds from him, but yeah. uh, you know it won't kill him or anything. But it'll definitely take him down a notch. Absolutely. Um, all right, we're gonna do our freebooters detachment. Okay. Oh dang. Let's see it. Want to um, do another question while he's yeah? Go ahead. I'd love to. Thanks, Phil. What do you think of a heavier sister battle list? Valorous Heart, three exorcists at the back. Repentia, three mortifiers up front. An MSU sister battle holding the midfield. I think that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I like all those cool. units. They're totally like the, all the sisters units are solid. So um, it's yeah, it's great. Go for it. Awesome. Thanks, Elliot. One CP for Bridger. What do you find individuals think of Blood Angel successor traits? Does Whirlwind uh, and Bolter Fusilades beat Red Thirst? Maybe Whirlwind and Born Heroes? What do you recommend? Mm. It is really hard to beat. Red Thirst Whirlwind. is just about the best uh, chapter tactic there is. Um, so I would say no. I would say they're not even close, actually. Hey, Peter, you want to give Val in here? We have a Stompa. So, and it's on the table. He does love Stompa. And it's like a Where's Waldo <laughs> yes. on this table. Wait, find the Stompa. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I don't have any weird things to do. Okay. Um, because I actually burned. No, it's not going to come up. Competitive streak. I have to kill something. Yeah. You don't have small things, so I, I burned it. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to put the flash gets into the uh, tiger shark. Tiger shark. Something or other. Yeah. The A A X one dash zero. That's right. You have to say it right. I do. It's just like uh, Drazar, <laughs> Master of Blade. You know what? When you put it in that context, yeah. I can respect it. All right, so we've got the for the 10, 10 models, uh, which is what it is. This is four attacks. With their snap. Oh no, it's four times three snaz guns. Solid. All right, boom, boom, boom. And they are rerolling ones to hit because of uh, bad ruck. So let's do this. They are hitting on fours because they're flash kits. So up to five. So up, back up to five. <laughs> Gosh darn. <laughs> All right. It's a lot of shots though. That's good. And Very few things actually uh, in your army have this many shots. Yeah. Wow. Reroll all these ones. Bad ruck. Nice. Good, good panda. Yeah, and three dockers. Uh, three dockers. Looks good. See them fives. One Real more. All the ones. Oh, uh, yeah, nice. Uh, good potential. So yeah. This is two, four, six. Okay, here's six for you right here. Thank you. And these are on eights against tough stuff. All right, that's a big nothing. 
Adrian. You and the him. odds of that. He went and Adrian did. The odds. Well, that's about the same odds as all your cop is doing nothing. I know. That's it's right. It's roughly the same. I'm, I'm consistent. I will say that. He all is right. consistent. <laughs> We've got. Don't, yeah. So his shooting has been awful, but um, he's he's actually in an extremely dominant position. So mm. well, next turn, I want to see orcs standing still and hitting on fours. I want to see it. Amen, orcs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There was no guarantee anything was going to come close. Although now, of course, I wish I was standing and aiming with all of these grots. But they will be hitting on fives yeah. because it's flyers. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here's Captain with Deripa on a uh, five. Misses. Cool talk. And then we're going to go to the Ludas. Um, I have a full squad, so this is going to be uh, 12 shots. Jeez. Death guns. All right, let's take a question while I'm collecting my dice. I'd love to. Thanks, uh, B. Freeman. Will James ever sell STL files? If I'm going to print minis mm. anyway, I'd pay a premium for official GW ones. Easy to brew, and Buzzweiser still doing fine. I think a long time from now, they might for things like terrain or extra bits or upgrade stuff, sort yeah. of like the shoulder pads or things like that. I don't know for their main kits if that would be interesting for them. I think if the day comes that uh, 3D printing is so ubiquitous, they can't stop it. That they've it, lost control over it. They right. might... They yield. might, they yeah. might do it, yeah. Yeah, and we're still at a point where, even though it's cheaper, it's still a lot of time and effort learning how to do it. And so, yeah. there's they still have the advantage of having mass-produced like molds yeah. that make it easier for just consumers to get. You You'd know? have to worry about people three D printing and then selling. Yeah, also absolutely. I will so. say, um, so raging, raging heroes, um, yeah. they do the toughest girls in the galaxy. I've just found out they have a Patreon mm -hmm. that you get. Um, a bunch of digital models every month. They release like a set of files. Yeah. So like it was a bunch of chaos stuff. Crazy, crazy awesome. That's, awesome. So they sell, that's actually a weird example of someone that sells models and also has this system where they sell STL files. That's great. So that's cool. All right, this is a Def Guns hitting on sixes. Oh yes. That's uh, This is how I that's a nothing. roll. No, that's a one. Oh, was there? Nice. And it's a DACA. Ah. Man. All right. And on a seven. Uh, it's a one. <laughs> Adrian. Right. Uh, and then, oh, Adrian. But wait. There's more. I need I need strats without my strats, right? Because yeah. loot is in 40k function when you're auto hitting on fives that also explode. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of something that doesn't have strats, the shock attack gun. This is a destroyer we weapon. Actually, this one does have a long range, so maybe I don't have to waste the shots. <laughs> He um, says waste the shots because he knows that he will never kill He's going to spend like 10 minutes coming up with a decision and then just roll a one to hit. I can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, oh man, this is the right tactical thing. Just shoot this thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only thing I can see is that back rib tide that's super the in trouble already. One? Oh, that's the unwounded one. Yeah. Whatever, we're going into him. Fives. Oh, oh, oh I could have got him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so they both hit. Two Dakas, dude. Two Dakas. Oh, okay. Could have been the dream. Could have been Candyland. This yeah. is on sixes. <laughs> okay, you got one small blast on me. I think I only have a reroll to hit, not a reroll to wound. No, this is destroyer. Please, oh, it's please, destroyer. Please. This is a shock attack gun. I have no idea. <laughs> look at this guy. Look at this guy. This is awesome. Melee, destroyer. How much damage does a shock attack gun Oh, I do get? have proper killy I could reuse. Okay. Yeah, you know, let's do this. So you're going to reroll the wound? Reroll it. Uh, it fails. <laughs> can't change the pass, Adrian. What's that? Can't change the pass. Can't, can't change, change the pass. pass. That's right. We have, can't change, we have that can't change the pass shirt. It's actually a... It's a dude overcharging his yeah. plasma and dying from it. And it's, it's like, no, so I'll just reroll the plasma. And it's like, no. <laughs> Can't change the past. Can't change the past. Well, that was uh, my, uh, that was that detachment. I only have two things left, uh -huh. and they're town hours. <gasps> oh, dang. It's town hour time. It is town hour time. I'm excited. So I'm going to do this one in the corner here. It's got the move and shoot, um, because dude never needs to aim fire, because dude hits on twos. So, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. So uh, it's time. You're we couldn't up. see it. It was concealed by the Manta, but Brian yeah. did take the arm off. That's right. That's good. Thanks, Manta. You got my back. Yeah, for um, real. And I dropped a bunch of my chips on the floor. Okay, little little score. Okay, so let's shoot. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to make a decision. You take a question. Yeah, I'd love let's to. Town our supremacy. Thanks, Game Freak. Hey, Titans. Happy APOC Day. I just bought the Space Marine half of Indominus. They're going to be salamanders. How should I round out the team? Happy APOC Day. Get another box of Indominus. Honestly, um, the best value is to buy another box yeah, of Indominus. Yeah, and that's a, I, yeah, it's not actually a joke. That is like such a good build for salamanders. Um, obviously, Chief Apothecary is really powerful. Um, yeah. It, that one comes with a chaplain, so you don't really need another chaplain. Um, honestly, that's, you, you do that, and you have a really solid Space Marine army right there. Is there anything else that... Yeah. 
Um, I mean, like, you don't get any vehicles in Indominus. So if you want vehicles with your salamanders, like yeah. if you want... But, like, what would you do? Oh, you could do Inceptors. Like you could do Inceptors, yeah. Plasma really like Inceptors are good. Plus one to wound from the salamanders. Oh. True. Uh, characters, you need, like, Chaplain. Because there's no Chaplain in that box. There is Chaplain. In that box? Yeah. Oh, there's the Bike Chaplain. No. Yeah, you could. It does not come with a bike chaplain. Come, comes with a chaplain on foot. Which, like I said, is it's fine. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Huh. So it's like apothecary and more indominus. Right. right yeah. Um, yeah. Good answer. If you want Phobos, you could do some like infiltrators that are really spicy. So. Okay. I'm ready. Shoot. Let's do it. So uh, I'm gonna take his heavy rail cannon. This mm. is the three giant rail cannons on his back. No kidding. Um, it has one shot. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice. Three giant rail cannons, <laughs> yeah. but it's one shot. Very nice. Um, but it's the same as all these other rail cannons. Oh, okay. So it's the uh, it's the apocalyptic destroyer weapon, um, and so we're gonna put that into. Um, I don't know. We hurt the stomp a bit. We'll work them down a little more mm. with that, and then what we're gonna do is put the triaxis ion cannons into the six man squad here that I haven't. Yeah. Uh, that I haven't uh, wounded yet, and uh, then we'll also put the burst cannons there. The smart missiles there um and uh and then that's it all right yeah that's what we got that sounds good so why don't we start with the heavy rail cannon cool this is hitting on a two re-rolling nothing i do have one re-roll to one okay good so this thing wounds on a two up to a three and you know how well that worked out for me last know, time right? um it's an eight cool so cool. that's apocalyptic destroyer right there Onto Sounds the good. big Stompa. All right. Brian, don't kill the Stompa. So this is two, two, two blasts. large blasts. You yeah. can't kill the Stompa until Val have a fingers here. Uh, well, you better get here. Um, <laughs> okay, let's go with the two triaxis cannons. These are mm -hmm. six shots. Sounds good. Into this squad right here. So I'm hitting on twos, rerolling ones because of spark of lights. Mm. Thank you. Nice. And so six went through. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And the triaxis wounds on a six, so this is up to a seven. Sounds good. All right. So one, two, three, and this is Cox. Four. So two large blasts on the other squad. All right. And then we're going to put the four burst cans. Um, and if I'm remembering. Sorry, which squad is that? The six man here. Yep. Six, eight, ten. Or the oh. back ones. The one you haven't been shooting at. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sorry, I don't know where they start and end. On twos with the burst <laughs> cannons. Nobody does. We're rolling ones. Great, so that's eight. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Two more if you can. And uh, these, of course, are on nines after the minus one. So one, two, three, four. Cool. Yeah, two more. Two more large blasts. Yeah. And um, He's really nice, guys. The four smart missile systems. Um, so it's just four shots into the same. So they all hit. So mm -hmm. four more. And the smart missile systems on nines as well. Cool deal. Um, nothing. Nice. All right. So that's the uh, that's the town. I've only got one model left after that. Very nice. Um, so it's up to you. What do you have, Adrian? Uh, I've got the two mech gun detachments, the two grot detachments, and the speed freaks detachment. So it's going to be the Adrian show soon. Yeah, Adrian show. So we're going to do this grot detachment all the way in the back here. Um, it's not actually all grots. Uh, we've got the super cannon that can see this middle riptide here. Okay. So we're going to put that into there and the middle unit of three mech guns into mm -hmm. the same target. And these ones on the side are uh, a little bit out of uh, the angle to be able to see. And uh, this should be incoherency. And you took the stand and shoot order with them? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll throw the other three into this flyer, because that's all I can see. Okay, great. Well, let's do this. So we've got smashes. We'll do the ones into the flyer first. Uh, this is so normally on fours, now on fives. Uh, sorry, normally on fours, down to threes, up to fours. Oh, you're right. Cool. So you still, yep. same thing. Daka. Very nice. And uh, ba -dip -ba -dip. this is on so one hit. five. Cool. And there it is. So one more small blast. You got it. Okay. Um, and then we've got the other unit into middle riptide right here. So okay. this is on threes. Nice. And a Daka. And a Daka. Not three. No. Nope. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. So of course. <laughs> and then this was what? On fives? Uh, okay. So one large blast <laughs> on the... <laughs> Even. That's which riptide is this? The very back one? Uh, middle, or the middle, middle one? one. <laughs> the one that you're really hurting. Yeah. Yep. No, no. The one that... Sorry. This this one right here. That's so the, the front least... riptide. Front riptide. Got it. That's got right. it. Got it. Got it. I'm sorry. They... I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, and now the battle cannon with uh, super can the battle wagon with the super cannon. Okay. Is uh, into the same thing. Yeah. So this is going to be. This is into two the shots. front riptide. Front riptide. Okay. So two shots on fours. Ooh, and, and a Daka. Daka. Come on. Nope. And it's on threes for these because it doesn't shoot. Or is no, that that's what, this, this is, is orcs. An orc this is orcs. Okay, great. And then winning on sevens. Sevens! Yes! There's a large blast on that same Sounds front good. riptide. Great. Yeah. 
Oh, and then I have other weapons that were out of range, so we'll just go into this flyer as well. Uh, we've got the rocket launcher. Nice. Not nice. And on a seven. Nope. Of course. Good talk. <laughs> I'm not even going to roll the big shooters. All right, All right, there you go. So you put two large blasts on that Riptide and one small blast on my Tiger Shark. Got it. And my last activation now? Mm-hmm. All right, it's time for Town Art number two. Oh, dang. I'm excited. Dang. I'm excited for turn one to almost be over. God. Before this game started, while we were planning, yeah. Yeah. I was going through the chart to figure yeah. out like how long this game should take. I estimated <laughs> We it. actually don't know, though. At 12 to 16 hours. It's not going to take that long. And nobody believed me. You guys I believed were like, you. no, it's not no, going to no, take no, that long. I believed you. I told Brian, was like, no, 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 it's going to be fine. We are aiming right now. We're on course for yeah. an over three hour turn one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Brian. And we'll see how much dies. <laughs> Hopefully a lot. We'll see. So the, <laughs> I don't the, think a lot's going to die. The towner, we might have to cap the game at like Two. Three, three turns or <laughs> three or four turns or something. Um, so uh, we'll see. Townar. 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 Um, what's he going to kill? Have I? So I've killed that probably. I've killed that. Mm -hmm. um, I still have a bunch of things in my lines. Um, but these guys are the only, these are the best things for killing my, my big things, your big things. So yeah. we're going to put the tri-axis cannons cool. into your dreads. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to put it one into one of the wounded ones, yep, and then one into the non-wounded one because it's three. Good. Yep. So that's the triaxis cannons, and um, actually, I'll put both of them into the wounded one, okay? Because cool. I they have three wounds each. You said uh, the the dreads two. Yeah, two wounds. Oh, it's yeah. not that bad. So no. uh, I'll I'll split it up. Yeah. And then I I'll would. split up my burst cannons and spark missiles uh -huh. there too. And then my big gun, I'll put one big shot into the. Um, I really want to kill something with it. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, Your dice dropper today. <laughs> so. How, how many wounds on this plane that I've been shooting? Uh, just the one small blast. Remember you switched That's it? Yeah. Jeez. That's true, yeah. Yeah. You've not been doing much to that plane. I, saw, I thought I shot it with like five things. Um, okay. Uh, so... Uh, that's... Okay, that's bad. Wow, I thought that plane was half dead. Um, I've been doing my math all wrong. Yeah, mm. nothing's gonna die. <laughs> so... Um, uh, this big gun... There's no point in not killing something. Like if it's like if you're gonna put it in just to do a wound to something, it's right. like not crazy. So yeah. we'll hurt the Stompa some more. Okay, here it is, Stompa on a two. Nice. Wounding on a three. I can't believe how mean Brian is being to the Stompa. I know. Four. <laughs> uh, and the Stompa's blasts. not even like what's gonna lose in the game. It's gonna be the only unit that dies turn one. It's the Stompa. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping it does a mega explosion and kills the rest of his army. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> You know, a boy can dream, right? <laughs> so here's the two Traxxas cannons um, into uh, one into each. So here's the wounded Dreadnought is yep. taking this on twos. Great. And now it's being wounded with the Traxxas on sixes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nothing. So then on the next one, on threes. Mm -hmm. Three on ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that one took two. Sounds good. And this is on the other dread? Yeah, the cool. unwounded mega dread. This one, yeah. And then we're going to put the Death smart... Door. Okay. The four smart missile system, so two and two. So this is in the one I was just wounding. And then wounding him on eights. Okay, nothing. And then into the other one. And on eights. There's one. Sounds good. And then the burst cannons. So one, two, three, four. So this is in the... This one that you just put a wound on. Yeah. Reroll ones. So I'm shooting into this squad because I've put reroll ones on it from my marker lights. Right. And this is on eights or nine, sorry. So one more into that one. Okay. And then into <laughs> the other one. Fours, one, two, three, fours. Just throwing a small. On nines. Uh, there's two more. So one large blast can be other. Cool. All right, he's done, and I am done. I am officially done. My turn one. Kick it back, Brian. You're done. Done. That's it. Just chill. I know. Turn right? one over. Uh, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and jump over here. We've got the these mech guns. Uh, we're gonna go. I really can't see anything else. We're just gonna put them all into this flyer here. Yep. So, so this is my tiger be, shark right in the middle there. Yep. I'm just gonna do six shots, hitting on fours because plus one minus one. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Wow, one hit or two hits, one daca. Ooh, nice. Ooh, three hits. And oh, then on five. You might actually get him. Yeah, right. Two. That's good. So that's yeah. a large blast. Yes, it is. All right. Sounds good. And then uh, next attachment, we'll go ahead and do the grot tanks. They have a move and fight. Yeah. They're just going to shimmy up a little bit? Yep. They're just moving on up. And uh, are they shooting the plane also? Probably. Okay. <laughs> I love these little drop <laughs> They're so right. cute. While he's moving up, you want to take a question? I'd love to. Thanks, Alex. Hey, Titans. 
Good luck, have fun. 48 hours to go before Master's Project submission. Oh. So I'll have to delete YouTube so I can't watch anymore. Yeah. Pray for me. Hey, congrats, man. That's, congrats a, that's a big deal. I know how that Good goes. Good luck. Yeah. It's a it major, is. major accomplishment. It really is. You can see, the, the battle's in full swing right now. Just yeah. <laughs> armies and models everywhere. Funny thing is, this isn't even remotely close to our full collection of Tau or Orcs. No. <laughs> um, we just had to draw a line, and we really didn't draw much of a line. No. I mean, yeah, given the rate of this game right now, I should say not. Um, just everything here. It's crazy. Want to take another question? I'd love to. Thanks, Josh. Subtitans, what D&D alignment do you think each of you would be? <laughs> My suggestion is Brian, lawful neutral, Adrian, chaotic good, Bridger, chaotic evil. <laughs> uh, no, Bridger's definitely um, lawful evil, I would say. Wow. You are lawful evil because, like, you might not believe in the right thing, but you definitely believe in it. <laughs> and you'll like you There's have your own. There's a correct way to do things, but it's not not necessarily the right way to do yeah, things. Yeah, like you. Or it's not the right thing. Yeah. But there's a right way to do the wrong yeah, thing. Yeah, you like you have you live by a code, right? Whether it be Taco Bell. It's a very or, strict yeah. code. Yeah. Um, but the other two, I. I agree with. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's good. good. All right, so... How shoot with these Grotanks? Grotanks! This is the Grotanks. Big thanks to Grotworks. Yeah, thank you so much, Grotworks. Uh, we printed all this stuff from... Um, this is Gearguts Mech Shop, which is a really cool source of orc models. Um, all right, let's do this. So we're going to start with the rockets... Uh, one of the sockets okay. into here. Let's do this. So this is going to be <laughs> rocket launchers. It's one per, and then... Yeah, nice and easy. So four, five, and six. Oh, chat thinks I'm chaotic neutral. Chaotic neutral? I agree. I'm chaotic, chaotic neutral. Chaotic neutral? That's like the worst thing to be. <laughs> hitting on five. Adrian's just savage today. <laughs> I'm oh, just two hits and here. two dockers. Dockers. Oh, five. come on. And these are rockets, so on sevens. Seven. Oh, one. one. So one small blast so far. That's good. No more, no less. And then this guy has seven rockets, I believe. Two, four, six, seven. This, this is, is the, the big tank? This is the, uh, yeah, the commander, basically. Okay. Uh, so same thing on, on fives. fives. And fives because minus one for the supersonic. I can roll for you. Look at this rolling. So there's one more small blast. So one more large. Yep. And then we've got the mega cannons, the custom mega cannons. These are supercharged. Great. So does that, the minus one means it's trigger on No, no, no. I don't know, but we're not going to play it that way. I like that. I like that. So this is eight shots. Let's do this thing. So again, on fives. Two wounds to you, though. Two wounds to myself. One large blast. Three dockets. Can we get more ones? Nice. So. What did you say? It was a large blast and a small, right? Because it was three? Or no, it was just two. It was just two, so one yeah. large blast. Sounds good. And four. Yeah. And these wound on fives. Whoa. Oh fives? Yeah, but look. You still failed with I two, I still though. failed with two. <laughs> Listen, this is actually a lot of firepower. It is. Like, no, no, you've no. already got three large, three more large blasts, four large blasts total on this dude. They put a lot. Actually, I have two units of that, so that's the next one on five. This is amazing. Yeah. No, they're yeah. They, they are great. So here we go. That's four. Are these the smash guns? No, no, this these is are broad tanks. custom mega blasts. Oh wow! On fives, they wound vehicles on fives. It's amazing. Yeah, they're great. Well, because it's basically plasma, right? So three more small blasts. No, but even plasma is a six or seven. Oh wow! So remember yeah. my giant here. My they're... giant triaxis is a six. Yeah. Oh my jeez. So yeah, these a guys five. Are... A five is like an epic wow. uh, wound roll. The more you know. All right, and here's the other commander. Same thing. Fives. Bloop. Very nice. And then. Uh, Five, yes. It's another another large blast on me. Listen, that's great. You, all of a sudden, this thing is actually taking a beating. Yeah, he's hoping. And here's the last commander. Same thing, three dockets. That was coming. Nice. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> you gotta shove him the samba before we take all the wounds on it. I, know, <laughs> I don't think it's it dead. I just think it's uh, fives. So four more. So two large blasts on it. Whoa! It's a lot of fire. So these grot tanks are no joke. Yeah, no kidding. We legit ran out of large blast markers. <laughs> I um, knew we would. <laughs> so I said it before the game. Two more large blasts. Okay. You did say it before the game. Uh, well, let's take the things that have like a million large blasts on them and put a die. Yeah, it's fine. That's uh, true. We're almost to the da damage phase. So two more I large have blasts. One more detachment, I believe. Okay. Yeah, one more detachment. So I got, it, I got it though. So cool. we we have little. In fact, that that's all the damage. My last detachment is going to be my speed three. freaks over here, and they're just double moving, as they do. Okay. So five large blasts. I just put a dice there. Sounds good. Whoa. Yeah. That guy's in big trouble. Right? All right, Val, let's see if you can find the Stompa. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> boom, boom. So these are just a bunch of bikes moving on up. Okay. You don't want to bury your cards. I, well, yeah. <laughs> Some of us need 
right, here we go. All right. That's it. Um, so listen, turn one activations are done. Is that done. everything? Yeah, we did it. Is that all? How did so you not shoot the tank posters out of the Guardian Squigga? Because they were back here. I actually, I moved oh, them advanced. at the wrong time, yeah. Okay. No, no, they, they were out of range. Don't yeah. worry about it. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We actually now have to start by taking armor saves. Yep. Um, and we alternate starting with you, because you have priority, and you have to start with your Titanic models first. Oh. All super heavies have to All go super heavies, before yeah. anything else. Is Sounds good. Those. All right. So Gargantuan Squiroth, Squiroth has not taken anything, but I have a metric boatload of blasts on the Stomper. <laughs> this is just for Val right now. <laughs> They're stuck in the grots. Adrian, what's the name of your Stomper? Oh, um, I don't know. You haven't named your Stomper? We, uh, we should let chat name it. Oh, God, it's going to be Bodie McBoatface for sure. Stomper right. McStompface. So this is two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, and a small. All right. So 11 D6. So 11 D6 saves and one D12 save. Oh, my gosh. Uh, can you help me with the <laughs> D12? Goodbye, Adrian. What's the save on the Stomper? We're going to find out. If you don't mind My guess it. is it's uh, six. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Almost guarantee. Yeah, it's a six. Mm. All right, is this 11 plus one? Came at the wrong time, Val. Or is, so is this you 11? need 11 D6 and one D12. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Goodbye, seven, eight, Adrian. Ten. 11 D6, right? And 112. Oh, no. Come on, Stompa! Nice shields! Yeah. Oh! Whoa. Whoa. And then two fell out. Yeah. Come on. Probably still dead. Wow. Whoa. That's a good save. Whoa. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> he only took six wounds. No, seven. Oh. No, he that got passes. this one. Wow. So he only took six wounds. How many wounds does he have? Eight. Eight. <laughs> He's alive. He's, He's alive. alive. He's alive! Amazing. Thank you. That was Thank you. so good. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. You just have to bleed. That man. makes me really happy. Or can I shield? So two wounds Pretty left, good. and then we'll put a critical damage marker. Yeah. We just put this up. There. Oh, I just put a two on it. <laughs> we did it. Uh, <laughs> That's what I've been doing. All right, so my save next. Yep. Um, I do not have any Titanics. Oh, I do. I have the Manta. Oh, yes. Manta has to take one small blast. One small blast. On a 10, it's, ah. it uh, denies it, and <laughs> blink. Bounces so. right off its hard uh, Manta shell. Oh, we do still have to do mor oh, morale. Oh, yeah. So we have to remember the number of oh, tokens. Yeah. Oh, jeez. So That's Stompa? True. So the Stompa oh, could die from morale. Oh, no. Like, definitely dead from morale. Yeah. So it's leadership six. It, it How was does this 12, work? 12 markers. We do, it, we do it after everything else happens. No. Though. No, it wouldn't make any it's sense. part of the one resolution. Oh, OK. okay. Yeah. You do... So let me explain. So yeah, please you do. take the damage markers. And you roll armor saves. Uh -huh. If you have a big blast, yeah. you roll your armor save on a D6. Yeah. If it's a small blast, you roll your armor save on a D12. So it's essentially big blasts are just harder to save against. Right. And remember, every two small blasts is one big blast. Now, for the number of blast markers on you, that impacts your, your leadership. So you end up taking a morale test. And however much you fail by, um, you take extra damage right. for it. So because he took 12, he had 12 damage markers on him, he auto fails unless he rolls a one. If you roll one, yeah. So you need to roll the one or it's essentially dead. No, no, it'll take one damage. Oh, max of one damage. After it all It just of these, takes one. It's yeah. not the difference. If you fail morale, you take one damage. Oh, okay. That's what I yeah. I no, like no, no, you don't. It's just one. It's, it's just, one dice on a d12? No, one on d6. D6. And then you add the amount of damage you've taken. Oh, okay. So you you instant fail unless you roll the one. Yeah, but here's one. Okay. Okay, so you take <laughs> so, one damage. So he's got one wound left. Because right. you failed the morale. That's cool. amazing. That's that's great. And now the manta also has to take morale. I can't fail. Yes, you can. Oh, right. can it? Well, you auto pass, but of course, yeah. Aren't oh, you really? like leadership six? Your army six. So. so if you roll the six, the man says seven. Oh. oh, so then you can't fail. Yeah. That's All right. Cool. So what's next? Uh, your your next activation. <laughs> let's just let's get the dreads out of the way. So the killer cans two, four, six. So seven markers, and I have large blast. So I have to do this on a. So you have six. Six, six large blasts. Six large blasts. So you take six on d sixes. Well, don't I do morale first? No, no, morale's after. Uh, it's it is after. It is after. And then you take one on a d12. All right, sounds good. And these are six ups. Uh, so it took one, two, three, four, five wounds. Okay, so the, they're down to one. As the well. Stompa has been named Waldo. Waldo. That's a good Waldo. name. Waldo. So now it takes its leadership. Okay. So it has seven. Oh, so even only better. on a one. If you don't roll a one, if you roll a one, they live. If you don't roll a one, they die. All right, so, so that'll get the unit. All right, cool. 
His name uh, isn't Waldo. We'll it's Waldo. Yeah, exactly. That's perfect. But the way that the British would pronounce it, it's Waldo. It's okay, so while you're removing them, I'll get my next unit. Yeah, yeah, sounds and good. And I will do it. So I'm gonna do the uh, I'm gonna do the Manta in the back. Um, yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna use Armor of Contempt, and I'm gonna only roll D12s when making armor saves. Okay. Cool. So this is a command asset that I'm burning here. <laughs> cool. This is a generic amazing card. This is a generic card. You yeah, have it too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not this turn. Not this turn, sure. Because um, that, yeah, that would have been good, right? Yeah, it would have been good. So he has, uh, how many blast markers next to him? A lot. So he has uh, five big blast and one small. So I'm going to take six armor oh, saves on D12s. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. But I, I really like this guy, so I want him to live. <laughs> so six, one, two, three, four, five. And six, and let's just look quickly up the manta. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, not the manta. The uh, tiger shark, tiger and the shark. tiger shark is an armor save of five. So I need five bucks. Yes. Here we are. Uh, so I failed a bunch. So I still took three damage. Wow. And he only has three wounds, so you kill him. <gasps> Does he like fall out of the sky? Does he explode? He has no special roll like that. Weird. Right. So, uh, listen, you still got him. Yes! Um, and I realized um, I need to re-roll the morale in my stomp book because I have gas. So, on a one. Nope. Okay. <laughs> now the six has come out to play. So, listen, you got it. Yeah, that's great. Even with my cool strat. Yeah. Actually, I thought the thing had like four or five wounds. Right. So, I might have actually just let it die. <laughs> but, uh, it's dead. So, uh, uh, it's the first, uh, this is the first model being removed. Oh, and, and your, your squad is the other thing that was removed. So we both have one unit removed so far. That's right. Do we want to swap flying stance on the... I am doing that. Yeah, that's a good so idea. I'm gonna go so to we this have two orange... flying stands and one of them is better than the other. Cool. I'm going to go to this orange Gorkonaut over here. So I've got eight large blast and a, one small blast. And uh, so... Gosh. So now these are going to be on D6s, right? The large blast? Yes. So eight and one D12. This is... Uh, so which stompas? This is... This oh, is the, the red Gorkonaut the, the right Gorkonaut. here. Yep. So sixes. Okay, not this time. He did. Wow. Yeah, he did. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, I don't know if he blows up, but unless he's got no, Titanic, no. he won't only blow super heavy. Right. Only super. Sounds good. Uh, this this death dread right here. So two. He's got four markers. They are a large blast. So sixes. Nope. So that kills him. Yep. And other right dread has one large and one small. Adrian's just going down the line. It's yeah, like, Adrian, technically we're supposed to alternate, but it's not a huge It's shift. not meaningful I'm to alternate. I'm just trying to keep the show yeah, moving. Let's just keep it point. going. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, so one large, one small. So here we go. Sixes. Uh, so it takes one. Annoyingly. Okay. Uh, where's the one? Are you we, also picking you up these blast markers? Things. Yeah, put that next. What? And are you also picking up the blast markers? I am, I am, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're working. So that was this dread here? Oh, no, that was this guy that just had these two. Now okay. this other guy has two large blasts and a small blast. Okay. Well, let's do this. Same thing, sixes. All right, and he's dead. Okay. And did we do morale on? They're already dead, so. Oh, okay, okay. You have to do morale on the guy who just lost two, but I think he's leadership eight, right? Uh, or... I don't know. Let's just, oh, it's one dice. One dice, and then you add your, your total. So. Yeah, we'll have to see. How many blasts did he have? He had two. He had two. Okay, then he's probably fine? Pro mm, I don't know. So, as Go I ahead. said, you can take extra wounds from uh, from your morale, basically. Yeah. Go ahead and do your next one while I pull this up. Alrighty. Uh, Alicia 5, <laughs> so he's dead. Okay, so he... He, he ran away, I guess? Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, or he didn't... He failed to put it in the fire. So I've got the yeah. Yavara, um, which took a pounding. Um, hmm... Okay, so the Yavar took a pounding. Let me go grab the markers against that, and we'll oh, figure out just how bad yeah, he's going to have it. The Yavar is definitely taking a beating. I hope. Um, yeah, I'm so curious to see what happens. I have no sense for this. Uh, I mean, hmm. like, he has an armor save, but it's not going to be great. So oh, he has one, two, three, a five what you four, armor saves? five, yeah. So five large blast, one small. One, two, three, four, five D6, one D12. And, um, yeah, let's see, I think, I think if we said correctly he had a 4-up or 5-up. Yeah, he has a 4-up. Oh. That's silly. <laughs> I think you still got him. Uh, so he takes three wounds and dies. Cool. Woo! Yeah. So you can see here, it's the D12 I fail off. Awesome. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so he only has three wounds, and yes. he exactly takes the three, and he goes down. So cool. you got him. Excellent. Um, I've got eight large blast on the blue Gorkonaut. 
Well, let's see, looking for sixes. He's dead. Hooray! Amazing. Did we overkill these things, or? Uh, By yeah. a lot, yeah. But, uh, Not so yours, though, right? This one, mine I failed all good. of them, so you almost doubled him. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, okay, so I've got this middle riptide. Took less of a beating than the other one. Three large blasts and one small. Uh, let's see. And he's four, he's four ups as well? Hey, yeah. Adrian, this yeah. is from Mel. Uh, she found your wedding ring. Yay! And she's truly the god of lost things. That's amazing. I've been, I've been, it's been lost for like two weeks now, three weeks. That's a long time. She four said you were, you were, were stressed about it. I was, because I was like, people are going to see on chat, and they're going to say things. <laughs> <laughs> so I took uh, two wounds, and it's the D12 again that fails. <laughs> so now I'll just do a morale to see if I fully die. Right. And uh, these are leadership six, and I had four blasts. Yep. So you need a one so or he two. Dies. So he dies. He kills himself from morale. Yeah. Just, so just to explain morale, because yeah, yeah, wanna... it's not intuitive. Yeah. Uh, it's one, uh, a mechanic solely to make sure that things die. It yeah. keeps the game moving along. Yeah. Um, and it's not really morale in the sense that it's... Bad stuff has happened to your units that they didn't solve. So, like, your tank is on fire, they didn't put That's it out. That's right, yeah. Or plasma right. rupture or it's something. like ongoing issues, you know? Yeah. yeah, and morale can be some of it, but not, not yeah. everything. So the kill cans, I've got four large blasts here with their six ups. They take three, so they're down to three. And then here's the leadership, which uh, they fail. And then, so they are down to two, right? It's just one additional. Okay, this is the middle riptide. Took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven large blasts, and one small. I want them to die. Two, there you go. Three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry. Fine. Here's the small one. <laughs> so four ups. He takes one, two, three, four. Always the wow. D12. So he dies by one. Yes. Um, so that's a middle riptide dead. Um, uh, that whole detachment is going down. Well, Adrian shot like everything at them. Yeah. Yeah. I really... He's just been burned by riptides too many times in his real life. I'm like, so he's just like, kill the riptide. You don't have drones. They actually is, get to do damage. They were one of the few things that were in striking distance of the objective. Yeah. So, uh, you know, playing the mission wise, they were one of the few models that could have held for me. Um, okay. And then my last riptide there has two large blasts. Mm -hmm. So you could still kill him. <gasps> so two large blasts, four ups. I fail. Oh no! And if I fail morale, he dies. So he passes. So he's got uh, one uh, damage uh, left, but he is critically damaged. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty Dang. good. So listen, I'm you did with it. you did a lot of work on the riptides. I feel so, great about so it. So now you have just what do I have? One boat. You have the plane here. So the plane has one large. Has one large, one small. Uh, cool. And, and then my plane has one small. Excellent. Here's the saves. Uh, so one. Okay, so I'll put one damage, and, and then my plane yeah. uh, has one small on it. Oh. Let's go, so he's fine as well. So I'll put one damage marker on your plane. Thank you. I'll just use one Yeah, of please do. <laughs> okay, let me figure out... Woof! Oh, uh, duck copters. Hang yeah, a bunch of them are pretty wounded. A bunch of them are going to disappear. So this unit of three right here has three large and one small. And this is... Oh, got to pull up the profile. Actually, sorry, Bridger. When yep. you have a chance. What's up? Def cop to save? The save. Yeah, we need uh, to know. It's saves. an eight. It's an eight. Oh, no. So they're gone. So they're gone. So that's the three man there. Mm, all right. So listen, like, not a lot died, but um, at the end of the day, like, a 2,000 point, more than a 2,000 point army has died. Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, What's up, Bridger? Critically damaged. Yeah. If you have taken. Equal to or greater than half of your wounds characteristic, yeah, you are critically damaged. Hmm. We're supposed to put tokens out for that so we don't forget. I did. We did? I did a correct. So we're good everywhere? Yeah. And the stompa? Oh, yeah, you threw something at it. Yeah. That's what you did. I did, <laughs> you did throw damage. something. This is the other unit, probably going to die. Yep. Yeah. Well, they can't pass Actually, on they can't. I don't know why. Yeah. Why did I even roll the first time? For fun. Did the planes have to roll morale? Did we miss that? Uh, uh, the planes did. Mine can't fail. And I don't think, I don't know if yours No, I, I probably could. Uh, no, no, you that's fine. Okay. All right. All right. Did we resolve turn one? Nope. One he's, more deaf cop. You still got one more cop to cop to. Uh, this it. is two large and a small. So. So you need the six. I need on the on the D twelve. On the D twelve. This is all that matters. Okay, mm. but then you can fail morale. Okay. Reroll from Gaz. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, Adrian. Where? What? The sixes just come out of the woodwork. Right? Oh, Adrian. <laughs> At the worst time. Oh, Adrian. Sixes. 
Uh, okay, so all right. Jesus Louise. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go to the top down, and we're gonna attempt to score up this turn. It's yeah. gonna be real quick. Yeah, Adrian's got four points, Yay. and I've got two because he holds the two center objectives. Not only does he have more models on them, he's the only one with any models on them. Yes. Um, so uh, it's uh, he's in a good spot. Yeah, man. And in fact, I would need to all but table him next turn to have a chance to pull the score back. Yeah, agreed. Um, so <laughs> so in our next four hour <laughs> segment, stick around. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good. You know what? Now that turn one's done, we should uh, do meme of the week. Let's do meme oh, of the week. Oh, let's do meme of the week. Meme of the week. Now this week we had actually a couple memes. Um, we want to do an honorable mention yeah. to uh, Techno Brian. Techno Brian. Which was just a cut of me played to techno music. We didn't want to put it here as meme of the week because uh, we thought the music might be copyrighted and then it would just, YouTube would flag the whole video yeah. and take the whole thing down. And so. We didn't want to take any risks. Yeah, check. but it is on good... it is on the Discord, so you can go ahead and check it out there. And it yeah. was like you were like nodding to Bridger. Yeah. And so they took that loop and or they took that and yeah. looped it to like on third for like thirty seconds, two minutes on on techno music. Which was great. It was amazing. Uh, but this one was also really good. Oh yeah. This is uh, Adrian just had that one game where he was throwing dice so <laughs> recklessly, and like fifty percent of his dice yeah. were bouncing out, hitting me, and then falling over <laughs> here. And uh, it was the, yeah. the most floor dice we've had. And I was like, I, the, the dice are getting more bouncy yeah, or something. Yeah, you were claiming that the dice were and bouncy. And so, of course, that immediately got snagged. <laughs> this, was too, this one was perfect. It was, like, so real. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I love it. Fantastic. No, it but, yeah, be. if you want to see those memes, join the Discord. It's free. Yep. Link's in the description. And uh, uh, go, go make some memes and see some memes. Totally free to anyone. If you do become a member um, by hitting the Join button on the channel, uh, you do get access to certain parts of the Discord, such as voting on armies that we play. We had a wild, wacky game on Thursday, and every Tuesday, pretty much, we always vote for the members' videos. So yeah. you can do that. We had things on, like unlocking the apocalypse. All that stuff is kind of members. The members also members chose level. what factions we played for this game. What the, the members, members chose voted for these, this, these, these armies? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because we so. could have played. We could have been playing Warlord Titans. Mm -hmm. We could have been playing Knights. Could have been playing so yeah. many things. So that's all so. that is member stuff. So also check that out if you're interested in supporting the channel. Well, members voted for the way. Double Eldar game on I Thursday. Know. Yeah, and uh, all kinds of fun stuff. So we got initiative. Oh dang. For turn two. I'm feeling it. Let's do it. Adrian's the yellow dice. Watch out. Give it to me first. Oh my god. I knew They're it. They're so bouncy. I knew it. I'm just gonna roll on the box. So I got a four. Four. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. I got a four. Two. Okay, oh. initiative to the to the tau. To the tau. All right. So we need to draw some more dice we based do, on how many commanders. Indeed. Neither of us lost commanders. Correct. Uh, this this time around, is yep. that right? Yep. So uh, we'll just draw some extra dice and go for that. We have no one we'll out of cards. command. Yeah, draw some cards. There is this out of command. If you want to explain that while I'm doing okay. this. Okay. Uh, well, is anything out of command? No. 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 Okay. So every detachment has a commander. If that if any units in that detachment are more than twelve inches away from the commander. They're out of command, which means they are at risk of dying. Right. Uh, they will die that turn, essentially, at the end of the turn. Um, but you can still move them into range of their commander um, in your move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, okay. if, if the commander for a detachment is a character, they are a warlord. And warlords earn you cards to draw every turn. And you have one, like, mega warlord that is your war master, mm. who has a war master trait. Right. Both of you uh, astutely chose the get an extra card on a four-up. Oh, yeah, four-up. Get an extra card. Mm. Yeah. They both got it. Nice. Nice. Um, um, okay. And we can only have ten cards in our hand. Thankfully, I yeah. only have three cards left, and I only draw <laughs> six. So. I uh, drew eight, so I have twelve. All so right. No. Then you were supposed two. to not draw the two. Oh, is that it's how it works? It's not draw discard. It's just draw up two. All right. Well, I haven't seen these two. Okay. That's worse. And then chat wants to see the Taco Bell sweater again, so I'm coming Yeah, back. come on over. Also, uh, we got to do... So what we're going to do is... Uh, we we got to do orbital, de orbital debris Let's before do you orbital, go anywhere. Orbital debris. So we each pick a spot. Is that how this works? See this Taco Bell? Ah, he's dead. Ah, da, 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 da. Beautiful. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. All right. I don't know how I'm going to get out this way. That's our studio Good goblin. Luck. We call him Bridger. That's right. Uh, so we, we pick a spot and then drop some debris. This is like the, the orc... Uh, the orc... <laughs> like space, space rock, yeah, yeah. ship, moon. Exactly. That's uh, falling from from sky. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a space hulk. Yeah. The Manta blew up a space hulk. Rock is the is the correct term for right. space hulks. <laughs> They're right. asteroids that they've jury rigged into. Yeah. So, so uh, a weak pick point, right? Let's pick well, some points. You got lots of choices. Uh, and I'm just gonna drop it over here. These grot tanks were mean to me. Mm -hmm. Um, so I hate them. I'm pretty scary. I'm gonna pick. Uh, well, the grot tanks didn't really do much, to be honest. It's so hard to remember. It was a long time ago. 
<laughs> they did basically yeah. nothing. They did basically They're nothing. anti-infantry. They're anti-infantry. I, I thought they'd be good. I didn't yeah. look at their profile when I picked them. <laughs> you know, if you had, they were a million yeah. points. If you had yeah. railgun broadsides. Uh, yeah, railguns would have been t- tasty. Right. Um, yeah, it turns um, out uh, anti-infantry guns in Apocalypse. Not, not, great. not great. So I'll pick one, in, like in Aldi's tank, basically. Great. So we roll for that, that, everyone within how far? Well, you're supposed to do orders first, but then you Let's roll for this first. everything within <laughs> six inches. On a four up takes a blast. Okay. If it's a character, it's on a five. Forever. This is gonna take forever. I thought it was simpler than this. <laughs> it's not complicated. Well, no. Yeah. How about on a five up, everything within six inches takes a blast. What? No. Oh. It should still be a four up. <laughs> it's fine. Here we go. This draw, draw tank in it. Yes. Of course. This one. Nope. No. This this guy. Nope. No. This guy. It's on a five. Nope. This, it's on a five or four. This is a character. Characters are five. Oh, it's not a character. My bad. I think of it as a character, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> yep. Gosh. All right. And then I it, love how much you I guess guys hate here? this. Yep. All right. Cool. Hooray! Right. Yay! All right. My turn. Yes. Uh, you point. I roll. Uh, this tank. Yep. Uh, this tank here. <laughs> yep. Uh, this tank here. Nope. This one here. Nope. And then that one there. Nope. Nope. And. Uh, you had it here, you could get to there. So then those two. So this one? Yep. Yep. And then this one? Yep. All right. Nice. So good. See, that wasn't talk. too bad. I hated it on every level of my brain. Yeah, I hated it. That was so, Brian's twist. Oh, uh, no, you get the town <gasps> off. Town no. This is for sure happening. Yep. Nice. Can't stop the future. Now, okay. Can you explain to me how the falling stuff got around the manta and landed there? It came from this side. Mm. It's a good so explanation. I'll buy yeah. it. Um, okay, so we're just going to drop some orders. Um, now, do I disembark and then give orders, or I give orders when they're inside? You give orders while they're inside. Okay. Right. Well, and the order has to be move, <laughs> but it could be fight also, I guess. Could be move. Fight. It yeah. could be. Well, you Anything can't. But sit in name. You can't double move out of a transport because oh, you really? just move and you you just disembark. So then there and is that no is order. It's always the same order. Move it in action. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. It, or, All right. Or is that does that count as your first move? Probably counts as your first move. No, it says you can't move after. You can't move after. Oh, it says that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, dope. Cool. Uh, I could, entertain I could everyone, Bridget. I should what? Entertain, en- them. entertain them. We're going to be kind of quiet for a second. Uh, all right. Well, you guys do your quiet thing. I'm going to read Super Chats. Thanks, Anthony. Uh, just started a D&D game. Good luck, guys. Play well. And Brian, the greater good, must prevail. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Let's get this in. We got these big Tau models. We got we to gotta make them do something. You know, it's been actually like over an hour since we since we did this. So my, my version of entertaining is going to be shilling our merch. <laughs> Chill. Yeah. So we came out with our merch store today, huh? Pretty exciting. Pretty we got awesome. Mugs and socks and stickers and shirts and hoodies and sweaters and pretty all much everything cool you can stuff. think yeah. of. Yeah. Um, so we took all of our cool emotes and we, we put them on stuff. And there's a promo code for this week. I'm, you know, I'm super curious what chat thinks is the, the coolest merch that we made. A lot of people like You Can't Change the Past. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> um, but they also want a Night Shield face mask. So oh, that's yeah. a good one. A good okay, idea. we don't have uh, we don't have a Drukari um, character yet. Um, that's correct. So we should. Uh, we have we'll... the heart eyes Slanesh cultist <laughs> that everybody thinks is Drukari. <laughs> uh, that no, does but that's like like. that's uh, that's a good idea. We should get night night shields is good. We'll get. We, night we should also do. Why don't you get armor saves? Yeah. Why do you get armor <laughs> saves? Uh, or why do you get armor saves? And yeah. it's like a, it's uh, like a, what is it? Not a berserker. What's he called? Oh, I always do this. I don't know huh? what a corn greater demon is called. Oh, bloodthirster. <laughs> bloodthirster. Bloodthirster. And he's just like this, like. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, okay. Gave all my orders. Cool. I'm looking for more orders. More order chips. Yeah. I've got some too. If you need them. Just in case. All right. Thanks, yeah. Silent Eternal. The sweaters, epic. <clears throat> Time to crump some blue boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Whoa. Thanks. There was uh, look. My side is looking pretty thin. I know. This is so much work for me. You have no idea. Thanks, uh, I dog. Real talk. Do I going? still keep playing Death Guard, or with the loss of feeling the pain, should they just sit in the tower? Nah, dog. You're crazy. You uh, are crazy. Minus one damage is insanely strong. They're, really yeah, good. they're shaping up to be one of the strongest in the game. Um, you're gonna see when this codex drops and we start playing them. They're gonna be one of the oppressive armies on the channel. Yeah. Um, I. Yeah, I think they're going to be completely S tier. I'm going to take a minute right here. 
talk about I'm gonna let you finish, but <laughs> all right. A lot of people on Reddit and all kinds of places have been doing quote analysis, <laughs> statistical analysis, yeah. comparing the feel no pain to the minus one damage. Sure. First of all, they're missing something really obvious. You used to have one wound, five of feel no pain. Now you have two wounds, minus one damage. Sure. Mm-hmm. Not remotely comparable. Obviously, the two wounds is better. Uh, and then also, something they fail to understand in their an- analysis, is they're doing expected damage per wound, which is a meaningless value when wounds do not carry over between models. What right. you should do is expected number of models slain yeah. or expected number of attacks required to kill well, a Well, and also... Mm-hmm. Um, Gauging the power, the success or failure of a single army based on one rule that changed is not true. Like, okay, do I believe that Disgusting and Resilient was stronger as a feel no pain than a minus one damage? Yeah, I think it was slightly stronger. Bridger actually thinks the minus one damage is slightly stronger. It's actually meta dependent. Mm -hmm. So I think the the feel no pain was slightly stronger. Does that mean the army got a nerf? No, it does not mean that at all. The army got a massive boost and one rule slightly moved down. It's like Blood Angels. Blood Angels, we think, are the strongest army in the entire game, despite all their best strats going away. Yeah. So the book, the some rules took major nerfs, but the army is still like the strongest ever because so many other things got buffs. And if they kept those things in addition to all the other buffs, it would just be a foolish yeah. codex that would win everything instantly. So you don't want that. Yeah. So good. True. It's time to do some orders. Let's do it. So I get to act first this time. Ooh, must be nice. Um, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm really not too sure what I want Should to definitely do. Definitely move the manta. <laughs> Good call. Uh, um, what I'm going to do first is... Uh, oh, um, right. I get to... So now one of my actions is to disembark, right? Yeah, you can take a whole detachment out of the manta. You take a whole, and then they can shoot if that was your if you did like move and shoot. Well, that's the only action they could take, right? They could, you know. Cool. So <laughs> they can move and fight. Yeah. Um, Get crumping, mm, Brian. Hold on. Uh, mm. Hold on. Oh, I'm holding on, and we're looking at the Shadowlands. Look at look at all those those uh, grotes. They're so cute. They uh, when I first saw them, yeah. I like squeed pretty hard. Yeah, you did. <laughs> like, that's so cute. They're Mr. adorable. Kai. All right, I'm going to disembark, so you guys do your thing. Okay. I'm excited. I want to get the Grot tanks in a uh, regular 40k game. I want to have, like, 99% Grots. Um, the HQs will have to be big mechs with force fields. Um, also, I kind of want to do a conversion uh, for, like, a biker boss, but it's actually, like, a, like a squig hopper or something. Um, but uh, it'll be fun. It'll be, like, all mech guns and, obviously, regular Grots and uh, then the Grot tanks. So... Should be fun. I love Grot armies now. Like now that I've seen Grot tanks, it's so stylish. They're just the best. <laughs> Pretty rad. <laughs> Thanks. Just the best. Thanks, Lyle. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Long time watcher, first time caller. Mm-hmm. My wife asked me to super chat just to find out where you got those sweaters. Oh, thank you. These are. Do you know the website's name? Yeah, this is from uh, Merchoid. Merchoid. I was gonna call it Mechanoid or something. Yeah. But yeah, Merchoid. They they um used to be the ones that did all of Games Workshop's clothing. Um. And now Green's Workshop also has their own site, but these are only on Mer- Mercoid. So they have a lot of really cool, like, <laughs> nerdy stuff there. Um, yep. I, I've been told by chat multiple times yeah. that it's like GW official merch, and there's somewhere on the community page that links to that Mercoid. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, no, it's super official. Like I said, I, Games Workshop didn't do any uh, merchandise themselves until pretty recently. Now there's the actual Warhammer merchandise store, which is really cool, but it's they're more... Um, it's kind of like our store, right? Where you have like classic cuts and classic fits and then um, kind of branded. And then the like Merchoid does like one-off really specialized things. Um, so just a different way of doing it. All right. Thanks, Matthew. Keep up the great content. Don't spend it all at once. All the best from the UK. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Appreciate um, everyone's support. Uh, let's just do this awesome, crazy stuff like this. I'm getting out all my infantry and uh, crisis suits and everything like that. So and uh, shadow sun, my ethereal. So that's what's dropping out. Keep going. Thanks, <laughs> Vincent. I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I was expecting to see deployment for once. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> deployment we took us like two hours. Two, uh, no, I deployed mine two days ago. Well, you say that. And then we redeployed and cleaned it up uh, <laughs> like earlier in the day. So yeah. it took a long time to deploy all this. Just a little we, bit. We the came, stream's already gonna be like a thousand hours. Yeah. 
Well, I assume this is a, a, a joke, but yeah, we we came here several several hours early today. We always get here um, pretty early, to be honest, but um, we gave ourselves a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Stains B. Amazing board setup. I can't wait to see how this goes. Thank you. J just so we're clear, we are three hours behind on Super Chats. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> it's so this many. probably a while back. Thanks, Ape of Justice. Oh boy, Green Tau versus Tau. So excited for this game. One CP to everyone, including chat. Keep up the great work, guys. <laughs> green Tau. Look at the Green Tau comments. All right, we have our next installation of Grots in Space. You ready? Let's do this. Oh, this is nice. Grotworks. Thanks, Grotworks. Uh, you have escaped the Red Grots and are now wandering the decks of the Space Hulk Lost. Mm. You need to set up a base. Where, what sort of room do you search for? Ooh. Another Imaginarium. <laughs> that <is so> <laughs> That's the only place I ever want to be. <laughs> What's the place that nobody's ever going to visit? I'll go to a library. The library. <laughs> You're just going to eat the books, Brian. <laughs> I feel like a library is really dangerous because like, the weird boy could be there. And like, people, people's heads are known to explode if you get anywhere near a weird boy. That's true. Do so. weird boys read? Is that a thing? Um, they pretend to read. Yeah. They hold books they to look hold smart. Books and yeah, they're like upside down. Yeah. <laughs> but the weird thing is, like, it works. They still it like does. take the knowledge, you know. They so. make up what they think the book's about, and then that's actually yeah, what it is. exactly. So where would you go, Adrian, if you um, wanted to go to the library? I think I'd make my way to the mech shop and try to get myself like a like a custom force field or something. You're always trying to put. You should become like a little grot oiler because you're always trying I like to get the mech stuff. near the mech stuff. That that's always been kind of my favorite part about orcs is is the mech the mech stuff. And for a long time, I'd just be like, my warlord is a is a, a, a big mech, not a war boss and stuff like that. I just like it. I think it's neat. Ryan, people have been asking about the orca. Do you want to show that? We cut it for like power level reasons. But... That's true. And actually, the reason I the real reason I cut it, if you wanted to know. Uh, the real reason I cut it was that it um, uh, is a transport, and I already had 200 transport capacity, <laughs> and I didn't need another like 100 transport capacity. It's so, so beautiful. the Manta's awesome. It's the ultimate party bus, really. And uh, it's uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't have anything more to transport, right? Like <laughs> uh, well, when we when we do the hand cam next time, we can get a closer shot of it. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty sure. great. Be the right time I'm going to use probably my best strat. Oh, uh, invocation of the elements. If I have Ethereal, which he just dropped out, yep. basically everyone around him gets plus one to hit um, for this turn. What? <laughs> what? That's, that's what? That's the only thing that Ethereals do, though. So but normally they give reroll ones to hit. Uh, yeah, that's good, right? So last turn you were rerolling re all failed hits in the bubble. <laughs> now you're getting plus one to hit in the bubble. And probably reroll all failed hits because he's going to carry on again. That's right. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. We're good. All right. So... Um, that's that's that part, and then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna act, activate. So I piled this unit out. It has all my infantry. It has my two units of crisis. Yeah. This is my big battalion with my warlord. Uh huh. So this is we're just gonna go we're gonna go ham, mm. and we're gonna try to kill a lot of the stuff that are up on the points for you, so that in the future turn, not this turn, I can maybe get something up onto the point. We'll see. There's right. literally no camera angle. Where I can see any of the models that you have filed out. <laughs> is that right? All of them. Yeah, because they're all underneath. Because they have to deep strike underneath. They're under the manta, or behind a flyer, or behind a different flyer. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I have a question. How do explosions work? I don't know. So like my like stomp, my stomach, or my stomp doesn't have explosion on the profile. It's on the data. It's on it's the. It's because Titanic. they're super heavy. Okay. Super heavy's had it. Have they it, yeah. just explode? And, like and how? Of, or no, they explode on a do? ten plus or something. It's, I can look it up. Yeah, it's on a ten so or it's something. It's not that likely. Why? But, what's up? I'm just curious, like, because he's probably going to kill a Stampa, and I'm just oh, wondering. Oh, and you're worried about, like, how Should how you get away from hurt? it? A little bit, yeah. You're it doesn't about... hurt that much. I'll pull it up. So. All right, these are all the data sheets I'm using. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to use my Genius of Cao Yan to reroll again. You are a genius. Yeah. So this is, your, this is the end of it, truly. No more Cao Yan after this. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's, uh, let's, start, let's start with Shadow Sun. What do you think? Yeah, let's. Let's, let's. do it. So Shadow Sun has the two fusion blasters. So what she's going to do is drop down. She's fusion blasting this three-man squad right in front of her. Get blasted. Because um, that's probably all she has range to. Oh, no, she'll have range to the cop. Oh, the, the burn -obama. Yeah, mm. I'm going to burn -obama you, okay. okay? Yeah. So hitting on threes, and it's Good actually one. plus one to hit. So I'm back up to twos, and then I reroll all misses. Because you carry on to the second time yeah. with so, Shadow Sun. But you moved. 
Oh yeah, she disembarked, so she can't benefit from it. You're right. So, so one hit. So one hit. Yep. And then um, now it's a four to wound, up to a five. Okay. Sounds so good. So just one small blast. One small blast. Cool. All uh, right. Adrian, explosions. Yeah. And super heavies die on a ten plus D12. Yeah. yeah. They just put one small blast on everything within six inches. Oh, that's not that crazy. It's not bad. Yeah. No, it's not that bad. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, carry on. All right. Say. Next, what we're gonna do is the um, the strike teams. Yeah. So we're just gonna put them all at your uh, coptus. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's just do that. Um, I have five man squads, and um, they have uh, one shot each per five man squad. Right. All right. So Sounds this good. is. Um, oh, the fire blade gives squads? them an extra one. Yeah. So I have one, two, three, four. Five, six squads. Oh, they're all five hands. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll just put all of this at one of your uh, Copta squads. Yeah. Do you have a larger Copta squad? or? They're all three mans. All three, right, let's three, do it. Three mans. So uh, hitting on threes, because plus one from nice. Imperial, and not re-rolling, because they did move. Nice. And then, so now they're on uh, tens to wound you. Cool, so that's so nine. Nothing special. One, two, three. Oh, the dice go. Four, five, six, <laughs> seven, <laughs> ah, eight, nine. Floor, and sorry, that was nine or ten? Nine. Nine, okay. Nine. So tens because of your minus one to wound, which mm -hmm. is actually a great ability. It's so good. One, two, three, four. Um, so four wounds. Sounds good. Two large blasts. Two large blasts. Okay, then we're going to do the Cadre Fireblade. Um, he's got his two shots. Uh, he hits on twos, and then he's also wounding you. Uh, nothing there, because nope. he would have needed a bunch. And uh, now we've got the Pathfinder team, and this is times two, so it's uh, four shots. And uh, three's hit because of the plus one to hit. Mm -hmm. And then wounding you on Pulse Carbine nines. Nice. Pulse Carbines are not bad. So one more on that squad. Small so, blast? Yep. Yeah. So, so how much did that squad end up taking? So two large, one small. Oh, that's a start. Um, Okay, next we have the Crisis team. Sounds so I have good. the Crisis that came down with the Flamers. Yeah. So this is a six-man squad. And uh, basically they all count, Bridget, remember, remind me, they all count as having one weapon each? Essentially. Yeah. Okay, so it's a six-man squad, so I have three Flamers. Cool. And the Flamers all just are one Three hit. Flamers and three of something else? No. You have six, every model has a gun, essentially. Yeah, so, sorry, so... Yeah, they're modeled with three flamers each, is what I'm trying to say. So um, six of them have so six, just six shots. shots. So yeah. six auto hits, and they're going to wound you on tens. And it's going into this squad right here. Cool. Um, with the minus one? Oh, they're in range of the minus mm -hmm. one? Yep, right here. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. I just have to touch them. I see. And it's a 12 inch range? Or? No, it's nine. Oh, nine. Yeah. Nine. Okay, yeah. So two wounds. Cool. Yeah. So that's um, one blast. Yep. So Our that's best. all from the Flamer Crisis. Cool. Now we've got the Missile Pod Crisis, uh -huh. and they will go into the, hmm, probably we'll go into the, oh, it's such a hard choice. We're going to go yeah. into that Burnabama that we were trying to work into a little bit, I think. Cool. Okay? So just six of them, so six shots. One, two, three, four, five, six. So minus one, plus one, so back up to hitting on fours. Um, great. So that's four hits. One, two, three, four. Yep. And here we are wounding you on normally eights up to nines. Sounds good. Uh, two wounds. Two more. So one large blast. blast. Cool. Okay. And uh, I'm pretty sure I just did the entire detachment. Most excellent. That's me. Sounds great. Okay. All what right. What do we what got, Adrian? What's that? What do we got? We got the tin heads. What's left of them? They are. Moving, moving, and fighting. That's right. Uh, so this is basically I, uh, charging. Not surprised. Whoa! So. And I kind of want to get out of the way of the stuff coming this way, right? Right. So this is just a um, That's transport. a devil fish that devil just fish. jumped out. Okay. It's I'm really curious out. to see how much of Adrian's army is going to stand and shoot to get hitting on not terrible. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, that maybe. Excites me. Let's do another question. Yeah, okay. thanks. Yeah. Cole, thoughts on Gravis Librarian. Also, why, Gravis in, librarian. Oh, why in Brian's name can Primaris Captains not use chainswords? Bloody Dorn had a chainsword that he could use. Yeah, I really... They did this thing recently in 9th edition, or even in 8th edition, where they took away weapon options unless it was specifically in the kit. Mm. So they were, like, you used to be able to convert most things, and right. they took that rule away. Um, and so I guess that they just need to limit the number of unique boxes sets they make. Um, and they, a lot of their characters, they made mono build. Um, so 
I don't know. I guess it's, I think it's probably for literally for business reasons. Like I bet mono build models are cheaper and they make a lot on character models because yeah. they're pretty pricey for how simple the kit is. And it's just, uh, they're easier to build and everything like that. So that's probably why they did it, honestly. I wish they could. And a Gravis Librarian would be uh, probably a stylish looking model. But the one thing about librarians is you actually want them to be in a range and you don't want anything that slows your movements. So right. I think that would actually not be great for you. Yeah, agreed. Uh, so, all right. This unit took took damage, so they're critical or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Minus one to hit. Is that what it was? Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. So we're gonna do this unit into this boy right here. Uh, this is. And there's no attacks. melee fighting range, is there? I don't think so. That's what I was realizing. So uh, one thing from the unit is in range. The whole unit just fights, right? And oh, this is one sure. six man, yeah, yeah. Unit, right? This is six man. Yeah. So, so then you're good. So that's why I've trailed out here. Uh, yep. In such a way. All right. So this is now on. Uh, sixes. Sixes. In combat, you're hitting on sixes? Yeah, because it's minus one, because I'm like, I have nothing Critically left. damaged. Oh, because you're critically damaged? Critically yeah. damaged, yeah. And then over here... So that was an three. amazing roll that and turned into didn't nothing. didn't do anything. Over here, we got those three into that crisis squad. Okay. On fives, of course. So now exploding sixes, because orcs. Nope. Okay. And then we are wounding you on... Are you... You're light now? They're light, yeah. Excellent. This is going to be on a seven. It's actually the same for vehicles and okay, non-vehicles. Okay, so one light blast against my lamer crisis squad. You got it. That's oh. it. Oh, I got critically damaged wrong. Oh. I think it's it? minus one attack, not minus one. All right, I'll just look it up real minus quick. Minus one attack, so that doesn't impact shooting at all? No, I think it's minus one to hit. Uh, it might no, be this different sounds, in this combat. This sounds correct, because a bunch of guns are yeah. also based off your attack characters. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, after you times it, you could do it. It is half attacks okay. and minus one to hit. What? <laughs> You're so kidding me. Right. Even worse. <laughs> cool. Okay. Here I was about to reroll. That's my first attachment. Look how much faster this is going. It's great. Uh, look what it hasn't activated. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's cute. Um, wow. Wow. Well, yeah. Don't say it that way, Brian. I did. Yeah. I said it that way. Um, I'm going to activate uh, this attachment next, which is cool. just this little devil fish. Oh, wait. That's the one that... It uh, came out. Yeah. yeah so it right. doesn't move. It already... Yeah. Activated. So, um, sorry. I'll do this little tank squadron here. Mm -hmm. And uh, they took... Move at you. Oh, dang. Crazy. So they will move. And then oh, they'll shoot you. It's so half attacks, minus one to hit with heavy weapons. Oh my gosh. Let me just do this. Thanks, chat. Time. Yeah, thanks, guys, though. Okay, one hit, and then one DACA, which hits. And then this is on sevens. Okay, nothing. Can't change the Can't path. Change the path. <laughs> All right. Um, hilarious. That is hilarious. I'm, <laughs> I'm into it. Thanks, Geargucks Mech Shop. Oh, dang. Very generous. Uh, they ask Adrian, use liking those grot tanks? I'm loving these Grot Tanks, so thank you. The Grot Tanks were vicious last turn. They are. We they were, are. like, ignoring them, and they just wiped out a Tiger Shark. The most <laughs> valuable thing in my army that died was yeah. from them. It's a lot and of firepower. And they smashed it. Yeah. Like, it, it was, like, not even a little bit. I was expecting was them nice. to just pop some shots. Right. But, my gosh. I'm they, super impressed. They put a lot of shots in. And I, and I love these kits, too. They're super, they're super modular. Um, so, Grot Orcs printed out a whole bunch of stuff. And um, let me kind of mix and match. Uh, the different treads and the different heads and stuff like that. So, having a lot of fun with it. I've they're like painted up, but I'm gonna do a bunch of weathering uh, in the next paint session because uh, right now they're like super cute and fresh out of the mech shop. But <laughs> I love how they look. They look right. They're like the they're most adorable cool. little like yeah. if Ewoks had tanks. <laughs> yeah. This in is the that. grim darkness of the far future. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cody. Hey Titans, love the matchup. What are your thoughts on which is better, the Lord of Skulls or a Kaitan? Which paint scheme should I use? Uh, the now World Eaters or the 30K scheme? I think we know what I'm going to say. Titan <laughs> Ravager. Oh, yeah. And actually, he is better because is he he's so much cooler. Yeah, I think technically the Lord of Skulls is better, but we <laughs> both like the Kaitan. It's so much cooler. They're both good. Yeah. Like, That's true. the fact that one is slightly better yeah. does not counteract how awesome Kaitans are. Yeah. They're, they're just. That's accurate. Yeah. So they're cool. so cool. And then paint scheme. Uh, I think we mostly like 30k paint schemes a lot. Yeah, I love mm -hmm. 30k paint schemes. That one's, I actually that's really want to do. I want to paint uh, Sons of Horus army personally. That's what I want to paint. That would be cool. Lunar wolves? Uh, no, I want to paint them as Sons of Horus. The the like sea so like, green. Yeah, that's lunar. So wolves. the middle. Oh no, you're right. There's a middle period. That is the Sons they of Horus. They have three paint schemes. Yeah, because they're Black Legion or they're yeah. lunar wolves or they're. Sons that's of right. Horus. I like Sons of Horus. Probably not, but yeah, I like Sons of Horus with the big <laughs> eye of Horus yeah, and yeah. the the sea green. Ah, oh, like the like you get that nice kind of red orange glowing eye with yeah the, with the, yeah exactly absolutely it that but the the Horus Heresy um, world leaders it's a really tough one to do because it's white with blue. 
And then, but I lo it looks so good when you do it right because you can do like chipping and like blood splatter, which that's is true. such a nice contrast. Um, so that's pretty cool, honestly. Um, okay, so I moved these tanks back. Uh, not only does it make your charge a teeny bit longer, yep. um, it also um, moves space for my big boy to come out Heck yeah. if he wanted to. So now we're going to activate all my tanks. These are all the tanks uh, under my spearhead with long strike. Nice. So they've got some real firepower, and yeah. there's just so many options yeah. that I don't even know who to shoot at. Mm. For the first time, my uh, my uh, SMS and things like that have infantry to actually shoot mm. or light things with the bikers. <laughs> That's right. So I'm I'm feeling good about that <laughs> uh, at least. It's exciting. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the seeker missiles into that bomber that I've been trying to hit mm. um, because, you know, they were really good last they time. They were really good. And uh, <laughs> I, I don't think I want to let them do it forever. So let's yeah, start with I the Skyray gunship. Cool. So hitting on a two. Nice. Nice. Wounding you on a six, so up to a seven. Oh. There it is. So that's just one. Um, small blast. One small blast. Cool deal. Um, which is great. Anything else from him? Uh, yeah. yeah. We've just got his uh, small guns, which uh, he is actually equipped with. Let me just find him. Uh, he has the small guns, which are actually out of range. Okay? Cool. So we'll skip with him. And then we're going to go on to, uh, by the way, his burst cannons, if you're curious what's out of range. Um, next, we're going to go. It was. The plane has two min two wounds? Two large blasts now. No, but how many wounds does it actually have? Oh, good question. Um, two or three? Probably two. two. Probably two. Three sounds like. Well, no, it could be three. I don't know. It's plausible. Uh, it's almost definitely two. It's two. It's two. And what's its armor save? Eight plus. So it has to die. Because you can't pass those on sixes. Unless Adrian has a card. Correct. Yeah, great. But that wouldn't be where he'd spend it. So that's fine. So what we're going to do is put uh, my heavy bombardment ship into the infantry, because that's the first thing that uh, the infantry, it's like the only thing I yeah. can actually kill. So it's light units, not infantry. So. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, light. I know. It's my bikes, Brian. Yep, still minus one to wound. All right. So instead of wounding on sevens, I wound on eights. Yeah. So not not great or anything, but yeah. uh, nine. Okay. And that's seven, six, and six. So just one. One light blast on Sounds your front good. unit of bikers. Yeah. And then he has SMS systems. So smart missiles. He has two of them. So four shots. Uh, great. Four hits. And then this is the same. Sevens updates. So one more. Cool. Light blast. So it's a large blast now. Alrighty, so we've shot with those two weirdo tanks. Now we've got mm -hmm. all the big, big guns. Mm. And the big guns, um, let's start dropping more of your... Well, those four... You know what? I should have been dro I should be dropping force fields. You know what I mean? <laughs> force fields are the things that keep yeah. wrecking me. Well, so, it's, it's tough because you can't kill them until next turn. Until next turn, but that's fine. True. So that flying force field over yeah, there... Yeah, the wise bomb blaster jet? Yeah. Nice. Let's go for it. Yeah. Okay. Like it. So this is we're gonna do this with Long Strike himself. Mm. All right. Cool. So he hits on uh, a two. Nice. Because he's a two. Oh, he's a one up to hit. Right. <laughs> cool. And then he wounds. He is you. a one up to hit. Uh, well, he's yeah. Two up plus one. He's a two up plus one. That's right. Which is, is how he's in forty k. Which is uh, yeah. That's how he's he is in a 40K. two up plus one. He's yeah. BS two and he gives all hammerheads plus one to hit. That's right. Oh, Long Strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Gotcha. So and then he wounds you on a four down to a three. Up, up to, to a four, because ah. he gives plus one to win. That's well. cool. Okay, and that's uh, destroyer. So one large blast. Sounds good. And how many wounds does that big plane have? Same thing, two. Two. Okay, great. So now we're gonna put the uh, the SMS into your bikers. Yep. All hits. And this is eights to wound. Minus one. And sevens up to eights. Cool. <laughs> so one. Yep. One small blast on your bikers. Okay. So now we have two more with railguns. Mm. So we're going to put one more with railgun into your big flyer over there. Yeah. So here it is. Let's do it. So this one hits on a three down to a two, back up to a three. Okay. <laughs> oh. Ooh. So he fails. I'm. I have so many rerolls. <laughs> so I'm going to burn a reroll. I am just so rich. Reroll. So I'm using the devastating counter strike thing, which is a far side enclave strat. So I can't use it. So here's a reroll. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and then the SMS into the bikers. How many wounds do the bikers have? Mm, good question. Probably probably three. Because it's no, probably two because it's a block of. Okay. Nine. If I've already killed how much how much damage do I have on the bikers? Uh, a Maybe large three. and a small. That's it? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'll do this one into them as well. So uh, two What two, if I convinced you with more damage? Two two wounds. Sounds good. Well let me get your so nine mall they are three wounds. Okay. Cool. So two two more wounds on them. Two more? Cool. And their save is shoot seven or eight. Okay, so that that's quads. Yeah, that's quads. Uh, 
as good as good. So now I have one last um, one last railgun. We're going to go into the Wazboom Blaster again. Heck yeah. Hitting on a three. Okay. <laughs> Wounding on, uh, if I remember here, a four up to a five. Cool. There it is. Uh, and so good. that's another that's destroyer. Large. Yep. So another large. Cool, cool. And then the SMS into the other biker squad. Yep. The next biker squad. Uh, the next closest one to me. Right. Okay. One miss, three hits. And uh oh. We cannot uh, don't lose those. <laughs> we cannot lose the big guys. No. Those are, those those are, are precious. A, a commodity. Yeah. Um, and one wound on the next biker squad. Sounds Over. good. Okay. Now we just have the ion hammerheads. Of which I have one, two, and three. Okay, so one of them is in range of the ethereal, so it's getting an extra plus one. So we're gonna go into your next flyer, your next bomba, mm -hmm. right over there in the yeah. corner. So let's do that. Um, I hadn't pulled the uh, the card for hammer, so, so I don't yeah, no remember. No worries, you're good. So many. Uh, it's all good. Yeah, it's hard to memorize these because they're just close, but close enough but different. Well, yeah. while you're doing that. Okay, I've got it. But it's Adrian, Grot works. Grot. The mech works. The place that made these was Gear it Mech Shop. Gear Guts Mech Shop. Yeah. Just made a new. They just released a new version of all of the Grot tanks. Wow, that's great. That's awesome. I'll have to check them out. So you're gonna have to print those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously. So I'm actually at plus two to hit, so I'm back to two. Sounds good. Um, okay, so two hits, and then this one wounds you on fives up to sixes. Sounds good. Oh, Nothing. Okay. Okay. And he has. Um, uh, he has a smart missile system, mm. so one, two, three, four. We'll put it into the. Uh, mm, I might be getting close to out of range for yeah, this bike no squad. So only thirty range inches. Yeah, I'm out. So uh, I don't know. We'll put it into the plane as well. Cool. Um, great. So three hits. This is really bad to wound. Yeah. Tens to wound. So one, one light blast onto the next bomber over. Sounds good. The next ion. Uh, we'll be hitting you on a three instead of a two, because uh -huh. only plus one to hit. Uh, so one hit, and then wounding you on a seven, uh, sorry, a six down to a five, back up to a six. <laughs> okay, so one more okay. on that same plane. All right. So it just took two... So, you guys later. <laughs> so that's one large blast it has on one it? One large blast. Okay. Snip, snap. And now we'll put them into the next biker squad. Three hits on the bikers, and then eights to wound the bikers. So two on the next squad of bikers. Sounds good. So one large blast. You got it. And the last ion hammerhead. <laughs> Jeez. Gonna try to take that plane out. Uh, one hit. Mm -hmm. One kill. Oh. That is a wound. So yep. one more light on it, and uh -huh. then into the bikers. <laughs> is there anything else over there? No, nothing over there. All right. So two into the bikers and one <laughs> wound. Let me just make sure. Yeah. So I would normally need nines. It's up to tens because of that. So one more into the next biker squad. You're so good at rolling. Just in general. Uh, I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. You're pretty good. Uh, I've been known. Yeah. I've uh, been around the block. Got a brand name for it. Yeah. So um, that was Long Strike's attachment. That is my shootiest attachment. Yeah. So I yeah. got it out of the way there. Cool. Um, I just, the reason to activate them first, there is actually a good tactic there because yeah. you can tag them. So, um, like, if you double moved your bikers, you probably would be very close. Oh, I tag them? Well, they fly so they can fall back and shoot. Right. Oh, um, but if you use the stand and shoot order. Yeah, if I'd use the stand and shoot order, which oh, I didn't. Which but. you didn't. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Which you knew. <laughs> uh, that's true. But uh, it also limits my positioning and things like that. Yeah. So. No, I feel you. All right. Okie dokie. So let's go over that's to me. one of my detachments. And Overall, I'd say that, that was pretty good, though. What do you think? That was good. That was yeah. a good shoot. That was good shooting. Because so far, I've got two essentially guaranteed dead planes unless you do something about it. Right. And one that's quite plausibly dead. Yeah. No, I think it's, I think it's great. I probably should have dropped the last turn. <laughs> probably. There's things that you don't, know, you don't notice until the second turn yeah. where it's like, that thing is weak and yeah. like it's easy to kill and super killy. Yeah. <laughs> and then this thing's invincible but doesn't do any damage. Right. And so you're like shooting at the wrong things. <laughs> so true. <laughs> you shouldn't have shot at the Stompa, Brian. Uh, it was just mean. That was just mean. I actually, it, you know like, what my plan was? Tactically with the Stompa? Right. No. My plan was, the Stompa was to like uh, half its wounds. Uh huh. So I actually didn't think I would kill it. It didn't do anything in the shooting. But it's going to get closer to me uh -huh. and it's going to be really strong. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> no, I think mostly you just demoralize. I think us. it was a tactically not sound thing to do. But I have a bunch of big guns. You know, you want to. <laughs> I have so many big things. Mm. Anyways, it's fine. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> well, <laughs> next time, next time I'll kill something else. How about that? I'm yes. No, I mean do what you want. Deal. I, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All I'm right, Adrian, thinking. pick a detachment. Now that we like know how to play better, there's, yeah. it's, like there's like way more decision decisions that I'm seeing of like 
what to do when and how to position things. Yeah. So like, it's coming together. So this is like a tactics channel or something? I thought we were just like <laughs> yeah. a beer and pretzel kind of a <laughs> This is a beer and pretzel kind of <laughs> tactics game for sure. Like are we well, going to another question? question. Win here? Let's do another question. question. Thanks, uh, Dungeon Master. What up? I nice. really enjoyed playing Apocalypse because pretty much every unit feels like it behaves as it would you would expect it to. Agreed. Few things over or under perform. I, I agree. I yeah, think cool. um, I think Apocalypse is a great rule set, and it feels like a big game. Of, like it almost feels like the way you think Warhammer should feel, mm -hmm. um, but it's just so much more work to play Apocalypse than it is Warhammer. As you saw, uh, how long was turn one? Truly, three hours. Yeah. So that's a whole game of Warhammer normally, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but if we were playing it as 40k, it would have been even longer. Um, so definitely, it takes it takes a while. Yeah, true, true. Um, okay, so we're gonna do this death cop to detachment, mm -hmm. um, and this is just move and shoot or move and attack, whatever it is. Right. Let's do this. And yes, I wanted to stay still and shoot Bridger, so I'd actually be shooting well. But I also need to like not block the stomp and stuff. That's that fair. Yeah, move blocking is a real problem in Apocalypse, apparently. Yeah. Well, little did you know, our board is massive, but not. It's uh, about the right size for this many models. I, w I might make the board a little bigger for this many models. Yeah, a teeny, teeny bit bigger? It's fine for Brian's army. It's not proportionately larger. Like, it's... But, like, let's say if, if you had any... Like, if you could make any army, Adrian, uh -huh. regardless of the models you own, yeah. you'd probably have, like, two Gargant Squigots. Oh, for sure. Like, three Stompas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, four Gorkonauts. And, um, you know what I mean? Like, the army yeah. itself would be less dense. Mm -hmm. And it would be more similar to the the town that's. I agree. Right? Yeah. Well, I'm used to APOC being like um, across like eight tables, where it's like you choose yeah. where to engage models, and there's like a new meta level to the game where it's like, where do I want to commit this resource? Yeah. Because things can be out of range. Totally. In mm -hmm. in APOC, but not on. I mean, not on this table. This is a different brand of APOC. Yeah. I don't think we could even feasibly record a video doing the brand of APOC I'm talking about, but yeah, yeah, I feel you. Uh, All right, anyway. let's uh, let's take the next one. Thanks, uh, Skull Crusher. Any chance of getting the three of you to stream playing Dark Tide together when it comes out? Oh, oh do you guys know what Dark Tide is? Dark Tide looks pretty good. It does. It's uh, it's a cool like little kill team style. It's Left for uh, Dead, but yeah. with 40k. That's right. Yeah, yeah, and then or it's Vermintide, but 40k. Yeah, yeah, it Which looks fun. Cool. I'm super into it. Yeah, I'm we should probably try one day. We should. Yeah. All right, let's do this. So we have. So the copters all moved up, and they're going to shoot a bunch of and stuff. And they're all going to shoot a bunch of stuff. Shoot some rockets. We're going to shoot at this Riptide. The last little Riptide? See? No yeah. ambiguity there. It's good. So here's the first unit. On fives. Second right. unit. On fives. Got one hit. And on a seven. Seven. Nope. <laughs> Classic. So Pretty that's standard. two. I know. Next one. Ooh. And a Daka. Nope. And so that was the fourth unit? That was the third unit. Oh, okay. Yeah. And here's the wounds. Uh, so one, one wound? Yep. And then this is the fifth unit, right? That was third. Or, no, one more. Sorry. <laughs> and a DACA. All right, cool. And, and then two wounds on sevens. Seven. So one large blast on my Riptide. And that's it. All right. That seems to be what they do every turn. So bad. They did so roughly well, If they stood in shot and you yeah. rolled average, yeah. they would be amazing. Uh, yeah. Because they would be hitting on fours, mm -hmm. wounding on sevens. Means a quarter of your shots go through. Mm. Sure. Over to you. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Mine's so fast. <laughs> um, let's do the broadsides next. Um, as we saw before, they are not good. Mm. Um, but uh, oh man, mm. like, I, is there any infantry within range of me there, or no. anything light? No. Right. No. Even the the only light things on the table are like here. They're right. garrisoning buildings. Yeah, and I'm out of range to hit them. Um, and the ah, man, it's a tough call. Let's take mm. questions. Is there any force about... fields within range that are on on things I can hit? Just the just the flyer, which oh, I've already. You can hit. Well, there's basically so there's the force fields are there, there, and where's the one back here? That's there, there, right? Okay. So we, you know, basically everything. Okay. All right. Thanks, Navarre. Apologies from Canada. This has been asked forty thousand times. But Brian, how did you convert your Blood Angel Death Company and Sanguinary Guard? Also, orcs fit into 40k fine. They're the comic relief source of the universe. They That's are. true. Um, so I used the Custodes Venetari model, and I bought the Sanguinary Guard. And so I used the Venetari body and wings, and I used the, the uh, Sanguinary Guard arms, weapons, heads, and shoulders. Mm. That's what I did. And I think they look really cool. Um, I would make more if I didn't want to have friends anymore. 
because <laughs> they're super mean. They're so good. You would make me as a friend, Brian, because I love those. Yeah, moves. he does. Love them. You just want to be his friend so you can use his mom. I loved them when they weren't broken. Okay, I've always loved Death Company and Sangor. That's right. They were my favorite yeah. Blood Angel Imperial units other than Custodies. <laughs> wow. Because they're basically Custodies. But like There's... cooler in a weird way? Yeah, because they're Custodies in skinny jeans, they're basically. Like flying Custodies? Yeah. Custodies in skinny jeans. And they're always angry. They're not resolute. They're just yeah. angry. Ah! Yeah. I feel you. Anyway, thanks, Alexandros. I know that in Star Wars Armada, it would be cool if you tried it or Star Wars Legion. You shoot before moving, which seems very tactical. Correct. Have fun. Yeah. I like it. I don't, I've never, I don't know anything about, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I haven't played Legion. Um, I think it sounds cool, but I The haven't. idea of shooting before you move yeah. is like the magic phase before moving, mm. which I think is tactical and cool to an extent, right? The fact right. that only your heroes do it, that's like the amount I like. If I had to think about my whole army the positioning a turn ahead, right? That's a headache. I don't want to. Yeah. Are you still charging in that in that game? I don't you know, know if that game is combat. Probably, because meh, the probably. question is like, are there other sources of movement, right? Uh, or is it truly? I don't know how much it changes in that case. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Pretty tough. Um, so the coptas. I haven't put any wounds on any of those coptas. Is that right? Not on. And it's how many units of three? Three units of three? Uh, it's. Five units to three because you haven't. Oh no, I I'm I'm just seeing glass markers right now. This is on one copy unit, but other than that, it's gonna be it's five units to three. Okay, so, so let me do the blast real quick because they could that just that back unit could be dead. They were like under a bunch of stance. Uh, what was their save? <laughs> <laughs> well, ten's gonna pass, and that's not. And I'm gonna take. Wait, are we taking saves from last he, turn? He forgot yeah, one. Yeah, I want to rob him and the leadership. Uh, so they're 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 wounded, but they're not dead. So they have three wounds per squad. Yeah. Okay, yep. so I'm going to shoot um, my high uh -huh. yield missile pods at one of the other squads. Yep. And then I'm going to put my SMS into that squad. Uh huh. So here's my high yield missile pods into one of the front squads. Yep. So I am at plus one to hit, and I'm uh, re rolling all my hits. Cool. So still missed, but uh, so five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is the high yield missile pods into the coptas right in front of me. Mm -hmm. And uh, winning on tens. Uh, so nothing. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, two, four, six into that uh, wounded squad in the back. Uh, Rerolling. All right, so six uh, on tens again. So that's one, two. So okay. one Nonetheless. large blast in that wounded squad in the back. So that should deal with them. Right. So now my next broadside unit is going to shoot at the front. Going to put everything into that front squad. Yeah. Um, or one of the front squads, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I play. So that's six. <laughs> and then here on tens. Oh. So one, wow. two, three, four, five. Oh. It's two large blasts in a small. <clears throat> and they have three wins each. Uh, total, yeah. And remind me what their armor save is. Who? Uh, Devcopters. The Devcopters. <clears throat> Pretty sure it's an eight. So that's already killed them then. So then uh, my SMS is wasted, but whatever. I'll roll it because I already declared it on them. And then that's five. One, two, three, four, five. So this one is also on tens. Nothing. So Weird. great. All right. Now we have the commander. We'll go into the third unit. There's a third unit. Is five. that right? There's five. All righty. <laughs> um, actually, let's go into the, yeah, let's go into the third unit because this is a missile pod. So on twos, um, re-rolling, thankfully. <laughs> and uh, on tens, <laughs> nothing. And then we just have the Arvarna. Arvarna. That's right. The Yar. The Arvarna. Ar so he's got his six the shots. Tau. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So the third. So how how many total units is there? I'm having trouble. No worries. So I've got I've got five units. Right. There's five separate units. Two of them are basically dead from what you know okay. from what you said. Okay. And then there's three more. Great. So let's go into. Um, I wish they were just big squads. Split my fire. <laughs> I'm going to put one into one squad, one into the other that oh, are unwounded. Un These are unwounded squads. Yep. Sounds good. Okay? Yeah. Because they have no squad with only one wound on it or anything. Like no. That. Okay. No, no. Here's the one. This you were is doing on threes, re-rolling. Yep. Oh. And then this one is on fives to wound, or sorry, sixes up to sevens. So one okay. onto that. Nice. Yep. And then this is on a separate squad. Re-rolling. Threes to hit. Yep. And then this is on sixes up to seven because of that. Uh, so two wins there, so one large blast. Um, great. And then we just have the 
missile pod? No, that's only if he has a missile drone. So that is that heavy detachment uh, completed. Excellent. Sounds so good. that's good. So just to keep track of what that did, there was two Defcopter squads that uh, are all but dead, um, right. unless he used a strat to keep them alive. Yep. And then there's one that's definitely taken one wound, um, and they have three wounds each. You got it. All righty. Is that your activation, Brian? That was my activation, so it's yours next. All right, we're doing... Mm -hmm. The Stompa. Yeah. Yeah. He's double moving and fighting. Cool. Coming on in. Let's get Waldo into combat. Waldo, speaking of walls, we kind of had a discussion beforehand that we can move through the wall. The, of course. The wall spaces. No well, wall can stop a Stompa. Of course, of course. And, um, oh, it was 12. So I can move 24. And oh, jeez. Wow. Right. So he is fast. He's quite fast. Uh, all right. Thanks, Alexandros. Uh, no, we just did that. But thanks again. Oh, gosh. Thanks, Chris. What's the biggest game you've had 1v1 using normal game rules? I've played 25,000 each of Horus Heresy versus a friend at Warhammer World. P.S. Counting watching this as my Christmas party. Three beers in so far. Oh, yeah. very nice. We got our sweaters on. Party on. Um, so... <laughs> Can we get a close-up of this, Brian? Uh, yeah. That because we have a right. Stompa under a Manta. <laughs> and it makes it's me so, so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, biggest 1v1 using normal rules. Normal I've, rules? I've done about 15,000. It's probably 1v1? 15,000? Yeah. Why? Why? Um, I don't that know. That sounds horrible. I, I do things like that. I I don't. Who went first? I don't remember. Okay. But actually, I, I made it so that everyone's army could be almost entirely hidden. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So first Clever. turn was actually a bad a bad turn. Yeah. Look I used how to do tiny like... the Stompa looks under. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I used to do so like what's, 5, uh, what did he charge? 6, so he's charging, um, I mean, kind of everything. You haven't activated, or you oh. have fly here, right? So it doesn't truly matter. No, I don't have fly on the uh, fire wars and things like that. But yeah, the the riptide detachment hasn't activated yet. Um, yeah, so I'm touching uh, shadow sun, this these uh, suits here, and the fire um, riptide and the fire wars. Cool. Right there sounds like a plan. Let's do I, this thing. I see what you did there, Adrian. You've used your stompa as a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have charged your only super heavy. That's right. Deep into the Do enemy You want to shoot it now? All right, here we go. So. You were saying I shouldn't have shot it. Well, I was just saying you shouldn't have <laughs> shot it because, like, don't kill sure. the Stompa, That's man. That's true. He's not killing your Manta. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is going to be. Stompa! Actually, take another question. One second. Can right. we, instead of a question, I'm going to request that somebody in the meme channel. Make the Urukai charging in from Lord of the Rings, <laughs> but it's a Stompa. What? <laughs> yes. How do you? Okay. I don't know how. No. Nope. Doesn't make sense. You just put a Stompa face on it. It's not on the one dude with the torch. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> you didn't even destroy the wall. You gotta oh, destroy. Can the we wall. tear down the wall? Yeah, we should tear down. That the sounds wall. like a job for Adrian, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm surprised Adrian, Adrian didn't, didn't do it just know. moving the model. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah. There's like nothing. It's like a. So what are we what are we trying to figure out here? Oh, that's cool. How the stomp works? No, he's got a stratagem that he wants to use. Finest hour. Gonna give him plus one attack, plus two to wound. So you cut in his melee. attacks in half. What? He's critically damaged. Oh yeah, good thing. Uh, so it goes down to two and then up to three. Okay. <laughs> Either, yeah, sounds good. I'm gonna need it. Here minus we go. Minus one to hit. Uh, minus one to hit. No, it's not a heavy weapon. Heavy weapons minus one to hit. Oh okay, only heavy. It's a melee. Melee weapons are not heavy weapons. Correct. Correct. That's right. Sounds good. That's what we did wrong last time. Hitting on threes. Correct. Into, and who are we fighting, sir? Into the Riptide yeah. with my Mega Choppa. His, his arm Is this a destroyer arms. weapon? Of course. I love it. Here we go. But it's not an apocalyptic destroyer? No. Oh. So they all hit. And then this is wounding on three ups. Only an idiot would fail these rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Two tears! <laughs> Classic. Um, so that's a large blast on the Riptide? One large blast. One large him. blast. I think he already I... has one large blast on him. Yeah. So, and keep in mind, he is critically damaged. So, uh huh. I could reroll the wound. So you have two large blasts on you right now. Yeah, and I have one wound left. But you still have a you have a what, four up. So he's not truly so, dead. So well, he's expected well, these are on D6s. dead. Okay. He's expected dead, but I'm, I, would, I am expected dead. I would overkill. Kill a reputation. Reroll the wound roll. Go. Okay. So one Excellent. more large blast on me it. because yep. this is a destroyer weapon, so it does two, it does two, essentially two blasts. Stompa! That's okay. Good. Yeah, I did the thing. I'm into it. Uh, back to you. Back to me. <laughs> That's right. Um, all right. Let's activate the 
Riptide's Detachment. And uh, we're going to... Oh, this game has multiple minuses to hit. Yes. Right. So I'm minus one for being critical and I minus one for two. I was plus two to wound. I didn't have to use that card. Sorry. Oh, so take the card you back. You were plus two to wound? That's what the finest hour. Plus one attack, plus two to wound. Oh, well, you got to remember that. So. And then... Uh, but six is always hit, and one's always miss. Right. Right. So my Riptide would be minus two to hit because he'd be shooting heavy in close combat, mm -hmm. and he'd be critically damaged. Mm -hmm. And then he would be plus one to hit from my Ethereal, mm -hmm. and then re-rolling all hits from the Kalyan. He's so he's hitting on five zero. Yeah, so it's not too bad. So we're going to put everything into Stompa. The Stompa only has one wound left, yeah. so we're just trying to do enough to get him. Mm. Um, I don't think there's anything that I need to activate before you go and do a bunch of things. Yeah. So... No. <laughs> what? The, I had a force field. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep your stomp alive? Uh, cute. No, you he should, should die. He's a bomb. He's in the perfect to place to die. Power, Look at how many units You want me to waste all inches. my firepower and then he explodes yes. on me. So he does only explode, explode on I need to start on charging on up a 10 plus dice. <laughs> uh, get a little mm. practice roll for me. Show me. Can you do it? You? Oh, no, I can't. I no, no, you missed it. <laughs> Okay, no, you're getting there. We're though. getting there. Just keep working we're it out. We're getting there. I'll keep All right. just doing this. So everything, <laughs> everything, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the heavy burst cannon. Is it into so, Stompa? Yeah, as we said, <laughs> minus two, plus one. So Re we're hitting on fives. And, and re-rolling. And re-rolling, yeah. Gosh. Wait, but, okay, yeah, that's fine. What's the matter? Are they actually misses in that whole conversation? And, yeah. Uh, I actually don't know how to, I think they, uh, this was written after they came up with the new re-roll rule. Yes. So I think it uses the proper. This is like this has six yeah. is always hit. Don't this imagine. has new rerolls. Yeah, it's like eight and a half edition. No wounds. Wow. So I do have the SMS. Um, blah, blah, blah. That was good. Okay, oh. three chances to wound you. Oh yes. What are you looking for? Nines. Hmm. You're good, you're good at nines. Ah, uh, uh, there's one. There's one nine. So small one small blast. blast. That's all and you need. Remind me his armor save. Six. It's a, it's a six. So you need one six up to live. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put no more blast markers <laughs> on him. Just to give yeah. you the... I like it. Just give that one yeah. shot. Oh, but you'd be taking this on a D12. Currently it's a D12. So I need to get it up to a, a heavy you to do. make it up. So yeah. we'll put the commander from that detachment in as well. <laughs> and uh, this is a fusion commander. So hitting on twos. Oh, threes because minus one, but back up to two. Yep. So. And the commander's in combat with him? No, but my whole detachment can shoot into combat. Really? Yeah. That's so dumb. That's how. It's hey, what? <laughs> what? And this is why everyone has hated, hated Tau for all of eternity. Well, you couldn't do that in 40k before. It was... No, it's just like Tau always have rules that make you go, why is that? Right? Why is that what they you do? You know how you thought the game was played? Well, we don't play it why? that way. Why would yeah, they exactly. Do that? And uh, uh, Fusion Blaster is a four up. Ah. I'm going to have to use a reroll one here. I know it. Now, so, okay, so one more large, yep. or one large and one small. You got it. So that forces him to take one. I can reach it if you want. <laughs> nope. It's too late. They catch That's how you assign wounds, actually. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. That did land on a crisis suit. Yeah. So. <laughs> You're right. Tough luck. Thank you that for is, playing, Brian. That is that detachment. Cool. So the Stompa is about to become a Stompa bomb. Never. A Bompa, if you a will. Bomba, a Bomba. Yeah. So that's my activation. All right. Sounds good. Um, next. Well, now we don't have a wall. We can actually, like, see stuff. That's cute. All right. Well, uh, you you keep you figure it out. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> What's the biggest? No, <laughs> every every time now. Every you keep uh, rereading the same keep one. Reading, <laughs> rereading the same one. Living Groundhog Day over here. <laughs> Thanks, Noodle Butt. Noodle Butt. I need some responses. I still love Noodle Butt as a name. It's a good name. Um, it's a great name. Ah! Happy to see Tin Eds on the board. Yeah, yeah we are. I they've hope, been great, actually. Yeah, they've been great. I hope Cans, Dreads, Knots are good again someday in competitive play. Right. Because they are so cool. I will be first in line to play them. Me too. Um, so cool. Uh, this is actually half mine, half yours, right? Uh, for the Cans here, the Tin Eds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Cans are half Brian's. Um, and, and they've never been on the channel. <laughs> no, they haven't. <laughs> they haven't. And half the Coptas are his, so. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the uh, Buggies. And they're just doing a move and shoot. Move and shoot. That's great. Boop. All right, thanks. C, you guys ready for this one? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm amazed that it's this late into the show, but we're just that far behind on Super Chats. Oh, no. Hey, Pit Stop Titans. Squirrel keeps getting into our haulers, Komatsu HD 465, <laughs> and gnawing or nesting. They're open bottom, and we can't seal them. What do we do? Mm. Park them in a garage. No, you're still going to get squirrels. In Come on, Brian. In a garage? Yeah. 
What kind of garage? This garage doesn't have squirrels. Animals squirrels. take shelter in buildings in the winter, Brian. This is like a normal thing. The garage that that a squirrel, a squirrel has for. to work to get into a garage. Oh, squirrels hibernate, but like other other nesting creatures will nest in buildings. Uh, well, here's what I think you I do. solved it. Here's what you do. Okay, you tell me. You know those uh, hand warmery things? You were like the, the chemical hand warmers. Okay. Or you get those. You you crunch them all up. You get them all activated. You put them under there. You attract the animals. Oh no! This. <laughs> this, is, this is chaotic evil right now. This is the snake to kill the raccoon that you yeah. put to kill the mouse. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Come on. Let's see now. So you've attracted all the squirrels in your neighborhood okay. by making the coziest den under your car. Yep. And then what? That's it. You have one sacrificial truck. Oh, you give so the animals a truck. Extra truck. So you buy an extra truck. Yeah. And you hope that they come during the like well, thirty minutes that the hand warmers work. They're animals. You could use cardboard. Like it doesn't have to be a real truck. So it's a you you. Fashion a cardboard replica. I don't know. Right. Of your favorite, because the car, the, the squirrels know. They, they know. They, they, can. they can tell. Yeah. Yeah. They have standards. Please. <laughs> I was surprised that he didn't make a cardboard truck and then get them in it and then burn Light the truck Light it on fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That might have been where I was headed, but steered away. I, I gave you a look of like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a kid's show. Don't bridge this. <laughs> don't bridge this. I like if anybody, if it's true that people have been asking questions oh, in in a. Um, like an actual mechanics stream or something. Mm -hmm. I want screenshots. Like I, I mean, know. Yeah, someone proved this. This it's is so amazing good. to me, and I want to see it. So good. We got to meet these people. I know. One day we got to come on their car show, and they've got to come on our warmer. <laughs> <show. laughs> <laughs> yes. What a cross across the platform. Uh, all right. These what are we doing? Things are such short range on this table. The buggies, yeah. The buggies. And are... normally they're fast, but they were just they were the second rank. So that was what made them slow. They right? were the second rank, and there's no like advancing and shooting in this game. Right. So. We'll see what we can do. Um, and the problem is, like, they're all in range of this flyer, which I'll be hitting on sixes again. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know how much I care about it. Um, these these front two okay. um, are in range of this uh, ion uh, hammerhead. Hammerhead boy. Let's, so let's see do it. That. So this is going to be pull up Megatrack scrap jets. So this is three of them, and this is going to be the r rocket cannons. Yeah, on, on five? fives. Gosh. Ooh. Watch out! Come on. Yeah. yeah. And the Daka? Another one. Okay. Uh, all right. Can't get too excited. Can't get too excited. And sevens? No. no. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and then the wing missiles. Same thing. Okay. Good talk. Not today. Twin. Oh, here's the twelve dice. Three, six. Oh, uh, if I may, can I put these into the fire warriors? They're and engaged. All of them? I have no idea what your squads are. <laughs> so there's probably some. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three. That was the perfect response. <laughs> Both of you were like, huh? I yeah. don't know. To me, so the fire warriors are going to be like the deaf koftas. Like, we don't know where they end, but yeah. as long as we agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that's fine. Good? Shoot right. So here we go. On fives. Also, normally in Warhammer, these this, these guns are shot by grots, and so I get better BS. So normally the fours would hit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's what you were trying yeah, to say. Yeah, well, that's what I was trying to say, yeah. and then I did the opposite. So four, and this is on. Did you, did you do dakas? Because you rolled some sixes. I did, they failed. As yeah. they do, and this is sevens. Sevens. What, two? So one large blast on a fireware squad. You got it. Okay. All right. So that's. I'll that. do that. And I'll do that. After. No nose drills, rocket cannons. We did that. We did that. All right. Cool. Let's go ahead and do the rivet cannons, and okay. that's going to be. <laughs> I assume these are good against. What's infantry. It oh my god! Custom boosted blasters. Mm -hmm. Rivet cannons. I assume they're good against infantry. It only. It's actually only from a seven to a six, so it's not that crazy. It's to be still. Honest. It's still better. Yeah. I'm into it. All right, let's do it. So we're going to put them into, um, how many, what's the what's the, the save Six on Fire Warriors? Oh, um, it's nothing amazing. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah. And, hmm, strike teams, save of eight plus. Sounds good. Can I split with these weapons? Is, is that actually a thing? Individual weapons can split, yeah. <laughs> Not the time what, what, fun. what? <laughs> Share with the class. Your, your wife is in chat and wants to know when this is ending. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you should tell her, because uh, I, I had no idea what to tell her before. All right. We are four hours in, halfway through turn two. Mm. Um, so if we play this game out, probably like 2 a.m.? <laughs> We're not going to go We're not going to play it in. Or play, yeah. Let's, we can put a hard cutoff time where we like play the last turn at a certain time. So Bridger can give that some noodling, and then, uh, yeah. and then we'll decide. Cool. Thanks, Bridger. Use your bestest judgment. I have to, I have to pick? Yeah. Because <laughs> I would pick 2 a.m. <laughs> Use your oh, bestest judgment. You're a monster. Judgment. All right, I'm going to shoot... I'm going to split them between the... How many do you think are unengaged? How many units? <laughs> oh, yeah. I can easily tell you. Yeah. 
Three. I love this. Three. Thing All right, so I'm splitting this chat. between the unengaged ones. Okay. So this is one I've shot at already. Missed. This is the next one over. This is, and then this is the next one over. One hit and a Daka. Oh! No. Very nice. And three dice on sixes. <clears throat> and I suck. So one, one. <laughs> one on the other squad, or that's the same squad. Sorry. That is. This is a new squad. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. I thought that was. No, you're good. You're good. And uh, for the the shock rifles at all. They're gonna do all the shock rifles into this ion right here, and then the rockets will have to go into. Um, what uh, you got? That fire warrior squad that I just shot at, because I actually don't have better targets, really. Okay. Um, that is to say, I don't have good targets. So here we go. This is the shock rifles into this riptide, uh, ion riptide. Oh, nice. Two hits Very and nice. two dockas. Here's the extra shots. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. This one's going hot. Yeah, no kidding. Here's the shock jump profile. This is on. Fives. And I rolled no ones. Ooh, fives. Wow, that's yeah. great. Solid uh, or four because it's a supercharge, right? Sure. Plus one wound. So three. Nice. Okay. And this was on a wounded squad or not a wounded No, this squad? is on the Riptide. Or Hammerhead? Hammerhead. Oh, great. I did say Riptide earlier. Okay. Someone is screaming at the chat right now, but I can't hear him. Okay. All right, here we go. So then we have the rockets that are into the uh, single blast marker unit. Got it. This is on fives. Nice. One Daka. Daka, Daka, Daka. Nope. And a seven. Come on. No. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> Rockets. All right. Good, 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 good. War Trikes in the back. Buggy. Um, I'm just going to say it's out of range. All right. And uh, oh, mech special from here into that same squad of ya boys. Okay. And uh, this is the Boom Daka Snazwagon with the mech special. <laughs> Three shots okay. on fives. Nice. So many dice to roll. Dude, nothing. Eight plus. Yep, that's it's standard one. orcs. Classic. Okay, so one squad took a big blast, one took a small blast. Sounds good. All right. Oh, there's already two versions of the Urukaya? Awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> we have a, a, a lean, mean, memeing machine on the Discord. <laughs> All right. Uh, over to you, Brian. That's me? Yep. Okay. So what we're going to do next is I'll activate um, a Storm Surge. I'll do the one over in the corner. Um, it's got the... Standard shoot, and it's got its anchors down. Cool. So it's up to hitting on twos. Anchors away. Which is a big improvement over fours. Yeah. And uh, basically what it's going to do is it's got that that bomber, uh, the last of your three bombers that's unwounded. Yeah. And it's going to try to uh, hurt it. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's my plan. Cool. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to put the big gun into it. Yeah. We will also put the cluster rockets, I guess, into it. Mm -hmm. Um. Or actually, I have 48, but there's no infantry within 48 of him, right? Yeah. So I'll put the cluster rockets, I'll put my burst cannons, and um, my smart missiles. I guess everything goes into him. Might as well. All right? I like it. Um, so let's just get rid of that plane. Yeah. All right, so let's start with the cluster. Let's start actually with the pulse blast cannon. Um, or sorry, pulse driver cannon. Mm. So this is actually one shot, so hitting on a two up to a three. Cool. Okay? All right. I'm going to use a reroll on that. That <laughs> sounds good. So here are my cards. Yep. Um, I've got one of them here. Drop zone clear. No, that's not the right one. Uh, <laughs> I'll find it. Here somewhere. What's here it is. Bridger? I have no idea when our cutoff should be because I, I have no oh. limiters. <laughs> okay, so I hit. Yep. And this guy, you want to give me D12? I think they're D12? all on your side. When does my sushi restaurant close? And, <laughs> um, yeah, we can just order Trevor. in. This maybe. one is on a four. <laughs> yeah. So it's up to, I think, a five, five? for you. Seven. Oh, seven. That's a destroyer. Oof. So uh, one That's large blast. blast. Cool. Um, you blasted him. I blasted him, which is pretty good. And then we'll do the cluster rockets. We're just trying to get one more wound on him because right. they only have two wounds, you said, right? They do. So cluster rockets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on threes. Okie doke. And so that's two, four, five. One, I just need four more. And the cluster rockets are on 11s against you. So good talk. Uh, now we have the two burst cannons. All hits. Nice. And then the burst cannons are on tens against you. Mm. So there's one more light. Sounds good. And then the smart missile systems. Yeah, excellent. Um, okay. <laughs> Come on. Two's missed because he hits on threes. Yeah. So uh, it's one large blast, one light blast. Kay. And it has a bad save though, right? Uh, it's like an eight plus, right? On um, the planes? The planes are like all eights. It's something yeah. that I can't pass on a, on a DC. Okay, so that's my activation. So you're, you're up next. Oh wow, that's so fast. Um, <laughs> Do we think yes. like eight eight p.m.? That sounds right <laughs> to me. I honestly, I think it's going to be decided by turn three. To be honest. Oh, you think that well, there will be a clear winner? 
I think so, personally. Probably. I because think you're going to run away with the points. I, yeah, I, I think so. Okay. By, if by turn three... Well, as soon as there's a clear wiener, winner, we'll play out that turn. <laughs> yeah. um, and we'll go from there. Yeah. You're the wiener. <laughs> <laughs> oh, child. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Um, all right. Uh, I'm this yeah, the piling is so interesting and awkward. Just the spacing of your models, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So you basically shot everything that's good at killing infantry, right? Not true. Okay. Everything has both kinds of weapons. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everything right. has some infantry, some tank killing. That is classic town. That is classic. Classic town. Yeah. town. So I've still got a bunch of everything. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. So, do you want me to read some super chats? Yeah, yeah, take a super chat. Awesome. Thanks, Stubble. Hey guys, first ever donation. I love the exposure for APOC. Do you think GW yeah. have abandoned APOC, or will we eventually see updates for the new ninth models? Mm. I think that's a good question. Um, I don't think they're going to rush to do it because this rule set isn't broken, right? <laughs> um, this rule set works fine. In fact, there's lots of elements of ninth edition in here, uh, like for instance, the way OPSEC works and things like that. Um, and other parts are just fundamentally different. The hitting mm -hmm. wounding is different, and uh, it's a, it's an internally balanced game. It almost reminds me of Force Heresy. Like they got it to a place where it's actually pretty balanced and interesting. And because it's not getting a lot of new rules, it could be this time capsule where it just stays flat. The yeah. only thing that's challenging is when they release new models. So, for instance, you can't use like heavy intercessors in this game. Right, and I don't think they would just add data sheets I unless there would. was a lot of them. Personally, I think they would do they a don't, batch of data sheets. They don't sell the data sheets though; they're free in APOC. I know. I think they would do it eventually as like a nice, nice thing. But yeah, um, I don't think they'd rush to do it. Um, right. And you, APOC, it's not crazy to assume that you homebrew your own oh, for sure. data sheets. Mm -hmm. Like if you had a heavy intercessor, it's pretty easy by comparing to normal intercessors. What? That data right. sheet could look yeah. like. Yeah. So, and you can agree to that. Um, for instance, whenever we used to play APOC prior to the APOC rules, we would homebrew our own data sheets for things like Orcas and stuff like that, because the Orcas rules are horrible. Right. Um, and so we would homebrew our own more reasonable data sheets. So that's that, that would be my guess. So the bikers are coming on in. You're activating the bikers. Yep. And, uh, like and what did they moving, choose? Right? Did they choose the they double are move? Double moving. So right. that's like twenty yeah. something inches. Twenty eight. That's a lot. So we haven't done this town R. Yeah. Can you shoot without penalty in combat? I can shoot and fight. Okay, without penalty. Uh, yes, all super yeah. heavies shoot and fight. And can they, can they shoot at other things? Or yes, does it they have can to shoot out of their So it doesn't, basically doesn't do anything. Okay. If Correct. you tag me, I will fight you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. And he's actually a respectable little fighter. Yeah, I imagine. So what I'm going to do, I'm just, I'm just trying to move block you here. Yep. Just trying to, these guys are dead already because of the blast. Mm -hmm. um, so they're just movement blocking to try to hold this point, which is kind of how right. you play this game. Right, because you're. Uh, if you don't remember, early in the turn I actually... Uh, essentially killed two of these units, yeah. and one of them is very hurt. Yep, you got it. Uh, all right, more questions? All right, thanks. More. Nathaniel, many followers of the Fly Lord fear that the new previewed rules for Death Guard herald a waning in Nurgle's power, <laughs> and we will not be able to compete. What are your thoughts? Nah. I think a lot of people are like, the, the sky is falling, and the sky is not falling. The ground is actually rising very fast, and that's why <laughs> it feels like the sky is falling. Yeah. The army got so good so fast that people misinterpreted it as a nerf. They got yeah. whiplash. Uh, yeah. That's right. Um, listen, uh, if you're in some of these Facebook groups or whatever Discord groups that talk about it, there can be some echo, echo chamber that happens with some of the negative individuals. Yeah. And it can really seem like the, everything got worse. But that's not what happened. Um, and you haven't even seen the rest of this book by any means. You've only seen a handful of rules. And even what they've previewed is only an improvement. Mm -hmm. So uh, this army is going to be very, very powerful. Well, the, the <clears throat> just to like end it, the basis for a lot of this whining is, and Peter the Stats Lord can back me up on this, a bunch of statistical analysis where they did the math right, but it's not grounded in actual meaningful facts. Right. They're, they, they, they did the math right, but their base assumptions were wrong. Correct. Like the, the equation balances correctly. It was the wrong equation. Yeah. And, um, but... Even if the equation, like again, even if Disgustingly Resilient as it was, was stronger, that doesn't mean the army got nerfed. Correct. It means that one ability was changed to be more in line with the way the army works. Um, and so uh, it's, it's not at all uh, a, a cut and dry thing. So you're going to have to wait for the codex, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I know everyone wants to make decisions now, but you'll have to wait. That's right. Also, can we look at the upside for everybody? One less 
layer of saves, so yeah, we save seriously. like an hour per game in Death right. Guard. Well, we've been playing a lot of Field No Pain games, and you can see how strong Field No Pain is. It's are. so good. So you moved up, so you intentionally moved these guys out of command because yeah. you know they're dead anyways. Well, yeah, well, they're within 12. He's right oh, okay. Here. Yeah. Oh, and these are one unit? Mm hmm. It's oh. a nine man, yeah. Nine man. I took them all as big nine man squads, kind of for this purpose. Right, right, right. Um, so yeah, they just so ran up here. One nine man here, one nine man here, one yep. here. One here. So this is the very dead squad, this is also the very dead squad, and then mm -hmm. this is the somewhat dead squad? This one hasn't taken any. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's that, and then I left a space for something. I don't know what. Sure. Yeah. Just a thing. Over to you. Okay. <laughs> um, great. My activation. I will activate uh, my other. Hmm. I'm going to activate my other storm surge here. Cool. And he's not getting the. He's getting a plus one from anchors. I gave him stand and shoot, and he's getting his plus one from uh, his stand and shoot. So he'll be hitting on twos as well. And finally, I have some infantry in. Uh, line of sight, but as I said, these two units are actually already already done, right? Actually, I've already got them. Correct. So there's no point in putting any more weapons into them. So we might as well continue to go downfield. Um, okay, so let me just uh, figure out who's taking what. The Coptas, how many of those squads have I definitely killed and how many are somewhat <laughs> Two alive? are definitely killed. Only two are definitely and killed. And then I think... One is wounded, let's right? Let's go over here. We've got this hand cam. Uh... One has a small blast, one has a large blast, and one has nothing. Okay, and so they have two wounds each. Three wounds each. Three wounds each. Um, so I'll put my my pulse driver cannon into the one that already has a large blast. Mm -hmm. And I'll also put my smart missile systems into them. And then I'll put um, my cluster rockets into the one that has a small blast. All right? Sounds like a plan. So here I am. I'm going to be hitting here on uh, a two, a two up. So um, this is the pulse driver can. Let's do it. Do it. Hitting on two. Oh, <gasps> I rolled a one. My one big gun. Mm. I'm going to save it because I have bigger, even bigger guns. <laughs> um, even bigger one or guns. Yeah, exactly. So um, that's a shame, but that happens. So next, uh, the rest of this is all super incidental. You like that, huh, Bridget? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, this is on twos. Cool. And this is into what? Sorry. This is into this exact same squad. The one with the large blast. Mm. Uh, the yep. large blast two, duck cop is over there. Cool. Okay. And uh, Whoa. nothing? Please. So this was on an 11 because of your uh, 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 force field. Yep. And uh, other than that, I just have the missile pods into the same squad on twos. And then this is on nines. Just one. Okay. So one, so one large, blast. one small. Uh, wait, what? And that's my storm surge. It already has one large. Yeah, yeah. So okay, it has cool. one large. Yeah, one small. just making sure. Yeah. So that's my storm surge. Nice. My activation done. Sounds Means you're up, Adrian. I know. Oof. All right. So I don't. I'm not giving you a lot of rest time. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, you think? Uh, thanks, McGee. With GW making old CP unit character buff points and power. Do you think they'll they will for custodies and will that overprice them? Should it stay CP? Uh, so this is like CP upgrades. So like master. They're gonna CP upgrade the whole game. Yeah. Right. Why no, wouldn't no, they? No, no, no. Like CP upgrades are turning into points. Like, that's what I'm, sorry. That they're gonna change CP upgrades into points across right. the game. Of course. Which I think is appropriate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's only better because custodies love their their stratagems. So even things. Um, like you want those command points yeah, more than I'm, you want your points. I'm finding yeah. myself in ninth caught like at this crossroads between make my army like unstoppable without command points right. by spending them all on warlord traits and relics yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. or uh using crazy bonkers good stratagems and it's like but i want to do both yeah like, can't i just exactly. do both i thoroughly agree i'll give up these three sets of arm if you let me do both agreed so um i totally moved their commander during another activation last time okay so you just moving them up to stay I, yeah but i took the plus one so um i guess i could like not shoot them or something so just call it the move and shoot. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. Cool. Um, so we're gonna go for. I think that's. So this all these mechons in the back are just moving up to stay in yep. line with the commander because you have to be within twelve inches of your commander. Yeah. Or you instant die, um, on the next turn. Pretty good. So it's not great. So yeah, we're just gonna put everything into. Actually, gosh, this is such a big battlefield. So these are forty-eight inch range, and I don't think I could reach the storm surge then. Uh. Uh, no, 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 no. It's 48's good, but it's not that good. It's, yeah, they can reach the Manta, which I guess is all I would love shoot. to see you chip a few wins on the Manta. What yes. do you got? Yes. So we'll put all the mech guns into the Manta, and we'll put the Super Cannon into this thing that I keep not being able to 
do any damage to? The this hammerhead. Is the hammerhead. You've done it. damage to it. Did they? Yeah, one large, one small. Oh, okay, cool. So this is the super cannon. That one has a 60 in inch range, so I feel good about that. Great. All right, so I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do both back mech guns together at the same time at the flyer. This is hitting on five. Cool. Good talk. Good <laughs> talk. And then on a mm, winning on a respectable, but not a not one. one. I I kind of knew. It was okay. And then the, the mega mega the, gun. Yeah, the super cannon. Super super duper. I love this model. This is another one I don't get to use very often. Um, just because it's not great normally. All right. <laughs> So, super cannon, two shots on six or on five. This is onto the. Oh my god. Oh, you suck. Hey, Adrian, you doing all right? He's <laughs> got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, they all missed. No, on oh, fives, you said. This one's fives. The other ones are fours. And okay. then uh, big shooters and rocket launchers out of range. So that's fine. All right. That that's was your it. Yep. <laughs> good. Good, talk. good. Good time. Yeah. All that right. You're goodest, up, Brian. The goodest of times. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a tiger shark, the one lonely tiger shark guy I've left. Cool. And. Um, What's the range on the them again? These guys? Yeah. 24, 36, I think. So not long. You know, they're tiny little crack guns. They can't, they can't shoot very far. Yeah. That's right. Well, all right. Are you guys ready? This stream is so long. We're going into hour five. Are you ready for variant human number two? Oh, dang. Yes, let's do it. Variant human number two? We get two questions You're wild in, in one stream. Dang, yeah. I know. I, I have connections. <laughs> yeah. You I, know a guy. Uh, Made some phone calls. Yeah. So these are also 24. Made it happen. Oh. All right. So. I'm going to let you kill this next one. Cool. Oh, no. Turns out there is a little bit of a gene stealer problem on the cruise you're on. You've <laughs> all locked yourself in the dining hall with your husbands. It's starting to sound dangerous out there. What's your plan to survive? <laughs> Send the Primark out? <laughs> yeah, I was like, why are they hiding with us? Yeah. Lorgar, I understand why he's <laughs> yeah, hiding Lorgar, with us. Yeah, Lorgar is going to get put well, the other two. Lorgar's a just be zealot. Like, I would be like, here's your hammer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then I would be like, go. Yeah. <laughs> they need you. That's right. So we're locked in the dining dining hall. Well, Vulcan would. On a cruise? Uh, on a space cruise. With yeah. like unlimited food? Well, so Vulcan, get, like, super the hero of the people, would want to go around the ship saving everybody. Who, who would? Vulcan. Oh, uh, you mean Gilliman. So Vulcan no, that's would want very to Vulcan. excuse me. Vulcan would just save me. <laughs> no, Vulcan is the hero of the little man. Me. He's talking Compared to him. <laughs> You're insulting both of us at the same time by saying that he's not going to care about Brian and saying that Gillum is not going to do it. Canonically, Vulcan is the hero of the people. He's like the guy who protects the little guy. That's his role in Warhammer. Okay. Gillum would take over the ship. He would like try to make sure that all the systems are running. Yeah. He'd be like, don't let them destroy the ship that we're on. Mm. I don't care about all those slaves yeah. down there. Why would doing just that? So I want to finish this question okay. real quick. While he's doing because like I can't really do anything in that situation, but what I can do is I can get up on his shoulders and give him a, like a head massage that he's thinking and like you know get, make him comfortable. <laughs> just get shot off his head. Because that's all you said. What what you don't our... want to be at near the thing they're shooting at. Um, no no because Gilman's like up in the command like role. Like, okay. You know he has the. Uh, I feel you. Yeah yeah yeah. He's just trying to get his brain juices flowing. Yeah. Okay. Like, you know. Lurgar would just pray. He would just like build a shrine <laughs> and start praying. That's right. Exactly. Um, okay so. The Grot Tanks are how many separate units? So it's um, six separate units. What? Basically, well, it's color-coded though, right? So all the big tanks are their own unit, and then it's blue, black, and orange. I don't want to shoot these. These are so many units. Yeah. Um, okay, fine. How many wounds do the big tanks have? Good question. Um, Grot Tanks. I'm going to guess two. Well, the small ones have four. What? Oh, because there's four of them. Yeah. The big ones have two. Nice. With seven plus. These are not good uses of my... So I'm going to put my missile pods and burst cannons into the front big one. Mm -hmm. And then my big guns are going to go into the squig off. <gasps> All right? Two big guns. Squig so off. Why do you hate me? All right, let's do it. On twos. Okay. And then on twos. Yep. Don't do it. Am I going to have to reuse uh, a roll, wound roll here? Uh, no. So that's cool. uh, eight damage. What? Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> so this is four large blast. <laughs> going into here. Good thing I have a little... He's just killing all your favorite toys. He's going to lose, but this is a grudge match for Brian. Here I'm going to lose, and I'm going to make sure that we all lose. Yeah. <laughs> so, three, this is the burst cannon into the tank, uh, cool. winning the tank on a nine. Which tank? Uh, the big front grot tank. Mm. There's two wins, you said. So it takes another small blast. So it's up to one large blast. Cool. And then it has two missile pods, which are two shots on twos. And missile pods are on eights. Give me both eights. Come on. I want it. Nothing. All right. That's uh, that's my tiger shark. I like it. You can see that big gun is, is no joke. Right? Right? Yeah, that's nuts. 
And it's twos and twos. It's really good. I think it's got a meant to hunt titans. <laughs> and, uh, keep, and hunt titans like, it does. Two like, is on a D12 system. Like, you're not even like, what are the odds on that? Glazing over With the fact yeah. that it is a titan hunter designed only to kill titans. And yeah. it does it, man. It it's does. good. It's Tiger cool. sharks are gigantic. It's just really far from the boards. It doesn't look like it. I remember I fought Paul's, Paul's one mm -hmm. when I had Morty after he first came out. And he like... Flew up and he's like, "Here we go, take the shot." Yeah, yeah. Didn't kill him barely, and Morty's just like, Whoop! "He were up the intervene, right?" Because you yeah. wouldn't, but I brought him too close. Because well, Morty's not Titanic, so the macro didn't double the damage. That's right. Well, he wasn't using an AX one; he was <gasps> using a fighter bomber, the regular one. Yeah. Of course, nobody uses the AX one zero in like a normal two K. That's game. right. Your activation, my friend. You know what? Let's just I kill this guy. So last turn, the Grot tanks wrecked. Yeah. This flyer. So That's let's right. see if you can do it again. It's going to be slower because I got to do all six activations in turn uh, <laughs> because you ran out of army. So this is just going to be. You can do them together. What, what, what do I care? Uh -huh. Just do them together. Okay, fine. So here we go. This, this is. This isn't one detachment? It oh, is one sorry. Detachment. It's two detachments. Yeah, you're oh, right. Oh, it's two? Oh, okay. Yeah. Because it's six, three, six. No, it is one detachment. I'm one. crazy. Great. So this you will have be a detachment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. As it should be. Let's go. So let's go ahead and do uh, the custom Mega Blasters from this unit into him. So this is. Um, uh, oh, they actually have move and shoot, so one second. I would love the plus one to hit, but I didn't expect you to just like... Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so normally I would have stayed out of his range. I legally couldn't. The right. only place I could move was right to where, somewhere here where I was in his range. Right. You might have the hover rule in this, because APOC gives hover to stuff that shouldn't normally have it. That seems weird. Why would they do that? So that you don't fly off the board? Uh, it does not have the hover rule. All righty then. It does have just the minimum move rule. Yeah. Um, so there's no, but supersonic has no angles. No, I, like, like you would be able I don't, to. Does supersonic let me turn all the way around? Uh, I, don't know. I don't think so. Walk away. I don't, don't you have the? Oh, I guess I have the keywords. I was just, we were just assuming planes all had the 90 degree rule. We're just playing with that rule, even if it's not a rule. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, yeah. That's fine. We're assuming that that's a rule though, because it's feels a reasonable right. rule. Yeah. All right. So that was just a little so shuffling. All the grot tanks coming at me hot. So let's do it. Custom, uh, custom blast is on fives now. This is all the custom blasts. Oh no, no, I don't. Yeah, Daka, here we Ooh. go. Nice, two. Actually, go ahead and hold that for me, and this is the other squad. We'll just do that all at once. Oh, one Daka. Wow, this is so bad. Watch out, watch out. Oh, that was the six off the table. I know, so how many was that total? So three, three? total. All right, cool. So on three fives. On fives. Oh yeah, these are real good, right? Yeah. Look at you. I'm not real good though. One small blast, I'm that's cute. I'm not real good. Now you got the big tanks? Or big tanks, yep. So this is gonna be seven from the first big tank with custom mega blasters oh seven Ooh, nice nice yeah you just load them up on guns which makes them really expensive in 40k but it's cool so Two that's dacas or four you did the i did the dacas yeah okay. and on fives yes i'm the worst you're amazing wait are these supercharged they probably are actually. so good jeez louise got mega tank supercharge and so, did you take any ones when I, you when you rolled to hit uh nope but i'm just gonna add them for you i'll just put them there you know what i'm saying okay Boop. Fine. I was just asking. I have no idea. Just so. take one at best. Yeah, Don't take more than Sounds one. Sounds good. So, so, so one more. One more. Okay. Yeah. So I have one large blast, one small blast so far. Mm -hmm. And All he's right. got uh, one more big tank? Yep. And uh, No, no. This is the next one. Oh, okay. Two more big tanks. Two more big tanks and one more grot squad. But they're oh, with rockets. I'm, I was doing all the same profile understand, first. Understand. So there's a one. So this other one takes a small blast. Where is he? That's this one here. And then we're hitting on fives. Jeez. And a Daka. Daka. Nope. All right. So two more. This is on fours because supercharge. It's not bad though. Right. Cool. All right. One large blast. I like it. Listen, you're doing work. Yeah. And then this is going to be the rockets from the other uh, big tank. Whoa! Whoa! Crazy. So three Dakas. Can you get another one? Daka. Yeah. yeah. That's great. So this is six total. Wow. And this in, is in aggregate, these are amazing. Yeah. Exactly. Right. This is on sevens because it's rockets. Seven. Whoa. Whoa! The worst. No, no, two, I got three. One large and one small. So two more yeah, larges. That's good. Um, so for those of you keeping count at home, I'm at four large blasts, which is getting into danger territory. That's right. I only and have then... three wounds, so <laughs> last you one. Saved? Five up. Ooh, yeah. So you're it's like dead. it's dead. Dakas. You're expected. Oh man. my gosh. <clears throat> I'm expected to be dead. Yeah. And this is the last tank going yep. into me. Seven. This is on sevens. Okay. This is rockets. Uh, so, so one cocked. One cocked. Nice. So that's two wounds. Two more. One more yeah. large blast. So he's all but got the tiger shark. Yeah. Um, the tiger sharks are the real deal. So killing them is great. Yeah, they are. Uh, um, they're strong. I would definitely play them again in APOC. Right? They're really strong. That's awesome. All right, you're done? Yep, over to you. Let's, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go with this uh, town right huh. here. And we're going to do the first time that we shoot and fight. Mm. Never done that before. So we're coming in on these bikes. I just want to see the fighting profile. Yeah. I've never done it. I know these guys <laughs> are dead, but 
Let's see how dead. So Town Hall <laughs> Supremacy. Let's go with the fighting. Crushing Feet. He has four attacks. Well, that's good. Weapon skill four. Oh, dang. That's not good. Just oh. one. <laughs> one kill. And uh, it's a seven. Nothing. So not the best. Mm. All right. Let's put all of us shooting. They let's really figure out what to do. Talk that one up. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to see. I like it. This is combat tower. You know what? He this will the kill them. Time, this they the will die. Time I've had a chance to That's charge. right. I'm proud of you. So thank, thank you. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, so he does have a lot of guns, though. Mm. And do I, try and, do I try and kill some Grot tanks? Or, because uh, they were mean, or this, that side of the board is so scary. Mm. Um, let's put, how many, how many wounds did I put on this big thing? Four? Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four big blasts, and it has a bunch of wounds, like eight? Sure. So I'm going to put my biggest <laughs> gun. <laughs> I'm going to put my biggest gun into it. Yep. And then I'm going to put my uh, tri-axis cannons mm. um, into... Maybe I'll put that into it as well. Yeah. And then I'll put all my small guns. It's got seven wins. Cool. Put the seven up. Nice. And then I'll put all my small into this bike squad up here. Oh, this squad's dead yeah, already? Basically dead, yeah. Okay, so this squad over here then. Yeah. All right. So let's do it. Here's the big gun. It's just one shot. On a two. On a two. All right. <laughs> and it's one shot on a two. Oh. Very no! Nice. So this was actually, again, just to briefly talk about the ordering of things. I did this because it was kind of frivolous because most of the things didn't matter. But the one thing I should have done is go here, get inside of the force field, and this would have failed. That would have failed. So that's uh, two large blasts. Oh, jeez. That's an apocalyptic destroyer. Apocalyptic. So he's got six large blasts on now. I'm into that. Fine. All right. So let's put the two triaxis cannons into him on twos. Triaxis. That's these. Uh... But it has four. You know, <laughs> don't, no, uh, the, no, no, tau, no. the tau, the tri means a different thing in their life. That's right. One yeah, of them yeah. is the igniter, Adrian. <laughs> yeah. There's an igniter and three lasers. I wound you on sixes. Cool. Whoa. Wow. Just two. So one more large blast. Sounds good. Um, okay, now we just have these small weapons, mm. which, um, just the four burst, which, who did I say those were going into? Oh, these guys here. Yep. Um, but I think I'm out of range, so let me just double check that. And then... Uh, the smart missile. So I'm going to do the smart missile systems. Um, so four shots. I'm definitely in range for that. So four hits. Cool. And these are on sevens. Sevens. So one wound on that biker squad. Cool. And then let me just check range. I actually, let's just say I'm out of, I'm out of range for my burst cannon. I'm, I'm positive I'm out of range. Yeah. So that's my activation Sounds right there. So great. Good. We're, we're really close to the squig off taking a beating. Yeah. Um, Sometimes you just gotta step back and imagine what this looks like. Yeah. Like the the tiger shark just did a flyby yeah. shooting giant rail guns into him. <laughs> and then the town are put everything so there's just a squig off like just getting flailing like, around. Pounded from each side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but he's still trying. And there's a light show of grots coming from here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Alright, we're bringing in the squig off. Um What order did you choose for him? Uh move move fight. So double move. Yep. yep. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna go 10 and then 10. So easily it's gonna get me to here. Oh, and then we got oh, a special gosh. rule. Yes, because I have a tusk that can reach. Oh gosh, whatever. Oh, you're on a, oh, okay. That's good. fine, that's close enough. Whew. All right. Crush a boy there. Crush a boy. So he's got his squig off, which is right next to my uh, one transport, my one lone devil fish. Yes, um, I so hate that do? transport. All right, here we go. So this is one dice uh, on a four plus for each enemy unit within one, Okay. <laughs> which is just the uh, it does a blast marker. Yeah. Good. You did it. Small <laughs> blast marker. Hooray. <laughs> you don't have to be so patronizing. <laughs> we all this knew is, he wasn't going to do it. This is his I favorite model. Genuinely shocked it didn't. It did something. So here we go. I've got six fight? attacks um, with the huge tusks. This is a destroyer. The weapon. nice thing is he doesn't actually count as being damaged yet, even though he's got a lot of damage. That's right. On him. Right. Yeah. So he gets his top rope. That's off. nice. So this is on threes. Ooh, That's great. Four explosions. Four dakas. Oh man, why is this? Why? On the before, transport? Before he dies, it's nice that he gets to do something. Yes, yeah, so this is seven of them. Seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here All you right. go. And this is on sixes. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, actually, this is great. So, really six. good. So, one, and is this a destroyer? This is a destroyer. So, six large blasts. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> goosh, 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 what goosh. did you one, just two, smash up? Three. Whoa. Four, what? what did you five, just smash a up? Devil a devilfish. <laughs> oh, come on. 
I'm, I'm trying to get stuck in, man, as fast as I can. You crunch that devilfish. Like, the devilfish is fully flat. Yeah. <laughs> stop the it, people stop inside, it, The people inside were, like, long since out of it. He yeah. just kept charging what at it. What actually happened is the, the Townar and the Tiger yeah. Shark killed him, and he just fell, he fell on, on yeah. the devilfish. Yeah, that's right. Whoa. That's cool. That was cute. He was rad. Yeah. Imagine that was something good. Like, my I know, right? I know. <laughs> that would have been mean. I like uh, it. But listen, maybe he'll live, and he can do it again next time. I believe in him. Um... So for me, I have one town hour left, and I have one, just one manta. Cool. That's it. <laughs> just one manta. One manta, one town hour. <laughs> so let's go with that town hour in the corner over yeah, there, cool. and we're going to try to clear out all whatever's going on over there. Mm. So we've got, yeah, um, just so you know, we've actually got three bombas that are uh, uh, pretty dead, effectively dead. We have two units of the coptas that are definitely dead. One unit that's getting close, mm. and then uh, this uh, this plane is also dead. Um, it's just taking a lot of damage. So we're going to try to clear this out so that next turn maybe we could put some heat up on the objective. Yeah. Um, so I think what we're going to do is just try to split my fire between the coptas, and um, let's let's do that. So I'm going to put my I have one. You have one squad that's completely unwounded. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put <laughs> my big gun into the, that squad. Yes. And then you have. Um, one squad that is a little wounded, yep. and I'm going to put my tri-axis cannon into that, as, as well as my uh, smart missile. Mm. And then you have another squad that's completely unwounded? I have, just, have, one, I have just one that's completely unwounded. Okay. As far as I I will remember. put my tri-axis into that with the same one shot. Cool. And uh, the one squad that's already uh, wounded, um, I'll put the rest of my small fire into that as like well. Like medium wounded? Yeah, medium wounded. All right, cool. Because I have two that are definitely dead, one that's half dead, yeah. one that's unwounded. So it's four squads? It's five squads. One, I think it has one light blast marker. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. I, so, tr I trust you. Do what you need to do. Here's the completely unwounded squad. Okay. Okay? Yeah. On a two. Great. And then I wounded on a two up to a three. Oh, watch this two, everyone. Okay. Yeah. There's four blast markers. <laughs> what? That's so mean. And which squad was that? The unwounded one. <laughs> unwounded. <laughs> and these have three wounds each. Yeah, that's so So here's mean. the tri-axis gun. Oh my god. Also on twos. Yep. And then he wounds on sixes up to sevens. Okay. Uh, so that's one more light blast. So two large blasts, one small onto that, that squad there. In total. In total. Yep, cool. Yeah. And then uh, the next squad that already has one blast marker on it. Yeah, just the one light. Takes the tri-axis. Ooh, double ones. Oh. And then to wound, takes, so it goes up to a heavy. Okay. Or it goes up to a large blast, I'm yep. sorry. No, you're good. Jeez. I'm, I'm and then you. it's also getting the, uh, it's also getting my, my small weapons. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four. These are my burst cannons. Yep. These are on twos. Ooh, lots of fails there. Yeah. So four, five burst cannons. One, two, three, four, five. These are on nines. One, one, oh, two. Yeah. So one more heavy onto that one. So that one should have three heavies on it. Oh, jeez. Now. Um, great. You just have to keep coming back home. I know. Uh, <laughs> and then the four smart missiles. One, two. It's better because I'll forget otherwise. <laughs> and this is into that last squad. So. The one, yeah. Okay. You on two. where to put them. I'll put them. And then the smart missiles on nines or eight nines, yeah, nines, eight up to nine. So one more light. Okay. Onto which one? So out of the five squads, okay, we have four of them with at least three heavy blasts. Yeah. And one of them that yeah. should have two heavy, one light. Okay. All right, and I'm done. So they're pretty much all dead. Pretty much all dead. And um, uh, that's my town hour. Yay! All right. I don't even know where this goes. Back, we back to Adrian. Oh dang! Sounds good. So we can almost, we did that there, we did that there. I don't really, now that... You have all your air wing. Um, I know, but I've been you. keeping it there for the minus one to wound against the, like, the things oh, that you just it's shot so, at. because it's been so effective. It's been... Yeah, it's been really good. So good, so yeah. yeah. Um, you're right. I'm just trying to make, make sure I don't, don't do anything it's dumb a, there. It's a clever... Yeah, you're right. I, I wasn't even paying attention that he was the one... That's what that I was out. saying. I was like, oh, this is... Okay, there's, there's tactics here. That's a really good... Like, it's a powerful ability. It's really good. Yeah. Um, because normally, even in regular 40k, it's like, oh, you get an invuln from that thing, Shh, gonna kill it first, yeah. then shoot everything else. Uh, so what have you not activated yet? Just my Manta. Just an oh. <laughs> oh. Just so that we're all on the same page, there's no 90 degree rule in APOC. You just move your planes. Okay, next game. 
Yeah. Yeah. We're playing with the 90 degree. We, oh, okay. we agreed in advance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all uh, good. We've been playing with that. All good. Um, oh, I've got these guys, I guess. Um, so yeah. I'll do them. They have. So these are the Ludas and the Flash Kits. That's right. Um, yep. And they have Move and Shoot. I don't know where the token is, but they basically. I didn't feel like they're going to be able to do anything here. They're just kind of sitting, you know? Okay. So, so he's disembarking from the garrison building, yeah, basically. Get out. So he can just move his. He can start six inches. He has to be wholly within six inches of the building. Yep. And then he can't move again. All right, exactly. while you're doing that, thanks, Caldris. How long until we see a Doom 9 Necron army? Throw in a few Death Ray Monoliths, then cry when Eradicator show up. <laughs> Sounds you're like right. a good time to me. Yeah, great, great plan. Um, I don't own, uh, we don't own a bunch of those, but I just got uh, Doomsday, uh, not Doomsday Arcs, the, the, the Flyers. Uh, Doom, um, Doom Sides? Doom Sides. Doom Sides. I just got some of them uh, oh, nice. in, the, in the works right now. I don't own the Forge World ones either. Yeah. Um, but they're all good. The army has such a huge range now of great models. Yeah. It's actually a really hard collection. Like I'm going deep into the collection. I still don't have nearly everything. And a bunch of the stuff I wanted was out of stock. There's another mech right here with a force field. Oh. <laughs> well, no one shot at any of that, but you could be using it. Well, it was it. these guys. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. It's my right, mistake. I, um, I, have, I have... I need more Doomsday arcs to do, uh, do Doom 9? an iteration of Doom 9. Oh, yeah. You could use my three Doomsday arcs. Yeah, that's true. We could do that. Yeah. It'd be with Doom Stalkers, but that's also like a Doom yeah. thing. So. Doom Stalkers and Doom Starks? That'd be cool. Nice. Thanks again, Caldris. Greetings. Love you all. Few friends starting up different armies in TTS while trapped inside. Thanks <laughs> to your streams getting me into the game again. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you like it. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun. This is a crazy, you know, we, we knew this would be an insane thing to do. Yeah. Uh, we're doing it just for the, just for you, just for the love, for the, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, this was a set of like a stream uh, stretch goal for our, for right. our premium membership. So we were just really uh, excited to be able to put this on. I think normally if it wasn't a stretch goal, we probably wouldn't have done it. No, it's um, so crazy. But we know, we know you all wanted it to be extra epic. So we decided to go all out <laughs> for this one. Exactly. All right, let's go ahead and start with the def guns. They're going to go into, honestly, just the, the fire warriors there. Um, just need to clear out your units, your scoring power. And again, just kind of play to my advantages right. that I have here. So That's from, sorry, who? Ludas, they oh, the Ludas. 48 inch and range. And that, they got range, right? And I, yeah, I am also limited on, on range. That's like a legit thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, uh, I guess we have the three that are unengaged, so I'm just going to do five, five, and five, try and knock them out. That's great. Let's and do it. And it's going to be, so 10 shots each. They have uh, two shots per five models. They have, uh, correct. So two, two, and two? Or how many? No, no, it's it's times two. So Times two uh, on your three. attack On your profile? attack's characteristic, yeah. Okay, right. and how many models do you have? Oh, it's times four. No, no, it's not. Models has nothing to do with it. It does. It does on his data sheet. So how many models do you have total? 15. So, so, 15? so I'm on this top tier. So this, this attack. So you have, this, yeah, this you, times take, four. you take the attack, so you have 12 so shots 12. total. Yeah, so four on each. Yeah. 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 You got it. Uh, I was doing different math. Here we go. So this is into... One of them? One of them. The first, the front, middle, back. Yep. So one hit, and this is on a seven. Nope. Okay, nothing. Next one. Next one. One. On a seven again. Oh, that's oh, that that cool. Yeah, we right. should do that more often. <laughs> oh, and a DACA. And DACA. Come on. Nope. And do the thing. That works. Uh, <laughs> so bad. So nothing. So Ludus. much thinking and talking about nothing. <laughs> yeah. Such a worky thing to do. All right. And then um, the, yeah. The flash kits. Flash kits. They only have range to the plane. They have to go into here. So uh, hit that plane. All right. Let me, sorry. Take a question. We'll have Take a question. He's going to pull up the profile. We just see how many times. So much. Thanks, Lee. Shout out to Tao. Shout out to your fantastic videos. And shout out to these glorious sweaters. The Tao needs some love this edition. Your videos and the attire deserve some appreciation. Listen, mm. as soon as they get a codex, um, we're going to go real hard with the Tao. You know yeah. you know, I love me some Tao. Of course. Um, and actually, we've got a couple special things coming up in the near future. Um, the person who painted some of the big models here, Israel Sanchez, he's actually working on a very legendary Farsight Enclave army. Yes. And as soon as he finishes it, he's actually uh, going to let us play it on the channel as well. So we're going to have some very special Tau stuff coming up. Yeah. You know we love Tau here. So exactly. if you're a Tau fan, this is the place to be. And that's why this was also kind of a cool opportunity. Um, we were glad that Tau got voted in because it yeah. was like, we don't we haven't been playing that much on the channel. That's right. they're and they're so great in APOC. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, they're devastating. So here we go. Flash gets into um, the flyer. Minus one to hit, so on five. Very nice. Oh, come on. Three hits and two dockers. Wow. Wow. That's very That was not even their fault, too. That was all me. Nice. Oh, well, that's okay. four hits. Four, four hits. Four. Warning on. This is on eights. Snaz guns. That's snazzy. Two of them. Snazzy. All right. 
cool deal. So a large blast. So this guy is super dead. I know. He's got six large blasts. That's like as much as I put on your squig off. And basically. now we've got. He's wrecking it. The the Ripa. Uh oh, we're rerolling ones. I forgot. Oh well, we're rolling ones. So he misses for Zadsnark. Yeah. For uh, Bad Rock. Bad, Bad Rock. Captain Bad Rock. Zadsnark is a different character. Um, so this is Big Mac with shock attack. Go. Yeah, who's he going at? Let's know. shock attack something. I don't know. He's in the building, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the line of sight is just from the whole he building. He can shoot from anywhere on the building. Oh, yeah. That's right. When you're garrisoning a building, you draw a line of sight to and from the entirety of the building. Right. So how many blasts do I have on your um, ion tank? One small, one large. Or one small, one large. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the uh, put them into there. Okay, great. So let's do this. This is going to be two shots. It's a uh, sh shock attack in. Shock attack on fives. <laughs> okay. Good talk. Can we roll once? Um, no, because oh, it's, it's re-rolling for flash kits. It's flash not actually like a yeah, captain. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yep, that's all she wrote. Uh, so I actually said I have only the mance left, but I just realized I also have the barracuda. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I got the mance too. Right? The oh, mechans. that's great. They're part of the same attachment. I forgot. Okay. I was like, wait, they're supposed to be so. Who is the mechans? Uh, mecha gun and um, what's their range? No, the mechans are on the other. Whatever. They're probably the grots. That's fine. So they're forty-eight inch range. So and only the plane. Let's just. You want to just? <laughs> so let's put uh, let's put another two heavy blast on it. Sounds All right, good. cool. It's really dead. Moving on. You yeah. would never, yeah, never yeah. get more than that. Um, all right. Uh, let's go with my Barracuda, and then I'll do my Manta last. Just for, oh, just for the fun. What a know? tease. For the good times. Um, the Barracuda. Nobody cares about the Barracuda, Brian. Get out of here. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Michael. Hello, Titans. Me and a friend have a wager. If Orcs win, he buys me a Blastajet. If nice. Tau win, I have to buy him a Tau Bomber. Let's go to the wall. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. I love it. I think I think um, I'm taking a slap in, but I feel good about my position in the game. Yeah, I have yeah. I have to really get up on the points next turn um, to do it. So the Barracuda has moved on out. Um, mm -hmm. He's on the backside of one of these sheets. Um, <laughs> we printed out we printed out because these are all free online, which is nice. Yeah, it's great. Um, but. And this is Forge World. I yeah, love this a, model too. It's really it's sexy. The little Barracuda. Yeah. And it's actually very playable in um, yeah. in normal 40k. It looks awesome. It's just a flying tank, you know? So what we're going to do is we're going to start hurting some of these buggies maybe. Which is your coolest, but what is the best buggy? <gasps> Hurtful. Uh, the squig buggy, obviously. It's the worst one. <laughs> I know it is. You, know, so you can't the, get me. The scrap jets and the cut so and the put, uh, uh, shock So I'm going to put the scrap jet in the front. Cool. So I'm just going to put my ion can in there. Yeah. And. Boy. Uh, because you're not in force field range, or no, you're not. I am, yeah. So I'm, I'm oh, okay. going here to here, because it's the unit. Here to oh, there. there. There's one that's in the front right here. And then what about the other unit? Or is that all? Like, there, where are the units? Are the buggies individuals? Or no, the they they stay as a squad. So okay. these guys get it from here. Those guys that uh, these guys get it from there. Yep. And so I guess the rivets will be out. Okay, I'll shoot the rivets. Um, yeah, the rivets will be. So out. I'll just put everything into them yes. except uh, the. Long barreled burst cannons mm -hmm. will go downfield into your. I'm gonna. I want to shoot some infantry. So long barreled burst cannons will go downfield into your uh, uh, pirates here. <gasps> All right. How dare you? So here's the iron cannon overcharging, hitting on threes. Oh, I take a wound. Uh -huh. He did that to himself last time too, if you remember. <laughs> what a loser. And uh, wounding here on fives because he overcharged. Nothing. So wound to me, nothing to you. Good talk. Good talk indeed. And then we're going to do the missile pod. I think he has two Ooh. missile pods. Two hits. And the missile pods are yep. not the best. Mm. These will be minus one from this force field. Uh, no, that was over there as well. Oh, sorry. sorry. And then the two long barreled burst cannons. So four shots. It's on threes. And these will be minus one because of force field. You got it. And uh, so now long barreled burst cannons on nines. Good. Two. Hmm. So one large blast on your mm, pirates. Uh, on your flash kits. My flash kits. This is okay. a unit I want to use more. All right. I, my friend, am done that, and I only have the manta left. You so. say done. Uh, cool. I think now I can move the air wing because there's nothing else that they're protecting over yonder. Okay. Uh, no, because you could still. No. I still got the manta with all his big big guns. But I only have what? <laughs> I have one unit of death copters that's not super dead. Uh, you have one that has two large blasts and one small. So probably still dead. Yeah, still pretty dead. So if you want to put wounds into there, you can. Sure. Sure. All right, we're going to move air wing. Yeah. Let's do this, and right. I will also follow the 90 degrees. Want to do another question? While you're doing that, thanks, Dylan. hey -o, how long did it take to build, prime, and paint that Manta? <laughs> I don't know if Israel is in the chat, but he's the one to ask. Um, uh, so I'm not sure, but Israel is quite a... 
I would say, you know, he's a prof professional. It's his full-time job. Yeah. And this is the third or fourth Manta he's actually built and painted. He personally owned at least two, mm -hmm. um, and he's painted others for other people. So he's probably <laughs> one of the world's experts on Manta construction and probably painting. Probably the leading world expert on yeah. Mantas. Yeah, he's also painted... I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna venture a guess somewhere in the 10, 10 town hour range, um, as well. <laughs> so he's he's built and painted quite a few of these big big models. Um, so he's pretty good at it by now. Um, I've never built anything the size of the Manta. The town hour is actually the largest model I've ever built that I can think of. Do you wow. think anybody in the world has built or painted more Mantas than Israel? I I I doubt it. An individual, maybe not. Maybe there's someone at Warhammer World. There was a Manta. In one of dioramas, but it wasn't multiple mantas. It was right. just like one. It was one. So yeah. I don't even think so. Wild. Wild. Yeah. Thanks, Achilles. Hey everyone, my favorite is Death Guard. I win most matches uh, with them. I have 3,800 points now. We see more details from the new codex. The minus one toughness, along with the other changes. What do you think? The minus one toughness is so good, it's especially really good. in the era of like Marines on Marines. Minus one toughness is an amazing rule, Huge. Um, especially just in combat. The game goes es escalates to combat in the first turn. Right. And so that gives you a huge edge in combat. It's like against a lot of the meta, it's a pseudo plus one to wound. Yeah. Um, which, as we know, is one of the strongest abilities you could have. Um, and because it extends out in later turns, your shooting becomes a lot more effective as well. Mm. So, I, I, yeah, I think it's, really it's a great good. ability. And you have to imagine that there's probably more to do with that rule than mm. what you're seeing. Right. Stratagems, characters, etc. Absolutely. So I'm just pulling, my, pulling up my profiles, but I've gone ahead and flown over into that side so of the battlefield. So all the planes have come to the corner to die. Uh, actually, you have two planes that are unwounded. Yeah. But uh, you have four planes that yeah, are man. essentially dead. This is uh, <clears throat> right of the Valkyries is playing right now as yeah. they fly across. <laughs> well, he still gets to bomb me, and we know it was actually really good last turn. Really good. So I've got two of the bombers that can go over your crisis. One, one couldn't get the angle. Yep. Um, and th these are three-man squads or what? Six-man. <gasps> Six-man. So are they in combat with the Stompa then? Yes. <gasps> okay, cool. But you can still bomb them. Yeah, but then I'm not also shooting them. So you lose a lot of efficiency. You want to We want to start focusing things. You do want to focus yeah. things. Um, Get some models off this table. Let's do that. I'm trying. We're going to lose a bunch of models next turn. Yeah. You know what? I will put it on the crisis. So here we go. Uh, it's, I'm going to do the two sure. bombers. So four ups. Four ups. Oh, oh, one large blast. One large blast. Nowhere near as good as last time. I know. And then the other one will just go over. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the Ravarna, Yavarna, Arvarna, Arvarna, Arvarna. Go for it. Watch out! Takes one, one small blast. Bloop, bloop. All right, cool. Arvarna. Let's move right along. So yeah, I've actually engaged both of the crisis units for better or worse, <laughs> mostly worse here. Um, okay, we're gonna put the Bernas into. This. Everything's in combat. <laughs> uh, not, not all my tanks and my big things aren't, yeah. but you're worried that you're not going to have enough to focus down the big thing? Yeah, a yeah. little bit. A Remember, little bit. You, you do have this tank that you started working on, this iron yeah. tank. And I still haven't put anything on it, really. You've put one, one large, one small. Okay. Which, it's not it's not horrible, Yeah. Right? You've got two wounds. I, I'm guessing, but I'm going to look it up. First. All right, well, regardless, I'm going to put... It's two wounds. Yeah. yeah, and it's only a save of six, so not a bunch. Okay. Not, not too much more to get. I'm going to put a little bit more. So I'm going to put uh, Scorching Missiles into there. So this is on uh, fives. Ooh, and DACA, nice. Okay. All right. So it's two, and this is going to be wounding on nines. This is meant for infantry. Oh! oh he, could, he did it for Take once. Take it back, yeah. So it's two large, one small. Two Super Shooters on fives. Nice, one DACA. Ooh, oh, two Oh, this plane's going hot. Right? And this, then you see why eights. I'm killing these things. Yeah, exactly. So one more. So that's three large blasts you have on it. I think you got him. Yeah. Well, here's the twin big shooters because, you know, we started it. We're going to finish it. And this is on a nine. Nope. All right, cool. So, yeah. So no, he's all but dead. I'm feeling good about that. Let's so, go ahead and do the other Berna into this other ion, the one that's kind of closest okay. to the middle right there. Yeah. And um, let's do this. So Scorcha missiles on fives. Got one on a nine. Not quite. And then Super Shooter. Hits. You're going to have one that's amazing and one that just does nothing. I know, right? Nothing. <laughs> no! Super sh uh, sorry, twin big shooter. Good catch there. One DACA. And okay. on nine. Nope. Mm. All right. Wise Bomb Blast a jet. We're going to go... You just have one more bomb if you wanted to. Oh, we do have one just more. Let's just do that while we're here. Remember the bombers. Hoop. And Scorches. Gosh. Hoop. Nothing. And then Super Shooter. Nothing. Twin big shooter. One hit. Good thing these things have bombs Nine. because uh, you, you're missing. <laughs> Remember last turn? They did yeah. everything with the shooting. They were too. wrecked. Um, all right, cool. So, but it's good because it made you over like evaluate them. Yeah. And then 
<laughs> That's true. Um, cool. So wise bomb blast a jet. We're gonna do all the big guns into that same ion, and then yep. we'll do the small ones into. How, I still don't know how your fire warriors are doing. I missed with everything, right? So there's each of the each a couple of them have a couple blasts. Okay. But it's not the end. Of, like you're not gonna kill any of them as it stands. Yeah. So I'll put the small arms onto one of those and the big okay. arms into the ion. Okay. So here's the smasha onto the ion. Ooh, one dot, one daka. Nope. And then this is on a five plus. Oh, <laughs> brutal. Terrible. And then we've got the mm -hmm, teleport me mega blaster. We're sending the grot, and here we go. One shot. Uh, this was, this was good them. last time. It was good. So that's one. Okay. It's on a nine, though. Okay. Whoa! No, one. Horrible. <laughs> so bad. I wonder where he teleports into. He teleports like right into the barrel of yeah. one of the, uh, the 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 cannon or something. <laughs> Just gets blasted out. It's so we yeah. Because <laughs> even remember the the shock the shock attack gun also shoots grots. Yeah. It's great. And uh, <laughs> what a great weapon. Yeah. It's kind of like if you apparated someone inside of another. So person. what if you're one of those grots inside of the. Uh, the, the big ship, you just don't want to go into the like ammunition room. That's true. Because you'll just turn into ammunition. you got to be real quick if you're sniffing around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So here we go. This is the super shooter. I have two of them. All right. Yeah, this is into the fire warriors. Yeah, the more wounded squad, the That's one that right. has a heavy... They're both nice. Okay. All right, DACA jets. Two um, DACA jets? Yep, we're going to put one into that same fire warrior squad. All right. We'll just leave it at, at that. So he's got six shots. Cool, cool. And this is on fives. Seconds. Yep. They should have made it oh, on fours. Oh, nice. Nice. Because... Uh, one Daka. Ah, right, cool. And so three of them. This is on sixes against infantry. Not too bad. I think you're going to do that here. Yeah. Uh, nope. <laughs> one. One small blast. Oh, so it's gosh. got one large, one small. Sounds good. And then the other Daka jet, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Just need to kill him dead. Here hey. we go. On fives. So two hits, one Daka. Here's the Daka. Extra shot. Dagger, dagger, dagger. And then on sixes now. All you really want to do is get another large blast on him. So. Yeah. Okay, so one more large. One large and then one small. This is, well, this, they, both, they both wounded. That's what I said. So one one large blast. and one small. Yep, sounds good. All right, that is my fly wing, so sir. So it's one of my infantry squads that's uh, guaranteed dead. Yep. So my Great. last model, the Manta. <gasps> oh, dang. Super heavy drop ship. So, Who does he want dead? Has, so yeah. I have, have I killed this thing? <laughs> Basically. Nobody knows. It's not, we don't and know eight yet. Eight wounds, did you say? So one, eight wounds. two. Three, four, no, it has five, seven. six, seven. Oh, is it seven? It has seven wounds. When you looked it up, you said seven. Okay, then okay. it's seven. So it's taken seven heavy, and it gets no armor save against these, or it does? No, it does. Wait. It has oh, a six you're up? right. Okay. It's a seven up. This No, no. Hold on. You just, tell me. because we, we It's a seven. This is based off the old profile, which was a four up save, so it's a seven plus. So it's a guaranteed dead. Okay. And so, that's how many? Unless he has seven. a card. Okay. And yeah, unless he has a card, which, cool, let him have it. So, um... What we're going to do, we've also got the Coptas. There's uh, one of them that has a light blast, which is fine. It's all we need. So where do we want to put our shots? You have two planes left. I'll leave them. As we saw, they're not, they're not the best. <laughs> These broad tanks are OK, but we really want to clear you off on the points. Mm. So let's start going into these uh, buggies here. Yeah. So we've got, uh, these, are, these are buggy units or detachments? They're all units. They're units. So I'm going to put one of my big guns. And how many wounds do they have each? The buggy units? Good question. Probably a lot. It's probably like six wounds for the unit. Okay. Well, so, let's see. <laughs> so many cards. So um, I'll, I'll just figure out. Yeah, it's six for the unit. Basically two per. So I've got three units, mm -hmm. or two units of three, a unit of two, two units of one. Okay. So I'm going to go with this unit of three, the uh, uh, scrap jets in the front. Yep. They're going to get my big guns. Uh, my my uh, ion. Oh, they're going to get those big guns. They are. My long barrel burst cannons, which really are only decent against... Uh, or my long barrel ion cannons will go into the um, other... the two-man squad. Yep. Okay, and those are the ones that were out of force field range, the two-man squad. Um, and then what we're going to do is put the missile pods also into the uh, three-man squad. And then we're going to put the heavy, or the 16 long-barreled burst cannons into your pirates, because they're only good at killing infantry. Or, you know what, we'll put them into the bikes, because the bikes are fast. Yeah. All right, that's all my distribution. Cool. So, okay. yep. let's do it. See if I'm going to have to use some of these reroll cards here. Right. So, we're doing the two heavy rail cannons into the scrap jets, hitting on twos. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wounding on normally twos, but up to threes. Yep. Do I have to burn a reroll? I oh! Do. So I have lots of Good them. Good thing you saved it. That's yeah. awesome. I have lots of them actually. Oh. I, I pulled only cards I couldn't use this time. <laughs> okay. Looks good. Side wounds. So that's um, 
uh, four, eight, eight yeah, and, blast markers yeah, geez. on uh, the scrap jets. And then the missile pods also go into the scrap jets. Wait, so let me... It's, yeah, four, four blast. Four, four large, large blast, eight okay. small blast. Yes. Cool, and cool. so it also has the two missile pods. So that's going to the same squad on twos. Mm -hmm. And then on nines, one more light. Nice. Light blast. So they're in trouble. Um, great. Next, what we're going to do is go and take the um, ion cannons. Mm. So there's uh, six of them. And the ions are, so it's 12 shots. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12. This is into the two-man squad that are not giving me the minus to win. Yep. Rivet cans. So hitting on twos. Okay. So 10 wounds that I'm going to have to roll, or 10 hits. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And these are wounding on uh, sixes, fives. Fives. Hooray! <laughs> so wow. 2, 4, 6. So, so three large it's just blasts. three large blasts. That's all. And then I'm just going to put the long barrel burst cannons into the bikers um, as my last thing. So that's 32 shots, if you remember. <laughs> Two. Yeah. And actually, how many wounds is a bike squad? It's uh, just three? I think it's three. I'll have to check. Okay, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll just split them half and half because it's way too many. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Bikers. They have. So it's. Three, yeah, three wins. Okay, so I'll put one here and then one into your uh, infantry squad okay. over there. Cool. So here I am here hitting on twos. So out of my 16, I have 13 hits. Yep. Uh, this thing's a beast. Yeah, it really is. Two, four, six. I mean, it is eight, 150 eight, power level. Ten, yeah. That is three stompers. <laughs> I'd rather have three stompers. I would too. Uh, 12, 13. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is wounding your bikers on. Eights, okay? Cool. So, zero? Oh, one. Okay. One, two. Oh, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, one so large one blast. blast. Oh, and that's a nine. So, one in a, one in a half. Small, yeah. Okay? Yup. Um, oh, and they had a small, so they actually have two large now. Yes. They're like two, so close four, to our actual. Six, eight, ten, twelve. <laughs> twelve, ten, sixteen. Okay. Oh, and this is into the flash kits. Yup. So, fifteen hits. Oh, my gosh. And then minus one to wound on these. Hooray. Custom so 13, 13, 15. So instead of sixes here, or instead of eights, it's nines. Cool. And then seven. So, ooh, what's the skull face? A one? It is a one. Yeah. They always put, you never put, uh, <laughs> so one, two, three, uh, four. What do you need? Nines. Five, six. So six on two. The uh, yep. onto the flash kits. Flash kits. Okie doke. Um, listen, that was it. Sounds good. Do you have any more activities? Yeah, I've got my my Gaz Battalion. I think that's it. Oh, the it, Gaz right? Battalion. Okay. That's the last one. That's and the end. Nice. And that has the uh, the guys inside the tank busters. Yeah. Yep. Them. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay, yep. Move, move. I realized. <laughs> They should not be in this battalion because uh, they, yeah. they do such a different role. I'm just never. Once you gonna... get up closer, you can move and shoot and fight. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So this is move, move. Here so we go. So you're just double moving with this. Yeah. With I this could, one. I could fight, but yeah, that's not really the goal here. So let's go ahead and take some questions as I move, move a bunch your, of stuff. Move your I'd battalion. I'd love to. Yeah. Thanks, Tygon Nick. One CP for Bridger for pronouncing my name correctly last game. Hmm. Funny story. My first ever APOC game it was with Tao, and I was like, wait. I don't have Overwatch. I lost <laughs> half my <laughs> army, but it was fun. Yeah. yeah, you don't have Overwatch, but you shoot in combat, so I actually like it a lot better. Um, I actually think this is a decent model for how they could do the army for 9th edition. Mm. Um, just, you know, any tanks can shoot in combat in 9th edition, but at minus one to hit. Right. It would be cool if they just gave that rule to the whole army and then gave it no special Overwatch rule. Yeah. Um, I would be much more interested, and I actually think that wouldn't be... Even if you just did that now, that would already not be enough. Like, you'd have to do a lot more right. to make the army work. Because it still means you don't get to choose your targets, right? Yeah. Um, so I think that would be great. Adrian, this is the last thing we're doing before damage, right? Yeah. All right. Well, um, let's... Well, I've got... I've got all right, let me just actually do these Koptas first, because I forgot I have them. They're the only ones left from that detachment, uh, along with the Death Killer. Okay. Is there a reason? Just do no, it all go, together. Go for yeah. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I should just do that first? Yeah, do that. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. What are they doing? Um, are they moving and shooting? They're moving and shooting. Grooving and e uh, I don't know any other words that rhyme with grooving. Uh, All right. Yeah. 
Good talk. <laughs> We're just gonna ignore Bridger. <laughs> <laughs> We're so far in. Only only like super fans will see watching. this part of yeah. the VOD. I feel good. I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. This is a lot of fun. Great. I um I, I picked an army that was really easy to play over a long period of time. Yeah. Adrian's the one doing the hard work here. Because he's moving so many models. It's Chat keeps telling us to take breaks. And Never. I'm like, nah, we don't want to be here till tomorrow. No, also, I don't need a break. Consideration that I'm used we... to playing like nine hours of Warhammer at a tournament. I know. Um, it's very so true. So I'm good. Very true. There it's... is a time constraint that we didn't think about and we don't actually know the constraint of. What? Which is how long YouTube will take to process depending on... I was thinking the about that video. about an hour ago. <laughs> we don't know. We yeah. could get the clipping in the beginning of it. No, no, it's fine. All that'll happen is when the VOD goes up, there, there, there's a chance that it'll take them a day or two to right. process the video. It's no big deal. Um, all right. So okay. Who, who, are we shooting with those uh, coppas, or are you staying on the They're point? actually just going to stay, because they're pretty hidden right now. Yeah. They're on the point. So I moved, this is the Death Killer War trike. I just moved them up, because okay. you can do something later on. But that's it. So, if, yeah, there's going to be no more combat, Bridger. Um, okay, if, excellent. If that does what you want to do. Well... Okay. It's been a while since we've talked about our merch. Oh, yeah. That's we, right. We did launch our merch store today. And boy, are we excited about it. What is the... Okay, you guys all ordered a lot of stuff. What's the What's the thing <laughs> yeah. you're most excited about that uh, that you're waiting to come? My hoodie. Which hoodie? I've worn the same hoodie for like five years. Wow. You, that's okay. And it's from <laughs> like... your a, new five-year hoodie? It's from a stream that like doesn't exist anymore. Wow. Oh, I'm so, uh, so throwback. Um, wow, what a hipster. So I'm excited to have a new... So which hoodie did you order, fresh though? Fresh hoodie. I got the Good Talk hoodie. Ooh, Good, good talk. talk. Which color? Mm. Uh, I think in black. Ooh, okay. I like nice. wearing black. Yeah. What'd you get? I got, I'm really excited about the graphic crewnecks. Mm -hmm. um, especially because we've been like wearing them on. Great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I got the, uh, the the three thumbs up Gene Stiller call one. Oh. Because I love that. The moment that Bridger came up with the idea for that emoji, I was like so in love with the concept. <laughs> I like the crew neck of the Tau drone. Yes. It's just perfect. The Tau ones are like, that one's super striking. They look great. Yeah. Uh, really, really big. I, I love it. It looks Me awesome. Too. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. That is it, except my pain boy. This is not the pain boy profile. Is going to try to heal one of my bikes. I love so on this. a four up, I can remove a marker. Any marker, big or small. Yeah, I love it. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, that would have been really Good cool. Talk. Nope. I that have a similar cool. ability to heal infantry. Yeah. Medicaid supplies. Oh, I might use it. We'll see. Yeah. Um, cool. I lost my deck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Ah! <laughs> All right, let's resolve damage. Let's do some damage. So it's my initiative, so I have to go first, and I have to do damage on super heavies first. Correct. I have right. one light damage on my Taunar, um, because he remember he took an orbital debris. Um, so we gotta we gotta do him first. So let's roll it up. It's on a D12 because it's only one light, mm. and I'm um, pretty sure he has a four up, so he passes, and he can't fail leadership. So that's me. You can pick something and roll for it. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Screw it off. This was seven, right? Yes. And there's no way I can pass these. That's correct. What if I told you? <gasps> oh, gosh. Hold on. Hold Do you thought. have the card? Does he have it? Hold that thought. Oh. Hold does that he, thought. Does he have it? I don't know. I'm hoping he does. I don't think so. Do we know no. the name of the card? <laughs> oh. Brian card? used it, so we should know the name of it. Armor of Contempt. Do you have that? Oh, no. Oh. I can't. No, I can't do that. <laughs> Were you going to try to no. go back in time? Because you can't change the past. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we all know. No, the Skrigoth is dead. <laughs> oh, okay, it can explode because it's Titanic, right? Oh, yeah. So five I'm up. Not, no, ten, up. Ten, up. ten up. It's the equivalent of you a five dog. up. Not quite. Eight. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it is a five up. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sorry? Nothing. So I okay. need to get out of it now? Uh, yeah, so you disembark. You just have to be within six. And um, if he were to explode, they would be affected by it. Gotcha. And c can anyone die on the disembark? Nope. That's great. Other than the explosion. The explosion. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I have to sorry. pull. So I actually will do my my um, tiger shark next. Ooh, nice. Uh, if we remember, the tiger shark has two, four, six, eight. It has even more heavy blast markers <laughs> than the, uh, the squig off did. So... That's eight D6 saves. <laughs> On five ups, right? Um, I'm pretty sure it's yeah. five up. Yeah, something like that. Let me see. Yeah, it's a five up. Two, and you have four, three wounds? six, eight. <laughs> oh, it's oh, it's a good roll. That was a great roll. Look at that roll. Oh, I geez. literally took three wounds. Wow. You're an animal, Brian. That's awesome. All right. Wow. Uh, it dies. Tiger Shark's out. Yay. The Tiger Shark's have been great. Um, 
I, uh, in another game, I just would have kept them out of range. Um, right. And uh, that would help. Uh, we got to Stompa now. Stompa. So we have, I, I have a large blast and a small blast. Right? That's right. So, yeah. And I have a six up. So I need to what? Roll a six on... So they, you need to They roll, both need to pass. They need to both need to pass. This one would have to be a six. That's a flat six, yeah. <sighs> I gave you a chance. Okay. Oh! He no did way! it! No! <laughs> amazing. Thank you. So Wado good. He's wow. a monster. Oh, no! Now don't film around. amazing. Uh, yeah, so, so I don't know. What's your leadership? What's your leadership on the song? Yeah, it's probably pretty let's, good. Let's do some math. Here. I hope it's at least eight. Oh man, that was so good. That was crazy. I so this was we intentionally left it so that there was a chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even if it was unlikely, because it's always more interesting. So leadership six. So, so you uh -oh. could fail. I could On fail. On a it. five or a six, you fail. Yeah. And he would die. All right. Oh, no. One more d six. Five or six. Adrian, no. On a five or six, he dies. No, he are does you, die. Are you gonna? I'm die. going to do divine intervention. Okay. To change the six to a fail, so he dies. What? And then I'm going to use demolitions. To Not turn bad. what six into a five? I'm going to do this so I fail my other save. Okay. And then I'm going to use... What? What? Noble he wants sacrifice. To me. He wants to explode. So I auto He's auto exploding? It. Yes. Which I is way this. cooler. Okay. So here we go. All right. What? What's the range of the explosion? I don't know. Remind me, Bridger. Oh, it's six up. inches. Six inches, great. So. But it does not affect super heavies. So great. it won't hit the town art. It won't hit the manta. It hits no, it's only six inches. It's not going to hit any of those anyway. So it's going to be my kill cans and then like... A Every, bunch of my everything in Brian's yeah. All right, yeah. and then it's it on a what? It takes a what? Or it's everything no, no. automatically just he takes... He automatically exploded. So yeah, it, this so one says you one, don't roll the d12, it just automatically explodes. One small blast on okay. everything within six inches. So give me measuring tape if you can, and here, I'll just measure it up and throw some small blasts, all right? Because I'm like, ah, after all, I don't want to die just to morale, that's so lame. So my, my, uh... <laughs> you know? You could have used that reroll to reroll the morale, couldn't no. you? Oh, it was only a save? <laughs> well, I guess my question is, Dice in the order's action or damage phase. This is damage phase. Damage phase. Oh, yeah. So Hold I can just keep them alive. Wait, are you not exploding? I, sh I should just keep them alive then. Well, I didn't think it worked like well, that. What your morale? So this is a this is the same phase. This is damage phase. This is yeah. This is the damage phase. There's only four phases in this game. Yeah. Or three. There's only three. Which phases. one's cooler though? Like I might not do anything. And it is, is so much cooler for Waldo to live, and then he explodes next turn, bro. Uh, Adrian. No, because this card's gonna be gone. I can't no choose to. Explode. You don't discard. You don't have to discard. Yeah. You hold on to your hand. Yeah. No, I have to use this card to do it. Yeah, so next turn you'll use it, and then he'll explode. We have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, the auto explode. Yeah, the auto explode. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll have him live. Yeah. So what, what is the thing Sorry, so the roll drama. your five of morale. So what I didn't realize, guys, just to be clear, divine intervention, right? That lets me pick the result of a dice. Um, I would just do that. Oh, I'll... pick the result of any dice. Yeah, and it's during the, the damage phase. I thought morale oh. was separate. So I'll roll the morale. I might not have to use the card. Okay, so he's good. Yeah. He lives. All right, cool, cool. So yeah, first you get to roll the dice, and then you get to change it. Uh, that's a good question. My favorite son, Waldo, lived. Yeah, afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, super that's great. good. All right, cool. So All actually, right. there was a decent chance you could have even passed your armor save. Uh, because the, if you... The armor if, save? Yeah, if you got the yeah. black dice, then mm -hmm. the other one could have passed. Yeah, no, that's why I was trying to trying to weigh all the options. The worst option was for him to just run away. I was like, yeah. I just don't want that. If he dies, explodes, that's awesome. If he lives, <laughs> obviously that's awesome. Um, so I'll take that. That's wow. amazing. Now you know it's you coming. Just, you just took chat on the most wild, wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, he lived. Which Whoa, is amazing. No. Um, that's exactly what we were setting Whoa, up for. No. So, um, okay, listen. Why that's don't dramatic. we just uh, Why don't we just speed it up a little bit? Yes. You uh, You just roll for yours. Yeah. Uh, many of them don't have an actual roll, and I'll grab a few of mine and, okay. and get ready for it. Sounds them. good. Sounds good. What? Uh, remind me of the death coptos. Uh, save. Uh, Bridger has it's a, a seven. Up, or it's an eight up save. So okay. So all the squads are gone except the one that has two bigs and a small. Correct. Which because he, has to he roll. can pass that one he on. Can, so he you have one. You have one important dice roll there. Which is what size dice? Uh, D12. So D12. D12. And you need to get eight an up. eight up. An eight up. All right. Oh man, that was a good snip snap moment. Also, we need a snip snap. That start. was a good snip snap moment. Moment. Uh, so I would fail it. So all the squads are dead. So yeah, at all the. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. I'll just let them die. So I've got three heavy blasts on my Riptide, and my Riptide only has one wound left. So. Uh, he dies, mm -hmm. so that's my Riptide is out of here. Yay! Uh, I've got these bikers in the back. They have two large blasts, so they just take two wounds. So they're down to one. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Okay, so one of my infantry squads yeah. has two large and a small, and I'm going to burn a card mm -hmm. um, to try to keep them alive. Yep. It's called Medicaid Supplies. Uh, pick a light unit 
um, and I remove D3 damage markers. What? So that's just one, so I remove one heavy. So that's that wasn't good. I actually need to do much better than that. Yeah. Um, so I'm still going to take one D6 and one D12. And uh, I think we said they have a really bad save. So let's see. Um, so... <laughs> I Thank you, Bridge. I don't know what I've done here. Both of these bike units are just going to die. Yeah. The strike team has an eight, so they just took two wounds and they go down. Mm. Okay. All right. So I'm getting five out of here. One, two, Got it. three, four, five. You also have some rolls on then your I have... planes, Adrian. Uh, yes. So I've got two burnas with, what is that? So this burner has two large blasts. So he's just going to die. Yeah. And then this burner has, there was two with two large and one with one large and a half. Um, or maybe not. Okay. So this, this says it's a one large, one small. So you need to survive on the small, which is an eight up, I think. Okay. Or what is it on the? Uh, we'll check if it's yeah. I think close. it was. I think it was an eight. It's not seven would be better. Nine. So, so it's good. It's good. Now you have one more that you can roll for again. It says because it has a, a small. This is the one in the very back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is regular dice. Yeah. Yeah. It's a d12. Yeah. Okay. So that one dies. So two of them die, and one lives with one wound. Okay. This one lives with one. Yeah. Wound. And then the okay, last uh, jet has two bla two large blasts. Ah, uh, yes. So I can't su survive that. That's correct. Dang yeah. it. All right, cool. Okay. And which one's dead? Uh, you tell me. I'm this good. one's dead and this one's dead. All right, cool. <laughs> so we're just removing a bunch of dead models we're here. We're cleaning. There's quite a few. Um, <laughs> and the planes have two wounds each, right? Uh, they do. Yeah, great. Okay, so my How many my devilfish oh, here yeah. cannot survive. Ha. So uh, we'll just I'll get the guys out in a second. This I do have. Um, uh, a hammerhead here. It has three large blasts, so 3d6 saves, and it has a six up. So I need sixes. It takes exactly two, and you did get it. Oh, so one of my hammerheads is gone, um, which is great. Got the mega track scrap jets that these blue ground yeah, jets they took are a, here. They took a good yeah, they have four large blasts. Um, and then, so can they even so make So those it? auto go through, right? Yep. Because they have what, eight up armor? Yeah, so they take four. Yeah, they have eight of armor, so they just take four damage, so they're down to two, but they live. Because they cool. have six wounds. Cool. Um, do, and there do, was do. no small blast from my triaxis on them as well? So I had two two small blasts that I combined oh, okay. into a large. And that means they are critically damaged. So if you want to put that doohickey somewhere. Yeah, well, as if we. <laughs> I've been putting the critically damaged markers. And then what's. There's still a plane with some blasts over here. What's that? Uh, this uh, one is the dead. Bomb's We've dead. just got to move. I'll, it. I'll grab it. That, that one cannot pass. And then on my um, custom booster blasts, I've got three large blasts that go straight through. So that's going to deal three wounds, and that takes them to half, which also is critically damaged. Uh, it's equal to or, or less. Okay. <laughs> All oh, right. So lots of dead this time around. Yeah. Pulling a bunch of dead models. Um, the free Buddhas. The flash kits are super dead, I believe. Uh, we also have morale on anything that lived, like the scrap uh, jets. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. This. Uh, the... So That's the scrap right. jets had four markers. Yep. So I don't even know. Four, which are would they fail. So they're down. Oh, that would kill them. Hmm. They no, no, they'll take one damage. They can't die. They're down to one, right? I thought they were down to two. You took four no, damage. They, are. they have I six just, wins. I just put the wrong. So now it's the dice I actually put. All right, perfect. Good talk. Because they took. Um... They took four. And they have six wins. Yeah, they had four tokens. So they take another damage from row. So now they're down to one. And then the um, custom booster blasters had uh, the two markers. So here's their leadership. They take another wound. So they're down to two wounds. Cool. Okay. I have a crisis team that has to take one light armor save. Mm -hmm. And they have a shield drone, which gives plus one to their save. That's what shield drones do. In this game, they just give plus one to the whole uh, unit save, which is cool. So their save goes to a five up. Uh, no. So they did take one wound, and this is a six-man squad. So they have three wounds? They have four wounds. Oh, weird. Why do they have such a weird number of... Yeah. Oh, I guess it's two for three, and then four for six. All right, I get it. It's fine. That makes sense. Flash so one wound on them, and then I have one wound on the other crisis team, but it's actually a large blast on the other crisis team. So one D6, and they do not have a shield drone, so uh, they take... Damage uh, as well? A damage as well. 
And then morale on those? Can they fail? Uh, they cannot the because of the uh, ethereal. Oh, right, yeah. And the orange tank commander uh, right here has a large and a small. So you can go ahead. I'm the so Arvarna, uh, seven is fine. So that's great. And then I just have two tanks. Cool. And these are small seven ups. So actually, obviously, the six can't make it. So he takes two, which kills him. Oh, no. I know. The first Grot tank falls. He's a crook. Yeah, and so I take a wound on each of my right. hammerheads. And I need a seven up for this one. Good. So this Grot tank is uninjured. And then morale on those hammerheads, Brian? So uh, if you take damage, you do morale, or regardless? Regardless. regardless. If you okay. survive, you take morale. So over here, I did take one, and I do end up taking a damage. So down to one, which also brackets them, because they only have two wounds. Nice. Oh, no. No. They're just children. All right. Not the think of the children. children. <laughs> yeah. Brian, did you take morale for your I'm just tanks? about to. Uh, I'm just trying to pull up their profile. Uh, leadership six. So this one here, fine. The next one, fine. And the other one's dead. Oh, uh, there was one in the back who took one but passed it, so fine. Great. Totally And uh, we have these guys here. Uh, uh, large blast on them. Oh, yeah. Large blast. So they just take two. And they, it takes them down to something. And Here's the morale. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So All right. they're, good. they're good. So we'll put one damage marker on them. These are the real kill cans. Yeah, here. three man kill kill a cans. Three can kill a man's. And uh, all right, so what all what all died on your side? Um, <laughs> the squad. Uh, not not the Sapa. Wal, what's his name? Waldo. Waldo. <laughs> Walberg. Waldo. <laughs> Waldo. Oh. Waldo is another Wa joke. Um, the two flyers over there. Sorry, three flyers over there. And um, both my bike squads here. 15 coptas. 15 coptas and the flash kits. Yeah. Devastating. And this squad's down to a single wound here, the bikers. Mm -hmm. And um, anything else that's wounded meaningfully? Yeah, so the scrap jets are down to one and the rivet guns are down to two. Nice, nice. On my side, um, I lost my uh, devilfish here. Mm. Um, I also lost um, a hammerhead. Yep. Right Looks like here. you lost two. I lost a. I'm sorry. Looks like you lost two. There's like a big hole. Two hammerheads. No, I just lost one. One double fish. One hammerhead. Okay. And then I also lost a riptide uh, over there in mm -hmm. one unit of infantry. Um, so that was it. I did take a wound on two separate tanks. Um, so yeah. So they're down to one. Two separate tanks are down to one. Okay. Each. Which means they're bracketed, or they're like on half or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so, okay, so scoring up the turn, Adrian, you still hold four objectives, right? He does, yeah. yeah. That's big. Yeah. That's your lead is. Um, so if I don't if I don't take the the points back next turn, um, it's gonna be, be lights out. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, good. Initiative roll. Yeah, let's do this thing. Let's do it. All right. So I'm gonna be the white dice. There's a four. Whoa! There's a one. So initiative to me. It's not a huge deal. We're just gonna draw yeah, some couple fine. cards for how many warlords we have. Neither of us have lost a warlord yet. Actually, we kind of made like a settled gentleman's agreement not to not to go and kill all of our warlords right at the very start. That's right. Now, so I if you're expect wondering, the orcs to renege on said agreement and kill all your warlords this turn. I uh, think by this turn we could start killing warlords. I think turn one and two it was nice or it was nice not to, but turn three onward I think yeah you should. I think the orcs they, have everyone to know everyone. No, know. this deal benefits me more. I'd say. <laughs> no, but orcs would be cunning. You know, they would be like, and, an oh, yeah, and on a four up, it. I get another card. Nope. So just the five this turn. Right. And I've already maxed, so <laughs> One, unfortunately. Two, three, four, five. All I'm right. I'm at nine then. in my hand. So not, not for me. So we're just going to read our cards. You want to take a couple questions? I'd love to. That's my favorite part of the show, actually. Thanks, Damon. It. Uh, love seeing these massive Tau units. Sadly, not going to be able to watch live as I've got to travel to another state to pick up two of the new Necron Battle Force boxes. Ooh, nice. Awesome. Go, go, Tau for the greater good. Yeah. Thanks, Sean. Does Shock Attack Gun still insta kill? Also, nice jumpers. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, they do not insta kill in either game. Um, this one is a destroyer weapon, so it does does more damage. And then in 40k, well, I guess you could potentially, but it's it's not flat out uh, instant gimp uh, like in the past. Thanks, DN stuff. During the latest lockdown, I joined the Tourette Society. Took them three weeks to swear me in. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Can I hire Adrian to roll nice shields for me? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can. You hire? Can I hire you to roll them? Yeah, for me? I also do birthday parties and weddings. 
Yeah. Thanks, Baxter. Me and my friends got together for a 40k watch party for this game. Oh, cool. We're playing while watching, and it's a blast. That's awesome. Thank you for joining us. That's a great way to watch uh, today's episode, particularly because it's such a long haul. If anyone's <laughs> painting or building, that's a good one. Someone's drinking, that's good too. You know? I love people keep popping back in and being like, wow, this is still going. Like, yeah. I made dinner, walked my dog, painted an army, came back, <laughs> and it's turn two. Yeah. Going it's on, turn maybe. three. You may have done that, but Brian killed a squigga. So it's turn what are you doing three. It's with turn your three. life? Come on, it is turn three. <laughs> we're making we're making progress, and yeah. it's considerably thinned out. Um, yep. So uh, I read my stratagems. I'm going to use a couple of them right now in the action phase. So I'm going to use. Well, orders come before action. Do they? Yes. Before these cards? No, these are used in the uh, action phase. Action phase. So when you go phase. activate. Them. So all the action phase. Yep. Okay. Cool. Action phase. I'll use them in the you action. Must have better cards than I do because I keep being like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> all right, nope. so let's uh, let's put all of our actions down. Let's put and, some actions. Uh, let's figure out what's what. And I'll keep going with these super chats. Thanks, Thunder King. Spent over fifty dollars on the store, stickers and mugs, but not done spending yet. Bridger, what is a good start for custodies? Well, I'll tell you what. Hmm. I'll tell you. What? You go to Amazon.com. Okay. And you search custodies, <laughs> and you buy two of everything, and this will be the cheapest army you've ever bought. You're going to have a bunch two of, of options. everything. At least two of everything. Okay. Maybe three of everything. Three of some things. Three of everything, Brian. Okay. Three of everything. Now we're now it's getting up there. You just increase oh, the price. That's like $600. You increase the price quite a bit just now. Um, But you'll never regret it. You'll you'll have so many options to play with. You're going to have so much fun building and painting. And it's going to be the cheapest army you've ever built. And then once you're hooked. That's how you get somebody hooked on custodians. You're like, look at how cheap this army is. Mm. Look at how cool the models are. How fast they play. Yeah. You have the best models. And then you look at the Forge World and you're like, well, <laughs> well, I'm hooked. So I guess I will sell my soul to Games Workshop and uh, buy an entirely Forge World army for about $5,000. That's also how you get people hooked on Phonics, too. Uh, agreed. Oh, what did Nightbot do? No, Nightbot timed somebody out. Oh, for posting a link. Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, can I untime you out? Oh, it was only a five-second timeout. Moving on. Uh, thanks, Metaclone. Hey, Titans, I hope you have an epic apocalypse game. How did you think GW will make Nids, Orcs, and Guards stronger in ninth, mainly Nids? Simple changes could make them all oppressing quickly to play against. Hmm. I think they all need just a little bit of durability to get up the board, um, and I think they're going to make them all more lethal in combat. Like, we saw everything that's supposed to be combat-oriented getting a lot more effective at that job. That would be my guess, that they would, they would just do that. And just better profiles around the board. Right, like more for your points, right? Right. That would be my guess. I want, I've said this several times, and you guys always laugh at me. Okay. I want okay. Tyranids to have double the wounds. Just double the wounds on everything. Don't not change the, the not points. Not the little infantry, but the big Don't stuff. Don't change the, sure, sure, just big okay. stuff. Uh, cool. Just literally double the wounds. Play test it, see what happens. I yeah. think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I don't think it's a bad idea. I just don't think it'll happen based off of but be so cool. what they've, the clear directions so they've been taking thematic. with already what's coming out. Uh, but it, that's a cute idea. Because the, the, the reason... Cute idea. We yeah. don't want them to have crazy good armor saves. Doesn't really make sense. Right. Like, it's not... Two up armor save army-wide would be silly. Yeah. You can't really do any better than that. Invulns doesn't really fit. No. Um, so In how do you make the big monsters durable? Um, so hear me out. Minus one damage. No. <laughs> nope. That's, uh... If I were a rules writer for Games Workshop... Mm -hmm. I would write rules that say ignore all rules that give minus one damage. <laughs> and I'd be like, take that. Yeah. All the other rules writers. Mm. That'll Good. show them to write silly rules. I'll write more silly Those rules. Wins. Yeah. Oh. This squad only has one win left, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was, I was just using yellow dice. Um, cool. All right. We all put our actions. Yeah. I get to reveal first. You got it. Um, and so I'm going to start by reveal revealing my main big detachment, which is my fire warriors and my crisis suits. And they have the move and shoot action. Nice. And so uh, they're just going to move up, get some obsec up on the point. That's yeah, the like general it. idea. I like All right. it. All right. I'm going to let you move that. Thanks. Thanks, Curtis. Thanks for making my 6,500 points of craft world feel inadequate. <laughs> Obviously, I need more. Where yes. should I start for Lord of War models? Thinking maybe a Revenant. Mm, that's exactly what I was going to say. The Revenant is such, a, such an awesome model. Uh, I think it's more elegant than the Phantoms. Um, mm. you know. <laughs> that are just scaled I love the up. Phantoms, though. Well, they're classic. So, 
but I might be I might be buying a Phantom. Remember, I <laughs> don't found do. On eBay? I told you not to do it. <laughs> you told me not to, but did I listen? Oh, of course, you never listen. It's like the blood you never listen. Thing. This is exactly this blood angels all over. He's like, Brian hey, just, I was thinking about getting these blood angels. And we're he like, just goes on eBay, links us <laughs> things that he wants to buy, and we say no, and he's yeah. like, too late, already bought it. You want us to like confirm your bias, and then we don't, and you just. You're like, all right. They were really, really beautifully painted. But they were th That thing you linked the us? The ones was you linked us? Way yeah. overpriced. You're kidding. They're they stunning. Okay. No, and you didn't look overpriced. close enough. They're really beautiful. All right. We'll they see. weren't worth it, Brian. Anyways. We could do better. Something to maybe look forward to or not, depending on who you're listening to right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would, oh, do, I would do Reba. Brian, unmove those models. Right. We got to drop some Debris. Oh, I'm not going to unmove them. Are, are you going to drop the Debris here? I mean, I will, but don't oh. worry about it. <laughs> Perfect. So none of them died from the damage? Yeah, one, one whole did. unit. One did. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, Sounds one whole good. squad. Oh, man. I literally forgot every it's turn. Gonna, like, about this just does the, the blast. It's fine. Yeah, but I forgot every turn, and yeah. I said I wouldn't forget ever. Yeah. You done yeah. lie. That was silly of me. Good work. There's too much going on. So it triggers on a 4+. plus. Yeah. All right, I can start rolling mine. So, um, yeah, basically this is going to hit the four fire warriors, fi four fire warriors, the suits here, uh, Shadow Sun, Ethereal. Where do you want to put it? Show me the spot you want to put it. I want to max out with, I mean, yeah, everyone's there. Like so roughly there. there? Yeah. Okay. And then it'll hit your Stampa and your... Uh, does everyone? Yeah. Your Stampa and your... That's fine. What's it called? Yep. Uh, but it won't yeah. hit the Stampa because it's not... It happened. <laughs> so uh, the Stampa dies? The Stampa... Well, he oh, no, 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 no. Takes He's going to die no matter what. It literally blast. means nothing. Yeah. Kill the cans. Nope. So let me throw a marker on that. Watch out. Uh, Fire Warriors. Um, here's just four of them. Brian can move. Wow. Ooh, three so of them. three of them do take a light blast, Mr. Three, three of your five. fire warriors. Uh, here's the crisis suits. Yes. Here's Shadow Sun on a five. Yes. What? Here's the ethereal on a five. No. Uh, what else? Anything else? Manta. Broadsides will definitely get caught in that. It did not. It went around the Manta. <laughs> well, it hit a, it, um, it hit a yeah. non essential part of the Manta, mm. and that's what fell on everybody underneath. Yeah, this was like a. Um, the license plate. Can you bring me a bunch of markers and then <laughs> we can... Crushed. Be <laughs> crushed by a mile wide license plate. I mean, yeah. Like, you know how we have the back of it taken off? It's that thing. It just popped off. Just killed like 20 people. <laughs> um, you're definitely going to hit the broadsides too. Like, no matter where you hit it. Wait, really? Where you drop it? Yeah. No, because we dropped it where? Like, right in the base of the manta? Right okay. Here? Well, six inches hits the building. So everything in the building gets hit. Oh, what? So, sorry. Who are... This is a lot of blast markers. Jeez. Did you roll 100%? Wait, was... I missed with one, but yeah. Oh, wow, you got me. <laughs> so what's the big blast marker for? No, I just handed you a fistful. That's not like a oh. determinate amount. Oh, so I thought this was the amount no, that you no, did. No. So, so I did miss with only one. Three of the Fire Warrior squads take it. Yep. The Crisis took it. Yeah. The Manta did not. Sorry, hold on. Crisis took it, so let me put them on them. Okay. Mm -hmm. The uh, the Manta, did sorry, not. Did, did not. not. Shadow Sun did. Yep. Shadow Sun did. I got that on Shadow Ethereal Sun. did not. The other Crisis unit did? Oh, no, I didn't roll them. Uh, but they do. Uh, now roll for everything in the building. Oh my god. So, so the okay. broadsides? Broadsides. Nope. Uh, how else? many units? Of, is there two units of broadsides? Yes. So second one? Yes. There's a commander I, in there on a five? Yes. <laughs> I need two more. Wow. Pretty good. Well, you need to do this too, Brian. This debris is bonkers. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me, Brian. It's pronounced Debris. 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 Is there any, okay. any, anything else in that building? Yeah. The R, well, the Arvarn is not in the building, actually. Yeah, and you're outside of six. Cool. And cool drones game. are just part of the squads, yeah? Yeah, they're just cool. war, they're war gear. That's how they should be. Did we do it? Do we? I think we did. Now Brian gets to drop Debris. Jeez. I'll do that after I finish moving. Oh, man. Having a nice little stretch after five hours of streaming. Yeah. <sighs> I think we should have ordered food. Probably. I think we still can order food. And then eat it on stream? Yeah, why not? Uh, lots of marathon streams do this. This is like a standard procedure. Although usually they have a rotating cast, right. so I don't know. We yeah. don't have enough people for rotating cast. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I realized I have one I did not know. I'll go sit there and you play my. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would love to play APOC. APOC's a fun game. I'm enjoying it. This is cool. Yeah, I'm really liking this game. I think it's super cool. Thanks, Feelin'. Hey, guys, according to your shop, uh, you need something with sounds good. Mm. Do you think that bike units have advantage on small boards? We wish you a Merry Christmas from Germany. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, bikes are super good on small boards uh, of yes. any sort. This is true. They're, what's that? I'm trying to parse what the first part meant. You need something, according to your shop, you need something with sounds good. I assume they're saying we don't have like a, sounds good. 
No, no, according to the shop. It's it's like Teespring is telling that person who's telling us. You need something with us. It sounds good. I think you're reading over it. No, yeah, you're reading wrong. Reading they want to. They want a shirt that says "sounds good." Yeah. But we say "good talk." Yeah. No, I have a bad habit of saying "sounds good" when you say stuff because I just like I want to support you in life. So Aww, that sounds good. Yeah. That was so wholesome. Um, yeah. Okay, so I have um, three fireware units that were engaged, three that were unengaged. Okay. Um, one's dead, so I have two unengaged. They're gonna shoot, and they're gonna shoot. I guess at your. Character? Do you always get minus one to characters even if they're the closest? Correct. Or how does this work? I have yeah. no idea. It's always fives for characters, fours for everything else. Then we'll go into the buggies right behind, okay? Cool. So this uh, is two squads, so four shots. I'm just going to do them all together if you don't mind. No worries. Actually, I'll even do the little character with the same profile. Oh. So let's do it. Um, hitting on fours. Perfect the odds. Cool, Three. cool. Wait, did we skip the Devers? What's going on here? Oh, we did. Uh, let me just finish this. Let him finish this. Because uh, that's the question I answered. Cool. On I don't to know who? The, uh, the two brown buggies in the front. Cool. I don't know what your question was, but so I answered the Debris question. I'm going to do some Debris. Let's do it. Can I do it? Uh, mm. It was close. It Listen, was definitely a different buggy. It was buggy. very respectable, though. Yeah. Truth be told, I think I was aiming for the wrong one. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put it, I guess, right here so that it hits everything, including no. your character. Okay, cool. Because this is the side that I'm fighting on right now. Yeah. Um, so let me just, I'll roll for it and then we'll come. Are these wound markers? Yep. Oh, I gotta be careful. <laughs> Isn't that better than the tokens? No. It's so much better. Look at this. I have tokens next to the pile of tokens that we're using. This, like, this bike, okay. this should be unwounded as far for as the I'm death killer war trike? Yep. No? Nope. For the, uh, buggies that I just wounded, which one are those? Rivets. Rivets, so nothing? Blocks. Nope. Scrap for jets. your scrap jets? No. Mm, nice. For your, um, uh, dragsters? Yep. And then for the one, the... Ones at the back. I forget what they're called. Yeah. So uh, cool. Two smalls. Yeah. Cool. I'll go and throw them over there. Or you can go throw them. Here. Uh, so uh, yeah, your Debris was less effective, Brian. Uh, That's because this is the parts of the orc ship, and they're just recovering their they're stuff. Being steered. The, the parts did, of the orc ship have grown. I think you did you. eleven wounds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, and huh. I did two. So definitely uh, not as good. Pretty cool. Um. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's so good. I have more. So we already have one wound on the Stampa. From the Debris? Oh, yeah. Yep. So you actually did like 13 wounds, including the wounds you did to yourself. Of course. Whatever. Um, I don't even know. Where is yeah, it? It's over here. Here's another small. Okay. I'll throw Papa, it up. What is shelf. this little two? No? What? This the two? Little, the little two? It was just nothing? That was the wounds. <laughs> we know it's on one wound. Okay. Good. Great. I just didn't think you, it was going to matter. I thought he was going to die. So. I see. I see. Um, all right. So here's what we've got. We've got the unit of crisis that fell back with the flamers. They're going to put their flamers into... Um, some of the things over here, what should those things be? Uh, where's the objective here? Mm -hmm. So I have to, I don't know. We'll go with some of these characters. So we're going to go with the, uh, the uh, Big Mac, okay? Cool. So we have six of them, and so that was one per. So yes. six auto hits. They so do actually, auto we just hit? Got a, we just got a wound. That's crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's and so weird. Minus one. And uh, mm -hmm. let's pull up the profile. This is a flamer, so it's a seven up to an eight. So four, so two big blasts on him. Sounds good. Um, that's great. And then what we've got is the crisis on the other side. Um, and I was rerolling one still in there. I don't think I had any. So crisis on the other side. They're going to go into your buggies. I think I've got a lot of the buggies though. So. This, or they're going to go into the scrap jets who only have one wound left, right? Cool, yeah. So go into the scrap jets with, it. with them. And do you have a big mech in range of them? You do, uh, right? It's this yeah. guy still. It's, it's this guy or this guy. They're all in, basically. Okay. You one, two, three, four, five, six. Ba -ba -ba and so I'm hitting here on fours and I'm rerolling ones. Great. Cool. And then, so that's five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm wounding here on not good. And uh, not good being eights up to nines. And I am re-rolling ones. All right. Oh, oh, one back into a one. So there's one light okay. onto those buggies. And I just have Shadow Sun left. <clears throat> Run out of light markers. And um, Shadow Sun will go into your uh, Death Killer War Trike. Mm -hmm. So instead of on twos, on threes. And re-rolling ones. No, nope, one hit. And that's maybe a wound. <laughs> no minus one. So yeah, that's a wound. Sounds good. 
Like All it. right. So that's that detachment. Uh, I'll go move it. Fire words That's, now. Uh, that's <laughs> that detachment. It. Cool. Sounds good. Um, you got it. Onto the war trick. Yeah, that was good. So this was... Oh, I, was I actually did want initiative this turn because of that exact move that you just did. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to do an orbital strike. Oh. And I'm going to... Is Drop this more there. Debris? More Debris. Okay, let's do that. All right. Get your second chance. Double Debris. Double chance, yeah. So I pick a point, same point. Uh, roll a d12 um, for each unit within six. Hmm. Uh, minus one if it's a character, light character. And on a seven to ten, it's a blast marker. And an 11, it's two blast markers. So we're death for the war track. Is he a light character? Or is he a vehicle? He's probably a vehicle. Nine. So one, la one light marker for him. Okay. So... <laughs> That's Here? the one you just fixed, Bridger. I got it. Uh, so, okay, and then the uh, buggies right behind, the ones that I already wounded, uh -huh. they... Uh, that's a 10, so that's a light marker for them. The Here you guys? Are. Yep. Okay, well, I need a heavy now, then. Here you go. Uh, two lights will do the job. <laughs> and then uh, the scrap jets. Okay. Take a light. Okay. I got I'm it. rolling hot on this one. Oh, and then... no, I need another heavy. Sorry. All right, here you go. Thanks. <laughs> and then uh, the dragsters... Also take a light. Mm. Um, do you need one of those? You got that. No, nope, I got it. Okay, for the dragsters. And then lastly, the buggies in the very far back. Uh, yeah. Oh, take a heavy. Whoa. I rolled hot on that That's one. awesome. So that's this one. Because this yeah. is two one-mans. Yeah. But this guy's been Oh, two one-mans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. do it again? No, 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 no. There's no way he can There's no way of being ranged. <laughs> okay, so that was my orbital strike. That was hot. That was really good. Was okay, really good. here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop orbital ion beam and do it again. Oh my God. You what is happening? Me? This is the orbital turn. Shenanigans. His uh -huh. cards are so much, much better than mine. Um, these are uh, generic cards. Well, I have none of those cards. <laughs> um, I bet the ion cannon is the tower. So I get a 12-inch line. Yeah. Um, so 12-inch line, I'll go from the buggy. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So is that a war? What's this guy? That's the Death Killer War Trike. What's this guy? This is Death Killer War Trike. Oh, so I've never been rolling for that guy. So i got to yeah. do that twice. Okay. okay, sounds good. So I mm -hmm. thought he was just part of this unit. So no. four up on him yep. for the, the last one. So he takes one. Uh -huh. And then here it's uh, nothing. So he just takes one light. Cool. Right. Yeah. So orbital ion beam. I place, uh, draw the line, so all the units that I just hit. Mm -hmm. D12 for each of them. Cool. And uh, subtract one if it's a light character, which doesn't matter. So it's just on a six up on a D12. So the Death Killer War Trike on the very top. Yep. Uh, takes uh, a light. <laughs> Tell me if you're going to need more of these lights. I'll, I'll get them to you. So weird. Um, then the buggies right behind, the little brown buggies right behind. Uh, they do. I rolled a 12 there, yep. so they take another light. Adrian's literally just getting This is the them. other Death Killer War Trike. Yeah, does take one. Pretty dumb. Now I need more markers. Okay. Give me a heavy for that. Okay. Thank you, sir. And uh, next we have the Scrap Jets. They also take a light. Uh, oh, yeah. So they, the heavy is uh, underneath, yeah. Okay. So they have a light and heavy. And then it's the that last brown buggy in the back. Oh, yeah, he takes it as well. So he's up to a heavy as well. <laughs> oh, he already had a heavy, so one light. That was the one you rolled really high. You said put one heavy? Yeah, so he has another light over here. Oh. Um, so that was from the okay. first time around, I think. Hmm. Um, all, right. all right. So I'm done with all that. That's good. That's okay. Good. Now, uh, okay. yeah. You're going to use another card, Brian? Yeah. You know, orbitally do something else? Are you kidding? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So here, now you can go. <laughs> All right. Well, now I'm going to do the buggies, and they just have move twice. Okay. Because I just need them to, like, get on this point. I was going to try to move block, block you, but now the plan becomes get out of line of sight of yeah. your shooting. So they have just a ton of movement. So I'm just going to move them. All right. Well, you do that. And I'm going to thank yeah. Super Reedy. Donating to get Bridger in front of camera so we can get to see that Taco Bell sweater. <laughs> now paid for it, plus more visible Bridger is always good. This was... I think before the first time I danced across the screen, but I'll I'll dance across the screen for you again, Super. Uh, yeah, just, just half, for you. half time shows our Bridger dancing with Taco Bell. Right. <laughs> He's coming in. Got you really got these are good meme materials there. <laughs> so true. You'll be remembered only uh, in a Taco Bell sweater. All right, well, I, I there we go. <laughs> you done messed up, Bridger. <laughs> uh, Keeping it real. All right, Keeping thanks, Super Reedy. Uh, thanks, Omnisai Sphinx. How crazy would it be if you did Nids instead of Tau? Well, like right now? Well, yeah, we, we should restart with. Really have Nids? We so... have friends who have Nids um, who have large collections, but um, they don't really have, uh, you know, prob probably not quite enough to do this size game, do they? Nids? Um, yeah. Uh, well, we have Jeff's collection, so yeah, yeah we can. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, epic collection. Yeah. We have a pretty, we have a lot. So we're actually going to go there because they're pretty dead. 
Thanks, Dylan. If you could ask James Workshop one question and you knew they would give you an honest answer, what would you ask and what would be their answer? Hmm. Well, <laughs> Is, is this like a weird cheeky we way to get us to violate to admit, NDA? We just want them to admit something we already know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. tell us if you intended eradicators to be too strong. Right. <laughs> or like, James Workshop, do you intentionally make new units stronger than old units? <laughs> <laughs> I think the answer to that would be yes. That's just good business. Yeah. Like, Magic has been printing stronger cards year after year for decades. Yeah. Because that's just business. And they're monsters. And they're monsters. We should hate them. You dang wizards of the coast. <laughs> they made this game that we love so much. Yeah. We should tear them down brick by brick. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot of people out there that feel that way. <laughs> so silly. They really are. Thanks, Edward. One of my favorite Twitter accounts is Rosewater Stone, where they translate magic cards by running them through Google Translate a dozen times. Huh. I decided to do the same with a few models and see if Yins can figure it out. That's awesome. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Also, this was very generous. Thank you, Edward. Thank you. Uh, Governor Volnur Trian Valori. Who do you think that is? <laughs> the Trahan, Trajan, the Dolores? I can tell you with confidence, yes. Mm, I like <laughs> Wait, it. Wait, what? Governor. <laughs> Did you? Okay, so this person, there's a Twitter account. It takes magic cards, puts them through Google Translate a bunch of times, okay. and then posts the name. This person did the same thing with oh, I see, I see. Warhammer units. Yeah. So... Governor yeah, Volnor yeah, yeah. Trian Valori, uh, XV8 Disaster Risk Reduction Unit. I think that's <laughs> honestly a better name. That's so accurate, too. I love it. XV8 Crisis Battle Suit. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. I love that. That's awesome. So much fun. Enter the score. What do you think that could be? Enter the score? Yeah. Enter the score. <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough one. I'll yeah. tell you right now, because you're never going to get it. Yeah. Gargoyle Brood. What? Let's say goodbye. What could that be? This unit's on the table. Gargoyle brood? No, no, no. no. Let's say goodbye. Let's say goodbye. Brian's not keeping up. Oh. He's not keeping up. No, I'm reading these he's, cards. It's so much to read. He's reading more of his cards. I'm going to use this the turn. I have to do something. Uh, yeah. No idea. It's the Burnabama. If you Google Translate Burnabama a bunch of times, you, you get let's say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, that's, so funny. that's That's also kinda, appropriate. Yeah, I like it. Last that's one. what they write on the missiles. Oh, yeah, last one. yeah, yeah. yeah. Primary uninvited guests. <laughs> Any towel. <laughs> I don't know what is it. Where is this one? Primaris aggressors. Oh yes. <laughs> also appropriate. Also so true. Well, thank you very much. Um, that's awesome. I'll have to check it out. Um, ready? Am I ready? Well, I'm double moving now. I can fight. Oh, cool. Yeah. So um, my rivet cannons have hit your fire warriors right there, and they actually because of the rams. I roll on a five plus. I do a blast marker. Nice. And anyway. it doesn't multiply because I have two. So five up. Good talk. And then the scrap jets that went into your fire, your um, crisis team. Crisis right there have. Oh, sorry, that was the five up. So we'll say that was that one. Okay. And then now we'll do the rivet guns because I think that one's a four up. Let's see. Nice. <laughs> Custom booster blast. You're ramming me. No, it's a five. So we'll just keep it consistent. So now the now the uh, crisis. Yep. Five. Nice. So that's a small blast. That's good. Yeah. And they already had a small, so that they do. A so it's up to a large. Ooh, I like it. And now I'm gonna fight you. So let's do let's do that now. We'll do the mega track mega track scrap jets. Good. And so I've got just three attacks, okay. half because I'm at I'm uh, degraded, right? So mm -hmm. it goes down goes down to two, I assume, not yep. one. All right. And then yeah, I'm not up. minus one. Rounds up. Yeah. Yep. Sounds not good. minus one because they're not heavy weapons. They're melee weapons. Hitting on fours. Ooh, and a Daka. Nice. And a Daka. Ooh, Very two nice. of them. And this is on sevens. Yeah, right here. Uh, -dip 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 -dip. Is it sevens? Yeah, it is sevens. Okay, one, one more small blast on the crisis. Yep. Okay, doing work on them. Sounds good. All right, now let's go ahead and do the um, custom booster blasts, the rivet, rivet gun boys. Okay, uh, and this is into the fire wars? Into the fire wars. Okay, this is actually already a damage squad. Ooh, excellent. So one small one. So spiked rams, one hit. Okay. And it's a 10 plus. Oh, that's not great. No. Almost. Close. Almost. Um, cool. Those are the two units that were pretty much already dead, and yeah. so the potential to put blasts on was more important. And that is all she wrote. Okay. Yeah. My activation next, I'm going to activate uh, this little detachment here. Mm -hmm. And they took double move and five. Oh, dang. Yes. So untowly. No, we're trying to get OPSEC up trying to play point. the game here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, while you're moving that, uh, there was one more from Edward. Mm. This land has two sides. What do you think that could be? This land has two sides? Yeah. 
Uh, no idea. It's the devil fish. <laughs> what? This is so weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm into it. I'm impressed into that it. Google Translate even changed these weird names. Because yeah. usually it just ignores. Like if you put in a word it doesn't recognize, it'll just leave it. Right, right. But I guess these are compound words of like, yeah. like devil fish, you know? Oh, uh, that's true. It's interesting to me. Yeah. Thanks, Bobson. Bobson. One CP question mark? Command asset? <laughs> that's right. For Bridger? <laughs> Does Bridger have an ugly sweater on? Also Apocalypse Games annual, semi-annual? We don't know yet. Um, I will definitely keep doing the manual. I, I don't think so. Semi-annual might be a bit much. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to fight you now, if you don't mind. Yeah. So here's my Fire Wars fighting oh, into your Kelly Cans. Um, uh, this unit, what, has two wounds? Uh, how wounded is this squad? It's got one wound left, yeah. One wound left, okay. Or it's taken, I don't know. So listen, my <laughs> weapon skill. No, it's two left. Uh, my weapon skill is five, so two hits. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do I wound you on? Is the force field in melee too? <laughs> uh, that I don't know. I could find Listen, it. Listen, this isn't that much worse than my shooting at you. I know. <laughs> um, oh, uh, that's a wound! The ten. Yeah. Wound of tens. And it's only against ranged weapons. All right, cool. And then my cadre fire blade on a three. I personally think of these as ranged weapons, though. Uh, no. So I put one light, light Ooh, last marker. Nice. Um, now you're cool uh, with gas. I'm into that. I like so that's it. nice. But I got OPSEC up on both points. Yeah. So I'm into that. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Pretty exciting. How many how many squads do you have there on it? Uh, three. You have three? Yeah. You only moved six inches and you got three squads? Totally. Um, what do we got? Hmm. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, all right, cool. So let's see. Um, but where are we going next? Where are we going next? Mm. Mm. That does not bode well for me <laughs> at all. Uh, let's go ahead and do. Uh. Uh. Trying, to, mm. Trying uh. to see what actually matters right now. There's only a few things that matter. There's a lot happening, but only a few that matter. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Mm. Mm -hmm. Where are you mm -hmm. going to go? We're going to do. If you don't mind, I'm just going to drop a card for you right now. <laughs> Is it an orbital? orbital I probably do mind. Orbital, <laughs> orbital um, eye lasers? So uh, I'm going to spend a command asset. Uh, basically, I need a detachment that has a commander in it. I'm going to take my big detachment. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anyone moves in, I should have done it earlier, but because um, it would have been good. Uh, if anyone moves into combat range with it, I just get a free shoot action. It's basically Overwatch. Um, what? So is this like contact, a trap card? Yeah. Are you supposed to no, use no, this I, like... I no. Use it, I use it before he takes it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm using it now. But I could have shot at the buggies when they came into combat with me. Um, but I'll do it now because this is the only squad that I think he's going to move in combat range with. So put in coordinated fire arcs. So if your stomper moves in, I'll just get to shoot you a bit. Cool. That sounds good. Um, All right. That's weird. Wait, if I move in? What if I'm already in range? Then nothing happens. Yeah, if you just stand and shoot, then you're fine. But if you try okay. to fight me. But I'm not engaged with no, you? No, I surrounded you. Okay. Basically. Gotcha. Um, very, very interesting. Well, I think we should activate the Stompa. I think we should do the Stompa. I agree. So Stompa is, you know, super heavy stuff. So shooting and fighting. Yes. Um, so wait, so can I move? Yeah. Then still shoot even though I'm in combat? Yeah. 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 All right, sounds good. You get good. to do everything. And you can shoot anything you want. That's right. Yeah. All right. So I will... I think you can shoot anything you want except the unit you're in combat with. No, you can shoot anything. Oh, wow. It's fine. I'm just going to go into those crises right, right there. Yeah. Cool. And so you're going uh, into the front unit. Of, uh, the, this is the one that's less wounded. Mm -hmm. This is the one that's more wounded. Yeah. Um, so you just want to push forward. Yep. And you want to do your shooting? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Two, four, six. This is going to be the uh, uh, missile pods. Mm-hmm. Okie doke. So they reroll ones from their marker drone. So three hits. Yep. Okay. And... Says nines, nothing with that. Just make sure. Uh, here we go. The missile pod is eight. Oh, so one. So one light blast on you there. Sounds good. And <laughs> upgrade to it. And then the flamers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is on a bunch. Flamers are not great. So flamers are on ten. So three more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so one heavy and then one In case light. I survive again. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, Looks good. All right, okay. let's do the Stompa shooting. So we're going to do... And I can't move over things, can I, with the Stompa? I don't think so. I don't think so, yeah. Because I'm Titanic? Oh, I didn't do a Shadow Yeah. So Shadow Oh, shoot. Tits. I also have my Mega Knobs inside. I should get them out. <laughs> oh, there's people in there? Yeah, there's Mega Knobs in there. <laughs> no way! Yeah. Really? Really. Stompas are transports, yeah. 
Okay. Um, what detachment are they part of? Um, I think they're their own detachment with yeah, Gaz. I think they're part of Gaz. So I guess they. But where is Gaz? I don't know. So he's right here. I'm just gonna leave him in. And That's I'll weird. Just overlook that. <laughs> <laughs> the transports totally mess with you if you try to put anything in the yeah. in the uh, the big the big. Thing yeah. Thing. Then you need the whole detachment That's in there. So weird. Super strange. But yeah. you like can't. super heavy transports are weird. Yeah. It's yeah. a problem. Anyway, so we'll just ignore that. Uh, so <laughs> shooting. Um, I need to kill those three offsite units. That's the only thing that matters right here. Yeah. Um, that is. And one of them already has a small blast on it. Okay, sounds good. So I want to put the Super Gatler into an un uninjured one. Let's say one at the back. Okay. And the Big Shooter and the Big Shooters and the Def Cannon into the one in the middle. And I actually do have three more, more ro uh, one shot rockets, I realized, because I only shot the two that I upgraded Great. with. So, <laughs> yeah, also into them. No. Um, <laughs> mm. Mm. We'll go mm. into. Mm. 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 We're in combat with these crises. Mm. Not in combat with those crises. You can be in combat with whoever you want. No, but I can't. Can he shoot into here even though I'm in combat? Is it like Tau or is it. You know what I'm saying? Can you look up Titanic? Can they shoot. Yeah, I can look into Engaged, their own engaged, other engaged units? I don't think they can shoot into other engaged, but I think they can shoot into their own engagement. Okay. But I will double a check. That's great. It's going to be in the shoe sting section. Yeah. Oh, what's Inferno? Is that the auto hit? Auto hit. Nice. Got my score chip for that. Yeah. Is this the first time this guy's really getting to unload everything? Yeah, but I'm minus one to hit, so. That's true. Yeah. This is going to be a whole lot of nothing. Um, basically, yeah. So we're just going to put half the guns into the far squad, half the guns into the second squad, mm -hmm. and then uh, the front squad will be, I guess, nothing. Okay. Sounds good? Great. Cool. Let's do this. So far squad... Um, and we'll put the, basically I'll put the, the Def Cannon, I'll put the Super Gatla and the Scorcher together, and then Def Cannon and all the big shooters on the other one. That's great. Yeah, and then uh, the Super Rockets will, whatever Bridger says. So here we go. Here is the Def Cannon against the farther squad, I believe. So on sixes, nice, which are Dakas. Dakas. Oh, come on. And then this is on sevens? No, fives. I was like, that seems really bad. Oh, cock dice. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, terrible. So bad. So bad. Um, yeah. I'm all burn a reroll to wound and still fail it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's good. Let me just make sure I discard this card. So this is a snake bite one. Surly as a squigoth, which I'll use to reroll that. Okay. And still fail. And then we've got the big shooters. Let's see. It's three big shooters. So three shots into there. And these are, why are these heavy? They shouldn't be heavy. And then the Scorcha, it's one shot. So Oh, it auto hits, so here's the wound. Yep. On a seven, cool. Oh. This, uh, this uh, guy's dropping the ball. It's frustrating, yep. Three, six, nine, and oops, 12. So this is into the second squad, sixes. Ooh, two hits and uh, three hits. And, oh, I can't see that one. Yeah, no worries. Sixes again, nope. All right. And then this is on sixes. Uh-huh. Okay, you got two. So it's the second squad got a big blast. You got it. Very nice. All right. And then the, the rockets. Um, does it actually matter? Does it actually matter? Oh, you know this Stompa gonna... repairs itself? Oh, It has yeah. an aura of reroll uh, morale. I didn't <laughs> know about the morale. has all kinds of rules. No, I knew the, I knew the, uh, at the end of the action phase. So after this, I haven't yeah. wasted it yet. Um, it's remove one damage marker. That's cute. All right, so rockets, let me just, I'm not gonna shoot them fire warriors. I don't know which one it would have been. So I'll just randomize it uh, low, high. Okay, so the far, farther the far squad. squad. Yeah. These sixes, nothing. All right, cool, sounds good. And then now on a four plus, I repair. I do not repair, shocking. And that's that, so let me do uh, combat. But now you can fight? Yep. So the, I've got the missile pod crisis that you wanna fight? Uh, yeah, let's do this. So let's, we've got- let's chop them. Mega chop of four attacks down to two, because I'm very injured. Hitting on threes, cool. Of course, naturally. Yeah, naturally, naturally. And then on a four, okay. Great, there we and go. that's a destroyer. mega destroyer or just normal just regular destroyer? destroyer. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay, so um, Super Heavy can shoot into their own combat. Great, which is, he didn't even do that. I didn't, yeah, I decided not to, but. Um, well, all right, either. Sounds good. Okay, so that squad now has one big, one small on them. Mm. Okay. I like it. Are we gonna get a re-rack in second game? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um 
Over to you. Over to me? Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's go over to me. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to move this town our next, maybe? Mm-hmm. Let's do that next. Yeah. That's kind of cool. So he's just got move and shoot. Cool. So he's moving into combat here. Yep. Boom. Dig it. And he's unfortunately taking the objective with him. <laughs> they do that sometimes. Which he's not really allowed to do. Yeah. Um, and so I will fight into the Killikans who... Mm. I've already put a... They only have one wound left and I've already put a small blast. So I'm hoping he gets a bit of combat yeah. potential there. And then <laughs> uh, we're going to put a shooting into some other cool, cool stuffs. So let's do the combat profile first. Yeah. So as you remember, four attacks... Hitting on fours. Oh, dang. Two hits, perfectly odds. <laughs> nice. And um, massive crushing feet <gasps> on sevens. Nothing. <laughs> Same as last time. He sucks. The Com worst. My combat's out. Yeah. All right, now I have the big guns. Mm. Let's put the big guns here. Wait, so you put him into combat? Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to shoot into his own combat, or did you not want to do that? Wait, didn't you say you could shoot out? Or? No, you can shoot in. That's what I just looked up. Oh, you said You can shoot into your own in. combat. Oh, okay, so I, I guess I won't be in thing. melee there. Yeah, yeah. We we weren't even questioning that part of it. So when you said that, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's, just don't. It's written you know, in a strange fine. way. We're both gonna back out. Um, which I guess, gosh, means I get the blast markers back. I'm so confused. But whatever, that whatever you guys, everything, basically, yeah. however you resolve it. <laughs> right? We both. Yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> We're both happy. <laughs> uh, sure. Um, None of us are happy. Bridge is happy. What are all these things? Chat's happy. Battle wagons with 20 boys in them. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, so 20, 40, 60? Yep. Mm, that's a lot that's of upside. a lot of boys. Yep. Boys, boys, boys. Um, Okie doke. But obsec is like binary. It's like I have any on the point or I don't have any on the point. Yeah, and there are single 20-man squads? Mm hmm Yeah, okay. Um, there's nothing I could do to get this point back from you this turn. I've just got to work on it for next turn. So what we're going to do is... Next work... turn. Get out of here, Brian. I don't know. Six hours in. You're like, yeah, turn four. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Um, all right. We're going to try to put my big guns into one of these trucks. I sure. don't really care which one. Yeah. Maybe this one. Yeah. And then we're going to put all my burst cannons into this unit of... Um, tank busters. Tank busters. Cool. And then we're going to put my twin axis cannons. How many the trucks have two ones? Twin axis into this uh, this big truck okay. over here. Sounds good. Is, uh, do, let me know if the trucks have Yeah, I'll pull it up. One. Battle wagon. Three wins. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, they should. There's 16 wounds normally. Yeah, you're right. That's good. So here we are. Two are the big heavy rail cannons. Just one shot, remember? Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, hold on. Let me just double check something. Well, yeah. So one shot here on two. Ha <laughs> ha Classic. Like <laughs> those cards. Yeah. I have a couple here. This was my stack of cards I can't use for anything else except three rolls. <laughs> um, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. You oh, here it is. So goofy. <laughs> uh, orbital uplink marker lights. We don't need that, so we'll reroll. There was it. another orbital thingy. That one just has marker lights and it's sexy only. So two to wounds. Yep. And I have one reroll of the wound if I need it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So that's four markers. Four uh, so large two, blasts. No, it's four turning into two large. All right. Sounds yeah. good. Um, that's the apocalyptic strike. You had me scared for a second there. It's scary. Yeah. So now the triaxis cannon into him. Okay. Great. So three hits, and. Uh, this is sixes, so just one more, um, this small blast. Is, yep, it's minus one, or yeah, you're good. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Cool. Okay, then we're going to put the next triaxis over here. Mm -hmm. um, two hits. Nice, this will be minus one. Alrighty, on sevens, so there's one. Cool. One small blast there. And uh, then we just have the missile pods. Uh, here's the four missiles. One, two, three, four. We're running out of tokens. Four missile pods right here. Four hits. And then these are eights. So one, two, three more on this one here. Jeez. I'm really forward to looking. Look, I'm really looking forward to doing this again next year. Four. Yeah. In 2022. This is really fun. And then the burst <laughs> no, cannons like into the uh, tank busters. Sounds good. On twos. Yeah. So those all went through. Eight, mm -hmm. two, four, six. Seven. One more for me, please. Hmm, no problem. Okay, and minus these are one? minus one, right? So let's do it. Nines. Uh, is that zero? Wow. Oh, no, it's one. one. And two. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Great. So uh, that's my big boy. Sounds good. That's my big boy. I dig it. Oh, I just 
just love it. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's do this. Um, flyer wing, I think. Flyer wing, indeed. Flyer wing. Flyer wing. Let's do this. Go for it, Adrian. All right. Thanks. Dungeon Master, is it just me, or does it seem silly that Tau targeting computers are so inefficient that they need something the size of a town are to carry one big enough <laughs> for a non-commander to hit on twos? Uh, it's the, it's just that uh, CPUs are really expensive. Or you know what? There's all those um, GPU scalpers that keep buying up all the cards <laughs> yeah. on the Tau homeworld. The real problem. And so they actually just don't have enough. There were too many people mining bitcoins, yeah, and they just couldn't they couldn't get the CPUs. So they're actually running last generations targeting computers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. The, uh, oh I'm trying not to go. We're trying not to go. Wait, but... super heavies can shoot out of combat? <laughs> Whatever, man. It, it's obvious. I well, I read it. I read it like pretty carefully, and it said, oh, "I'm not going to get into it. Doesn't matter. We're it's, we're too far about it. too far gone. All right, they're six hours in is not when we start quibbling over. No, my nose. it's not. <laughs> All right, let's do some shooting. Um, we gotta kill those fire warriors, so let's do it. I'm gonna put first Daka jet into, what's the blast, blast marker situation? So like one big it? blast marker on one of the squads, one yeah. small blast marker on another one. Okay, um, so this is at the back squad, which has the small blast? When you say back, the back one has nothing on it. That far back The far one. back has nothing, it's okay. the middle one that yeah, has Yeah, we gotta deal with that, let's do this. Um, well, I haven't shot at the front one, so. Who so oh yeah, the, the front mortals, one the, yeah. uh, the yeah. ram. Did you drop your bombs? Uh, no. Um, meh. Who, yeah. So I have a wounded tank here that you went over. Yeah, we'll do that. Nothing. Great, good talk. Cool. Try to change the stack. I Bridger tried to change that. Yeah, Bridger tried to change that. So here we go. This is on what fives. This is Daka Jet into okay. the back squad. Nice. Let's do it. Watch out. Ooh, nice. And then Daka These Dock things have a huge range, right? Yeah, they're like 36. Okay. So three of those. And then against infantry, what was it? Sevens? Sevens. Sevens. I gotta check that. Sevens mm -hmm. indeed. Mm -hmm. Daka Jet. This is on sixes. Watch out. It's not as uh, catchy. Ooh, nice. One large blast on the back squad. You got it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, and then, so now they've got just a large blast. Okay. Okay. We'll do the next Daka jet. Same thing. Watch out. All right. And then one Daka. Hup. Yes. So three of them. That's and great. And looking for, where's this thing? Six is. Hup. Okay, uh, so one, one more light, and that's the same back squad? Same back squad. Okay. You know, uh, hmm. What do I want to do? Do I want to use a reroll here? Let's see. Wah. Oh, I think so. Oh, Cheers. thanks. Some fresh water. Mm, indeed. Cheers. Great. Thanks. All right. So one big, one light. That's yeah. Great. I'm trying to see if I have a reroll if I want to. Okay. That was fun. <laughs> I do have a reroll. Killer reputation. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. So you're gonna roll one of these. Yep. And do nothing. That's great. Can't change past. Yes. It's Sounds you try good. to do it and it I doesn't know. work. Let's do the burn Obama next. Um, can't see the back squad. I think because of the stompa. Can I see the middle one? Definitely can. Sounds good. So and this guy's 36 inch range also. Uh, yeah. Let me check the the other guns. So they're weird. Burn a burn a. Here we go. Because it's exactly 36. 36. So the Scorchers are only 24. Okay. So... Mmm, mm, indeed. Oh, no. Wounded tank? Well, let's go that guy. Yeah. <laughs> that shoot, guy. Shoot what you can kill, right? Exactly. So this is on fives. Good talk. Good talk. And then Super Shooter, which is... I have two of those into the middle squad. Middle squad. Here we go. One hit. All and right. this is on fives. Or sorry. Sixes. Oh, nice. All right, I'll count. Trick shot. I'll take it. Trick <laughs> shot. So that's one light blast marker on my Fire Wars. Remember, he's going for my Fire Wars here because they're OPSEC and I'm up on a point. Yep. This will be the first time I've been able to score one of these center I objectives. I don't want you to score at all. He all wants right. to, he wants it to be definitive. One hit, one Daka. So one hit. Um, seven. Really, it's just I want to be able to go home at some point. So <laughs> the only way I do that is if I definitively take the first half. <laughs> so that's uh, one small blast on them. On that same squad. Same squad. So up to a large blast. Yay, so like two it. large blasts on that squad means they're in big trouble. Cool. That is my flyer wing. All right. Yeah, if you score four points this turn, it is not possible for Brian to win. Yeah, because how long is the game supposed to be? Five turns. Right. So if you if you manage to get two points this turn, it would be uh, impossible for me to ever... If he scores if the get, two middle... If I get the two middle. Then right. you would have to take... All six objectives. I'd have to take his back objective. To ever possibly catch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, challenge accepted. Yeah, I know. Don't say that to Brian because <laughs> now he's like, we're staying here until 2 a.m. Um, 
All mm. right. Uh, you could go on. I'm going to. I'd love to. Thanks. Out. Robert. Hey, Titans. Loving the apocalypse battles. Which chaos faction is the worst and why is it word bearers? <laughs> yeah, I don't love the word bearers. I'll tell you but why. But I hope that they get cooler. Because Lord is their primarch. I why. love word bearers. I'm, I'm weird like that. I no, think I, so I want to like them, but I, it's just not quite one I like. Like, like you know I mean? lore wise or game wise? What do you mean? Both. Both? Yeah. There, it's actually, I'm on the edge of both. Yeah. Yeah. So. They suck. What do we, I, I don't still cool. know the context. I'm not, so I'm going to activate They're some. super cool. No, they have some strats that are really important as far as like playing actual chaos. Like if lore you're gonna wise, play, they're what? cool. Lore wise, like they're, they're a cool faction. Cool. They yeah. have an appeal. Yeah. But the appeal is that they suck. Like you can have a faction that, that's like well designed and looks cool, and you're yeah. like, and they suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fine line with them, especially the way like they're all about possessed and things like that, and possessed are traditionally a very elite kind of you know death starry kind of unit, and so it's a very fine line. Like they were the reason. Well, them plus Alpha Legion were the reasons that possessed bomb were even a thing for as long yeah. as they were. Those are the Gal Vorback. Yes. It's like a well-written character that you hate. It's like you recognize it's well-written. Yeah, like Lorgar. And that's what makes you hate it. That's why I get so when people are like, oh, I hate Lorgar. I'm like, he's such a good character. Like, you don't, <laughs> you don't have to like him. You don't have to like any of these people. That's absolutely They're true. They're great characters. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take this Storm Surge yep. here, and uh, we're going to put all my close-range guns into these three... Uh, Killer cans? Uh, Killer cans. And then we're going to put all my bigger guns into this other tank here, uh, that I haven't uh, mm -hmm. really wounded yet yeah. very badly. Sounds All good. right, so let's do the Pulse Driver Cannon. One shot, hitting on a two. <laughs> okay, I have no more rerolls. So, um, <laughs> it's happened a lot of times. It has, right? I actually. I um, acknowledge your pain. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, they <laughs> are already pretty wounded. And... I acknowledge your pain. That's like the harshest Adrian will get with you. I acknowledge <laughs> that you're in pain. I can't. I can't stay mad at them. Look at that face. Look at that. I don't um, feel bad for you, but one, I do two, acknowledge three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> That's right. Eight. So eight shots um, from my cluster rockets on twos. What? Good thing. Um, good thing indeed. One, two, three, four, five. This is very much an orc gun in the sense that it wounds on elevens. Yeah. Uh, I still got one though. Hey. So there's a, uh, another light blast or light blast on them. They just have a wound. Correct. Oh no, they have a light blast from the um, orbital. Okay. Like. Yeah. Yep. So one heavy blast on them. Yep. And then we're just gonna put the uh, the two burst cannons and then the smart missiles and that's it. So the burst cannons, uh, there's three hits and burst cannons are nines. Great. Two more. So that's one heavy. Onto the same boys. Yes. Nice. I'm just kind of putting everything there to keep my life easy. And you're doing minus one swoon, right? I am, cool. uh, unfortunately. Eh. Uh, it's really, really good. And then uh, two smart missile systems, or just one smart missile system. One hits, and no wound there. All right, that's uh, that's him. So it's all up to you now. Cool. What do you got, Adrian? I should have been thinking about what I was going to do next, but I wasn't. I well, was just, while you think, it. we're going into hour seven here. <laughs> so. Really? Whoa. Yeah. That's what probably that why I just zoned out for a second. We gotta, we I, gotta, think, I haven't really even been feeling it. I'm only just feeling it now, to be Are honest. You? Yeah. Okay. Like you said, it's like a tournament day, right? Yeah, I'm so. starting to feel the brain fry. Yeah. Like, I'm starting to obviously say stupid things and yeah. lose track of what <laughs> I'm doing. we at least have lunch when we play tournaments? <laughs> That's true. And I have beer, usually. <laughs> that also helps. But, uh -huh. uh, yeah, so we, uh, we started the merch store. There are yeah, no yeah. dice yet. We've been asked a lot about dice. Teespring won't carry dice. Like, they don't make dice. That's true. Yeah. Um, but we do have... Things in the works for dice. We're definitely going to make dice. Um, but yeah, you should definitely check out our uh, our merch store because 20% off for the next week if you use the code APOC2020. Yeah, that's great. Uh, it is quite exciting. And we've already had a lot of great feedback on like more merch to make. So I'm curious to see like at the end of today what was the most popular. Um, we'll definitely let you know what uh, what M was the, the most requested. Actually, yeah. you kind of can know that for on your own. When you go to the store homepage, I think it automatically filters by what's most popular. Yeah. You can see what's the trend. Oh, you want me to check right now? No, I'm just saying it's a thing. No, I'm checking, Brian. Still. All right. I don't know if it updates real time or anything. It might, it like, better. might update on the end of every couple of days or something. What is this, like a small data company? They don't update every every hour? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is cool. hour seven, chat. We we just finished six hours. We're Heck starting yeah. hour seven. Heck yeah. So you're activating these three it's, lone Yeah, three, bikes? three Coptas and the Death Killer. That's going to go into here. Okay. Um, so here's the shooting at <laughs> these dang fire warriors. So basically, you have two with two heavy blast, two two with two heavy blasts, and one with nothing. One with two heavy blasts, and one with one light blast. One with right, mm -hmm. right. Two heavies, 
a heavy and a light. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I couldn't see those. Yeah, ones. no worries. Yeah, Sounds good. Got it. So we'll go into the mm, 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 front squad that hasn't been hit yet. So this is on fives. I mean, you're in combat with me on this squad, right? No. This is the one you charged me? That's how you did damage to me? Oh, am I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So then the back squad. Got it. So two hits and their Dakas. Two hits. Can never get more than that? Sevens. <laughs> Come on. Uh, no. Wow. Okay. That was wow. a whole lot of nothing. Um, right here. I just picked this model Nothing up I to can make shoot. it more clear. So let's do the combat. So we've got the Death Killer War Trike with these Fire Warriors. First time I get to fight with this guy. This whole game of like four of them on this table. Yeah, none of them have fought yet. No. It's a shame. So the number one best selling piece of merch. Can't change the past. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's so good. People are loving it. I was curious because a lot of the merch is uh, also just intended to be like, just good stuff if you play the game, if yeah, you enjoy. Yeah, it's just good 40K merch. Right? Yeah. Rather than not Lots you really watch the artwork. show. Yeah. yeah. And that one's like classic. Although, if you've ever played a plasma gun and you have a little context. Oh, you know. You know. <laughs> you can never. Yeah. That's that's the prime example. All right. So, uh, <laughs> so Death Gun of War Trike into uh, Fire Wars. Fire Wars. Yep. This is two attacks. Bring the heat. On twos. <laughs> okay. You did it. Uh, and then Gaz gives me, does he give me any rerolls? Probably. Uh, I don't think so. Sorry, one second. Look it up. Do another question. Gaz does not. Uh, I will do another question, do you know Brian. What, what do you mean? Thanks. I see. Love the channel and all these epic models. Hope for more apocalypse in the mm. future. Yeah, I th I'm. I'm excited. I'm having fun doing this, and I'm actually like, uh, uh, loving that we're actually doing this. This is so right. crazy. It was such a crazy idea to begin with, and uh, it's it's pretty amazing. I think it's going to be a testament uh, for a long time to like the most epic, like apocalypse live stream ever. Exactly. To answer your question, Peter, we are still three hours behind on Super Chats. Yeah, as always. Uh, so Bridger is full of it. I get rerolls, and he get plus one, I get plus one Did attack Bridger for lightning. Did Bridger say you didn't? Yeah, he said you definitely don't. From Gaz? Yeah. I know Bad Rock gives rerolls. Cool. Uh, I heard you say you definitely don't. Anyways, here we go. Um, and, and what's then, the... What's, he gives reroll ones to hit. Well, reroll ones to hit and plus one attack if it's a light unit. Oh, which I see. Which he is not. Which oh, I'm okay. not. So two, and this is on... Uh, sevens? Sevens. Seven. Oh, nice. Two wins. So one heavy blast That's on great. that squad. So they do also need to deal with them, too. They sure do. A little bit. All okay. right. That's that detachment. Okay. <laughs> That's all that's um, left of that one. I have lots of things. Hmm. So let's start doing them. Yeah. Um, let's, uh, you know what? Hmm. No, I don't. I don't either. So <laughs> why don't we go with yeah. my broadsides? No, not my broadsides. Let's go with this. Uh, uh, this one over here. Mm -hmm. This one has the unsurprising stand and shoot. Storm Surge. So the Storm Surge in the back corner. And it's just going to try to kill some of the buggies that aren't dead. So the unit of... Mm, okay. Most of these buggy units are dead, right? Tell me which ones are not dead. <sighs> I think there's only one of them. There's the individual buggy that has taken nothing. This one's taken nothing. This and one has a light and a heavy. These guys only have one light. And this Death Killer War Trike has... Uh, one heavy. Yeah, he's invisible to me. He's uh, invisible. Like I have indirect. But... This is yeah. This is all invisible to you basically. So what you can see, I mean. Well, I have a lot of indirect, but I have one big gun. So this guy. Okay. And how many does he have? He took a bunch. He has the blast, large blast. Oh, just one large blast. I think each of these death kills has a large blast. Okay. And so yeah, that's the only thing that's like not already pretty like super dead. Okay. So why don't we um we'll put one large blast into him, mm -hmm. and then we'll put the indirects into one of the ones that we're close to killing. Tell me, is there... Um, the... And a Death Killer War Track is two wounds, or... Yeah, two wounds, okay. Oh, yeah. So, um, I don't know. Do you have one know. of the other... I think these are a little less dead than the Scrap Jets, but... I think they're super dead, right? They I have, like... They're the a... same, actually. And they have one wound left, and they have a bunch of blasts on them already. Yeah, they both have one wound. So yeah. They're exactly the same, as far as... Durability. Yeah, so those are already dead. I don't need to worry about them. So, So, yeah. I'm just worried... Okay, so we're going to put the big gun into the main Death Killer War Trike. Mm -hmm. We'll put the cluster or the um, the indirect uh, shots, um, <laughs> the smart missiles, into the other one. Yeah. And... Uh, Sounds good. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. I was going to get the, the hand cam and then I realized... On twos! We're going to have to have a discussion. <laughs> cool. And uh, on... This is Death Killer? Yeah. This is with the minus one, but you're good? Because you have a force field around there? No, minus one to hit. Oh, I thought good. you said he wasn't a light character. Oh, is that what, how yeah. it works? You have to be a light character. Cool. Um, so fives. So he takes uh, a destroyer, so one heavy. Are oh, we doing character targeting? Is that what's happening? Yes. I've been reading chat for like... We're good. Keep going. 
One, two, Keep three, moving. four, five, six, seven, we eight. We can still into end the, this in 10 hours. <laughs> into the next one. Yep. Um, this is the indirect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, um, these are not the best at killing. So this is a 10 plus. Uh-huh. Onto what? Sorry. This is the other death killer war track. Okay. Wow. So one. Just one. Okay. So one light. <laughs> light. Oh, here's one. And ha. then the two smart <laughs> missile systems into him as well. So three hits. These are a little better on nines. Uh, one more onto him. One more. Huh? Okay. And then uh, that's it. That's uh, that's me. Okay. Well, that's good. He's got two heavies now. So. Yeah, they both have two heavies on them now, right? Yep. All right. Oh, good. Uh -huh. All right. Um. <laughs> What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. You're up, Adrian. Uh, yeah. You're on deck. I'm on deck. Uh, what we're doing is this detachment, basically just the Ludas and the shock attack gun. Mm -hmm. um, we need to kill those fire warriors still. I'll just help <laughs> give you some range here yeah. so you can see what's what. So they're good, yeah. Ludas and everything, you're, you're good. Cool. So I had 12 shots. Technically, it's in increments of four, though, isn't it? So no, now I want to stress to you: those yeah. two squads with two big blasts. Yeah, they're super dead. They're super dead. Right? Um, two big blasts, and they have no save with that. They're not going to get a save, and they so only they're have actually going to die. Each. Okay, so, sounds yeah. good. Um, this is where there's the one that's got a small blast that's engaged. I know that's the tricky one. I shouldn't have gone for the charge. This mm -hmm. is another thing that I'm learning, right? Because now I have more shooting. I could have removed them. Yeah. But I kind of panicked. I was like, I need to get yeah. in there. And uh, so now I'll have to kill him with. Uh, I have another Death Killer War Trike. That one I can charge in. Which one? Uh, the one that you just shot at, put two blacks. Oh, isn't he part of the same detachment? No, so the, he was part of the um, Death Copter's detachment that you destroyed. He's the last one left. Oh, Final yeah. survivor. Just like this guy is part of this one that you mostly mm, destroyed. I understand. understood. <laughs> so it'll have to be that. that well, that's it. great. It's He's... very doable. Yeah. yeah. Very doable. And so let me check my cards real quick. Let's take a question. All right. Let's do it. Thanks, Limey, as always. Thanks, Titans. And today, seeing that Manta is even more impressive than I expected. Mm -hmm. The Manta is intense. Yeah. Um, putting it on the table, you really see, you get a sense of its scale. Uh, and it's it's really epic. It's, so good. it's the majority of a 4 by 6 table. Yeah, which is quite a thing. It's like a 3 by 5 foot model. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. something. Thanks, Edward. Sending big APOC energy. Any hot secret tips on speeding up construction of models? Love painting, but find building things takes forever. Um, Why? Good question. I, I feel the opposite. I actually love building. Because it's very gratifying. The only thing I hate about building is sub-assemblies. Yeah. Um, because I airbrush a lot. And it's not gratifying. It's not gratifying. To do that. You yeah. end up with this janky thing that does not yeah. look good. Yeah. Um, I mean, I always do it while I watch TV, but uh, make sure you have good clippers that can get very close. Beautiful clippers. That's really important. Um, I wouldn't stint on those, really. Yeah. Honestly, good clippers go all the way. I think, actually, uh, Bridger discovered that because he was using really cheap clippers for I a was, while. Yeah, I was and using... I upgraded his clippers. Garbage clippers. He was using his teeth. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Definitely. It's pretty weird. <laughs> pretty much. So what are we activating? All right. Uh, I. right. We're going to do him. Okay. I, so I that's the know. lone Death Killer War Trike. Yep. And he's coming up into my uh, five-man firewar squad you got it. because he really wants to take as many firewars off the points as he can. Yeah. So you have—they have just one small blast. One small blast. Yeah. Cool. Eh. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what we can do. So it's two attacks, hitting on twos. Classic. Can we make it two? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, I'll use a command reroll here, a card reroll. So that's what I was just checking. I was nervous that I used them all up. So two up. Cool. All and right. And this was, I think, five. So we'll see. Oh, that's nice. Good. That's a big blast on Big them. blast. That's a big deal. So they're... One big blast, one small blast. So now they're almost certainly dead. They, they have oh, they one wound or two? Dead. They're yeah. one wound. Oh, so they're dead. So they're dead. Excellent. Cool. That's me. Okay. Yeah. My activation. Yeah. Um, let's go with the... Uh, let's go with this other town R. Oh, no. Because, you know, let's just get these... Uh, town R. Town. Get these done. So town R over here... Um, I feel like I actually haven't activated that much yet. I still have like all my big stuff left. Yeah, you, you do. <laughs> um, so why don't we take a question? I'm just gonna pull up my my dice and decide my target. Sounds like a plan. Got it, Brian. Thanks, James. Thanks, Titans. One CP and free strat for Bridger. No opinions or need opinions on Sally's list with three mm attack bikes, multi melta attack bikes. Oh, that's cool. Those are real good. Yeah. Like the the value you get out of the points on those, especially salamanders. Yeah. Clutch. I like that a lot. Just like fist heavy bolter ones, except 
This is way Except better because they're salamanders. Yeah. And multi melters. What about the advice though? Uh, no, it's just opinions. No oh, advice. Okay. Just opinions. We like them. And we, we gave really opinions. Great. Yeah. I have lots of opinions. If anyone wants to listen. <laughs> <laughs> Are they grumbly opinions? Um, it's a combination. I'm like a pretty positive guy. <laughs> well, okay. you know what's positive? Thank you, Jared. What up, Jared? I am okay. currently building a Dark Angel Death Watch army. Da, da, dread, death, doom, Dark Angel Deathwing. Nailed it. Dark Angel Deathwing army. you got there. Yep. Lots of conversions. We'll post in Discord. In your opinion, are any of the heavy termy weapons worth taking other than that they look cool? And how many would you take? Other than the flails? Uh, yeah. The flails. Well, I, but there's like other weapon options. See, they're asking if it's worth it. I like the flails a lot. Yeah, flails are the only good thing. Like, the, the flexibility of carrying over damage, especially in this age of like, everyone has a 6 up gunlet pain, so even intercessors, you know. Um, so I, I like the flails. I think you're totally right. There's not really a reason. Yeah. Unless you, no, there's not really a reason. <laughs> All right, town our time. Town up. But the big, uh, uh, the big mo single shot, what is it called? Heavy rail cannon mm. into this truck here. Cool. Hitting on it too. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And where's everyone? We're hitting on it too. Uh, sorry. That's going here. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. The um, uh, triax, one of the tracks is going here. Yep. And then all the rest is going here, except cool. the burst cannon, just short range, are going into your big guy over there. <gasps> all right. So. This is to wound. Yep. So that's, that's good. four. So two big blasts. And then one triaxis cannon on twos. Three nice. hits. And then on sevens now with the minus one. Cool. So great. So three big blasts, which is all it takes to get him out. Yep. Cool. Yep. <laughs> and then we've got oh no. Oh gosh. That was impressive. Wow. Don't um, lose that. We need that. What? What? Oh. Okay, and then the next triaxis is in, like under the, into table. the next truck over here. So two hits. And then these are sevens again with the minus one. So one small blast. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the four smart missiles. Let's do it. So four hits. And then these ones are on nines. Small blast. Okay, so nines, not bad. So one more big blast here. <laughs> total? Or yeah, that's it. He's done now. Cool. One more big blast. One more yeah. big blast. Yeah, total big blast. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do the burst cannons uh two, four, six, and eight into the Stompa. Mm. The Stompa, uh, oh he didn't regain a wound. I was Correct. trying to I he was failed putting, to regain a wound. Oh, okay. Right. I was putting shots into him because I thought he actually did regain a wound. But it's okay that he didn't. Well, he only has like a small blast on him now, right? I I no, he has a large blast on him. I, have, I think I have three, three large blasts. <laughs> I start, I went so to remove some because I was like, oh, you didn't get the Overwatch. But there were like five of them. So I was like, I, I guess I'll take two. I don't know. He's so dead. <laughs> um, great. Never. Not Mark so, Wahlberg. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> cool. So uh, just uh, for your own interest, there's, unless he uses a strat, these two trucks are dead. Uh, this those one, are battle wagons? Battle wagons, ba battle wagons are dead. You? This one, not so much yet. Cool. All right. Sure, go. Sounds great. Um, by the way, I just have the tanks, the broadsides, and the manta. Oh, well, is that all? Oh, no, I have to. I always keep forgetting the little... Never forget about him. The little barracuda at the end of the <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, Do you know where you're moving? No, let's take a question. All right, thanks, Matthew. Hey, Titans, you're pillars of the community and oh, have the you. best bat reps. Thank you for the amazing work you guys do. This game is epic, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> it's a lot of It's fun. a crazy game. <laughs> it's so crazy. Um, I'm so glad that we, you know, we get to do this. We're, we're so lucky to get to do this and share it with you yeah. all. It's a crazy thing to watch online. Mm. Um, it's, it's like watching, you know, like an all-day Super Bowl game or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Um, I think what I'm going to do is the Grot Tanks. Yeah, Grot Tanks. Uh, and I actually, I, I have a double move here because oh. there's not much to shoot at, to yeah. be honest. Um, and you're trying to use their bodies. Yeah. I so here's what I'm gonna do. Get on up. He's gonna change your your. I'm order. gonna change your order. Yeah. Oh, to what? So stand and shoot. No, you choose it. He chooses it. Oh, oh. I choose. Enemy it. box net subverted. Uh, you have to choose a different order. Oh, that's not just so not that order. Interesting. So you can move and shoot or stand still. Fascinating. It just slows him down a bit. Yeah. So you're gonna move and shoot, I assume. Yup. All right, yeah. thanks. Fluff Crunch and Mini. What up? Bridger, call back to earlier. The lore, the rules, and the painting. I think my ears were burning somehow. <laughs> We've summoned Fluff Crunch and Mini. The lore, the hey, rules, what's and up? the painting. I love it. Uh, and then here's the commander, so I have to stay kind of near there. Okay, 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 okay. Thanks, Remy. Yeah, woke up on snowy Sunday with my favorite crew for Great APOC. Yeah. In South Korea. 
Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. That's Caught cool. mid-game, but watching from top for no spoilers. Sword mm. near blob of devilfish. Uh, sword near blob of oh of hammerheads. This is correct. Ah, da -da -da -da. <laughs> you found the sword. <laughs> sword. That's awesome. We should come up with like a special store promo code that we secretly hand out to anybody who gets finds a sword. Based cool. on sword location. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Thanks, Chris. Twelve beers and six gins in. That is all. <laughs> uh, that seems like a lot. I don't drink at all, so I have no sense of what's what. It was quite a bit. That was if, like if two I, hours ago. If I had, uh, yeah, he's probably real deep by now. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you for your content. Got me back into the game. Was able to get six others back in. Whoa, oh, that's, that's awesome. a nice community right there. Yeah, no kidding. Question, I'm new to Death Guard. What should I do to counter Blood Angels? Mm. Oh. Use your fight last. Uh, yes, fight last is your strongest ability. Um, and right now, that'll do work on them. Uh, so, I, yeah, I would go with that. Take your strongest stuff and make them, make them fight last, and then you know they're really in a bad time. You even take multiple of them, right? One on each side of the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks, Dungeon Master. I doubt I'll still be awake to see your response to my last super chat, but I'll see it later. More strength to you guys, but it's 3 a.m. here in South Africa, and I need <laughs> to sleep. Oh, I didn't know that's where you're based, uh, dun Dungeon Master. That's Master. awesome. Very cool. Thank you for the kind words. All right, well, that's it. We've moved around. Not much to do. I've got just this one tank into the flyer there. Okay. And everyone else is, I guess, I got a couple into the towner. Yeah. Let's do it. Great. Let's do it. We need a new tape measure. All right. So here we go. This is seven rockets into that flyer over there. Sixes. I mean fives. Because uh, I'm going. <laughs> okay, this is it. This is it. <laughs> nah. right. So one fives. Hit. One, one hit. hit. That's all I need. And then this is, um, oh, were there any ones? I didn't see. I don't think so. You're fine. There was a one. There was a one? All right. I'll take a light blast. Okay. And uh, you and then take, I a light take a light blast. take a light blast also. Ha -ha! We're trading light blast. Yeah. Good luck finding one. <laughs> Oh. I was going to your side. <laughs> there's a lot of light blasts. Oh no, there's there. a bunch here. I got them. I got them. So we've got. I just, secretly have them all. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you were hoarding them. So they've got oh, five uh, custom mega blasts into the town. Are uh, watch out. Here we go. Wow, that's really bad. And uh, but you cool. do hit on fours. I take. Uh, yeah, so you, you get take one. a large blast. And then you, <laughs> you take, take a large blast. blast. Is it one per? or Is it just one? It's. I think it's one per. It's one per. Yeah. Oh. Shit. No, that's really bad then. <laughs> that's amazing. All right, this so is what hit. I imagine in my mind Grot Tanks Four do. Up. Is they blow themselves okay. up to and blow you up. you put one up. light blast on me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Like that. That's me. That's an equal distribution. Yeah. Oh, I got this guy. Uh, so he moved up. I was, I was focused on him getting to, close to the point, but mm -hmm. he does other stuff. And who, too. We want, who, we, who does he want to shoot? Uh, <laughs> that's funny. He just can't see this guy. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's true. He, as big as this is, he actually can't see him. So I don't think I can see anything then. Okay. Oh, I can see the Manta. I'm yeah, not, I'm, not gonna, I'm just gonna do more damage to myself. Yeah, it's good. Fair. The yeah. first oh, thing yeah. you shot was rockets, so you don't take a blast. Oh, it was rockets. You're right. Cool. Uh, good. Should I do the right thing? Call. So I'm gonna do the broadsides down that end. Yeah. And we're just gonna try to use my indirect to clear up that side of the board hmm. a little bit. Yeah. I All right. Like I think it's so good. most of this, as we said, is in bad shape. Yeah. Um, but I'm having a tough time remembering. What, what's what? So let me just look and you can do a question for a second. All right, thanks again, Dungeon Master. You seem to have lots of singular reroll cards in your decks. Mm. I found that the special effects cards are way better than single rerolls and never include cards where I couldn't use the effect. Interesting. Yeah, we didn't, we couldn't fill a whole deck, so I we had to do them. I think okay, so they're dead. there's an expansion they're pack of cards dead. with more cards for factions. That we oh, okay. Have. Yeah, we're playing with the core box set and the... That's this it? This is a unit, yeah. right? And it has one wound left. Each of those is a unit. And they all have, yeah. This one, no, he hasn't taken any wounds yet. Yeah, these were their wound dice. He took a wound? No. These ones were wounded. Only the single one wasn't wounded. Really? These yes. are both single ones, remember? They're both single. So one yeah. of them, okay, okay. Okay, so that would oh, be this one then. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. And then single, and then this is, this is untouched. Or These they, units have taken nothing, they just have the one damage marker. Correct, yeah. Understood. Um, Thank you. No worries. Sorry, what was the, I just, I had a response and I spaced on what the actual chat was. We were talking about the cards and the special faction expansion right. packs. Right. Yeah. So if we don't have the expansion pack, um, and we also are playing relatively mono faction, like I had that one uh, free boost detachment, I, I just wanted to play goth just just cause, and I have enough things to learn. So a lot of those are just because we don't have a ton of factions. I think if we wanted to do, we could have done that. But yeah, it definitely didn't seem ideal. Yeah. Okay. So I'm shooting with the broadside detachment, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my SMS uh -huh. um, into this. Uh, these guys only have two wins each. They um, have two wins total. So two this wins guy should total. have one win left. Right. So I'm going to put my SMS into um, uh, this lone buggy. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put my big missiles mm -hmm. into this uh, uh, larger, it's not a truck, it's a battle wagon. Battle wagon. This yeah. is the only battle wagon that's not fully dead yet. So six shots into here. Cool. Um, so this is the turn where I don't have, uh, uh, I do have my normal plus one to hit, but I don't <laughs> have my extra. So I'm hitting only on twos. Nothing, or threes, I'm sorry. Okay. Three rolling nothing. Yeah. So actually, I shouldn't have said twos because the you dice heard me. You, they, and then yeah. they, they did it. So did. here we are. We're in here on not good, not either of those. Great. Now let's do the indirect into that back buggy. Just trying to mm -hmm. get it done. Whoa. Whoa. Jeez. Yikes, Brian. Whoa. Jeez. I did get a wound on them. Nice. So great. So that's the uh, dragsters. dragsters. Now I have the next unit, which is going to do the same thing. So you put. Um, this, oh, the, sorry, not the dragster, the lone, the lone buggy. Is what the I'm lone buggy, this one yeah, right here. This one right there. The rocket truck squig buggy. Yep, yeah. and so the next unit um, is just trying to put another wound on there. So four, four. This is on eights. Oh, that's a big nothing. So great. Now the smart missiles, or sorry, not smart, the big missiles into yeah. the big battle wagon here. So great. So that's five hits. One, two, three, four, five. And this is at minus one. So not great. Um, let me see if it's an eight to a nine or a nine to a ten. Yeah, I no worries. totally forget. <laughs> it's an eight to a nine. So one more light on this one here. Cool. Okay. So that turns into a large. Yeah. Now I have the commander large. who will go at this uh, battle wagon here. Mm -hmm. So two shots from his missile pods. Yep. Both hit. An eight to a nine. Um, nope. Uh, minus one to wound coming into play there. Yeah. And then lastly, we have the Arvarna. And he will pop his shots into this truck because the truck has what two large on it? Yep. And it needs alive. three to kill it. It needs three. So six shots, hitting on threes. Oh. Mm. Okay. 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 Fine. 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 I think this is on sevens. Um, Minus one. So it's definitely the six is to seven. Okay. <laughs> so one small blast. Sounds good. Okay, that's my heavy detachment fired. So all I have left, uh, big things, are my Manta, my big tank squad, and my Barracuda. Cool. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, what are you on, up to, Adrian? Uh, what am I up to these days? So I've got my battalion here, I've got my biker battalion, I've got my guns in the back, and I've got these guns in the back here. And the def cop is in the middle of the table. Huh? No, they, they no, moved. They're, they're, they that's why they're up there. Yeah. That's why they're up there. Um... Okay, well you figure that out. And I'm going to thank Chronix. Yay, APOC Day. This channel has turned into a bit of a weird thing. Car repairs, poke in front of Bridger. <laughs> Adrian, did you think it might turn into this? Um, one would hope. So one of the things that, about starting a community is it kind of evolves by itself, which is like the most amazing thing you can see. And so, no, we didn't expect any of it, but... Uh, exactly. It it's turned fun. into a thing we couldn't predict, but that's what we wanted. We yeah, wanted you don't want to make like an artificial thing. To like, grow into something. Yeah. Stop yeah. trying to make fetch a thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Your fetch. Exactly. So let's go ahead and da, 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 da. we're going to do this back detachment because I don't think it super matters. And okay. this is stand still and aim, I believe. Yep, stand still and aim. So we're going to put mech guns into mm -hmm. the broadsides up on that building there. Very nice. Let's do this. I'm just going to do all six at the same time. So this is hitting on threes. Oh, I like this. And I still rolled a bunch of ones. Wow. And two. And two dakas on threes. Okay. All right. Good talk. Good talk. So this is four of them. I get four one hits. more. Yeah, of so course. Thank you. And what are these wind on? I was hoping that you would remember. Oh, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Look what at this guy. What are you shooting? Mech He's shooting guns. the broadsides up in the building. This is smashes. Uh, <laughs> smashes against light? Or are these heavy? These are heavy. Oh, I have no idea. I'm gonna guess eight. Uh, My brain's crapping out. I, I. We don't. There's no way to remember this. There's so many data sheets. Oh my god. And they each have two separate wounding profiles. Do I even right? have the <laughs> Mech gun, mech gun. Smash it against heavy. It's a yep. five plus. Ooh, five. Wow. What? I rolled a two and a three. <laughs> okay, so one good. large blast. And by the way, they already have one small blast. I imagine you were targeting the squad that was already wounded, right? Yeah, it is correct. Great. Correct, Amundo. And then now we have the super cannon. Two shots, same target, hitting on fours. Watch out. All right. And one docker on a four. Most excellent. And now this. Super cannon is wounded on a seven. Oh. Good time. I think that's done nothing this whole year. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> it's just like 40k. <laughs> I know. 
I was hoping it'd be different. Some of the stuff is, is definitely different. Okay. You ready, Brian? You know what you're going to do? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do the Barracuda next. Cool. Let's do it. All right. Thanks, Chronix. Yay, APOC Day. Yeah. This channel has turned into a bit of a weird thing. Car repairs, poking fun at Bridger. Adrian, did you think it might turn into this? <laughs> no, don't. No, no, no. There's, this, there's an answer to your face, Adrian. There's an answer. They, they actually did the same thing. It was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, he is so tired. <laughs> that he just... Okay. Thanks again, Chronix. Yes, the last two messages were the same. Yes, I spent $15 to troll Bridger. <laughs> yes, it was worth it. Sorry, not sorry. I'm not sorry either. So good. Oh, man. Is this the new Martin? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to Martin? I last Martin. I heard of Martin, his bank told him he couldn't spend more money here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'm shooting with the, <laughs> shooting with the, the Barracuda. That's the last I heard. That was That's the last, last you heard of him? The bank came and got him. Uh, so the Barracuda here, <laughs> let's do it. Um, we're going to try to shoot at some of the things that we uh, hmm, that we can see here. So yeah, I got this one. Did I get three blasts on this one? I think so. No, two big blasts, one small. Oh, okay. But it has a really bad armor save, right? It's like an eight up armor save. You want to um, just confirm for me? Yeah. Yeah, it's equivalent of a four up. So yes. So oh, OK, yeah. so it's in big trouble. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put our big gun into the uh, uh, one of the buggies over there, the one I've been wounding, that one that looks like it has just one on it. Yep. And then I'm going to put the rail, or sorry, that's the ion. And then the burst cannons and missile pods, I guess the burst cannons and missile pods um, have to, they already have a bunch of blasts on them. Uh, burst cannons and missile pods, really no great target here. Mm. So why not the same thing? Why okay? not? So here is the ion. All right, so two shots. Um, ooh, they both miss, and I do a wound to myself. Jeez. Uh, oh, that's a large blast now. Good talk. Good um, talk. I got you. Don't worry. Thank you. Yeah. And then the uh, uh, hmm, two long barreled burst cannons. Yes, yes. So those are on threes. Great. So two hits. Cool. And eight. So one. So that's great. It upgraded it to a large blast, you which is it. nice. Yeah. And then lastly, two missile pods. Two hits. Mm hmm. And the missile pods, I'm always forgetting, are eights as well. So one more small. Great. Cool. That's uh, that's me. I've uh, now only got the Manta left. The Manta. Mm. What do you have left, Adrian? Uh, I've got this shooting one, this battalion E1, and these biker, biker ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, cool. So we're, we're going to do the shooty one, and we're going to put everything into this flyer, because uh, that's how we roll, I think. Um, so you have three, actually, you have three fire warriors units on the point, correct? Yeah, but wait, it's three inch range, right? Uh, six inch, I thought. Six inch. Oh, six inch. Oh, shit. So it was one, two, three here. Mm -hmm. As far as six, uh, oh, geez, that's many of them. Oh, no. Six, right. Um, Uh-oh. Yep. It doesn't look like there's a single squad outside of six, frankly. How many squads are there? Five. And then six. And three of them are, like, dead to rights. Three <sighs> of them are very dead. Yeah. All right. I wish I knew this sooner, because um, that changes all. Sorry, the I thought it was three inches. I keep it's screwing okay. it up. It's okay. Um, all right. Oof. How much can you even shoot over there? Not like now, just the lutas. All right, well let's loot it up. Guess we'll do lutas. Uh, so here we go, and we're gonna do. I guess I have to try to get lucky. Basically, there's uh there's two squads that are not wounded. And so you want to split into the two squads? Uh, two squads that are not wounded. Yes. Right. Yeah, exactly. So they've taken no large, they didn't take any large blasts from the debris or anything? That's right. Okay. They Wait, should, no. They Everyone should all should have, have a, a small blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single one of them took a small blast? Yeah. Yes. Let me see. Um, ba -da -ba -da. Uh, one, two, three, four. I have it on four of them. It's all five of them got mm -hmm. it? Yeah. It should be all five. I didn't fill in any fireworks. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. want to just pass me an extra? Uh, here you go. Thank you. No worries. All right, let's see what we can do. So I will put, I still have to split it. So I'm going to put, yeah, you know, it's it's chunks of four. So four and then eight shots. So here's right. four shots. Hoop. On fives. One DACA. Uh, not rerolling ones. Here's the DACA. They stood still. It's hitting them. Fours. Huh? They stood still, so they're hitting them fours. Why? Because they stood still. Empire? Oh, yeah. Sorry. You're right. So that was one more hit. Okay. Um, and then boop, boop. Twos or what? What two? Two. I think it's seven for, for these. 
Not great. Okay, so, so one. one one big blast on one of them. You got it. And the and next then one. Upgrading to the I'll put the wound Yeah, no worries. After. Plus one. Fours. Oof. One Daka. Daka. Come on. Yes. Very nice. Needed that. And sevens. Oh, good job. Only an agent roll. Well, they only mm. have one wound each. So, um, well, one's super dead, right? And then one has a regular save, basically. I'm sorry? Because you have a large blast on one. And the Stompa is guaranteed to explode. Um, that's true. But what's the range on the explosion? Six. <laughs> Sounds good. I think you'll get. I think I'll so, get them. You'll get. You'll get uh, many of them. All right. Uh, but up, but up, but up, but up. And then we have the mech guns that are also in that detachment. Um, don't really see anything I super care about. Um, we'll just go into town. R. Here we go. Okay. So six shots on fours. Actually, no. We're going to the flyer. That's what we want to do. Fours. So boop, minus one. Boop. Yep. So fives. Or plus one minus one. So fours. Great. Right. Yep. So that's three of them. And then this was on. Uh, Seven or just, something? Just one, yeah. Okay, so, so one more small blast. It's you, taken a big and a small. You got it. And now we're going to do Bad Ruck, uh, the Ripper. Actually, it's one shot. Uh, it's fine, he missed the buff. Uh, we're good there. Shock Attack Gun. Um, but if it uh, cannot see Fire Warriors because they're short boys, we're going to go Shock Attack into the Barracuda right here. Yeah. Whoops. It's a five and a five. Both hit. Because he then... hits on five, fours to begin with? Yeah, because you yeah, aim like, fire. Aim fire. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, uh, so just one. One, okay. And it's yep. one destroyer, so one large, right? Yep, you got it. I like it. And that's that detachment. Just the Manta! Oh, dang. All right. Oh, God, no. Just, just the Manta. the Manta. We say just. Um, all right. Listen, Manta. Uh, let me let me get my stuff together. You can do another question. I'd yeah. love to. Thanks. Moniker one. Gentle beings, drink water, like, right now. Mm. What do good you point. think? I'm, the, I'm doing it. That's a good good idea. What do you think the break even is for Necron Nobles for Code of Combat Secondary? I'm sorry, what? The what Code of the... Combat Secondary, ah, yeah. You... This is two sentences. Oh, I see, I see. With no punctuation. What do you think the break is even for, in regards to the water, separately Necron Nobles for Code of Combat Secondary, two or three CCB and or King? Yes. You need King and then two Command Barges. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you work. go three CCB, you could make it work potentially. But yes. the king is what really makes it like you're gonna get 15 points. Yeah, the king I, makes it a sure thing. I love that secondary with that loadout. So cool. Hmm. Sigwa's so been running it, and it's awesome. Like I'll be you still uh, still going there, Brian? Still? I guess. Contemplatorizing. Or are we just waiting on Adrian to finish the hand cam shot? Just taking a nice stroll around the table. Look at this. This is what so I'm these mech guns are one group, and then this <laughs> gun is a separate group. No, they're the uh, it's groups of three. Three, three, and then this big guy. You got it. Got it. Yeah, we we um. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. All right. He's playing bad stuff. I don't like it. Look at this. I'm gonna blow him off this point if I can. Off so, that point? Yeah. No way. So we just need to get this, this, and that. Wait, he holds it from the building. What? Wait, what point? Oh, I was looking at a different point. Never mind. This one. Never yeah. mind. So we're gonna put the. Two rail cannons, one big one into this squad, one big one into this squad. We're going to put the burst cannons into your character, mm -hmm. and then we are going to put the ions um, split between these two vehicles, and uh, that's it. Cool. I'm pretty sure that's all its weapons. If it has more, I'll tell you in just a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, Manta, where did you go? Oh, I Manta. swear I had your weapons. Hmm? Manta Ray. Manta, Manta, Manta. Don't I have both both these units are in range? You double check it for me. Okay. It looked like it was just out. Mmm. No, they're in. Oh. That changes your shooting, Brian, I assume? It does. Yes, well, while you in. change your shooting, thanks, Whiskey Tango. You should do some list building 101 Oop. type videos. I got a couple Christmas boxes. Should I wait for codexes so I don't accidentally build I jank? Take it with me. I took it with me. <laughs> If it's a book that's that you know is coming out, like in January, like Drakari or uh, Death Guard now, <laughs> and another <laughs> one that was oh Dark Angels, uh, then you could wait. But other than that, no, there's no guarantee. I would just enjoy your presence now. Yeah. How many how many wounds on a mech gun, and how many wounds on uh, I'm gonna guess whatever that big thing is. Three wounds on a mech gun, one per. That's my guess. Quite plausible. Mm -hmm. That's my guess. That's me guessing. Hmm. Adrian's, uh... He's, he's pondering. He's puzzling He's pondering. Him. What? Do they split up? They, uh... It's two wounds. And it is it is a squad of six. Maybe it was a battle scribe thing. Oh, weird. 
Okay. Weird. Where did I see those three? I don't know. So it's one squat of six, but it's only two wins for the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah, and then that's the, why I was like... The big truck? Each one's still... Uh -huh, uh -huh. That gun. No, hold on. Each, okay. Each heavy support slot and attachment allows you to take up the three of this in your army instead of one. Uh, same time. Mm. I think they split up afterwards. Is that what yeah. it says? I'll bet that's what it says. So they're each two wins. So there's three, six of them and they're two wins each? Yeah. But I have to target them all individually. Yeah. yeah. Um, good well, luck with that, Brian. Absolutely that's impossible. That's accidentally really good. Uh, <laughs> that's what? Uh, ooh, well, that's how they play in like actual 40k. I know. But Apocalypse generally tries to group things. Yeah. So It's the same thing that threw me off on the dread. Sometimes. The death dreads. Right? Yeah. Death dreads, yeah. Um, so that plan is not possible anymore. Right, because um, it's, yeah. Because all you need is one on the point to keep, still have it. And yeah. even if I did my ultimate split fire, um, they are heavy, right? They're heavy, so. right, yeah. yeah. So even if I did my ultimate split fire, I just couldn't get them. Um, mm. and you have everything in this building. Oh, jeez, mm -hmm. I actually have no idea. Maybe I'll start working on it. So mm. what we'll do is, uh, this is a big thing, I guess. Yeah. So cool, one rail gun, how many wins does that? Three. It has three. It's a battle wagon, yeah. Okay, so I'll put two of the rail guns in here, and then I'll split my ions and um, burst cannons evenly. Okay? Because there's good. six of them, and I have six ions. Oh. So. <laughs> it's plausible. You're going to Brian it, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll still have the Big Mac, so you're not truly trying for it. You're just. Oh, yeah, the Big Mac. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I, and I have a missile pod. I have the missile pods. I will put the missile pods into him. Oh, so mean. Okay, okay? let's do it. Here are the two missile pods into yep. him. A minus one. Hitting on threes. Yes. <laughs> so there's one. Also minus one for force shield now. Okay, so sevens. Oh, the minus one got it. Uh, okay, so it's great. And then we've got the two rail cannons on twos, right? Mm -hmm. And then on twos up to three. Oh, is he within there with a nine? Or? Yeah, they're all within nine. All within That's nine. the intent. Actually, you know what? This guy is, but now that these are separate units, you know what I'm saying? So this will be the only gun that's in range. Uh, okay. Right, because I thought so I just had to I failed it. one, so I'm going to burn one of my uh, wound rerolls. Oh, it still fails. Oh. On a D12, oh. I rolled a two, <laughs> a two under uh, twice. Okay, so it takes uh, just one four. Just, yeah, it's a two large last, yep. Yeah. Yep. And I have to discard the drop zone clear um, to do that. Great. Um, <laughs> it's not working out. So next what we're going to do is the ions. So just two into each of these guns, okay? Yep. So and this is I'll do the first one against the one that's in range uh, in right. the bubble. So two hits. Yep. And so this is on uh, five up to sixes. Mm. So you negated awesome. it. Awesome. Yeah. That's so good. it just takes one. Cool. Uh, the next one. Oh my God! One hit. Wheels uh, are coming off the wind. bus. Yeah. Uh, so one wound on the next one. Yep. Next one. Oh yeah, these large blast or regular blast? Just regular. Oh okay. So just one more. So one on each, all three of them so far. Now the orange gun's over there. Mm -hmm. uh, two hits. Uh, two wounds, so large blast on one of them there. The next orange one, two hits. Uh, one small blast. <laughs> and the last orange one, two hits. Jeez, uh, just one. So they each have one light? Yes, and then I have to do the long-barreled burst cannons. So um, uh, eight. Eight, so four. So I'm trying to just do the math on how I would split it up. Yeah. Because I can't. Uh, it's late now. I'm getting late to do this kind of math. <laughs> you want to divide. Uh, I have what? 16 long barrel burst cannons, 32 shots. Okay. And oh, and there's only six of them. Uh huh. It's not evenly divisible. Yeah. Okay. So. What's the. Five each is 30. Yeah. Okay. So I'll do five each and then. Uh, and then they come in like blocks of four? No. So I'll do 30, <laughs> and then the, the extra shots, the extra shots yeah. um, on a 4, 5, and 6. They, they do uh, come in blocks pick. of 2, age. <laughs> so 4, 5, and 6, yeah. you can pick. So you pick which one of those other units it goes on. The one with the minus 1? OK, great. <laughs> 1, this 2, 3, 4, 5. rolling dice. What are you laughing at? <laughs> you guys are falling apart. It's we great. are. No, 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 no. That's fine. So here's the one that. Uh, uh, has the minus one. Uh -huh. So uh, hitting on twos. Nice. So one, two, how many is that? Six. Three, four, five, six. And then here we are, the long barrel burst cannon is on tens. So it took two. Mm -hmm. So one more large blast. So there's one large, one small. Got it. And then one, two, three, four, five on all the rest. So let's go 
uh, back one, the, one of them there. So that's three. And uh, it took two, so one large blast on the next one back. Okay. And the next one. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> splitting fire is a nightmare. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, so that's another large blast on the next one. Instead of, right? Or in addition to? No, in addition. Okay, cool. Okay, so a large blast in the small on all of the blue guns. Yep. Now to the orange guns. First orange gun over. Uh, four hits. Uh, is it an eight or a nine? No, so nothing there. Okay. It's fine. That was, that the one next one. Blast. Yep, this one. Uh, five hits. And one, one more small blast. Okay, so that converts to a large. And then the last one takes nothing. Okay. okay. That was a lot of shots. So, you know, I probably got all the mech guns. Um, yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah. There's a decent chance of getting all the mech guns. So that's the Manta, and that's my, that's my turn. Okay. All right, Adrian. Oof. You ready to close out turn three and cool. probably this game? <laughs> all right. Uh, so I've got my, my, my battalion and my biker and Get those biker -onies. biker -onies. So let's do this. The All bikers right. are double move, I believe. Excellent. Thanks, Colin. Hey, Titans. Just joined the stream. Oh, and I'm yeah. super glad to see the color black in the outfits. Color back in the outfits. Sorry. Oh, yes. Colin had mentioned earlier that, the, that our outfits were not sufficiently colorful. Well, I was wearing some brown sweaters and you were wearing some black and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah some of my sweaters are brown. I like Pretty brown. Pretty disgraceful. But, uh, you yeah. know, sometimes I wear. You know, the pink ones, the yellow ones, sometimes the brown. In the Taco Bell sweater just made an appearance. It did. But this oh, was, again, yeah. hours ago. People so. liking the Taco Bell. Uh, thanks, James. Word bearers are Saturday morning cartoon villains. Always deadly plans. Yeah. Always True. being messed up by some scrappy kids that the villain underestimates. So tiny. So they're just going to go 28. Where are they going? To fight the Over pirates. top of the year? Well, we've been going through the walls. Or is this, oh. impo is this completely This impossible? is impassable. Okay. Um, so I'll activate this other one first. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, there's ways of doing it. I'm just trying to okay. keep it moving along. In fact, I have to do my ten heads too because I have so many battalions. <laughs> Let's just do the I ten heads real quick. At the very start, you no. activated onto I them activated at the very start. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, things that we can do. Go ahead. Um, Thanks, Nicholas. For next year's game, you should set it up like the Super Bowl. Have a season, <laughs> whichever <laughs> faction does the best or gets the most points versus the second best faction army in an apocalypse game. Oh dear God, that'd be crazy. All right, we'll just go. That ahead. would be wild. Especially because, you know, it does really good in, a, like, a tournament season. But then at the end of the day, it's not even, like, a, the same game. And so they might right. be a horrible yeah. army <laughs> in APOC, and they're an awesome army <laughs> in 40K. So, so, so they just get, like, this huge nerf for their finals game. Right. And they get stomped on by some, some trash. Right. That'd be great. Um, All right. This is actually the last Super Chat in the queue. We cleared it out. What? No we caught up. I'm proud of us. Thanks, right. Peter the Falcon. If you could replace any character in the Warhammer 40K yeah. universe with Fraser. <laughs> from the 90s television uh, show Frasier, who would it be and why? Maybe the like uh, the Emperor and Malkador could be Frasier and his brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. And like the galaxy's on fire, but they're just like talking about like how to season their their saucepans. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm just gonna put these guys here so you can see, but they're they're all getting out basically. Basically, he's got 60 infantry that are just definitively claiming that point. Yeah. If you thought there was a chance I'd hold that point, he says, then no, you'd be wrong. Uh, those infantry. So I, I will end this turn with some dignity intact. I will be on one point. Um, well, maybe not. These guys all look like they're going to die. Uh, definitely not. Um, but, you know, we'll see. The, yeah, they're all going to die. You, you, Because the Stompa is guaranteed to explode. Well, Stompa is guaranteed to explode. Yeah, looking at the Stompa, he's... Waldo is going to have the last laugh here. Waldo. Waldo's going to win the game for Adrian. I mean, kind of. That's kind of what we want, and I love that uh, the uh, that he has a chance to do that, and that it all comes off his storied, uh, <laughs> you know, six yeah. up save, and it's really it's it was beautiful. really epic. I'm so happy. And then for he him. used a special strat to stop him from failing morale. Um, <laughs> the whole thing really came together. Yeah, I'm digging it. All right, so let's go ahead and do. Uh, so I've just kind of moved up. These guys are here. Gaz is in range, so now the kill cans will get. Become more powerful, blah blah blah, stuff like that. Power them up. Um, so let's go ahead and do the boys into boys, the boys, 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 boys. 
Um, tick, tick, sorry. Every unit embarked in a super heavy was in Gaz's detachment, and you yeah. either forgot to place them on the oh, board, I forgot about or them didn't again. activate them for I the know. entire game. I have ten mecha knobs in there. It makes me sad. In fifteen tank busters that you didn't even pile out when the no, the guardians tank busters are here, here. but they're they here. still haven't done anything yet. They haven't yet, but they will. So this is boys. I'm getting plus one attack from Gaz. So hitting on threes, re-rolling ones from Gaz. This is one squad of fireworks, right? Mm -hmm. cool. Oh, there's two. There's one no. here, one there, one here, one there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, that's fine. I'll go to this one over here because the cans are going to go over there. So all there's right. that. Reroll the one. Looks good. And it's the DACA, which I reroll the one. Yes. So very nice. Five. And let me get three. I can I have two more? Sure, you can. Thank you very much. This is Chapa's sevens. Okay, four. Wow. That's so two large blasts. Damn boys, you know? That's how you. Uh, that's how you take a point. That's right. With the boys always <laughs> making a late but definitive appearance. <laughs> so true. All right, let's do the tank busters now that we're talking smack about them. Um, is the Townar a vehicle? The Townar? Yeah, of course it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. This Why game literally right. hands out the vehicle keyword. I like it. I like it. So we're gonna go ahead and do tank buster rocket launches and my bomb squigs. Um, on a four plus, you get a blast marker from the bomb squigs. Yeah, little blast marker Sweet. though. And this so. is a 15 man, so this is going to be three, so six rocket launches. Let's see it. Hitting on five. So, oh, the town already had a light blast on it. Yes, something. it did. So it's up to one heavy. On five's re rolling because your vehicle. Re rolling to hit. Yeah. Yeah, nice. This is what they do in 40k. This is what they do in 40k. Yep. So and two then two dockers, dockers right? Five's with the re rolls. You guys are clutch. Right? They're really great. Listen, that's the best orcs I've ever had. I should ever have been hit. shooting the whole game. So this is yeah. six. Uh, can I get. It's almost like you had a great tank busting <laughs> unit. <laughs> I did, can I have one? Uh oh. And then, this is still only oh, seven. Oh, that one's though. so dead. We lost, oh, no. we lost one of our D12s. Sevens we made it. is good to win. <laughs> yeah, it's telling me that. Team. Sevens! Uh, yep, see? Yeah, that's three. So it's one, large, ad, one ad. large, one small. That's all. You, had, you rolled six dice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go one way or the other. It has to. Very nice. So um, you're going to fight with those cans? Because seven is more than 50%, right? No. Oh, it's a D12. No, yeah. Yep. Seven, it's not 2D6. Sorry. Yep. It's good. I have some shooting here, but I don't think it really matters. Um, so we'll fight with the killer cans. All right. Um, so that's going to be the. Are they? They are. They're halved. They're halved, yeah, yep. at least. So this is going to be uh, six attacks down to three attacks. Okay. Uh, yep, here we go. And we're rolling one from Gaz. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to take this three out. What is this? Stop break. Looks good. Okay. And then something. Yep. Uh, both? Oh, that's a six. I don't know. Six is on the edge. It's like hard yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a nine because I hate these dice. And you're fighting into these fire warriors right here? Yeah, the other unit that is not necessarily wiped. The other unit. Well, they're they're all wiped, but it's fine. Yeah. Um. So either a small blast or a big blast. From There's too many guys. Okay, great. You good? I'm fine. All right, cool. I give you both. It's all good. No, it's on a seven. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm a man of honor. All right, cool. That's that. And then what else? Bikers, I guess. Yeah. What are you bike? Where are your bikers going? Um, nowhere really, I guess. <laughs> just gonna get up in in behind. Yeah, just up in behind. So they're just gonna go like like this. Yeah, they're okay. just getting All as close right. as they can. Yeah. Are we and that's ready? The, that's the turn. We're ready to resolve damage. We are. Oh my god. I had initiative, yeah. so I do have a super heavy, the town are, uh -huh. uh, that does have some wounds. It actually has two large blasts, so we'll resolve those. Two large is two d six, mm -hmm. and then I have one small. And um, I don't remember its save. I think it's a four up. Uh, town, no, it's a five up. Mm. Okay, here we are. So we have chances. Oh, so um, I made two. I took one damage out of his eight. Oh, yes. So one damage out of his eight. Great. We have damage markers around here. <laughs> there, here, here they are. So he's taking a one. Sounds good. Do you have, uh, you do, you I have do. Uh, a big boy. Three left, big, large blast. He has so... one wound left. Or, no, I have three, sorry, I have okay. three markers on right. him. And uh, I'd have to roll trip sixes, right? I think so. Okay, no problem. Oh, good and roll. He dies. So he and dies. And then you're going to pop yes. a card. Yes. Instead of exploding him on a 10 up, he, yeah. you're going to. Noble sacrifice, triggering a final salvo, setting the reactor to self destruct or igniting the biofuel. It's not the biofuel. A final spasm death throw. There are a number of ways for it to blow up, but the best way is to have a bunch of squigs filled with gasoline in the hole. And so it automatically So it's six that? inches. Does it say that? Right? <laughs> yes, it definitely does. I don't think it says that. Yeah. Pass me a measuring tape. Sounds good. No, I have one here. It's fine. So we're going to measure six inches and we're going to put a blast marker on mm. everything. Yeah. All right. Which is epic. 
Uh, if you have anything over there you want to roll for it while I place a bunch of blast Yeah, it sounds good. So uh, I've got... That becomes this, big. This battle wagon has taken uh, four large blasts. Uh, there's nothing I can do to save it. So it just dies. So it right? just dies. The guys inside get out. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't worry. They're moving the trays. <laughs> no. Fine. Never, never going to end. <laughs> Why are we putting more models on the table? I the game's know. over. Brian Stop. Wanted to be over. Wait, what happened? I'm, He's I'm disembarking getting 40 boys from an exploded. This one also automatically dies. So that's another 40 boys. <laughs> No, stop it, Adrian. Yeah. You don't have to put them on the table. And then, technically, the Mechanobs would come out of there if they didn't die, but I guess they died. <laughs> they were lonely inside without gas. Uh, I've got um, a large blast and a small blast on these grots, these grot tanks, um, which have a. Uh, let's check that. that. A not, not great save? I assume I just take a wound. Yeah, I'm just going to. I take a wound and then. Here's my other armor safe. Oh, it's a D12. This is a small blast. So I actually, that actually might kill them. No, no, I'm down to one. Because it's max squad. All right. I put a lot of blast markers. <laughs> Bridger, um, it's ridiculous. We're going to finish it out right, Bridger. <laughs> this is turn three? Yes. We're not doing bad. Um, yeah. We're... You can't win anymore. Because uh, he's going to score four points here. I am going to manage to hold that point. Well, I do have a, so that just card? added a, another blast to all of those, yes, those fire warriors. Yeah, it did. They're all dead. How, no. how do, they do you have a card? Well, Does he have a card? I do yeah. have a card. Brian, Miraculous what, what, what are you doing? Why are you trying to drag the game what, out? Not, I shouldn't play my card? I mean, kind of. But play your card, it, so. but then you lose. <laughs> Got the worst. <laughs> what? You guys are gagging up on me for using my card? After you can use eight your card. hours of streaming? You can yes. use your card, but you do lose this game. <laughs> okay. So I use a card. Um, there's one of them that has a large blast marker, mm. um, and it comes off, mm. and that squad lives, so it stays on the point. Um, the white one has one blast marker? Yeah, there was one with one small. It just got upgraded to a large, Yeah. and I uh, take it off. That's true. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. And then it stays on. Cool, and cool. so that's what happens over there. Um, a bunch of stuff over here does die. Yep. Um, and, mm -hmm. uh, and so basically we each score three this turn, yeah. putting you up by uh, four points. Mm -hmm. Up by about a billion. That by puts four. him to 11 and you to 7. Three, four. By four points. It is four points. Oh, yeah. But mathematically, you know. Yeah. But you're not going to go up four points. So, basically, there's only two turns left in the game. I would need to score four points in those turns. Mm -hmm. or Four points over Adrian. Yeah, that's what I'm... Uh, I would need to score an additional two points those turns. Um, and the I'll just tell you, the only way I could possibly do that mm -hmm. is I could... Uh, continue to put the pressure on that side because I've kind of cleared you off that side. Um, this side, though, I couldn't really do anything about. Yeah. Um, but you'd have to. Well, I could take you off that pretty easily. You've lost almost everything there. You only have the one character left. Which I just double moved to be out of line of sight, and then you can't shoot it with anything. Well, I have flyers and stuff. Dude. And tons of indirect. Yeah. You have... Wait, wait. Well, he also has a Manta, which theoretically yeah. could move over there, but could we're be, never yeah, going yeah. to move it over there. So yeah. the, that's the only... Uh, yeah. So I'm just talking it through the way yeah, I would yeah. do it. I'm not, I'm not trying to talk myself into a victory here. I'm just explaining yeah, what I could do. No, no. Um, so what I could do, yeah, continue to hold that point, take you off that point, mm. and then use my, uh, my, all my bodies to kind of just push up. So mm -hmm. bring the tanks up, bring everything up, um, and just yeah. generally just try to bring the heat. Actually, funny enough, I never activated this, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> it doesn't change anything. <laughs> yeah. The things that needed to, the things that would have died, died. Yeah, um, that's right. All of this, everything here. These buggies are all gone. Yeah. This is gone. Um, just brutal. In the end, funny enough, in the yeah. end, it yeah. would probably only be like a one or two point victory for you. Um, that would be my instinct. Because in my next turn, every mm -hmm. piece of infantry here would go. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. um, even just the Mance alone could almost get all of them. Um, so the, uh, I think it actually, I actually think it would be probably only one or two point win. Mm. But I do think it would be I a win I just have more you. assets than you. That's the thing. Uh, true. But mine right. won't be going away from now on out. Uh, That's true. You basically yeah. can't kill anything anymore. Uh, yeah. Very limited, because yeah. the, the, your best assets are... At the, your next turn, mm -hmm. the only effective asset you have are the Grot Tanks, because you've lost these guys, all of those guns, um, all of those buggies. Mm -hmm. I've got... Many of these characters. Well, I've got these. I've the got, Tanks. I've got this, and I these guys, and the Flyers. These guys haven't actually proven to be anything. Ludas well, do Ludas haven't actually done much. Yeah. Not enough to like drop a yeah. town. But the tank busters guaranteed get another activation. No, they die this turn. Oh, they die. Yeah. 
Yeah, they have no. two large plasmas. Oh, you have two large plasmas. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah. yeah. So um, it actually, again, I, I think, I'm pretty sure I would table you, but it, I would still lose. Yeah. I'd still lose by one or two points. And that's, that's kind of like the embodiment of the two armies. Tau brings, like, overbearing firepower, and yeah. orcs just have a billion bodies and hold the points. Yeah. Yeah, I and this is actually kind of how we thought how it would go, absolutely. And this mm -hmm. is actually how it goes even in like a ninth edition-y kind of game. Yeah. Um, the only difference is obviously tagging ninth edition is just like that. Yeah, um, exactly. But, but, you know, I wouldn't be able to... Well, I could actually with the jump. But the whole detachment wouldn't be nine inches away from the start that, and then t auto touch you. Yeah, that I never came back from that. So your ability to yeah. get your army so far, but slowed me down, it meant I couldn't put my things up here. Yeah. Adrian's point. cunning ruse. And the so, ruse was big. The ruse, yeah, the ruse was something I could never come back from. Um, and uh, it was, it's really tough. Yeah. It was really tough yeah. to come back from. It's really great. The, the dominant position you had right off the bat, like if, if we had got a point each, turn yeah. one, sure. then it, you know, we'd be okay. Yeah, totally. And, uh, uh, you know, we could battle for it. Yeah. But after, you know, it's pretty tough. The other yeah. problem was the Manta, you know, Manta's cool, but one of the challenges is it's really hard to place it. So using that as a transport, yeah. like normally you would think, cool, you move your transport and then deep drop it on the yeah. points. But practically on the table, mm -hmm. you can't actually move it. Yeah. Yeah. And so you, I wasn't really able to use it as a transport. So all my cool stuff would have been better off in Devilfish. Mm -hmm. Like if I took all my, my infantry and put them in Devilfish, right. I could have pushed up onto these points. Mm -hmm. But uh, without... It's so ungainly. And we have a special stand for it, right? The actual yeah. model doesn't have a stand. It's supposed to be played on the well, ground. everyone invents their own stand. I know, I've seen a lot of people like yeah. try stands and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> That's scary to me. It's crazy. No matter what you do, it's crazy. Next so time you put crazy. on a crane. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And you want to hang it over top. So then the crane breaks. That's for yeah. next year. It drops on the table. Oh, God. What? An epic game. That was nuts. It's still, it's turn three. We would have, what, two turns left? Mm -hmm. And it would still be a lot more time. Oh, well, that's right. There's only two, two turns left. Yeah, no, it would add. It would add a lot. Um, it would be another what? Two hours at, at least per turn. Per turn, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. We could maybe do the so whole another thing in three four hours. Yeah, we could do the next the three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do. We could play the rest in three hours. But so what you tell me is it's a ten hour game. Seven hundred power level per side. Twenty eight thousand yeah. total points. It's a ten hour game. Which uh, I believe is what you said. I think that is pretty close to my estimate. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, his estimate was the GW book estimate. <laughs> which I thought could be wrong, but it turns out not to be wrong. I yeah. think now that we are more practiced in this, we could do it significantly faster. Yeah. Like nine hours? Um, like eight and a half. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, so turn, turn one, uh, a decent amount of things died, but not a lot. And our turn two was so much faster. Our turn it two was, less was, than three hours. was a lot faster. <laughs> um, I agree. It was a lot faster. Also, we'd, we know this already, but we'd write the armies to have almost all big stuff. Yes, especially on the orc side, this was yeah. like, uh, without trying to borrow a bunch of other big stuff, I, yeah. I, I don't usually play all this big stuff in regular games, so I don't have a big collection of them, but uh, that's definitely the way to do it. Well, normally the way, like an orc army, it feels like, Tau players have a reason to buy Taunars because you actually can use them, right? Yeah. and they have reasons to have storm surges and lots of tanks. All these big things are actually viable for the Tau. Yeah. And a is not that common, but even buying one is like a collector's piece that mm -hmm. someone in your friend group might have. Yeah. The orcs don't have a reason to own two Stompas mm. or like seven Gorkonauts or something. Like, yeah. like it's not common enough. No. So most people's orc collection looks more like this table yeah. and less like the Tau side. Yeah, exactly. So it, I think if you wanted to play like an orc side, you almost need to get five people's collection together. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> all five of us have a Stompa. Right. All five of us have like two Gorkonauts at each or something like that. Now we have what's a good orc army for yeah. Apocalypse, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think, you know, if we do this next year, uh -huh. which I think we will. We yeah. definitely will. What I'll so. do is so I, I will play a side that is only the Knights and Titans. Mm. So I'll try to have like something like two Warlords, you know, like four Reavers, yeah. or like two Reavers, four Warhounds, and like six Knights or something, seven Knights. And that's really easy to play. Right. Um, it's, it's actually not that many activations at all. No. And we could play against a, like, you know, maybe an Eldar side or something that had big things or something. Something that actually that has be really cool. a bunch of big units that yeah. are similarly scaled. And we'll find that we probably can play it in just a little more than the time of a normal game. Mm -hmm. But a normal game <laughs> plus the chat time, I bet it, it would even out. Hmm. Still optimistic, even after eight hours, huh? I think if you have only <laughs> like 12 models, yeah. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. And if the knights are all just two detachments or something, I think, yeah, yeah it's pretty doable. Yeah, that's fair.
I learned a lot about detachments and activations and moving, and a lot of it's really interesting and distinctly it's a, different. It's a very unique game. Yeah. But actually not worse in any way. Like, it's absolutely no. a unique yeah. game. You know the funny thing is, I was glad I had more detachments, primarily for the ability to keep one kind of ready. So, like, to have... My battalion was always the last one, right? So, if... Because you wanted to jump out on this point. Yeah, but if I did that before... I would have just blasted you exactly. off. Exactly. Of so I'm like, cool, I know I can always get the boys yeah. out. You know, worst case. In fact, had I been better prepared, this would go here. Yeah. And Do the same this would have there. a gap. Yeah. So then I have a 10-inch move to get on that point and be like, obsec, totally, obsec. Totally. And then it would have been actually it completely been the point. Out. Yeah, completely so out. Yeah. I realized, again, you know, having no, now knowing what, what I would do. Yeah. Well, and I, there is those are elements of the games that are clearly not balanced, where... Having yeah. <laughs> uh, having more detachments is not only more cards, mm -hmm. but more activations. Yeah. And activating early or in big groups only matters for your frontline units. Yes. Whereas your utility picks want to be individual activations. Yeah. yeah. And the problem with that is it incentivizes slower play right. in a game that's supposed to be about fast play. Agreed. So I think there should be either a detachment cap or like a, a some sort of punishment. Like if you the person with the most attachments has a disadvantage well, or something. So just. To clear this up, this is sort of part of a lot of the missions, is you lose, or you gain points for killing detachments. Oh, So there are disincentives for having a Just bunch of detachments. Just not in this mission. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's still tough because, I mean, I guess this is a very, 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 very big power level game. Yeah. Because, like, my I had a lot of detachments, but they were all big, you know? Yeah. There was still, there was a high model count. The, um, the game is not, not even APOC is intended to be played on this scale. We were it is, it is. way off the charts of yeah. that. Oh, the chart didn't even have. It wasn't even close. Yeah, no, this is. It caps out yeah. at like. But this isn't even all, most of our like all of our collection. It's most of it. It's not all of it. Yeah, we that's, have a but problem. That's not the question, Brian. is it? <laughs> but they they should write the rules to work at the scale that people you know <laughs> like us need, have. Okay, so next year we should do this using epic rules. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. I loved Epic Warhammer. Epic is really cool. Yeah, yeah. me too. I still so, have some little gargants. Are you going to give me an MVP for the game? Uh, obviously, it's Wal... Wa <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's not Mark Waldo. 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 The Stampa was awesome. Um, he was great. He was great. Getting the auto exploit was obviously really... The auto exploit was clutch. That, like, he saved on a 6-up. Yeah. That was epic. Really, really great. Um, but uh, also, just as like a, a best contender, yeah. is the Deathcoptas because they could get up and block, move, move block. Yeah, the, the tin heads were great because they're all tanks. They're surprisingly hard to remove. They were super tough, and you get the yeah. force field up there. Like the tin heads were great, but it was mostly because of the ruse, right? Because they deep struck. They got if to they, get, if they were the... foot slogging, it actually would have sucked. Yeah, but the Deathcoptas being able to natively turn one deep strike. Yeah. Was awesome, and you didn't pull like the jump or anything. No, was that, I was that's waiting like for the that jump. Card in especially, the deck. Yeah. You won first turn. Especially once you had this stuff, I was like, "Come on, give me the yeah. jump." I do have Grats back here, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah. You know, um, but anyways, what about you? The Manta was amazing. <laughs> it's so good. Every time the Manta activated, it uh, wrecked. Everything? Yeah, it wrecked. It was an actual monster. Yeah, um, it's using it as a Super transport. Gross. Not a good idea. Yeah. Don't do that um, <laughs> unless you have some sort of house rule about how you can move it and place it. Right. Because, for instance, if my Manta flew turn one to that back corner mm -hmm. and then dumped half of it there, half mm -hmm. of it here, that yeah. could have been cool or yeah. something. Totally. Um, but without the ability to move it, it's not interesting. Yeah. Um, if it just sits in hover mode, but it is an like a shooting monster. It's crazy powerful. Yeah. Adrian. Six. It's the equivalent of six hammerheads. Yeah. And a townar. Uh, double or end up and a tiger shark. Basically, it's a tiger shark, yeah, yeah. and that uh, and it's six, yeah, six so hammerheads. Cool. So, whoa, it's huge. So awesome. And it's actually points effective. Uh, I actually think at 150 <laughs> think power, so, yeah. it's genuinely points effective. The only thing is, it doesn't play the mission, mm -hmm. so you can only take it in a game of you know around this size <laughs> yeah. where you can afford to have a dedicated firepower unit like that. Right. Um, and man, does it make an impression? Oh, so stylish. I would say definitely, Adrian, your runner-up for MVP is all the Grot tanks. Anytime they shot, they killed whatever they, they were. They were so scary, vicious. right? They were vicious, and and they kind of hung back because they they could. They had things that they they could do, yeah. right? Um, but they were awesome. They I were good, say. and actually, yeah, even if they were up the board more, they would have been a bigger threat because they had short range. Mm -hmm. But they obviously, you know, I had the flyers back there, which they cleared out. Yeah, I was expecting was to have to like double them for a turn to get up, yeah. but I was like, cool. Well, I have to deal with these because they are again one of your things that can move around, hit things that you wouldn't normally be able to see. So I was like, cool. This is exactly what they're good for. Um, and it could have been even better if, once again, I was smarter about my activations. Um, Do you have a least valuable? Something that just totally did not work for you <laughs> at all. I'm surprised also you He's didn't get few. the custom force fields. They were bonkers good. 
custom force field? But as like an MVP. Uh, well, that's, that's just such like a, a cheating part answer. of yeah. the army. That's like I know, a, but they were so They good. were awesome. They were very, very they were clutch. So, like, you would never feeling... want to be outside of them. Ever. No, yeah. That's why, as soon as I realized, I was like, I need to get more of this. I put them in all the detachments. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's tied between the Ludas and all the buggies. <laughs> the Ludas were so bad. <laughs> the Ludas were bad, but they weren't like they did like a, a blast my army. The whole game. Yeah, the, the buggies, buggies like were nothing. awful. But they in a in a game where there was more more room for them to maneuver early game. Yeah, maybe that could have been good. The one good thing about them was they were relatively tough bodies. Sure. That were not huge squads. Because the funny thing is, you actually want small footprint. Yeah. Like lots of squads, small footprint. Yeah. For and so, objectives. yeah, to be able to be like, boom, boom, boom. Like right here, I have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, six units yeah. on that point, just because it's so. But overall, they didn't do anything. No, what they about didn't. You? I had many LVP. At, uh, least valuable players. In fact, many things in my army were horrible. Yeah. Only a few things were really good, and they carried all the weight. Yeah. The uh, broadsides, for example, despite giving they them sucked. hitting on twos. Uh, so re-rolling hits, yeah. um, you know everything like that. Despite giving them all that, they were they never did anything. The high yield missile pods are not interesting in this game. You only want the big guns, yeah, um, because people don't want to bring that many infantry. And the thing is, the infantry are going to be so far back and they're so slow mm -hmm. that I never had range at any of the infantry, interesting infantry. So they were horrible. Yeah, um, the crisis suits are also not good at all they didn't do anything yeah. they're really scared. really bad and then i wasn't um they're awful obviously the fire warriors are predictably terrible but they were almost clutch though they were the one thing that almost brought the game back that's just the obstacle but they're but that's that's the thing no but how fragile they are kind of counteracts that like yeah he can move them onto a point and then you just sneeze and they die yeah and that is what happened and i can't yeah i guess I we were just planning to like not have to continue too yeah right the truth is like even that move felt big but it was because I really didn't want to play for three more hours. Yeah, <laughs> and it actually would have been fine, you know, if they had if they took the point, which they did, right? Right. So yeah, yeah. So a few things were were really bad. Your tanks were really awesome. The tanks were totally solid because uh, even in forty k they're really great because with long strike, yeah. yeah, they hit on you know twos. That was the crazy. And thing. Uh, the railguns are actually respectable yeah. when they are predictably wounding. So when you have something that has two shots, which is the ion, mm -hmm. and something on one shot that hits that wounds even better and then does two damage, yeah, it's actually a better profile right yeah. um so I'm, i was really into that and especially those first two turns you had the carry on all the re-rolls the towners were also amazing Marco Light, the, they were no they were solid they were fine they weren't as scary as i expected them to and be honestly honest. the tiger sharks are um, amazing anything anything with that destroyer have uh yeah, apocalypse the really good. that not not just that the apocalyptic destroyer right, rule yeah. which <laughs> that the they have one shot the towners have one shot mm -hmm. the tiger sharks have two apocalyptic destroyer yeah. shots and i think they're even less Points. They're half the points. Yeah, they were. This scarier. is sixty. Those are thirty. Right. If you had even more tiger sharks, AX tens, yeah. they will wreck in this game. Yeah. And I had no. I didn't need to bring them close to you because of the ability to move. Back, yeah, you can uh, just move any degrees. direction. Yeah. I could have just been like back and forth here. Right. And stayed out of range of most of your big guns, and they have a billion inch range. Yeah. They. If you were like min maxing, they would wreck mm -hmm. this game. Yeah. Yeah. They're so good. Well. I think we're going to call it there. That was awesome. Before, what an amazing game. Before yeah. we go to Q&A. Yeah. Sure. It's oh, we been have like, Qs? We do have more questions, yes. Okay, well, we got Bef A's. Before we go to Q&A, uh, it's been like an hour and a half since we shilled our merch, guys. Oh, oh yeah. Well, this Get is a shilling. game about shilling. <laughs> this um, really is. <laughs> um, yes, we launched a merch store. We put a ton of work into it. Lots of custom artwork. Uh, we're really excited about all of it. So if you mm. haven't, go check it out. It's at Teespring. You can see the link in the description also. It's kind of below the video. Yeah. Most of the time. I think maybe on web it doesn't, mobile web it doesn't work. And uh, use the promo code APOC2020, save 20%. Doing that for the next week till the 9th. Till the 20th. 20th, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> well, today's, the I, 10th, so. today's the 10th, I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, till the 20th. And uh, don't miss out on that. Um, and let us know what you think about it, which is the best, what you want to see more of. Because um, we're going to be making more emotes. Yes. And every time we make more emotes, they'll turn into new merch as well. This was the secret plan for getting such high res emotes. Was we want to make cool stuff with them. Yeah. Um, it's kind of the Warhammer stuff that we've always wanted to have, but never existed. Yeah. So. And now we can start wearing our own sweaters. Yeah. Uh, yes. That are like faction specific and things. So that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Really into that. All right. Okay. Let's uh, do the remaining questions. Let's do it. Close it out. Thanks, Super Reedy. Oh, well, seeing as there's no queue, just want to declare I made it. Take that, eyelids. Oh, wow. You made it. Wow. Super impressed. Well, you... this is why we ended it early just for you. It's like That's 3 a.m. Right. in the UK. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We've been streaming forever. Yeah. Things were tired. There's no windows in here, so we don't know what time. We don't. We can't feel yeah. that the day is over. It was dark when we came in, and it'll be dark when we leave. <laughs> Basically, yeah. 
Thanks. Cameron, do you think the Blood Angels didn't get a new Dante model because a bigger lore piece is missing that will include him and the Sanguinor combining? I would love to I think so, yeah, I but wish, uh, I wish I had that, option that sounds like wishful thinking. Yeah. Usually if they don't announce something with the Codex, uh, it's going to be a long wait because that's when they build all the hype. Yep. You know, and they didn't really send any Blood Angels models at all. Nope. So, listen, they would have at least, as like a Dante or something, they would have done it. I, I, I would have expected it now or not for a long time. Yeah. Peter answered this one in the okay. chat, and he said something about the last Blood Angel book explains why Dante doesn't <gasps> primarize size. Oh, really? uh, right, yeah, there, there was a discussion about he that. He can't handle he it. He might, like, die or something, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't read the book. A lot of them so. do he's die. They, and he's, what, like one of the oldest dudes, right? Yeah. I don't know if his uh, oldness can take it. That's an intense <laughs> operation, man. They, like, take your hearts out. Yeah, they take all your hearts out. Yeah. Thanks, Joseph. Day one subscriber. Let's test Bridger. Cheers, Lachaim. Kippis, Nostrovia, Prost, Salud, and Skull. Mm, Keep up Very the good nice. work and happy holidays. Cheers, man. Appreciate Cheers. it. And thank you for being a day one sub. Skull. <laughs> Thanks, Osprey. I have no idea what's going on, but it looks very cool. <laughs> yeah, I think that's how both of us felt most of the time. <laughs> I was about to say that, yeah. <laughs> I had no clue. We we're like, just like, cool, it looks good. So what, that shooting that? Good. How do you prep for a game like this, you know? Like, you don't, you just play You it. don't. So we, did, we did as much as we let's could. Let's be real. They actually made it a game that you could play on the day. Yeah. And without almost any prep, you could yeah. play it on the day and do pretty well. No, it's great. You don't get you don't know the tactics of the game until you play it. No. But you can actually pick up the data sheets. They're easy enough to get through. Pick it up, do it. These cards yeah. were great, I have to say. The cards are great. Buy the cards um, or just print your own if you want. But Yeah, you can uh, print them. But I think physically having them is super helpful. I didn't have to be like, eh, yeah. but, but especially because I got, I got worse about this as the game went on and I got more tired. But be like, okay, I know I'm going to do this detachment. Get these cards, right? Yeah. Um, and that really does Well, you can even time. group your detachments, which is what I was doing. Yeah. I had my detachments grouped into piles and then I would mm -hmm. just pull them. But it was easier for me because I was using less data sheets than you. That's right. And so, honestly, I think you might want to give thought to that when you're playing this game. Like, oh, I could yeah. splash this unit of bikes in. It's like, it's a whole data sheet that you got to deal with. <laughs> like, maybe it's just crazy. one extra of a thing you already have. Yeah. So, you so had almost a whole codex. So. Something that a few people suggested, uh, we don't have space for this, but if you have more space, like if you played with a larger sure. table, you can set out your detachments as data sheets and then put wound counters on them. So you can just go to detachments as their data sheets and like not run around because you guys spent at least an hour just running back and forth. I think that's a really clever idea. Um, it'd be cool if you had like a like a cork board, yeah, like a magnet board. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That would and you be had awesome. all these as like magnetized, and you're like, you know, you can like survey yeah. the battle here. That'd be fun. <laughs> that would be cool. We should That'd do that cool. next time. <laughs> uh, thanks, Christopher. I just want a seven-hour video. That's it. Well, we, how long did we make it? We did it. It's over seven. Oh god. This is for you. This is for all of you. This is for all you Christophers out there. <laughs> all the Christophers who, who want us to suffer. <laughs> Although, honestly, I, I still have good energy. It's not bad. Uh, this uh, was draining, but not as tiring as I thought it would be. Yeah. Probably because I think we both kind of went into semi-tournament mode, so... Yeah. It's like, we're, we're both used to... We get more energy as the tournaments go on. That's right. So, yeah. we're used to that. Like, we have, what, two more hours still on a tournament that's day. That's right. We're good. Yeah. Thanks, Sean. I could make you some dice from Bone. <laughs> That sounds uh, uh, pretty scary. Let's not do that. <laughs> we'll I love an uh, unspecified bone would be though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and last one of the night. Thanks, Edward. I capped a third WoW alt during this game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, uh, that's impressive. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad for us or them. That's um, it's, it's a it's a team effort. That was that's impressive. <laughs> well, on that note, thank you guys so much for joining us in our epic apocalypse special. Uh, the first uh, it's the annual. First time, yeah, we'll, we'll keep doing it. For sure, at yeah, least. He's, he's announcing it here. I'm we'll announcing it, it here. But again, if you guys did enjoy this, as usual, whenever we're trying out new content, let us know, share, comment, like, all that good stuff because that's the best way we can really gauge if this is something people want to see. So yeah. do that to let us know. Um, yeah. And uh, we're going to have a vote up uh, for our Tuesday game, that's which right. we regularly do. And uh, we don't know what it is yet, so we can't tell you. No idea. Um, we'll uh, probably put it up tomorrow. We're going to have a busy night just cleaning this up. <laughs> so uh, we'll put a vote up there. So for all you premium members, get into the Discord, vote on that game, so you can uh, hopefully see what it is you want to see on the tabletop. Absolutely. We'll see you guys very, very soon on that tabletop. <laughs>